People are gonna be like, where's the Halo coverage? And it's like, look, okay. Wait, can you? That. No, <laughs> one of us hadn't seen it, so. Well. Oh, yeah, um, that show's out, eh? Yeah, 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 it is. It is out. I kind of want to watch it. It seems like it's bad. I, I would, I would not recommend it. I don't think that there's much value to be pulled from it. I don't even think it's like, ha! It's so funny to watch and laugh at. I don't think it has that value. But then again, I really like Halo, so for me, it's just pain, just constant pain. <laughs> See, constant, I'm, like, I'm enjoying how, how bad Picard season two is. It's incredibly I, bad. I don't. I, I find it hard to extract entertainment out of seeing something i like get pillaged it's it's really hard it can be tough like, yeah it can be tough <laughs> it's this even, is, even for like it's like a weird yeah. spectrum where you can go from laughing at it to being like actually sad or hurt and then if it's mm -hmm. hideously bad you can maybe go back to laughing at it again i think a lot of it for me with this is like man you had such a you had like an opportunity that a lot of people would have really liked to have had you had a lot of money, you had like all the money you needed to ex uh, execute basically any idea you could ever want, like there's no limitations really for you. And and yet, you know? Yeah. I don't know. It's just a really like, it's, I think, I think it's interesting to me. I, I need to go watch, I don't need to, but like, I'm going to, like, I'm going to be watching Sonic 2 probably sometime this week. And I find it very amusing that, like, I expect Sonic 2 to be a much more faithful adaptation of the Sonic, Sonic than, 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 um, or, or at the very least, may well be, like, stronger, just in terms of its writing, which is really funny to me. <laughs> like, yeah, Sonic the Hedgehog, you know, with its really strong and consistent writing. Well, I don't expect that much, but, you know, compared to Halo, it's like, it's so, it's, uh... Makes me sad. I mean, I picture that if they had anybody on set who knew the game pretty well, they probably gave up pretty quick with the in inaccuracies, you know? They were probably like, I... oh, you guys are fuck. you guys, you yeah. You know what? Oh, sorry. <laughs> okay. Um, something that's, oh, by the way, like, I, I, I mentioned it before, before we started, but um, in the second episode, Chief has his helmet off, like, 95% of the time that we see him. Um, I think that it was a deliberate choice for the first episode that would not persist throughout the rest of the series. Uh-oh, my mic is going bad, is it? Oh, yeah. no. A bit of static has returned. No. Unplug, replug. Mm, that's the only yeah. solution we're aware of. Crusty fringy. Oh, right, no. Hold on. Oh, she. Has, um. has that fixed the problem? Not this time. Nope. No, Wait, are we happened. live now? Okay. Did you start it up? Oh yeah, we're, we're, we're live. Everyone can hear all the horrible things you just... Oh, when did that happen? Well, this is, uh, we've been live for 13 years. Alright. Stop. We're thinking this is the lucky year now. Um, for 13 years we've yeah, that been means... streaming. How, how, how are we doing now? Better. Better. Is it? Okay. Yep. Better. Um, what was I saying? Oh, yeah. We, his helmet's off ninety five percent of the time now, so bad. that was that was definitely a choice that they made for the first episode. And now we see, I think, going forward, it is a reasonable expectation that we are going to spend a lot of time with Chief without his helmet on, without without even his armor on. Um, there's a good chunk of time when we just see him with his armor. He just took what it off he somehow. It, like a dress or something? It's like well, some it sort screen, of... Under... So, yeah, it's fine. Don't worry about well, it. they did it off screen, yeah. So, so like, he just somehow... He, he goes to, like, a space station built into an asteroid, and he just, like, take... Like, I don't know, he just takes off his armor and just puts it to the side. And it's like, how is that even possible that you can do this? <laughs> like, I, I thought that you had to go to a specific facility to put on and off the armor with, like, you know, so robots like half and stuff. A ton without it. He's yeah. He's a very heavy boy. Yeah. And I, I like as well how it's, um, he's, he's gone to meet this guy who is, like, the one person. He, he, the guy that he meets is a guy who ran away from the Spartan program. Um, 
and he's in this space station that's filled with people who clearly don't like Spartans or like the UNSC, and he just decides to like put his armor off to the side. It'd be really funny if we went back and it was God. Someone had taken it while well, yeah, he wasn't looking. It's interesting that yeah. the UNSC fugitive didn't really care about the UNSC ship boarding his fucking area. Well, that yeah, because he alert. comes in. He comes in with a pelican, and nobody asks for clearance or anything. He just kind of comes on, and nobody knows. And it's like, are you telling me that there's not, like, a guy who monitors this on this station to make sure who's coming in and out? Like, why Why would there not be a guy whose job that is? <laughs> so instead, he comes on, walks through the doors, and all the people are like, oh, look, a Spartan. Let's put a forklift in front of him. Ha ha ha. Forklift in front of you. And then he just pushes it to the side. <laughs> it's a really weird scene. Like, I don't know. But also, we shouldn't be talking about that. That's that's the whole point yeah. is that we're not talking about it, right? Because Halo bad, um, Picard season two bad, from what I hear. Mo Moon Knight okay. <laughs> Moon Knight. Hold okay. on, Picard season two yeah. is amazing. Okay. How much um, do you know about it? Oh, Only what Red Letter what? Media have said. I okay, I experienced so. that show vicariously through. <laughs> Uh, Mike and Rich. Okay, so they have been sent back in time by Q. And by they, I mean all the contracted actors for from season one. Oh. None of Picard's actual friends. Of course. <laughs> so they've all been sent back in time. Uh, no, no, they're right. sent to an alternate universe where the Federation is fascist and the timeline diverged in 2024. So they have to go back in time. <gasps> That's that. almost the year that it is now. Yeah. Whoa. Oh my goodness. It's, it's Biden's fault in Look, canon. This, what a coincidence. It's the reason why they did that, like, because of budget, because it's easier to shoot in just like the regular world than it is to make like a Star yes. Trek show. Is that actually maybe, why they're... Star Trek was maybe, famous but... for, for not shooting in spaceships constantly. That's what it's really known <laughs> for. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. what's what's interesting though is that as soon as they get to 2024, each character goes off and does their own storyline. Because Seven and Rafi are off doing an environmental thing. Rios That's the banana phone guy. Up. Rios gets picked up by Ice, and is and he's they call it disappeared. Ice disappears people in 2024. It disappears people. Yes. Okay. They don't deport them. They disappear them. So he's on a bus and he's being transported he to the Mexico. disappearing location, and they have to rescue him. So there's they're doing all the possible modern day current day topics in one show and it's oh, nice. really, really entertaining and not at I'm all i'm sure they can yeah i'm sure they can handle that very well no dude it's such an it's such a hilarious train wreck i'm enjoying it so much do you at least watch it with people to laugh with them or yes yes of course oh, thank goodness <laughs> you gotta you know you gotta have your health in consideration okay um yeah we watch it together we it's, it's a fun time for us yeah i was gonna say somehow in this I don't know, era oh, of a bunch of TV turn. shows coming out. Marvel is currently on top. Um, what a jagged line of, you know, of, of our interest in caring and not caring and hatred. It's, yep, it's oh, mm, man. Um, and it's and it's not even that uh, Moon Knight is, like, great or anything. It's just, no. like, hey, this is It's got neat, aspects of it that you know? are neat, yeah. Yeah, there's That's... some level of artistry here, God forbid, and oh, it I has a good it. actor. <laughs> I mean, it's it's very much held up by a uh, by Oscar Isaac. As for the writing, Absolutely. we shall see. We'll see. Well, because there's yeah, we're, we're, we're kind certain. of hanging on a cool premise right now, um, and then interesting, yeah, interesting ideas. But how it all ties together in the end, that's a uh, we'll have to see, right? Yes. We will have to see. And yeah, there'll be things for us to talk about as time goes on. You will get EFAP coverage of. Halo and Moon Knight, probably not Picard Season 2 since none of us are watching it, but, you know, there you go. Uh, you probably mm -hmm. guess it's not very good. Um, which which takes us to, we should probably just get on with today's wonderful little topic. Last get week, on with it. we ventured into the world of our relevant and We penetrated the, the Tardation. See, the thing is that he was not the only streamer to react to Jay's video. He was the weakest of our three villains. Yes, we have... He's like the villain, there's the super villain, then there's um, the hyper villain. 
Right. He's like the he's like the one henchman who doesn't have any particular personality other than being just a mook henchman. But he's got like a, my, he's got a scratch on his face. Yeah, yeah. Some very minor physical characteristic that sets him apart from the others. And he has like an accent or, or an interesting history where he's from. Yeah, a particular if he country, speaks at all. Different. Oh, I oh I think that's already taken it too far. We don't know anything about his history. He's just around. He's just distinguishable from. Oh, I didn't the mean others. like complicated. Like he's a pirate. <laughs> or something. Oh, like uh, he has an. Oh, he's <laughs> he's like a pirate. He's my pirate henchman. You know, he's a little more special than the average henchman. Yeah. Being a pirate. He has a hook. For and... this analogy, is actually pretty accurate to ah, the. Uh... Nice. But they is. Anyway, have you um... ever have you ever been on an old sailing ship? Like a recreation yes. of one? Oh, I'm pretty sure I've been on, like, the ones that they had and kept. Um, I don't think I've been on... I've been on a recreation of one. I don't think I've been on an actual one. I'm not sure. Was it on the water? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Some of them have been on the water, yeah. On the water? And it's, I mean, it's, it's interesting to see the little compartments that they had to sleep in. It's like, here's your hole. It's, uh, it's <laughs> only big enough for you. Maybe not even. Uh, have fun for the next nine months, however long it takes to... Get yeah. to Australia back then, nine months. The one I I've the one I went to was a it was a recreate. You you know the uh, well, I guess I don't know if you guys know them as famously the Nina, the Pinta, and the Santa Maria. The, uh, yeah, I think I know about the Santa yeah. Maria. Yeah, yeah, superheroes. I, they were they are superheroes, but they are also little little boats, little sailing ships, and they had a recreation of I believe the Nina. It's just little bitty little bitty ship with the uh, you know. It sails and it smelled like tar, and it was a recreation of the the actual one, as far as I know. And it was just oh, a little, little ship. You've now reminded me of something. I remember at school, um, when they were talking about like the first fleet, because you'd have to learn about like the first fleet when they came to Australia in 1777, I believe. So it was actually a year after you fellas declared your independence. Um, I wonder if there is any correlation in terms of the timing. <laughs> um, uh, and they they t they showed us these little biscuits that they made that they had to eat on the ship that had like no taste were incredibly tough, um, and because they ate all of these, it was scurvy. That was a big problem when they were coming over here because they had these shitty biscuits that they ate that had like no nutrients at all. Um, hardtack is that what it's called? That might yes, be. That might be what it was. Mm. Yes, yeah, maybe. we'd have hardtack. Oh God, and I have. Okay, have you guys ever watched Steve 1989 MRE Info? No. No, no. no. I did see Jurassic Park, though. Oh, yes. Okay, so <laughs> this is a YouTuber who eats <laughs> really old rations, like army rations. Oh, I know. Yeah, I've, I've seen yeah. him recommended so, before. So he, he's eaten like 1800-era hardtack. He's eaten rations from like the 1940s in the Second World War. That's the only time I've ever seen hardtack in, in, in a video or anything, was watching him eat the stale cracker from 200 years ago. Right. I, I watched Jonathan Townsend. Uh, he does 18th century cooking stuff. And so that's, that's where I learned about, um, you know, first saw someone making and eating hardtack, which is like, which is like a, a rock cracker, essentially. Hmm. Yep. Um, that will keep you from not dying. Oh, that's useful. It doesn't even have the 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 delicious savory quality of pemmican. It is very um, very low on the what you want to eat chain. <laughs> um, but you will not die on your miserable journey across the water. Well, it's just interesting when you talk about the length of the journey. Because I think to get to America wasn't it three months to get here? It was nine months. It's a very long trip. Yes. It was, very, yes, very it long. Was, also, you're very sad. Oh, fuck's sake. Uh. But yes, um, Jay actually went on several adventures reacting to a lot of these people on live streams. You can actually see, and I think some people actually have when we mentioned it last week, who this person is. Uh, Jay's already reacted to their coverage. And had a discussion with them live, and then they made a video regarding the situation. All of that will be gone over today. And my goodness, you guys are going to be enlightened as to how the events went. 
Um, I don't know why this all happened, but we can assume, because of clashing Cloud chasing, interests, obviously. that there was a level of defensiveness as to Jay being critical of what is a revenue source for many on Twitch. And um, a lot of defenses are often brought out, and we're here today to check out the uh, the second of, of of the three that we're going to look at. Because my God, you'd have to stop eventually. Um, don't worry, Sitch will arrive at some undetermined point, and um, real catch right up. Uh, and yeah, I mean, it's, 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 there's nothing really more else to say other than this video that I cut together will likely give you all the <gasps> stuff you need. All right. Yeah. So, so um, do we do we just do we watch this or do we comment on? Do I need to leave? You can leave because I've got you my want. chair. I want to go. That's all right. All right. A brief intro to denim. Denim. Yes, who, oh, I guess, uh, this is more so a brief intro into... The, the idea here is I'm going to give you a, a clip of... Oh, where, where do we go? God damn it. Come on, everybody, what? don't panic. Don't what panic, we're not panic. all dead. I won't panic. I'm I'm not dead, what happened? I got very scared for a moment there. Don't worry, chat. Oh my goodness. All right, here we are. So you thought someone in chat just said Cleep. So I think they're very Cleep? scared. That's the sound you make for when you like a mouse yeah. when it sees you, it goes yeah. <gasps> clip. Um, <laughs> Rags, your poultry intake seems low. Are you okay? Yeah, you need some uh, my, need some nuggies, my, my man. Intake. Your minute. poultry so intake I, seems low. Yeah, I I do know a bit about denims from before this stream. She seems rather ridiculous, and she's you know she's ex she exists over in her own area of the internet with her own. And her own lore and her own drama and her own stupidity. Really? There's, yes. She she is a known quantity. She's not just, you know, a a, a, a known quantity. Yes. yes. She is a discovered amount. What, yes. Um, do you have any information that would be interesting or enlightening? Because I really don't have much on her other than the impression that I've gotten, which is not good. Yeah, she is, she is your generic Twitch bimbo socialist. I, I watched her and Destiny debate at one point and Destiny absolutely dumpstered her and it was kind of it was kind of embarrassing to watch actually. Well, what I will say is that by the time you get through the uh, the information I have gathered regarding her, you'll know that I would have known about it all the, the up to now and I can say her intelligence is not impressive. That is that well, is the we nicest heard way I can put it. Um, well, here's the thing though cuz she's she's quite physically attractive. And I think that's all sure it that takes doesn't have to make it on the internet. I was going to say, no. Deb, what do you mean? She's, I'm sure she's a very hard worker. Okay, you know what? I can, <laughs> I can prove to you that she's a hard worker. What I have placed at the okay. beginning of this video is to give you an idea of the, the kind of streamer we're dealing with. And it yeah, might Deb. also inform why she's decided to comment on all this with Jay Axie. Who knows why exactly? I'm just saying. Maybe. Little clip. Right at the beginning. It'll give you a little, little idea. Have a look, see. IRL back. So you may have noticed that. All right, I will be back. I should be done getting ready by the end of this video. Smile. Oh. <laughs> is she just playing someone's video while she does her makeup or whatever? <laughs> yes. And if you'll note, I Jesus to Christ! Skip through everything that she okay. used. Wow, that's 13 minutes of a video. That's a 13 minute video. video. She didn't say a word. Yeah, the like, well, she's stealing there's shit. There's not even a chair. There's not even a chair. <laughs> there's, not even there. a chair. Yeah, there's not even a chair. <laughs> <laughs> Why not just start your stream 15 minutes fucking later? Because you know what, some people. You need viewers, so, right? You gotta. You gotta make sure you get that content out the door. <laughs> so, um, <laughs> what we have learned okay, already so... is that she's the same as, if not worse, than Hassan. <laughs> wow. So, what I, what I like to do is when I'll start a stream up, I will actually wait 15 minutes, just to let people kind of come in before I really get going, right? Same here, sometimes. Mm -hmm. But, you know what I'll do? I'll, do like, have a timer, I'll play music, Whoa. sometimes I'll talk with people. You know, Whoa. like, I'm not gonna just sit here and play other people's content. <laughs> Why? Why not? 
Fuck it. Why not? Who cares? That's that's the Twitch meta I've heard. Yes. <laughs> so um. Does just... a backpack cost two thousand five hundred dollars? What? I, I, I'm not familiar with the backpack economy. No backpack that you buy should be twenty five hundred dollars. I feel like when well, it comes to pla I think I feel like plateau for the quality of backpacks. You know, it it goes up and up, and then it just sort of flatlines. Yeah, diminishing returns on the backpack. Like I guess for At like a point, yeah. like a backpacking backpack. You know, like the ones that backpackers have when they go around the world. As as but those can't who... cost two and a half thousand dollars, right? Perhaps it is I've... a simple meme. I do not know. Maybe it is a Maybe simple meme. Maybe it is meme. a meme. Yeah. Maybe. I, I do know that those backpacks are not that much as an owner of one, but okay. I, I, yeah. they're not quite $2,500. Is it $2, a gold, a gold, gold encrusted studded. backpack? I'm sure that'll do you wonders when you go it, on it your will, trip. It will, because it, it does, actually, because gold doesn't rust, which is going to be Dang. very important for when you're out there. Ah. Hiking but it's up not going to be super mountains. helpful when you're like you you're walking through the city and it's just like hi look at me I'm just a simple traveler oh, making my way well, with this, my gold this, backpack. This is where you're wrong, Fringy, because if ever oh. if ever you're out in the world, if you travel to Mexico or Mozambique or wherever you might go with your backpack, you always have gold, acceptable currency, no matter where you are. Oh, you can always break off a little piece choice. of that gold just in break case. It's like a little backpack. survival. <laughs> Yeah. Just in case. Hey, look, Just all right, the gold standard, all right? Mm, <laughs> you know? Exactly. The new gold Little. standard, my backpack specifically. <laughs> so as long as you're not robbed and murdered, then you could use that gold backpack to to pay your way as you go. By the time you get mm -hmm. home, it's just it's it's just a little canvas, a little canvas bag. Because all guess, the gold's gone. Mm -hmm. But if all the gold's gone, you've got no backpack, so how are you gonna like transport all your goods? Oh, to all well, of the you, places. You, you use the goods as you go. It's like a plane, ah, right? How a okay. plane knows how much gas to have. So when it lands, it's, it's it doesn't have much gas left. Yeah, you right. Know? It's the it's, same with these backpacks. Like you gotta yeah. you gotta ration out the gold. Bit of planning. Bit of planning yeah. is very important. Interesting that's how they do choice it. of gold for a Twitch streamer, though. A golden backpack, yeah. But all a right, golden yeah. backpack. I'm judge. All socialists should have a golden bag. I'm down with the I'm down with the proletariat, all right? Yeah, I know yeah. the struggle of having to break off enough of your backpack made of gold to get through the day. The point Wait, someone said it's a streaming backpack for streaming. <laughs> streaming backpack. Uh, the point of this clip here is just to show you um just how much video is being played while if you notice she's not even got a headset on. And then something else happens. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what a story! <laughs> this is the story. This is what I'm doing. Oh, in great the story it makes work so much better. <laughs> Do they kill them? So something you'll learn about EFAP compared to others. We tend to rewind what we miss. Just saying. Just put it out there. Also, this is kind of fun. Yeah. So the house is exceptional, and the whole. I can't hear her. Oh no. Oh no, is she pulling a Sargon? Sound check? Nah, I'm sure I got it right. <laughs> I think this we've is... all done this at one point or another, though. Let's Do be you fair. Think this is probably yeah, yeah. the best no, commentary. Yeah. Sorry, why am I muted? I don't even I don't I didn't even mute myself. I'm so mauled. Being You're a... so mauled? What uh, is that more Twitch language Twitch lingo? Yeah. <laughs> anyway, that, that's, that, just... that's that's Zoomer stuff, yeah. It's just a bit like of Martin fun. Maul? So this um this will be the beginning of the adventure now, where she discovers All right. this Darth Maul video. A React uh, content streamer, you okay, hold on a second. Let me mm -hmm. just okay. So I, the chat's actually asking what's 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 mold. It's it's a portmanteau of mad and old, and it's it's Zoomer what? lingo. And I I'm fucking old. Hate it. I'm so Ma old. Mad. Ma I'm so mad. And is it the, the, like you're a boomer and you don't know how to use technology or something? Is that meant to be? And you're mad about it. Yes, you're mad a... and old, yeah. Wow, okay. I didn't Mold. even know that. Mold. Thank you. But, uh, man, you learn something new every day. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I don't yeah, like... It's the same with, with molding, right? Because molding is mad and balding. Oh, I've never wow. heard of mad I, and balding. I thought, what, what is it when like a, a lizard is like, I want shed, molding. and then sheds its skin? What's That's molding. Chold. Okay. So when you're molding... You're shedding an old... Okay. Animals can molt, right? That's what it's called? 
Okay. So I, yeah, that's I, why. I, yeah, a malt shop is generally just a it's slang for a, a pet store. I thought um wait, what's what was it? You, you know in, in Scooby Doo when they're like we're going to the when they go to shop. get like the milk the you said for pets. Wait, are you? Because that was a joke to... <laughs> about <laughs> malting. <laughs> so here's the here's malt the shop. problem, Braggs. I, the malt shop, we we never had those shop. here. It's it's so I'm just trying to figure things out. No right? one has I'm them because they to... don't exist. Yeah, didn't more. malt shops disappear in like the 1950s? Well, that's no, what I'm saying. They probably it's... lasted up until the 70s. It was... Well, yeah, because oh, yeah? in Scooby Doo they went to the malt shop, and that was in the yeah. 60s, right when Scooby Doo started. Yeah, yeah. so and they, Velma they at least... and Daphne and Freddy and the two gluttons. Would consume yes, who would just they... consume sandwiches forever, just until the end of time. Got your static back, I'm afraid. Yeah, your static's back. Yeah, statique. Man, I, maybe this is just me. Maybe I'm just an old man, but I hate Zoomer lingo. Oh, I thought you were going to say you hate. Sitch. I don't like no, it either. Like, yeah, I thought you were going to say you hate malt <laughs> shots. Wow. Hey, Sitch. Hey, Sitch. Hello, Hello to Lord. you too, Dev. I just come right in. He's like. <laughs> The current Zoomer lingo is mid for something that you don't like, and I fucking hate mid? it. No, mid yeah, it's means like, that's that so, it's eh. That's mid. People are using it now to just, just mean bad now, though. It's really? already evolved. Man. Yeah. I can't catch up with so this It's stuff. like, that's mid. It means that's bad. I'm just like, I hate Zoomers. I hate, I hate, like, I hate Zoomers. Mid, Can we outlaw them? Yeah. Just get rid of Wait, them all? Is, is this what our parents felt like when we didn't use Groovy? <laughs> I they, still, you, I'd still use Groovy. When they heard us Groovy say something. <laughs> Dude, with my parents, it was cool. It took them ages to like, they were like, what is cool? What does that even mean? That it's cold? And I was like, no, 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 that it's, it's good. It is acceptable. Yeah. Your, your parents didn't know it what cool meant? Nice. Dude, we're talking Jeez. about when I was like, you know, super young. So yeah, cool was, it, cool was new. Yeah, but even when I was super young, my parents knew what cool was. Well, your parents were cooler than mine. Well, you, uh, your parents can have they a fight American. over which one's the most the most groovalicious and tubular and mm -hmm. radical. So that's more of a 90s <laughs> thing. Radical's radical. pretty great, I gotta say. Radical. Bodacious. Um, uh, also, <laughs> since you've barely missed a thing, actually, we're about to start the adventure. I know, I was listening. A little bit of totally the radical before, Mrs. but B. yes, we're at the point where Denims discovers that she's going to watch a video. Um, okay, she's finished putting I'm up gonna, her video. Chat's right. Gonna... Do you remember wizard? Like that's pretty wizard. That's not a thing. <laughs> that wasn't a thing that, for someone me. Someone just made that up. Over here. No, that was a thing. That was a thing. It no, was no, no, no. You're lying. It wasn't a thing for that was some the, area. That was in the two thousand, early two thousands, I think. It was popularized remember... by Final Fantasy An and old... Harry Potter. That's totally wizard. <laughs> I, know, I thought it was popular. I thought it was popularized by uh, Episode One. Episode One, the Phantom Menace. Wizard. Yeah. Star yeah, and he uses that as a kid in the game in that in that movie. As a kid in the game, <laughs> like wait, what? <laughs> Sorry, as a kid in that movie. That's why. Does he I say something's it. wizard? Yes. Does he? I don't remember this. Does he? I yes, he does. You remember I... who it was? Because I'm I'm blanking. I do not remember. Yeah, this, this is so wizard, Annie. Yeah, one of his friends says that to him when he's like building his pod. Really? His pod Fucking right hell! There. I might have just blanked yeah. that every single time I watch it. Are you sure this isn't? <laughs> Oh yeah, sure enough, it it is. If you type in Anakin Wizard and go to images, it's Annie and his little slave friend. Oh my god. Yep. It's wow. so wizard. A I long remember... time ago in a galaxy far, far away, that's so wizard was a phrase to, <laughs> was was a phrase to denote something being very cool. Is that offensive to Jedi? The... <laughs> it's the offensive old... to wizards. <laughs> there was some old VHS tape that I always rent from Blockbuster called The Wizard. About a kid who played video games. Did you, oh, have you ever yes, seen I'm this? I'm aware of that. From like yeah, the, the, the Mario 3. Oh, no. Yeah. Yes, and at the end of it, they're like, we're going to have yeah. a video game competition. competition, And yes, they have to play Mario 3. And everyone's like, oh my god, this game is new. I remember Wizard by Ralph yeah. Bakshi. Wizards from 1973. I, I remember this movie, Sitch, because that's, mm -hmm. where, that's where they had the power glove. It's like, it's yes! Just... The power yes! glove! Yes! And the movie was just a big marketing ploy for for Mario Three because that game hadn't come out yet. Hey, when old movie movies, out, market right? Something. Yeah. Some of them. Had the little kid. What's that kid's name? That was in. Oh, the, the kid from the Wonder Years was in it. Yeah, and he had like an, an autistic little brother who was playing games or something. Yeah, of course the autistic well, kid's the a, gamer. That's just a regular yeah. gamer. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's the average. It's the average gamer. <laughs> 
They okay, were so I got I got to step out for like two minutes to grab food. I'm going down to the uh, the dollar meat store. The dollar meat store. Oh <laughs> yeah, the lore continues. All the memes about you are gonna be about dollar meat. Dollar meat. Do you, do you subscribe Surrounded. to the dollar meat club? The they, dollar meat. Club. Every month they send you sharp new meat in the Ew. mail. And it's all like, <laughs> no. like sweating through the mail. <laughs> oh, like, oh, they the don't. They don't even club. wrap it in wax paper. It's just paper paper. Yeah. <laughs> it's all gooey and icky. <laughs> Oh, Saying we the have dollar meat club has many connotations to it, though. The dollar meat club, like yeah. it's a gay porno mag <laughs> for poor people. Poor gay people. <laughs> There's a market, I'm sure of it. Speaking um, of poor gay people, we were watching Twitch. Yes, mm -hmm. we were. Uh, let's just enjoy. Uh, Mute Dennis myself. Takes, I'm so mold. Being a React mold. content streamer, you, mold. you're like. So, I mean, all streamers on some level are Bottom so disincentivized chain, chain, yeah. for from like leaving their computer. And <laughs> I think when the apocalypse happens, these people will be the absolute first to die. Um, you say that because of what she said, or, <laughs> or just in general, <laughs> or just streamers just, in general, just in general, just just okay. Twitch streamers like this, they will be the first to absolutely just perish in <laughs> any sort of. Could I propose situation. an alternative? Because what she just said was that Twitch streamers are incentivized to never leave their seats. And basically saying that she is at the whims of whatever, you know, survival tells her to do. And thus, in a zombie apocalypse type situation, she would just start eating her friends. She'd be like, I'm sorry, but like... This is all that I can do. Yeah, I, there's like, only I two options in the material universe. I'm I can eat you or I cannot you. eat you. Irrelevant told me all about the options I have as a human being, for I'm which just... there are two. Very one of them happens they think to benefit me um, and is the one I should use. That's enough I mean, to just say I'm incentivized. Like, yeah, there's there's more steps to that. We're incentivized to do a lot of things. She she could be incentivized to make her bed, considering it's going to be right in the middle of the frame. The oh time, yeah, but, uh, is her yeah. bed on the? There there is a wood frame underneath it, right? It's not just yeah. yeah there's a wood frame. There. Oh, it's okay. not like Jared or anything. Wow, were you gonna judge and be like, "Wow, she puts her mattress straight in the floor"? <laughs> what a yeah, poor. I, what a yeah, poor. I was gonna do that. Yeah. God, that's pretty much what I was gonna. Didn't do. have a chestwood yeah. oak frame like I do. Yeah, mm, I don't know what those, right? my bed frame is. I know it's broken on the bottom a little bit. Mm. When you're a React streamer, there are people. There are so many people who hate React streamers just because they're React streamers. Like literally, I don't block. think so. Um, I don't uh, think you yeah, just hate someone because that. they react to things. That seems really weird to hate. Yeah, I think it's because you're going to show us why. Yeah. <laughs> Hold on. No, I disagree. I think it's because of React streamers. I genuinely do. Well, I think React streamers are fucking cancer. Wait, wait, not us. We are but literally everyone React else. streamers. <laughs> That's what I was going to say. What is, how are we defining a React streamer here? <laughs> okay, so do you recall the kerfuffle with the React trademark like five or ten years yeah, ago? The fine yeah, the Bros. Yeah, that shit. So like like that was kind of the um the optics nail first nail not the last but the first nail in the coffin of the whole react thing but these these are people like when i hear react streamer and we're talking about denims here specifically these are people who like you you okay hold on i I want I want to word this properly mm -hmm. because even as i hate them i enjoy some anime react streamers and as I've watched them and felt guilty about, it, I've wondered why. I felt why guilty. am I enjoying this? That's just yes, because you yes, watch anime. Yes, felt guilty. God damn it! But no, I've like this is cancerous content. Why am I enjoying this? And it's because I'm not there to watch what they're watching. I'm there to watch their reaction of what is being <gasps> watched, but only their reaction. And almost always, their reaction is, <laughs> and then that's the end of the video. And it's like, oh, great. <laughs> I got to I got to vicariously experience somebody else being happy because I don't feel very happy right now. And then oh. I changed my life and I felt happier. Ah. So when you when you watch a, a person who is analyzing content, it seems like that's probably pretty healthy. If you're just there to watch somebody else laugh because you're sad, I think that's like I, I, that's like a terrible situation. I, and I How think these people are basically. Because I am sad. I feel like this didn't the... explain the why do people do people hate React streamers? Yeah. yeah. 
Okay, hold on. I'm, I'm getting I feel like I'm you getting, tried I'm to pre... There. You preemptively I'm getting there. There's, there's one more point. There's one more bridge. There's one more bridge. We're climbing a mountain I think, with Dev. Okay, all right. I think these people are backpack. exploitative. <laughs> yeah, you, but they're a subset of a wider genre. Are you saying they're infecting the genre? They're making us all look bad? Well, but yes. no, but I don't think we should be considered React streamers. Well, and that, if we're by that metric, every no. ten it's seconds of what and analyzing do. the video, we're not just yes, going. We're, we're analysis <laughs> streamers. We we have oh, ascended past that. That's those pretentious. I, no, no, I I would consider beyond the people who we react to. Just call them pre-act streamers because we oh, okay. react to them in a very substantive way. Are you gonna that react to my phone? That's, that's actually not my phone. That is oh. my. I have a magnetic egg timer on my fridge <laughs> oh, okay. and that goes off because I put a drink drinkledge in the freezer and I turn that thing mm. to 30 minutes so that I know it is extremely cold and I do not leave it in there and it becomes frozen. You you know that your dollar meats have finished cooking. I know that my dollar <laughs> meats are done. My dollar meats are frozen solid. Are, are, the only way I can are eat done them. decomposing. <laughs> No. I, it's the only okay, way you so, can eat them when they're a dollar meat is you just freeze it. <laughs> you eat it frozen I, I guess, like a popsicle, a little meat sickle. I, I guess the point that I'm trying to get at is that there's like, you know how parasocial is like the new current word. There's uh -huh. a lot of there's a lot of people out there who I think specifically cultivate an unhealthy parasocial audience in their in their audience, like uh, an, an attitude in their audience because they know that it gets them money. Yeah, I think, I think that's I think what think denims is. This, yeah, no, I completely agree with you. This sect uh, definitely rely on it and uh, try to encourage it as much as possible. They do nothing to try and erase it because of how much it can benefit. Um, but the thing is, this yep. same group, genre, subgenre, whatever, they um they sometimes, if the video is the right kind of video, talk about it as much as we do. Um, mm -hmm. The thing is, a lot of the time they can't be fucked, and then they get annoyed if you blame them for that when over on other shows where there's a lot of things you end up doing and she's you know the, the jay suggested a whole bunch in the video that further pissed these peeps off um so yeah i i'm more than happy to denigrate their style because it's lazy as hell but i do take issue with the idea that it's like oh yeah a lot of people hate react streamers and that they're like the face of it i'd be like fuck that Thank you, well, <laughs> man, like, Rag should probably mute his mic if he's gonna <laughs> be going off and mess around. What the fuck with, is like, he doing? Grabbing a drink? No, I'm washing the dishes, I guess. <laughs> what the fuck? No, see, <laughs> EFAP is, to, to quote Mahler and Rag's what? favorite anime, EFAP is the Super Saiyan 2 of React channels, okay? It is a channel beyond <laughs> reacting. The next level beyond. Well, okay, wait, what's the difference between a React channel and a commentary channel? I don't know. I guess one of them is live, one of them doesn't have to be? No, I, I think I know. So reacting is just like, is, is just the knee-jerk, heh <laughs> Commentary mm -hmm. is actually thinking and making a commentary. Well, but like, actually they do that it. too. She does that for Jay's video, to be fair. Okay. So does that Let's make see. her then a commentary streamer rather than a React streamer? Well, we're gonna have to do an analysis. We need charts. We need data. How much is there reacting? How much is there commentarying? I will. Con I, I will contact numbers. the EFAP science department, and we will get on this. All right. Possible. I want to get the bottom of this. Um, I, I was, I was, I, I'm just gonna hit play. Rags find his way back. I want to get the bottom of Rags's drink. All right. There's really, no other reason. It's just like you're a react streamer. I don't like you. Um, and it'll be like, oh, react streaming is so easy. Like. Look, watch, I'm gonna do it. Walks away from computer. It's like, okay, dude, I, <laughs> the React streamers spend like 90, 95, 98 percent. Wait, didn't of you just on... do this? <laughs> didn't she just like why, why play a think... video for 15 minutes? <laughs> why, why'd you think I threw that at the beginning? <laughs> <laughs> She's like, we don't do that all the time. And it's like, yeah, Jay didn't parody you and do that for the whole thing, did he? Milk. <laughs> and yeah, right. it you seems to have struck a dude. I, I got more pizza. <laughs> The cardboard piece was great, um, <laughs> but yeah, uh, it's it's clear she's like not all React streamers just walk away while videos are played. Show you know alien this sounds to us on EFF. Like, 
play the video that you can while just you do that. Yeah. Way. Well, we wouldn't. When one of us leaves, we get a little antsy about continuing the video. <laughs> like, we're like, yeah. Eh. Right. Like just now, when I needed to retrieve my beverage that has been uh, perfectly did chilled. <laughs> did you retrieve it from like amongst a pile of dishes? Was it like? Oh, did you hear that? What that probably was was that was the ice that I put inside of this uh, this yeti I... thermos. Mm -hmm. it... Was that really? Yep. That was ice. <laughs> we thought you were okay. keeping your drink under a mountain of pots and pans. Yeah, <laughs> you had to retrieve. Oh, is that what it came through? At well, I yeah. I don't. I guess because a crot way across the room on the other side, I, who knows what it ends up sounding like. But yeah, I've got this Yeti thermos and it is amaze balls. Good. I use it every day. It's wonderful and magical. And I pity all the human beings who lived before them. Uh, but I fill it with ice and then I put the drink in there and then it stays pleasant and cold and chilled for for many, many, many hours. And it's wonderful and magical. So, wait a second, Rags. Are you That's are you making the claim that sounds fundamentally change if they're just farther away from the mic? Much like, um, much like how like objects that. somehow magically get smaller the further away from you they are. <laughs> okay, hold a on. Phenomenon hold on. Okay. That... We're, we're, we're gonna test this. Okay, I'm gonna go get a drink. Just give me a second. Wait, you're gonna okay. Okay, I'm pouring my drink. Can you hear me? Well, not not, not the liquid. I can't <laughs> hear the there. liquid. Hold on, hold on. I'm I'm pouring the drink. Where are the pots and pans? No, if <laughs> do you hear it? I'm pouring it. No, no, you you didn't hear me pour the drink. You heard me put the hard ice into a metal container. Really? That's what, that's that's what that sound was? No, I dropped it and grabbed. I, I'm no, back I with my drink. In. I hope the sound didn't morph weirdly over the air. <laughs> Well, well, no, it didn't make a sound too morph. We never got the sound because you just put liquid in a container, which isn't typically very loud. Look, the, Deb, the you don't is... understand the Doppler effect. You know, when cars drive up, like close <laughs> oh, wait, to you, hold on, hold it's on. higher pitch and they drive away. It's lower pitch. No, that wasn't the Doppler effect. That was the droppler <laughs> effect. I was putting the ice inside oh, of the Yeti you. and then it yes. clanged and just, just wait, just you, you guys not, not hear the horn? Other. No, we didn't hear what a horn. horn. No. Oh shit! I guess I just Discord muffled it. I had a horn on the other side of the room and I was honking. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Oh, so it's so like cool. this. Oh, this is the sound of me pouring the drink. Honk, honk. We'll see. <laughs> that was interesting, that right? Discord happened. is like the honk. That's definitely not a human. But rags clanking uh, and crashing things together. That's definitely a human. <laughs> well, one time I. Well, that's fine. It, no reason to tell that story. We can carry on with denim. I and appreciate her your permission. Too. But, um, it's denims. Yeah, I was going to say a little bit of oh, denims, denims. Yeah, she, she's a multiple. Mm -hmm. She has many. What does it mean to be? What does it mean to be denims? Isn't wait denim a second? Just, like she's you know denims. Like? I'm rags. Mm, this is like yeah. a cloth. There's like a there, there like some camaraderie here cloth. with no, you don't, nomenclature rags, you don't want, you don't want and, camaraderie with it. Don't you back away. Get out of the room. I would imagine that like. A denim cloth would be like pretty not useful. Or a denim it? cloth, yeah, that would be terrible. It'd probably be a little rough, not too yeah. rough, not like a not like a scritcher, you know. Um, no, not like a scritcher. It would have no use though. Oh, I don't know well, about I mean, that. It's I, I guess clean. It's, it'd be some it's probably absorbent. No. Yeah, yeah, because it would be rough clean. enough to sort of physically take off stuff, and no. but not hard enough to it rub not, off paint or anything like it. that. No, it's not a no. preference. That's exactly what it would be. It's not no. useless. I mean, That's exactly what it would be. It would be like, oh, what? my, like a sponge is really smooth and it doesn't really grip things on a surface, so they have the other side that's like that yeah. plastic mesh. And it's not made of denim. Yeah, yeah, because denim isn't denim isn't the ideal material. Did you were you not present when we were talking about the potential uses? We're, we're saying it's not useless. It's it, not right? useless. You could use it. It's it just ninety nine percent useless. Okay? That's that's I, not being fair. That's not like being fair. Like oh, I, under I understand the useless. confusion. Sitch thinks we're talking about denim's the person. Yes, she is completely useless. We're talking about. Yes. No, no. This is, yeah, I <laughs> oh, I thought you were. I thought you were talking about like having yes. a strip of denim's the streamer that you were going to clean. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I don't want to see her. Oh, I I wouldn't mind seeing her strip, but we we couldn't. We can't do that. You. That's not acceptable. Objectification that live on television. I don't know. No, that would just involve her doing something. It is current year, okay? Current year. Stop it. 
rude. Well, well anyways, you can see... actually strip on Twitch. That is oh, yeah. actually. <laughs> Oh yeah, is she, is she one of the privileged who can just like bare their genitals to the camera and just be okay? Yes, they usually get temp bands does. if they do something like that. Oh yeah, um, they uh, they get a vacation. They might get a three day, you know. Yeah, it's kind of rough. Or an hour, it's, but look, yeah. it's not stripping. They're just painting their body while naked. Okay, it's completely. Wait different. a second. Hold on, <gasps> Rags. I think yeah. I think I think you're onto something regarding the the solidarity. Oh, well, Go ahead. <laughs> Rags, you are honest with regarding the solidarity of, of these these names revolving around various types of cloth and other clothing things. You have you have rags, you have denims, and then you have you have Stitch here who's gonna hold it all together. <laughs> oh <laughs> my god. Listen here, shorty. Okay. <laughs> shorty. I see Fringy and Maul will we'll just stay away from all this. <laughs> what like, is a, our what names don't wait, really connect. It's a Fringy. Huh? Oh, isn't that like what hangs <laughs> off the edge of the cloth when it frays? Yeah, it's the it's fringe. the fringe. It's the fringe. It's yeah. The, the name actually has nothing to do with that at all. And uh, <laughs> this this is not the time for this. This is the time for talking about React streamers and. Did, did, and is there some like dark? Well, it's, it's fine. We've only got about an hour and forty minutes of video to get through, so it's all yeah. It's fine. I I am thinking about the time that we've you know we we We're got nearly a, we up got to an hour. Wait, It'll do we? Because it, it's it's forty six minutes. Looks like. Damn, this I, is, this is one? part no, it's, one of two. It's, it's, yeah, exactly. Oh no. Oh. Yes. Okay, On stream, let's get into it. and they leave for five minutes, barely after streaming for hours and hours and hours. Just saw her do it for twelve or thirteen. Yeah. Actually, yeah, said I'm not ready yet, but I, that's fine. I I also again to emphasize the point when you're like, I mostly don't do the wrong thing, you know. <laughs> The, you know, the, the, this I, the only, best. I only sometimes do the wrong thing. So many of them do this as a defense. You wonder if it's some kind of like human thing to move the goalpost subconsciously. It's like, do you not yeah, understand I, that nobody when I, cares when I run, if you do it? When I run my a lot. when I run my capitalist business, all right. Sometimes I exploit my workers and don't pay them overtime. All right. I only do it sometimes though. Most of the time, I do pay overtime. But sometimes when I I just when things are tight or I just want more money personally. Uh, I don't, you know, and that's that's just you know, what you know you're incentivized, you're incentivized yes. in the capitalist economy. I have to survive in the capitalist economy. I the definition of survive varies pretty significantly depending on what I want at any given time. It is I need sorry. Twenty five dollars back. It is uncanny. In case of how you can say to these people directly, it. like with no uncertain words, it's bad that you've done this at all, and then they'll be like, "You act like I do it all the time." And you're like, "You didn't it's hear like, what I said." It, it, exactly. It's, um, I don't know, principles, man. <laughs> just... Listen, 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 listen. I only raped her once. I mean, not like, a lot. Only comparison. Huh. Only the problem is, though, if you were to use a rape one, they would be like, wow, comparing React content to written. It's like, yeah, okay, you can do that one too until we get to the point, which is the principle. But that's fine. Well, I mean, it, it's <laughs> comparable. Like, the content didn't ask to be reacted to. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, did you see how that content is? It is, it is a lack of consent. What You're, was the video that last week? Yeah. Um, were you going to say something for me? I couldn't catch that or not. Nah, I, no, let's let's press on. Hours, and then it's like and they leave something to watch, and people are like, "Why? Why would you? Oh my God, you're literally stealing content!" It's like, okay, dude. Saying I'm that with a smile on your face is really that's I really just, um like the counter argument. Yeah. Okay, dude. Yeah. Okay, oh. dude, with a smile on your face as well. You know. This video is just gonna be like a bit of a cope. Um. So. Bit of a. Uh, I, so, like, I, it, I will ask now, is my microphone still doing the flume? Because if it is, this next piece of criticism is going to be super awkward. <laughs> is my mic not yes. is my mic Only is partially my still doing, doing it. To be fair, I assume your criticism is going to be very different from what is happening to your microphone, which is beyond is, your control. It is, but the problem it's is that it's, it's just got to be, it's got to be nice and awkward. Is the mic doing the super duper flump or is, is it? It's just a it possible is? one, like one per yeah, ten like, words. I, I can understand no, what you're saying. Yeah. No, no, it's a minor. I don't like that. Hold on. It's a minor. It just, we'll keep pressing on. I'm just going to try and fix this. I will save the criticism until I feel my mic is working 100% well, and I super can, duper. I can so. picture what you're going to complain about because... Uh, there's that thing that happens when you've got a particularly wet mouth and you get real close and you, you know, you're just talking and you're just 
doing that, and it can be pretty fucking annoying. You're allowed to vicariously <laughs> make these criticisms while I sort out this <laughs> microphone. It, it, it kind of sounds like you get like a big scoop of peanut butter. Yeah. And you just, oh, and you go. Mm -hmm. Um. Yeah, a lot of people say ASMR. It's like, yeah, I guess in ASMR, it's like that's the, pe the thing that people are looking for. But bad. What are you doing? Like, I don't know mm -hmm. why, but the sure microphones. Everyone wants to shove them into their face. Some people do it just fine. Some other people have decided they need to have their lips right next to it, otherwise it doesn't work. Well, it kind of reminds me, like, you know, whenever you listen to, like, talkback radio and it's some dude who's got, like, a... It's usually a really fat guy, and they... It's really... <gasps> like, the really heavy <laughs> breath. <laughs> <laughs> Like, out from just talking. <laughs> sorry, I'm just oh, dude. like yeah, these types of noises. Sorry, sorry I was like, I mean, actually, I'm, so I'm, I'm flustered. <laughs> <laughs> like those sounds. Just, hey, look, sometimes yeah. the cheeks they get in the way, and you need to wobble them back. All right, that's how that works. Mm -hmm. So I can actually answer from a tech side of things the sure oh. microphone situation. Well, because everyone uses those microphones now. Every every fucking podcaster, every YouTuber. I know why mic. it's happening, because it cancels out sound, like, other than the cone that goes directly into your mouth, but that does not mean you have to fucking drive your nose into the actual thing. Well, well there's, what, a, there's what, a good what, distance that you learn to put your mouth away from the microphone whenever you're recording. I learned this lesson very harshly when I recorded a good third of my Endgame video, like, in a batch, and then I listened to it, and I was very upset, because bad, bad. there are a it lot of a bad, bad noises. Wait, a why lot does of everyone ads? use sure microphones? Uh, what, what well, I mean, they're pretty good quality, line, yeah. and they're yeah, like they're reasonably technical. cheap for the quality. Mm -hmm. But also, um, what everyone forgets is that it needs a preamp. No one ever hooks up a preamp to that model of sure microphone. I'm using it right now, and I'm actually very far away from it. And I think I'm pretty. You, you can kind of you can hear me pretty well. It's not like yeah. I have to yeah, you sound get good. really close not your to horn, the horn, no, but you, yeah, not the horn, yeah, not but like I, it's because I have a preamp hooked up to the mic, which allows it to pick up more sound without without raising up the um the volume of the background. So you need an actual preamp hooked up and powered, or else that mic is gonna always sound like shit. And nobody Wait, has sorry. a preamp. Are you talking about like the audio interface specifically, or what? What is the difference? You know how like with an XLR microphone, you got to hook it up to a thing that is powered like by its own Excel. source, and then that goes to the microphone. Or yes, yes. So most most mics take like twelve volt, twelve volt yeah, power. I think. That's right. But a preamp yeah. also takes a bunch more volts that a, a tiny source can't handle. So you need, you need okay. either like you, you need you need like a, a an extra power, which, which you you can you can buy those for like thirty bucks, or you need just like a a source that has like like a like a forty eight volt switch on it, but basically you have to hook up preamp to your Sure mic. Everyone, hook up preamps to your Sure mics. You heard it's it here, folks. Sure. Uh, I just used you some cheapo depot USB mic. Uh, well, those <laughs> I think those do you fine anyway. But on yeah. it, well, what I've discovered isn't even it's not necessarily the mic you have; it's how you use it. Um, it is. Yeah. How you, I knew someone yeah. who sounded great for such a long time. They told me they were using a blue snowball, and I was like, "Fucking hell, that's like one of the." It's like that, then the Yeti, then the. Um, mm -hmm. uh, you think they the have AT a yellow snowball? Then, uh, <laughs> if they pee on it, but uh, I don't think. Yeah, see, I, oh jeez. So we got started doing YouTube. I'm real old. We got started <laughs> in 2009, and we bought a uh, a AT 2020 back then, and back then it was great. Um, oh, that's yeah. what I use now. AT twenty twenty is a good plus. boy. Yeah. Yep. So that's a pretty good. That's a pretty good. Using it now, highly recommend. I've had it for many years. As have I. It, Julian in the chat says that the Shure needs a cloud lifter. Julian I don't like the chat? cloud lifter. What? I don't. I actually don't like the cloud lifter. I have um the stealth preamp instead, because the stealth preamp is like this. It's this little thing that plugs stealth right thing. in, and it, it it it's it's black. It it's the same. It's the same shade of black as the mic. It fits right in. You don't even see it. It's great. I, you know, I always knew Dev was in favor of stealthing. Yeah. Stealthing. Oh, oh God. Black on black. Are you bringing that that discourse up? Jeez. The oh, stealthing yeah. discourse. Come on. So anyway, back to the video. Sorry. The sorry, sorry. I'm sorry. Speaking of discourse, it feels I don't know. I can't say for sure. Maybe the video is actually really really good, but it feels like certain people have a certain idea of what should be or what ought to be. 
such that yeah, no one. Everybody, ever, <laughs> sorry, everybody has an idea of what ought to be. Everybody has an idea of what ought to be. Yeah, <laughs> welcome to being a human being with an opinion on life. I would love you to find someone who doesn't have a view of what. <laughs> you know, I, I'm pretty, and and if they don't have a view, that is their view that they don't have a view. So it's they kind of are impossible. Done, what done? Um, that's a good point she raises, I think. Yeah. Certain yeah. people I learned have an opinion on the <laughs> way that the world ought to be. It's not like that's how pretty much all of society is. Excuse me, Whatever. sir, do you have an opinion on how things ought to be? And he's like, I guess so. Leave me alone. Ah, you're one of those certain people, according to Denims. <laughs> no. Make me. Um... Such that, like, they feel they oh, need man. to dictate what <laughs> other noises. people's content is like, I guess? Such so that they you. feel they need to dictate what other people's content is like, which you will do throughout this entire video. Of course. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Because, of course, everybody will. Invariably. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, if someone said to, to me, like, don't you think it's fucked up that everyone's like, oh, you know what video essayists should be doing is this. This is what long-form people should be doing. This is what, I'm just like, what? No, that's just what everyone does. What do you mean? Mm -hmm. Streaming isn't supposed to be watching uh, uh, boobies. And getting in a hot tub, that's not what you're supposed to do. You know what I mean? Um, I'm assuming Wait. she's referencing, like, that, that discourse is really old. We're talking, like, 2010 when people were saying, like, they didn't like that female streamers would benefit from just Cheat. getting their boobies out. Um, yeah. Yeah. While male streamers obviously have to be entertaining. We're not allowed to take our cocks out. Um, <laughs> well, I, I'm pretty sure there was a guy who did, um, like, weightlifting for a while. He was shit off and he got a uh, temp band. For wow. like doing that, and, and, and yep. I remember people being like, "Man, this doesn't seem fair," like um, at all. And then, of course, the discourse of like, "Is it respectable to have a stream that is doing really well when all you do is really just look pretty?" And you know, um, there was a big you debate. Just jiggle around. Uh, that I mean, that's what Gal Gadot does for a living, so I suppose. There's a, yeah. this is the, this is kind of the thing. It's it's more She's so to do with act. what what is Twitch as a platform? <sighs> what is supposed to be there? Quote unquote. I don't. I don't. It's, it's a little bit complicated and. Also, it'd be frustrating if, um, if, 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 if as a guy you're trying really hard and then it's like, if you just had boobies, like, fuck. Yeah, but is she being serious or is she mocking this position? Oh, no, she's mocking that there were people back then saying just because you have boobies doesn't mean you should be successful. It shouldn't even be on Twitch. Then there were, like, I would even okay. go as far as saying maybe Puritans who were like, I don't want to see any skin on my children's gaming stream place. And it's like, I mean, it's, <laughs> I mean right. I, um, well, I mean, I, I, I understand that point of view, but the alternate, like, like the other side of it is you, you had people like Casey Tron who, you know, blew up their tits to be three quarters of the stream. Yeah. And the gameplay was, it was like right in the corner, a tiny little window of gameplay in the corner. Yeah. It's like, all right, yeah, you know, no, we're here, to, we're here fact, to watch video games. Come on. I don't know if um, anyone in chat or, or this cast knows about this, but there was, there was a big debate between Div HD, Sky Williams... I think they were against Casey Tron and Destiny, and Tall Biscuit came in to help moderate it. Um, you can still find it; that debate exists, and it's about booby streamers. Uh, mm -hmm. That is an old reference. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't know if people if Civ HD is still around. Like, I don't know if he's still doing stuff or not. Um, but yeah, and then of course, recently, as she's referencing, is the uh, the hot tub stuff. It's like, should hot tub streams be a thing on Twitch, or should they be outright banned by TOS? Because it's like a way around stuff. I think they literally had it their rules. Like you can't be in like a bikini. Unless of course there is water. And you're in like a, a beach or a water. And so they're like so what if I had water <laughs> in a hot tub in my room. What if I had like a literal <laughs> fucking paddling pool in my room. And then you know they just started to push the rules and it worked. What, why would they have ever written that in the rules? Like I who's like I... oh I'm going to go stream at the beach. I think it was because there was a lot of IRL streams happening, right? And some people did go to the beach, mm -hmm. and so it was like, we don't want to ban people for being in a bikini at the beach, I guess. Yeah, but it doesn't make any, like, how does that make sense? Like, oh, you can have, you can be in a bikini in this location on stream, but you can't be in a bikini in your room on stream. Yeah, well, so this is the thing, that's what putting the hot tub in your room started to fuck. Right, the, yeah, Which were like, like, fuck, yeah. how do we deal with this now? I think that's kind of inevitable when you're trying to make rules. I guess, because it's like, some people are going to be like, oh, you got this rule here and this rule here, so what if I combo them up? Do they cancel each other out? That sort of shit. And, yeah, there's a lot of discourse about... For me, I was just like, how fucking odd that hot tub streams were the new meta, that getting into a hot tub is the way to get viewers. It's like, what is happening? Well, we know what the real problem is. Guys are Women. just a bunch of simps. Guys don't That's know about also fucking 
like porn free sites, porn. I guess. Yeah, yeah, like it, it's weird. I always wonder that. Don't you know yes. there's an unlimited it's supply a, of free it, yes. pornography that exists I mean, on the I internet? At all is, times? This is the broader conversation about like kind of this issue that I think seems to exist in a, in large number, I guess now, where it's like parasocial paired with mm. more intimate. It's just like a really. It's it's like it seems to just be an incredibly potent pairing that is um probably like a little bit concerning a, a little bit it's yeah pretty concerning I would say. lonely men it's right a like it's a problem yeah yeah I mean, lonely yeah well here here's me being a boomer again but I just have I have a fond memory of the era of Twitch where if you weren't playing video games you would be banned off. The Oh, be, that was an era, yeah. I remember it well. That was like 2010 or something, or 2009. And they were like, you know what? You're not playing games? You're out. But yeah, they've expanded oh, a lot shit. since then. Yes. And this is the thing. If someone said, like, wait, so you want them to do that? It's like, uh, it's, it's more so just um, things were simpler, and I guess the meta felt a little bit more fair, because everyone has to compete to commentate on video games. But then once you add in, like, but you can be in a hot tub, it's like, uh, oh... <laughs> Okay. <laughs> um, so, uh, I don't know. It, to come back to the video, I find it amusing that she's like, people complaining about all these things. Like, all these things are conversations to be had. I think they're fair that people want to talk about them because everyone's competing mm -hmm. on these sites and they, they when they introduce something like a hot tub meta, it's like, fucks with everybody's perception of how to compete. I understand. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I think like I, I think I, I gave the solution last, last week. The solution just seems to be split them into two sites. A gaming site and a not gaming site. Why not just have Twitch and Justin go go back to that? You know. Well, yeah, you could uh, you call it Twitch and Twitch After Dark, right? Make it a <laughs> no Twitch Twitch After Dark. Dark. Yeah, that's the, they always do that with like <laughs> adult versions of things after dark. after dark. Yeah, just call one Twitch and the other one Twat. Yeah. Perfect. And it's like, okay, well, who are you to dictate that? The platform should dictate I'm the that, dictator. or you? What, it, no, it, nobody's. The platform <laughs> should dictate that. Calm I, down. I said what there. people's interests are, though. Like the, that's how it's going to work. Who the platform responds to the people who use the platform. Nobody's dictating shit. They're just giving their opinion. Yeah, that was always weird. Something so I, I like this. Inflated. The... Denim's the socialist. The platform should dictate. Oh, they are right. They they always enjoy saying the platform. Oh, they love it when Twitter dictates yeah. the things that they like. And oh yeah, as long as they're doing the things I want. Oh yeah, authoritarian all the way, baby. You bet. Mm -hmm. Then they ban someone they like. Top like, down. Whoa. Revolution. You know, DMCA's would dictate that. You know what I mean? No. And also, it's the same thing with this. It's like I know you have an idea of what you think React content should be, and it's yeah, correct. because yeah. everybody but has. Or what you know, things should be. That's like your opinion, man. <laughs> Thank yeah. you for letting me know that my opinion is my opinion. That was very insightful. Thank you. That is, what At least you got a tautology like, out of you, which means it's technically accurate. Good yay, job. You did, you it. did it. Hooray. That was that was a very long winded way of saying nothing. <laughs> I know. No, she said no... that your opinion is your opinion. I, I mean, that's that's. Have you ever considered? Have you ever considered that before? Have you ever considered that something is something? Rags, you make it yes. sound it's stupid. Not, because not only is something it is what something, it is, man. It, that it just, thing is it what is it is. is. You're trying to make yeah. it sound stupid. When, what in actuality she said was a lot of people have feelings about whether or not certain things should happen regarding many different subjects, including, and then give several examples. And ultimately, those perspectives aren't something they can enforce. They really do boil down to the fact that they're just their perspectives. I feel like that's very yeah. intelligent. What you said sounded really dumb and silly, and you, you boiled it down, and that's not nice, okay? I did save us a lot of time, though. Just rags <laughs> at it again. Dishonest rags at it again. <laughs> the video says you should add something when watching other people's videos. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I recognize that. But the thing is, there's so, 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 I, are there streamers who just watch content and say nothing? You. Fucking you. Them. Well, them. if you say words, but the words mean nothing, is that saying nothing? It feels that way, but I'm just, I just find word. it amusing that she's asking this question when she does it all the time. I say all the time, you'll see more evidence as we progress. Yay. Literally nothing the whole time? And if you have a problem and you're like, I don't want you to be able to watch my content on your stream, then you can just fucking send a fucking DMCA notice or whatever. No. Yeah, but, wow. You shouldn't that. have to. That's the solution. Just DMCA me, bro. It's like, really? Ugh.
Meanwhile, as someone who, you know, works on YouTube and stuff, I'm like, oh, DMC, this is like a big deal. Like, I got to deal with this crap and mm -hmm. YouTube might mysteriously not cite and, you know, with me and I'm obviously correct. And now I've, it's delays my video and this corporation might wait the 30 days and fuck around with me. Like, they don't realize that this is a big deal for some people. And they're just like, just DMCA me. Like, no, no, don't. This yeah, is like a pain in the ass to my livelihood. It's, it's well, amazing that she's like appealing to the fact that she wants you to use it when it's a system that all creators fucking hate for the most part. I despise it. I hate it. Well, and on Twitch, I mean, almost all the views that Twitch streamers get is live, right? They don't really get a lot of playback. So DMCAing after the fact isn't going to do anything. Well, and the fact that you don't even know when it's happening. It's funny to right. me. She's like, it's your job to find out whether or not it's even happening to your stuff. And then it's up to you to, to file all the DMCA shit. Oh. You know, Morality. you could just not steal stuff. And she's like, what? No. <laughs> if you're reacting to one video and you are reacting to the video and then you're going to edit it down, you're going to just edit down all the things that you said that were funny. And if you think of something that's funny later, you can just go back in and talk about it. You know what I mean? So you can be like, wait, so like, what is so what, that's what, the point that you're so making? So she just described making a video where you react to a video, but it's not live. So, okay, I'm following. I don't, that's yeah, I feel like this is the premise of a point, not yeah, a like point. We're, we're going somewhere. Reacting, look at the funny, oh my god, funny. And then you, and then that when there's like blocks where you're saying nothing, you just cut that out because it's not funny. But on stream, you have to do that for like, like fucking five hours straight. Yeah, so Are you that's, you chose to do this is this was your choice. You chose to do it on live instead of as a video. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's you're streaming. You could play a game. View of it, yeah. There's so many I things mean, you I, can do. You could debate. You could do something else. You know. It's a very strange well, mindset to have. It's just like when you're a streamer, you have to be on the ball all the time. And you're just like, okay, why why did you choose to do it if you're finding it so hard? Yeah, it's like, oh, I'm an underwater oil rig welder, and oh, I have to make sure that I use the right kind of, you know, welding equipment so I don't superheat yeah. the water and cause an explosion, sometimes and oh, sometimes that. there's these currents that pull you me know. down, and I drown, and it's like, oh, it's just so, like, then don't be that thing, man, like, and plus, Does... this is almost a soft implication that <laughs> streaming is the real work. Yeah, completely. Like, it's easy to just video. edit a video. Content, yeah. yeah, editing it's a video, you never run the video. risk of stealing content. But with streaming, you took also five hours. It's like, wow, can you guys imagine trying to commentate on videos for five long hours in a row? Nope, impossible. No, I can never been do done. Never been done in in human Arguably history. Arguably, not even possible. That's why no one does it. And does so it count? We should be able to no. steal a video every four hours or so, then? I think that's how that works. Uh, yeah, we side. don't do it all the time. No, 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 no. As long as we don't do it all the time, I think that's a valid defense from what I've been told. Yeah. Does it count when... And Destiny does this a lot, and I think this is really pushing the line. Is like, he'll play a video game, and then he'll put up... Like, you can see the game he's playing on the screen... And then he'll be listening to like a different conversation or debate, and he'll add, he'll only comment on it like every fifteen minutes, and he'll say like one sentence. Or I, something. I don't think he does much transforming a lot of the time. It's only, it's yeah, only when it's he's like, passionate about the video that he transforms it. Really? Yeah, I'm like mm, that's a little sketch. That's a little sketchy. Dude, a lot. It's it's infectious. It's throughout Twitch, and I think it's just the fact that nobody's doing anything about it. So whatever, right? Like, yeah, there's right. no reason to curb that behavior. It, there's no pressure on them to change, so they keep doing it. Yep. Well, is it okay if, like, if everyone's doing it to each other? Like, if you know, everyone's well, producing some content that everyone else watches for the week. You know, I think if you got permission, it's fine. So, for example, if you spend your whole day reacting to streamer x and then streamer x is like i'm gonna react to your reaction to my reaction on my stream or streamer x yeah uh, and, and you just back and forth and you're like yeah i know mm -hmm. they're cool with it and i'm cool with it blah blah, blah. But then when you throw in a, someone like jxe video and it's just like i don't care if there's there's any appreciation or coolness with any of this i'm just gonna do it because fuck it i can't be asked to check it's like oh i well, feel like there's that's... a good foundational sort of principle that people should be aware of and adhere to that is healthy um mm -hmm. That well, the funny doesn't thing seem is, to be in anyone's thought process at all. You remember our first video on all of this, all the way back when I, I gave like context for uh, the Jinx stuff back in YouTube and, and everything. And then we watched um, oh, yeah. Critical's sort of take on Jay's video. We watched it in real time, and therefore we were 
trampling over Jay's video ourselves, but I made sure before then to be like, is this alright, by the way, Jay? We're pretty much going to be playing your video through his plague of your video to watch him not react. <laughs> and then he was just like, yeah, that's fine. And I was like, yeah, okay, cool. Like, it's really easy to do. And as you saw in our last week's coverage, our Elven got fucking pissed when he found out the idea that he, he may have to ask permission to steal content. Oh yeah, mm -hmm. he was ang he was upset at the idea he might have to ask for permission. Yes. Well, because he said that it's the idea is that it's there's implicit consent uh, <laughs> that all YouTube videos can be watched, and that there. And it just can so happens retracted. that this consent is in his favor. Yes, and it and right. it must be retracted in order for you to stop instead of oh, the yeah. other way around, where you should ask or alternatively transform the content. Him describing the system and how it works, you could only be like, man, it's convenient for you, isn't it? Like how all this yes, works. What a coincidence, yeah. It just I happens think, to work out. I think the problem is that streamers generally will react to other streamers, and they kind of exist in this parasitical, symbiotic relationship, so they don't care. But So then they kind of take that same attitude, and they think that applies to someone like Jay, or someone mm -hmm. who doesn't, who's not streaming, but just making content. But the difference is they, the person who's just making content and edited videos is not gaining generally from the streaming, the way that the streamers gain, gain from streaming each other. And well, they need to I take think, that into consideration. Well, I mean, ultimately, gain is irrelevant on the matter of, like, principle. It doesn't really matter. Like, if someone does it and it benefits you, that may well just, you may not want to do anything about that, but still... It's like, it's the broad principle of ask or transform, and that's Right, it. no, but I mean, like, to... streamers will stream other streamers' content, because they all stream, it's like it's like a circle. All the streamers yeah, yeah, will stream each other's content. They, they exist in that ecosystem. And then they kind of don't realize that not they everybody Yeah, does. they don't have the right, capacity exactly. to, to include, like, a fellow, a different ecosystem into their own one. They're just like, no, you'll conform to ours, because that's all I know. Bingo, right. Are you kidding me? And that actually... Oh, sorry. That oh, that actually that actually reminds me. Um, so the recent Destiny banning thing. Everyone's everyone's acting like they've killed Destiny. They've finally <laughs> conquered the dragon. They've uh -huh. taken the keep. You uh -huh. know, and it's like, well, he's still on YouTube. He can still watch your stuff and <laughs> yeah. laugh at you. He still has viewers. Yeah, he's he's not banned view... from reacting to other Twitch streamers. They're banned from reacting no. to him now. He, oh he's, yeah, he's not they, banned from point. reality. Yeah. Like, that's a good point. It, there's they. They have this view of Twitch as being this this insular community of like their guys, and if there's people on it who are not their guys, they gotta go. With the exception, of course, like the esports people and the people who are very disconnected. From but they have they have this view of like Twitch politics as being a club, a very high school like club. And mm -hmm. I think that's that kind of explains a lot of their behavior and a lot of their behavior here. Well, yeah. I think for a lot of Twitch streamers, like with Destiny since he is banned and since no one on Twitch, I guess, can show his content, then to a lot of Twitch streamers, he doesn't exist. They'll never see his content. And that's well, all they said, care about. You can feature him, but you cannot... No, you can you can react to him, but you can't feature him. I thought it was literally you can't have any of their content on your stream. Right, that's what I thought, too. Well, that's how it works. Which, by the way, is insane. Um, that is insane. Because, to be fair, that means all you need to do, if you're a particularly controversial figure who suffers from people on Twitch reacting to your stuff, is get a Twitch account, Fucking break the rules, <laughs> get banned, and then you can no longer be reacted to. Right. Like genius. What system yeah. is this? And you know, this is another example. Twitch were like, oh man, if we ban someone and then they go on someone else's stream to be able to stream, that means we're not stopping them. I guess we'll make a rule so that you can't possibly show them on your stream. It's like that. Don't you understand what you've just done? Well, he here's here's the rub, because this is already happening, what you're I describing. Um Lauren Southern decided after destiny got banned because those two have been palling around recently um she decided to go on her stream and just stream one of destiny's debates outright and she got banned pretty much instantly for it and she said yeah i'm getting myself banned because fuck twitch yeah i heard about that um i heard lewis so rossman was quitting twitch because of it as well mm -hmm. yeah he made a video it's really good so well, it, uh, it just uh, seems like it seems like people like so, so for example let's say you um you made a video and BreadTube is now Vosh is gonna do is he's I'm talking about this guy on my stream today. Everyone's gonna react to you now and you're like, I wanna avoid this heat. All you have to do is turn on your Twitch stream, stream Destiny, 
get yourself banned. And then they can't react to your content without getting themselves banned. And that's basically what people are going to start doing now because Lorenzo has already done it. It's an interesting exploit, isn't it? And it and the the yeah. super interesting thing is that someone might be like, "So you think he shouldn't have been banned?" It's like we don't even know why he got banned. I didn't say. That's great that's, that a massive so, platform can just fucking ban your ass and your income and cut you off from your audience and not even give a fucking reason. Disgusting. Is, yeah, just really. So what top a great tier, world. Good stuff. Mm -hmm. Everyone loves that. That's awesome. That's great. Did we mention that we don't like Twitch as a platform, by the way? <laughs> like this, to be fair, we fucking hate a lot about YouTube, too, but uh, I just prefer YouTube to Twitch at this point with everything I know. You can't be that funny for that long. <laughs> <laughs> well, speak for yourself, sister. Speak for yourself. Also, the people who be like, why don't you react harder, tend to be the most unfunny people on the planet. They tend to be the people who, that like... Doesn't, so you that can... doesn't actually matter. doesn't yeah. matter. It doesn't right. matter, also, not a point, and we're hilarious. It sounds, so. sounds a little, it's easy. A little someone, bitter, someone to be honest. A meal, you cut into the chicken, and it's like, oh, cool, this is, like, raw. And then it's like, hey, look, all right, you can't cook, you fuck. Like, why do you <laughs> think you're in a position to judge my cooking, piece yeah, of Yeah, where's shit? your Michelin star? Eat your, eat your medium rare chicken. If someone tells a joke and you're like, hmm, that wasn't very funny, and they go, are you funny? You're like, I, I, I don't, uh... <laughs> calm like, down. It's like, what, what I mean, I came to this comedic club for you to make me laugh. Like, what are you talking about? Oh, funny guy. Why'd you come on the stage? <laughs> like, I, 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 uh, but yeah, it's, 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 it's like the people who say this are usually not funny. It's like, you got them, Denims. Got them. Tend to be the most <laughs> unfunny people on the planet. They tend to be the people who, also, like, you, made that you, up. Can, you can create a whole ass setup for them and they can't even, like, capitalize. Interesting a whole choice ass of words. Set up for them, and they can't even words. capitalize. Yeah, interesting choice of words, isn't it? I don't even know what that means. You give them all the stuff socialist. they need, and then they just sit there not being funny. That's what she's. Oh, I thought she she because setup is normally like a setup and then a punchline, and she was talking about comedy. So I thought it was like you gave them a joke, like the start of a joke, and they couldn't. They're so unfunny that they couldn't finish no. the joke. It's weird. That if might you be close what she's your saying, eyes. actually. I've heard her say that before. That might be one of the parts of this video. You might be right, Rex, actually. It, if you close your eyes and you listen to her and you replace her voice with Hassan's in your head, no. it's like there's like she's just copying the kinds of things he would say, almost word for word. Vapid, empty nonsense that is, yes. yeah, you're kind of right. somehow yeah. satisfies them. <laughs> it's like, okay, as long as you're happy, I guess. On stream, there would be downtime where commentary can't be made and chat would lose its mind if the streamer kept pausing. Dude, chat like gets Dude. mad at me for pausing. I Don't give a fuck. Matter. Hey, hey, Doesn't EFAP matter. chat. We like have trained you at this point to not fucking even bother <laughs> complaining about pausing. If you do, it's like, why are you here? <laughs> yeah. No it's, point. It's just type and practice. That's all it is. Yep, uh, that's, that's what we we know we have new people in chat who are saying it. Cause it's like, what? The, the point I'm making here is that no matter how many people in chat are like, please stop pausing, it ain't ha anything happening. But she's seeming to say, look how mad chat would get if I was to pause more. Crazy. Everything I do is for chat. They are my lords and masters. Which I have no will of my true. own. Like, <laughs> Listen, I don't know about you guys, but the most fun thing to me about streaming is pissing off chat. <laughs> They're all like pause harder. <laughs> oh, we we piss off chat and we don't we don't even it just happens. It's just an emergent <laughs> mm -hmm. But no, of course. Yeah, they don't even know I'm having stuff. If so, if one person in chat said like I'm gonna leave if you continue to pause, that's what we're like, oh god, we, we gotta stop pausing, oh, guys. That's it. Damn. Oh, we no, don't wanna no, lose no, no. we don't wanna use we wanna lose Barfy three six nine X. That would be bad if that happened. That's one of the things, man. Like, you know, before he got banned, he would have been, uh, Destiny would have been in their sort of ecosystem doing similar things. He, um, he's one of the only streamers that just he commissioned himself a fucking BRB screen. I don't know why none of them can do that. Um, but you don't even have to commission it. You can fucking draw BRB. You know? Well, I mean, they can. They just don't, they feel like if they throw it up, they'll just lose viewers. Which well, is, I mean, to be fair, you do. Not having yeah, a lot of confidence I have a BRB ability. Mm -hmm. so I put mine matter. up sometimes, and, like a... but it's the right thing to do. It doesn't matter if you lose viewers, it's the right thing to do. Yeah, well, I, I want to like, make if, if money someone... as a socialist. Here's a, like a, <laughs> a, a different take there, because like, when I was streaming, if someone said, whoa, 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 you can't put up a BRB screen, you'll lose viewers, I'd be like, well, yeah, but I mean... Yeah, that's what happens when you don't work. 
Yeah, I was like, let them back after the break. Like, come on. I'm, look, it it, it 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 only follows to me. Like, it's not some kind of horrible realization. I'm just job. like, oh, well, there they go. That's 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 fine. People are coming in and out of this stream all the time. I, I like, I told people I'll be back in ten minutes. Like, if they can't handle that, that's that's them. Like, <laughs> yeah. If they leave, if they're not willing to wait ten minutes for me, then, if well, then maybe I need to step up my game, or maybe. That's my level of entertainment, or maybe some people have short attention spans. Mm -hmm. But in most jobs, this is just it, it's a detachment from the the typical job that should be normal. You don't get paid on your lunch break. Mm -hmm. You clock out for that shit. You have to clock out. Like there's laws saying that you have to give employees lunch breaks for X amount of hours worked, and you don't get paid for that. That's normal. I thought you don't get. Yeah. You could like. There's so many options that it feels weird to even suggest one, but just like, did your fans make any clips or supercuts of anything you've done? And maybe you could put that on while you're gone? No? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I was actually about to about to mention that because a lot of people do that. And in, in, not in their politics, I mean, like on, on the gaming side of Twitch, if yeah. they're gone for five minutes, they'll put up like a, you know, a two minute or a five minute reel of like funny moments recently. Because and... she's, she's treating them like, um, you know, like babies with object permanence, where if you disappear for a second, they're like, "Oh God, they're gone, I'm out," and it's just like, "Okay." If oh, you... dearest mother, you're back! Oh my goodness! If you gracious, only need I to just disappear behind those hands forever, ten minute portion oh of goodness. you playing like an old vod of you playing whatever game. It's just like, yeah, do that then. If that keeps them in, just do that. It's like, no, I have to steal someone's video. You're like, oh, down, 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 down. That's the only thing you can do. Down, be doo be down. I bet you there's someone in here who's like, can this stupid bitch just press play? <laughs> She's watched 30 minutes of the video. Truly, how are we going to get through this hour? You know what I mean? Is this so, so people that we would rather have. watch the thing you're watching than watch you? Interesting denims, but carry on. Mm. Is this a Frogan emote or is this like a, like a BTTV emote? Because Chad, just so you know, don't, don't take other people's emotes. For the people who in here who make emotes and stuff or publish them, don't take other people's emotes. Now, to make sure you understand what just happened, because I had to explain this. The way it works on Twitch is that you have built-in emotes based on channels, and then you have ones that are attached to, like, uh, third-party sort of things like BTTV and uh, Frank Z, I think, are ways to do it. So the idea is you can yep. upload custom ones, and if you download that as an extension, they will appear for you and your the people who have also done it. Now, the reason why that's so good is you have an emote limit for your channel, depending on how many subs you have, I think, or your mm -hmm. current status with Twitch. But mm -hmm. if you get that service, then you can add a whole bunch like free of charge, essentially. I think you can even add to them, but whatever. She's saying, oh, that emote I just spotted, that's pretty cool. Is it from person's channel? Because if you've taken it from person's channel and uploaded it to BTTV to make it show up like that, that means you've taken their emote, and I don't like that you would do that. Don't take it. Make sure it's original. Don't you think that's interesting for her to say, considering the conversation taking yeah. place? I think it is. I think it's interesting. Makes me think this is only there to uh, kind of sort of signal her virtue. No, I think Ooh, I think it's legit. I think she doesn't like the idea of stealing most. She just hasn't connected how she's stealing shit from people who are on YouTube. <laughs> right. If, she's if, a dumbass. Right. If the theft can make her yeah, lose again. money, potentially it's bad. But if she can gain from it by thieving from someone else, then it's okay. Kind of, my theory oh, the is way, it's much simpler. She understands the immorality of stealing someone else's artwork in the form of an emote and putting it up for yourself to enjoy. She does not, however, understand stealing someone else's video work as a thing that she can use to make her audience enjoy a thing and well, herself for nothing. She doesn't so if see we can the connection. just make our videos, if, if we can make our videos an emote form, yes. she'll never. <laughs> feel one. They broadcast in like fifty by fifty resolution, like pictographs, sort of. <laughs> not like hieroglyphics, but sort of like like um. God, what what's the name of a language where you you the symbols mean like you have like a picture of a bird means bird Asian, Asian <laughs> Chinese. So <laughs> Chinese moon non -phon non phonetic. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what don't those know sorts of things are called. Isn't it hieroglyphic actually? No, there's a no. That's the word. that's a reference to sort of the symbols themselves, not what the symbols mean. Because hieroglyphics oh, okay. have like sounds and things for the symbols, but I think like a lot of the uh, American Indian cultures kind of had a language that was built around there. Um, but I'm not sure. Logographic, pictographic. So I'm seeing those, but well, in any event, do you, do well, you really think she doesn't understand? 
well, so difference to clarify, here? some people it seems like, like willingly, will, people willful so ignorance so to me. Yeah, like, I this, think she gets this, it. I think she doesn't care. Some people are saying, is it a, isn't this a joke? So, so this would be something that you'd probably have to take seriously as a Twitch streamer. If your community are stealing emotes from another channel, that's going to piss people off because a lot of them are custom made uh, and cost a decent chunk of money. So if you just take them so, for yourself and upload them to BTTV and have them for free, that would probably piss off the other person that you've gotten them from. Maybe I'm confused. What is BTTV? So it is a third-party extension that you can add that... Say, for example, right now... Like Chrome add-on? Yeah. The, 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 if you type in, like, lull on Twitch, you'll get a Toll Biscuit laughing. But say you wanted okay. one like that, but golden then you can upload that version to BTTV and call it LUL1 or something like that. And as long as everyone has BTTV, they will see that whenever someone types LUL1. But then, of course, you can extend that then to like, wait, couldn't I just upload like all of the rarest and coolest emotes from the top channels you. and steal them all for myself? And it's like, you could, but that would be poor etiquette, I would imagine. And I think that's what she's saying right now is like, I hope you haven't stolen that from... The other channel. So emotes on Twitch, they're like things you unlock for your community and stuff like that? In a sense, in yeah. A sense. You, you you would, you know, uh, subscribe to a channel on Twitch and you get access to their emotes. Their emotes are the things that they uploaded and oftentimes have paid for. Okay. So it's like a video game skin that you earn, sort of, and someone could just mod it into the game instead. Yeah, that's a great way to put it, actually. Okay. All right. All right. And that's All why has been made clear. Elucidation does... complete. She understands that that would be immoral. She does not understand how stealing videos would be immoral. Or at least, okay. as, as was okay. theorized just a moment ago, she might not care. Yeah, that's Rags is true. officially a boomer now because Mahler explained BTTV to Rags. I don't watch Twitch. I yeah, don't know anything gonna, I was about say, it. Twitch culture is something that I get mystified by every once in a while, too. Yeah, I don't know what mauled means. I mold no, molding I, is I, mold. Oh, man. Mold. When when someone says mold to me, I'm like, oh, that's not good. You want to like take care of that because it's not healthy to have that. You might have water damage. Mold. That you need to tend to. Mold. A, not O. Yeah, yeah. Not, not mold, but um, still. Mold. But I thought it was mad and old. I thought it was mad and bald. <laughs> what if Molding. it's what if it's bald and old? Well, then you're what bold. if it's what mad if it's mold and, and mold and bald? That's what it is. I'm telling you, it's bald. It's mad and balding. Badness and balding. balding. That's where it comes from. Okay. Vimo, because Chad, just you know, don't don't take other people's emotes. For the people who in here who make emotes and stuff or publish them, don't take other people's emotes. <laughs> just whips right over top, knocks him. Okay, I already feel like there's a bias here. Because so far, every single person that he's yeah. shown on stream that makes good React content is not American. So this guy just doesn't like Americans, for sure. <laughs> what? <laughs> I assume what? it's a joke. The tone she delivers that with, though, doesn't come across as a joke. It's pretty I can't there. tell with these people. From, say, like, they uh, say it so seriously. Mm -hmm. Like, I think chat have reacted kind of like... Like, when I first heard this, I was like, is she serious? That, like, she's annoyed that all the people that Jay has shown Skyrim's doing good Canadian. React content aren't American, therefore bias. It's like, uh... Because so far, every single person that he's shown on stream that makes good React content is not American. So this guy just doesn't like Americans, for sure. He's so far shown, like, sure. three or four different people or whatever the fuck it is, and they've all, all of them have been non-American, so... But her delivery is just like everything That's else. Really, there's I... no, there's no wink, there's no, like, tell, there's no inflection issue, and there's no, like... When I say something seriously, but it's meant to be a joke, I wait and to see how people take it before mm -hmm. the react, you know, the reveal comes in, the prestige, if you will. The only uh, um, but part that gives it away is the content of what she said is so stupid that it has to be a joke, right? Like, that's it. Uh, I don't think it was. Like if she just said, though. if she just said one line about it and be like, oh, maybe she was just joking, but she she kept kind of going with it. She did, yeah. She she repeated the point like twice to make sure we understand and the she problem. Did, yeah, she repeated the point without adding to it, like making it more ridiculous or funny. So I think it was a legit. I think this thought. is real. This yeah. seems yeah, real to me. She's, uh, she's serious, but uh, what, what a strange perspective to have on Jay. That is, <laughs> He's biased yeah. against Americans. Anti-American bias. <laughs>
If a reactor hasn't added anything and watching their reaction is basically just the same experience as watching whatever they're reacting to, then essentially they're just reposting something someone else made to their audience, reaping the rewards of someone else's not work emote, under the so guise okay. of reacting to it. Wrong. This is literally wrong. If anything, no, okay. um, so, and the thing is, <laughs> I'm, I'm tempted to roll it back because what Jay said was so fucking airtight, you can't disagree yeah. with it. Uh, Jay That's very exactly deliberately. Yeah, you can. Me, yeah. what do you mean? You just say wrong. You can just say wrong. Listen to what Jay says and how impossibly hard it would be to argue with, with all of the clarifications okay. he makes. Added anything. Oh, wait, hang on. I just find it so funny that she says wrong. I reckon so. True. If a reactor hasn't added anything and watching their reaction is basically just the same experience as watching whatever they're reacting to, then essentially they're just reposting something someone else made to their audience, reaping the rewards of someone else's work under the guise of reacting to it. Wrong. This is yeah, literally it's wrong. It's airtight. Also, that is you can't... really correct, yes. Jail wrong. Almost wrong. simply wrong. repeated wrong. the point, but in a different set of words. Like, you can't disagree with this, like. But it isn't an cool. emote. There is, there's nothing to disagree with. I don't. If you haven't transformed it, it's, it hasn't been transformed. Like, that's pretty much what Jay did. Yeah, like, if you've stolen it, you've stolen it. <laughs> like, wrong. Like, wrong. You're just. That's just wrong. Well, m maybe she gives a reason. All right. In the next few seconds. Yeah, let's do it. Yeah. If anything. This th this video should have been edited because I know videos that are this long tend to take <laughs> this like This video out. should have been edited. Uh, you bitch. <laughs> I can tell you that Jay did edit it. God uh, damn. <laughs> Thank fuck I edited down his stream, trust me. There's a lot of uh 50, 56 minutes is way too long for me to watch, guys. It's too you much. Can't do it needs it. to be edited down. You got to edit it down. Yeah. Someone did make like Someone who's complaining about, oh, how can I possibly go for this long? And you shouldn't be complaining about length of things you're responding to. Every second is precious because you don't want to be left in a position where you have to take someone's video, right? Mm. Yeah, I was going to say, she should be happy that the video should be longer. thrilled. Yeah, that it takes yeah. so long for this uh, this reaction there, or this reactee uh, to get their stuff out. It is because be I know videos that are this long tend to take like an hour. T t t Tend to take like months to make, Ten what? or at least a month to make. From talking with, it sounded like she said the n word. No hours. <laughs> she was gonna say. It's more it like did. the essays and stuff. Um, Can we please stop with these? <laughs> what is she doing? It's I. Um, think, see, this is one thing. I have my into her mic. She's like, she's smacking on something. Like, when I make mom, these super cuts, I'm some like chewing gum here, mom. <laughs> and she's, when I'm making supercuts and, and someone makes their first half of a point, I'm like, I don't want to cut with the static to the next part. I don't want to, like, because it makes it look like I may have cut something out or something. So I like to keep the whole point in. Unfortunately, she's fucking doing this shit between the points. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Cow Ugh. chewing on cud. Okay, there's like some chips in my teeth. Um, mm. Oh, get those mm. out What was I going to say? What was I going to say? Oh. Make sure you get your mouth really close to the microphone when you're clearing the yep. debris yep. from your teeth, all right? Mm -hmm. We really want to make sure that that's something that we're keenly aware of. What is she supposed to do, die? <laughs> what is she supposed oh, to, yeah. to do, try? Oh. This should have been it's, very evident. It kept going, so I'm sorry. That's why I said that. I gave up. <laughs> oh, Wait, does she from, like, never come back to this? He's no, she does. Point? She does. Here it is. Oh, okay. this is it. Yeah. yeah. The amount of people that wanted to watch sounds. like Death Note on stream, or the amount of people that want to watch like Master Chef or Hell's Kitchen on stream, like it stops being one person making content, like a person making React content, and it starts being like a bunch of people watching something together as like friends almost. That, but that, that is so. a shockingly that, stupid thing to say. Just to, uh, just to make sure it's yeah. nice and clear. She's saying Jay is wrong because even if the reactor adds nothing, there's a group of people watching it now, which is fundamentally different than watching it on your own. Yes, because that is what it means to transform content. It is that you, as an individual, personally, just have a sort of subjective feeling that it's different. Well, uh, to it, transpose it this like... to IRL, you go to see the cinema, watch a movie, you pay, cool. And then I'm like, if all of you guys can come with me, we can watch it for free, because that is fundamentally different than watching it on my own. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, it changes I mean, the this, experience. It's transformative. Just that meta so aspect turns her, it into something. Her, different. her her point makes sense if she was streaming it, say, 
in her private Discord server to her subs who have right. paid her for the experience, like, a, like a, a movie watching experience with denims once a week, every Sunday night or something, you know? But okay, what fine. You, well, even that's kind of, uh, is it? What do you mean that, is that it means sus? anything? It, it doesn't mean anything in terms of whether you transform the content that you watch. I was going to say, if we're right, talking, yes. the requirement being she doesn't speak at all and doesn't even show a reaction. Because remember, this is the, the point that Jay made was if you are reacting, but you're not. You basically just reposted someone's content. She said, it is wrong. You are incorrect in making that statement because if multiple people watch it together, then it feels like a different thing, even though nothing has been changed in terms of the content itself. And we are, we are <laughs> so desperate now. Twitter. We're at the point of if it, I say it, I opened the window on my second time mm. around, so it's a fundamentally different experience. <laughs> See, it, well, it yeah, probably like, feels like a different thing to her, but not to everybody else. Well, and yeah, but it doesn't matter it, even it, if it, it, not, it doesn't matter. It's, I, it's I was going to say, I think we're at the level of absurdity itself. where I'd be like, watching a video for the second time is a fundamentally different experience than the first time. And it's like, right. yeah. It's only a war crime the first it, time. It, it is <laughs> different. Like, but it, it, this is this point is insane because it is insane, yeah. Like if you go to your friend's house and your friend's like, "Oh, I rented this DVD or I have the streaming service, you know, we can get a bunch of people together and we can watch it." It's like, yeah, you watching as a group is a different experience, but you're paying the company to watch, you know, the streaming service. You're not yes. paying your friend. Your friend's not charging you and making money off you watching the movie. And that's where this gets all fucked up. This she's acting like a per parasocial relationship or anyone's parasocial relationship with with their fans is the same as like just being friends with someone inviting them to your house to watch something. Well, but but the thing is, when you invite your friends to watch a film, there's no conversation <laughs> about whether you're transforming the film. That's like it's it's it right because you're not involved. making money off of your friends coming to your house to watch the film. Well, it's I'd say it's 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 more that because because I mean money obviously that's like a, a factor. It's it's just. We're talking about whether you've transformed the content. You have not addressed that. You've just said, yeah, watching it feels like a different experience. It's like, that doesn't mean anything in terms of whether yeah, you Yeah, that's subjective. Yeah, yeah. And, I mean, um, it, it, it seems to be a true statement, but it doesn't matter to this point. Yes. And I was actually going to say, uh, when, like, schools play a movie for, like, the whole school or whatever, for, like, Christmas Day or, or some f event where... So something close to that, last day of school, whatever. Um, there's still potential legal issues there. There's always like a... She's saying that the we... chat transforms it. Okay, that's just really dumb. That's all I'm saying. That's, to, to, that's a stupid Okay, to be fair, she makes that point later. The current point is oh. watching it with people <laughs> makes it fundamentally different. That's what she said. Right. That It's, it's right. like saying, well, if one person, if you steal it to watch it, that's not cool. But if you steal it and watch it with a bunch of your friends then it's fine. Yeah, because you transformed it. As, and it's like, yeah. no, you did not. <laughs> you just, like, no, you <laughs> fucking didn't. It's, if, a, if a movie theater... It, th that's a perfect analogy. If a movie theater charged 10 bucks a ticket for a movie that they did not pay for the rights for, that's fine, because a lot of people are watching it at the same time. It's a transformative experience. So a movie theater can just do that. Right. As long as there's not one person... If only one person buys tickets for the thing, then that's against the law. But oh, wait, as long as the theater's got people in it, yeah, it's too. Just go for it. It's you see, it, if this were true, it would be legal to pirate stuff because the experience of pirating makes it a different thing. You're transforming it mm -hmm. by downloading it. Exactly. With me fellow pirates. I'm watching or, it on my monitor, not my TV. That's fundamentally than different. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Instead of a movie theater, yeah. Yeah. Um, and you know what? If you had a system set up so that everyone, like, basically you had a movie and then you had chat and it was a particularly popular stream. But the way it works is you can not only not only do you comment, but you can also vote up or down on the current comments coming in. And so the movie pauses once per three seconds and it'll read out whatever the top voted current comment is. And that was just a system that was running. I actually think you'd be able to get past copyright that way. But that at that point, if she referenced that as being like, that's how you could do it. I'd be like, well, that is transformed at that point. Like, uh, but what you're talking about that is point, literally yeah. just the movie playing and everyone's just watching it and smiling. It's like, that doesn't count is, as transformed. Is the problem here that these Twitch streamers, they don't view themselves as content producers. They kind of view themselves as shepherds of parasocial friend groups. She refers and to like, herself yes. as a curator at one point. Yeah, a, right. A She's like, I just had a, a social That's some Metal experience. Gear Solid 2 shit. <laughs> 
right? So, like, even if, like, there are times when I am streaming Hell's Kitchen and I don't... She says like a lot and doesn't compare two things. Yep, she has like. a lot of words that stick in the middle of sentences because she takes a lot of time to get sentences out, and that's okay, but you want to work on that if you're going to be streaming every day, all day of yes, your life. If, if this is your career, dare I say, you should work to get better at it, but that's fine. I don't even... It's the process. It's a journey, not a destination, mm. even though the destination does sort of probably matter. I feel like I'm adding that much, but it's like about like the... <laughs> community watching like in the same way that like so watching it's it's not um and when you're watching hell's kitchen and you don't say anything stealing and it. you're broadcasting that to the world you're not transforming it you're and just how, watching I, it. how fucking I think convenient you're being very unfair to the hell's kitchen community how, by saying that. how convenient is this system she's describing when she's the one that gets to reap rewards she gets the money she yeah, has the subscribers she has the followers we yeah because immediately this benefits her immensely well, that, because we talked about it the other day, right? Part of the reason why fair use exists is the idea of some sort of public utility. There's a public utility to allowing people to criticize something without needing to ask for permission. There's a public utility to being able to mm -hmm. use copyrighted material for educational purposes. What is the public utility of you watching Hell's Kitchen and just watching it and making money while other people watch it in your stream? And like, think about poor Fox. You know, how they're just getting nothing from you watching Hell's Kitchen on stream. They're losing... Because those are people who could have watched it through means that would have made money for the network. And that's not happened. It's just gone. And you so have the public utility. The public utility is her simps are funding the socialist revolution one donation at a time. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> they'll get there eventually, guys. Unironically, later on, she argues that the, the essential public utility that she's providing is that you don't have to click on the videos, she does it for you. I mean... <laughs> well, I will so move bad. my mouse hand. So the ultimate save for the click. people. I don't ha you don't you have can to keep masturbating. Anymore. I'll move I'll the mouse. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh. God, it's so painful. This gets worse and worse as we go, by the way. You're, you have no idea. Movie by I already herself. know some of what's to come, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I it's always, picks. Always, almost always going to be less fun than watching it with other people. Do you know what I mean? And I think that this really was Not like... Okay, whoa, well, well, actually, actually... Not necessarily, but yeah. also it doesn't matter. I suppose, yeah, true, it doesn't matter, but I suppose it's not worth Have you ever been to a movie theater? Oh, there's yeah, a lot of exactly. people who ruin movies, yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. That guy snoring while I was watching Moonfall. Wait, Didn't appreciate no, that. You're telling me that Batman is, is like, yep, all right, can we please, can we just watch the movie? I, yeah, that's definitely, it's necessarily more fun when there's other people there. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, we all know that's not necessarily true. Maybe she says that because to her, other people are a chat that she just doesn't have to watch and doesn't yeah. make noise. So it's easy right. for her to say that at all time. Other people are just silently in the background, easy to be ignored. Hosting happy frogs. Mm -hmm. Amplified and like made yeah, obvious to it. during like the peak of like the, you know, Pokemon getting banned and t disguised toasts and everything like that. Just to watch. For reference, they got banned because they fucking stole a bunch of TV and yeah. used it. Yeah, they, uh, the, this is when Twitch was really pushing it. They got, I, I can't remember if they were banned for anime or something, but they were stealing something, and uh, mm -hmm. they one finally got cracked down. One of them was Death Note, one of them was something else, yeah, I which, can't remember. When but, I heard yeah. about it, I was like, what do you mean streaming Duh. Death Note? You can't just stream yeah. Death Note, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> that it's shit like, isn't oh, yours! Pokemon was banned for streaming Avatar. The last <laughs> why the f why Wait, you is steal shows? What the fuck are you is doing? Is Pokemon actually banned right now, like permanently? No, no, she she she, she, she came back pretty quick. They always oh, okay. privileged. Yeah. Yeah, so yeah. He here's the thing. There's a lot. Remember, I mentioned earlier that I have the the uh, the unfortunate or had the unfortunate um, interest in anime react channels. Well, a yes. lot of them they're they're streamers, and what they'll do is like these are smaller channels. So I mean, some of them just get away with streaming it because they're smaller channels. Other ones, what they'll do is they will like tell their their audience, "Okay, I'm gonna hit play right now, so you hit play with me," and they won't actually show. That's the, episode. the way to and do you... it. Yeah, and cool. then when they upload to YouTube, they they put the episode in afterwards. Oh, that's. <laughs> you... <laughs> <sighs> they st there's lots of that shit on YouTube. Lots of anime well, content I mean, where I... they just plug the episode right in. I feel like EFAP Movies is one of the best examples of how to transform it to the point where nobody is able to watch Boba Fett as it was intended. Well, 
by watching yeah. our coverage of it. It is impossible. It's it, chopped to shit, it's... and we're can't, we're talking over all of it. Well, it's such it's such a big aspect of what it means to transform it. It's that what you have watched is not a direct substitute. No. For it, like, if if you're on a denim stream and she just plays an episode of Hell's Kitchen and doesn't say a lot, you've just watched the episode of Hell's Kitchen. You haven't. Whereas if you're watching like a Boba Fett E Fat Mini, you've got like what? Like half of it is our commentary without anything, where we're just talking about what we expect or what we saw. There's tons of edits in uh, the yeah. footage so that it's like you don't see it fully clearly all the time there's a whole bunch of stuff that's just omitted because it's all trying to get to the essential stuff that we have commentary for you transform it into something that you may well not want to watch boba fett after you've watched an e-fat mini on it but, but that's you okay. haven't watched the episode yeah because mm -hmm. a bad review can make you not want to partake of yeah, a product of or service but that's okay that's allowed part of what it means to critique something may well be positive or negative um but you haven't watched the episode as it was made well it's like in its said, totality i don't know even if you guys are talking over it i can get what's happening in the show and it's just like believe me we cut out shit tons of what even happens in the episodes because yeah but but you but the thing is you you can get what's happening what well, matters is you haven't watched the book of boba fett you just haven't you've watched our coverage of it and even with, if you with know the what the story cover, is and us talking and then just edits for visuals is like what you've consumed you've missed a hell of a lot let's just put it that way but uh, our what goal with those is that you have enough context to understand what we'll be criticizing that's the idea yeah but like you haven't watched the episode no pretty yeah exactly the community it's fun to watch them mm -hmm. together as a community so I wouldn't watch shows like Master of HQ without HK without people like you or Hassan. There's an entertainment. That doesn't mean anything. Yeah. yeah so that doesn't, doesn't mean, mean anything. it's an interesting mean fact shit. to throw around because the fact is like if you sit there and don't do anything with the entire episode and they go, yeah, I wouldn't watch that if you hadn't put it on. It's like that's that doesn't address what you think it that does. Actually, even that doesn't help you at all. It can't hurt you, but it can't help you. No. Uh, mm -hmm. It can't. Yeah. It it it's uh, it can hurt you, but it cannot help you for clarity. I mean, of I wouldn't course. have stolen that candy bar if Hassan wasn't in the target with me. So that makes it okay. If he right? didn't put it into my pocket and I didn't say anything. <laughs> I, just, I just see because there were people in chat talking about like how, oh, well, I don't need to watch Boba Fett because I've watched the EFAP minis on Boba Fett. The point is like, what are you getting out of watching the book of Boba Fett, an episode on its own versus what are you getting when you watch an EFAP mini that was for the book of Boba Fett? You're getting it two is, pretty different things. Right? Yeah, as someone um, who I can guarantee you has seen both the full episode and the EFAPs on it, they are nowhere near each other in terms of... They're not the same just, thing. They're just clearly different. They're not the same piece of content. Like, Even if... You, oh, I can guarantee you if fucking John Favreau, Dave Filoni, Kathleen Kennedy, whatever, if they found out people were saying like, I've, I've consumed it really, when what they've seen is our coverage of it, they'd be like, no, you haven't, that's bullshit. This yeah. is people just complaining about everything and they, they've cut out <laughs> loads of shit. Like, they're priming you to be angry at it. You're like, again, we don't want to give off the impression you've missed anything, so we do due diligence to make sure you have context to understand what's happening. But that's the same thing when like, if Jay or myself or whoever did a big breakdown of a movie, we want you to have the context to the point where you feel like, you know what? I understand what happened in the movie, and I understand the criticisms. Well, but watching it is an entirely different experience. It's highlighting, because when you watch the episode of Book of Boba Fett on its own, you don't get all of the jokes that happen in the commentary. You don't get the commentary. You don't get all of the edits to accompany that. You don't get any of the references to any other media as, like, in jokes or comparisons. You don't even get comparisons to, like, prior episodes when we're referring back to things that happened in prior episodes with the visuals accompanying them it's different it just is different but that's what it means to transform something it's not that it is like 100 percent wholly entirely completely a different thing from from what existed before but it's substantially different mm -hmm. in, yeah, in a way that it's enough that it is that it, it really shouldn't be considered the same piece of content and for clarification, if someone then said, "Wait, so are you saying that I should go and experience the episode myself?" I'd be like, "Oh, I don't think it's worth like, it. Well, I don't think I don't think it's worth it." Yeah, like it'll cost you time that you yeah. can spend on other things, like watching the EFAT mini on the book. Which is yeah, which which <laughs> you know you get the benefit of knowing the events in a meta vague sort of sense, and you also get the fun of seeing us react to it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, for example, you could watch all of my Force Awakens review. You will fully understand every event in that film, but it's nowhere close to watching the film as an experience. 
Yeah. It's like why Whereas if friends? you're watching Hell's Kitchen on a stream and nobody says anything, you've just watched Hell's Kitchen on you've just watched it. Yeah. Like as if that somehow clears you of you don't have to be transformative well, we did it as something the group. you were gonna choose to watch anyway. It's like well, yeah, but yeah, that doesn't mean anything. It's like saying, "Well, I wouldn't have bought that candy bar if it was cost. It cost money, so I was only ever going to steal it." It's like, okay, what? You know, it's like fun. it doesn't yeah. mean anything. To watch something together as a community. So I wouldn't watch shows like Master of HQ without HK without people like you or Hassan. There's an entertainment value. Yeah, of course, it's like vibing with stoner friends. Exactly. Yeah, it's like it is like vibing with stoner friends. That is true. It is. Just doesn't address the point that Jay made, but it's fine. <laughs> like, we'll it's just, fine. We'll I know you think that. I guess it did. Yeah, when you steal in a group, it's okay. All right. I, I think that concept. this in specific, or like this guy, I don't know. I don't know anything about this dude, but like um, this guy, obviously this is more lazy content or whatever, but like, first of all, a Incorrect. Uh, Jinx put more effort into his reactions than a lot of you guys do because he yeah. actually had to edit it and then upload it and title it and shit. Like you <laughs> and guys... he was always present for the entirety of the videos that he and would then watch. Where... He would get yeah. the links and he would, yeah, he would mm -hmm. always make sure to react. It's just that his reactions were shit. Yeah. yeah. So you, you have to understand, far? like, he's bottom of the barrel. You're. The scrapes that are what underneath it's, you're the what barrel. You're <laughs> labyrinth of the barrel. <laughs> the mold off the bottom end of the mold going. on the bottom end of the, yeah. How far have we fallen as a society if Jinx's reactions is held up as like a positive standard compared to anything? One of the well, points I that, um, that Jay makes is at least Jinx was here. Yeah. That's how much worse it's got. I know, it's so bad. A, I don't know who the fuck is watching this, and B, like, is it literally just you don't want someone else to profit because you're putting in so much hard work and they aren't? Then why don't well, you I mean, do what they're doing? That's just what I did. Oh, wow. Wow. I, I, I was about to say. Wait, this. what's that? Let's just listen Sorry, to this for a sec. <laughs> just listen to this sequence. It is fucking great. Try your best not to interrupt it because the, the ending oh, of it is no. perfect. Um, This guy... Obviously, this is more lazy content or whatever, but like, first of all, A, I don't know who the fuck is watching this, and B, like, is it literally just you don't Doesn't want matter. someone else to profit because you're putting in so much hard work and they aren't? Then why don't you do what they're doing? Uh, do you know what I mean? Like, this is the thing that I don't really understand. That's a healthy attitude to have. Because it's not like they're benefiting industry. at, like, your... Maybe on YouTube Man, it's a little strong. bit different yeah, because if people watch it, 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 their it, video it, instead of yours... It, it, like, sorry, these videos are like, so boring that, like, surely, like... Who cares? And if you really think that, like, this content is so easy and it's fucked up that they're profiting so much, like, then why don't you just make the content? It's like, well, I'm better than that. It's like, okay. <laughs> That's the oh part my. I desperately wanted you guys to see. I, oh, my God. Sometimes Holy it's difficult shit. to tell it which is, is the extra dumb part that you so want I, me to I know, it, it is a yes, fucking roller coaster of thoughts <laughs> that she goes through. Well, yeah, oh, no. to, run, to run through that, I guess. The, the core observation is you have perceived something that you think is bad when you've worked hard. Why don't you just do that instead of working hard? Why don't you just, yeah, just do what I do? Fuck it. To, you know? Socialism, oh, well, guys. I mean, and then the response is, <laughs> the response is I don't want to. And then that's kind of a dead end, isn't it? Like when someone says, no, thanks, I'd rather not. Yeah, she <laughs> just, just said... You're a sucker for participating in the system properly. If you think stealing is easy, why don't you just steal too? I guess I just find that she funny. fucking she was defeated by her straw man. That she was, yeah. she, was she she presents this theoretical person who's just like I wouldn't I wouldn't want to do this thing that I'm condemning because uh, I'm morally against it. That lines up with what I just said. It's like Jay Jay has so many arguments to go through, but. She's like, just do it. And then she, the mysterious J that she's created in her head just goes, that's morally bad, so I won't. And she has no response. She fucking killed herself in her own <laughs> debate. She's with stymied her. by yeah. the concept of a principle. She, she, a bit, yeah. I just can't believe right. how you could do that to yourself, where you argue with yourself and you lose. You're like, well, oh, fuck. I think that's, <laughs> that's, that's surely it's just a matter of you haven't thought it through enough. No, like, of course. You're kind of You're kind of debating it. You know how, like... You know how you have an inner monologue where you try and figure things out about like what you ought to do, what you shouldn't do, like your principles. You know, you yeah, just you examine, those. you examine your beliefs, but like you don't often do it just speaking like live on stream and then figuring it out as you go. 
I mean, yeah, his, generally, his so, something like half of, half of all people don't have that. So who the fuck knows? Well, animal, you can't animal, say animal that about log. women. Yes. <laughs> is, that, is that true? That like, is that true yes, that a he, lot of people don't have an inner monologue? Hold on. I'm constantly. Oh, let me ask: I, you, Is your inner monologue in your own voice? Because mine's in my own. Voice. Yes, I, of course. Yeah, my inner monologue is. It's, Who's it is. I don't yeah. know. Deaf people. Well, a, I, oh, I'm sure we talked about this on stream before, did, right? Yeah. Like that, that. That people have different methods of um. Because you know how, like, sometimes. Well, actually, you might not know because your brain just works differently. Because, wow. like, you can see images in your head. Like, the images sort of coalesce visually. And some yeah, people, yeah. I think, that's the way that they think, like, principally, like, 100% of the time. Um, and, yeah, some people don't have the inner monologue where it is a see, voice I, that is going over I've, thoughts in your head. I've just got... I can do pretty much all of it. Like, I can summon up images. Well, I can summon up sounds. You. I can summon up Ooh, voices. Look at you. Look like, at all the things these. I can do with my brain. I, I, I can do Ragged. it in different voices. <laughs> I have all the mental powers. But here, check this out. Okay, so... Or is it in your Twitter bio that you have all the mental power? <laughs> oh, so it's a, a recent survey suggests that four in ten Americans do not have. Jeez, an average that's a lot. Of twenty-six percent ha reported having some sort of internal speech. Up to seventy-five may not have had none. So I don't. That's I, bizarre I don't, to I don't me. I don't think this is true. I think this is bullshit. <laughs> I guess I think that was that bullshit. So the reason why I find this kind of interesting is you've all heard of the concept of rumination, right? Like you're somewhat familiar with that. Just to think um, deeply on something. Do you mean in terms of mental health? What... Uh, I think it's generally in terms of mental health. The idea would be that rumination is when a thought just sort of repeats over and over and over again, but yes. in a detrimental way. The thought just keeps oh, reinforcing okay. itself and you can't break a cycle of thinking. You just can't stop. Yeah. Um, yeah. I Now, I guess the, the thing is, is that if four out of ten people don't have an inner monologue, am I to believe that like four out of ten people have never experienced the idea of a recurring thought that they can't break? Well, maybe they ruminate I, in pictures. I maybe, yeah, maybe. I, I'm, I'm not sure. I guess it's just interesting to me to think that there's like a good chunk of people who don't think with, with like sentences that are formed in their head. I don't know. Brace. Yeah. Or, well, I guess that is kind of rumination. Yeah. Don't <laughs> but, but, so, but then it gets broken when someone drops a pen in your ass. Yep. <laughs> that's how. You, that's that's your mental health tip for the day. If you're ruminating, drop a pen into your butt cheeks, and then you'll be okay. That'll snap you out of it. Drop a I'm pen trying, into my butt cheeks. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to skim this study. I, I don't. I think what they're saying is they gave. First of all, they gave only 30 college students beepers, and they would randomly beeper them throughout the day, and then they would question. You know, were you having an inner monologue when we beeped you? And I don't think, interesting I mean, that just means this. someone wasn't, that is a yeah, bizarre way to test. Not, mm -hmm. Yeah, maybe someone's just not like thinking of something specifically at the time or more likely people are thinking of things. They just, they're not, when you ask them about it, they're not, they're not going to be like, oh, I was having some inner monologue, even though they really were. Because if 75% of the population didn't have an inner monologue, everyone would be like a Zen master who can meditate. Cause that's the hardest thing about meditation. That is the hardest thing about meditation is not, yeah, is you're not supposed to think no. words. You can think in pictures, but you're not oh, supposed to think in, in audio think words anymore. Generally the idea with meditation is that you want to put yourself, it's, it's mindfulness, right? Where you exist in the present moment without any judgment of the things that are around you. It's just perceptions of things, which I think is really difficult to right. achieve as a person because human brains are pretty mired with concepts and value judgments and things like that. Well, and you're also, you're always uh, thinking of other shit. Well, you're you often, you're often thinking about the future and the past. I think it's, yes, um, right. there's, I don't know if, where the quote comes from, but it's, it's a sentiment that kind of follows that like a Buddhist monk, right? They've achieved something really exceptional. If they can go for a minute, like just looking at a clock and they don't, their mind doesn't wander off. Like exactly. whatever, whatever that means to them, right. that their mind yeah. go. Oh wait, that's something I need to do. Fuck. Oh shit, that's something that stressed me out. Like that you're able to focus on that clock for a minute. That's incredible. Humans think. We just think persistently. Right. The yes. rise, These Buddhist monks, like, man, sometimes when they meditate, they're just on fire. I get it. Well, I, I here's the thing. Uh, this conversation came up uh back when the sound, NPC right? meme. When the NPC meme was the big meme of the day. Yeah. Everyone was talking about these studies that. and, that and uh Aiden Powell. We have to watch it now, obviously, because it's a different video, but for off stream, if you wanted to see it later, Aiden Powell did, did a big old video going into all the studies on people without inner monologues. I'll just put it in the group chat. I, I don't buy any of this. This all seems like I heard 
I it heard that seems some... like there's people without a minute log. No, I, I know I, one. I I know I know a YouTuber doesn't have one. He's a friend of mine. I don't. I Ooh. don't know. Well, so here's uh, the thing. But dry bread. I don't know that I can ever I really like, like know what's going on in other people's heads. So it's kind of hard for me to like, someone can tell me I don't have an inner monologue, but like, that doesn't, I don't know what that means. Right. You're self reporting something like it's, it's hard for me to know what that means. We might have a different understanding of what an inner monologue means. You might just be lying to me. It might not, be. Uh, <laughs> yeah. It, it I, might be that uh, you don't fully understand. Like it might be that you don't identify. It's the way you phrase the question to them. Like, if you said, do you have an inner monologue, they might answer differently than, do you talk to yourself in your head? Exactly. Right. You know? Yeah. Um, also, I, I feel like these are important things, because it's also, not like, this isn't something you can observe from the outside necessarily. This is someone, you're having to rely on people report, accurately yeah. reporting the state of their own minds. Mm -hmm. And someone in chat said, um, Aiden concluded and explained why it was a bad study, and it doesn't show what it claims to show. Ah, right. oh okay. no. Dev, get out of here. <laughs> well, you know no, what? Did, you know what? I, I, for the purposes of today, I am 100% willing to accept that Denims has no inner monologue. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I, now, I mean, I, do you I guess it's more... Go ahead. Go for it, actually. All right, Dev, do you remember this? It was going around... I don't think it was a big thing, but it went around because uh, someone on Twitter had said that they cannot picture objects in their head. And a lot of people yes. said, oh, yeah, that's bullshit that people can even do that. I don't believe it at all because I can't. And it was this, it was one of those sort of resurgence of the NPC meme kind of things because people saw that. People saying that they, they can't picture objects in their head. And I guess that's just another thing that some people cannot do. Oh, oh no, that's what my dry bread has. Hold on. What's the name for that again? Oh. Someone said that it's called uh, aphanas aphantasia. Is a phenomenon yes, where people aphantasia. Like, yeah, you cannot so visualize I, I imagery. I that camp somewhat. I mean, I can picture things in my head, but they're very fuzzy and not clear. Aphantasia, aphantasia I have a very is bad a phenomenon. Memory. It, yeah, it is a phenomenon in which people are unable to visualize imagery. Yes, which is strange to me because I've always been able. I assumed that was a normal thing that minds could do. Well, I guess this is where we get into the interesting things in general about consciousness that people have a different experience of reality and how we describe and it. Be a little... and they have differences as well. Like, yeah, and I, I, because I, I'm such exactly, a visual person. We I think that uh, I remember Tony Robbins talked about how there are like three different. I'm sure that there are more than three, but it's interesting as a subcategorization that there are a lot of people who focus on visual stimuli, a lot of people who are more oriented around auditory stimuli, and then yeah. the third one is more vague. It's like it's kinesthetic. kinesthetic or something. Yeah. yeah, where it's like um vibes, I guess, like a kinesthetic feeling of vibes. Vibes. <laughs> kinesthetic is touch sense or position in space. Yeah. It's how I um, and, and that it's the reason why someone I'm sure we talked about it on EFAP before where um someone can it it's such a common thing where someone can very angrily say, This is a horrendous point you made. I'm not sure why you made it for this, this, this reason. And I might even throw a swears in it and they're like, Wow, calm down. Where someone can calmly say, You know what? You you're a you're a pretty pathetic, feeble, worthless human being, you know? And then someone won't respond as negatively to that, even though the sentiment is way harsher. And it's just because they respond more to tone. Than yeah, they if do, I like, say this nasty thing kindly, right, right. yeah, yeah, it's well, it's a common thing. I think that you're saying they're like a dog. Yeah. Excuse I, I, me. <laughs> <laughs> um, we um, listened I to guess... like twenty seconds of her, so I'm assuming we should roll it back and. Uh... Yeah. No, no, no. What I'm yeah. saying, oh. that, Rags, I'm saying that that's a lot that we were listening to a lot <laughs> yeah, of her. So we... I'm going to roll it back. So if we anyone else. Good. Has any points to make about what she says? We can get a second chance now, because it was the main thing I just wanted you guys to hear was the fact that she defeated herself. It just ends in a dead end. Yes, yeah, like oh. What I meant by a straw man as well is that Jay has provided specific arguments for why it's immoral, and in her her world, he simply says it's immoral, and she couldn't even beat that. Well, she's not even addressing any moral claim at all. No, so when well, what I'm what I'm addressing is the fact that she has no counter argument to someone saying it's immoral. Like, right, like remember, her vision of Jay this. said, "I'm not doing it because it's immoral. I'm better than that." And then she was like, she, "Uh." <laughs> she has yet. She's like, I mean, we were talking about people can't visualize images in their mind. She can't visual. She can't understand like morality in her mind. That with morality. <laughs> so that's just called. That's just called being a bad person. Yeah, <laughs> <Exactly>. <laughs> 
it's how like it felt up. I can't how visualize felt, morality. <laughs> how it felt to me that whole thing was you were realizing in real time, like your print in real time, you were figuring out what you believe. Which, by the those way, those are important uh, growth moments for you. Streaming, uh, yeah, well, keep you valuable. honest, huh? Because <laughs> you can't, you can't pretend like you had a point. You have to be like, oh fuck, I don't have a point. <laughs> like, Jesus. I mean, you can if you have big enough words, but oh yeah, you keep the sentence going and going and going and going and going, right. and then you, you, I don't know, go. Oh, sorry, what? Oh, well, guys, I'll be right back. Strong communication is when your sentences last forever. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> when your words last forever. Let's not go to sentences yet. <laughs> Alienacy. When your words don't stop coming and they don't stop coming and they don't stop coming. <laughs> You're not allowed to use monosyllabic words. That's bad. Don't use short words. That, that is bad. Moral. That means you're bad at communicating. Less Chinese streamers is what Fringy's implying. Oh, wow. No, no, no. It's, that's fine. Not fine. It's horrifying. Oh my right. goodness what was gracious. The they are in, then why don't you do what they're doing? Do you know yeah. what I mean? Like, this is the thing that I don't really understand. Because it's not like they're benefiting Why don't at, you have like, a Holocaust of your own, your... huh? <laughs> yeah, so this this part was great because she, she highlights, like, it's not like they're benefiting at your cost. And she stopped herself because she realized, well, technically it would be if the viewers would have gone to you, but they instead watched your coverage of it yeah. doing nothing. So, yes, there would be it's a like... cost there. Fuck, I can't make that point. Maybe so on I YouTube it's a little bit point. different because if people watch their video instead of yours, it, it, like, yeah. these videos are so boring yeah. that, like, Surely, like, who cares? And so she doesn't Surely know that cares? Jinx got millions of views Jinx, doing this. Jinx got millions of views because all you need to do is subscribe to Jinx. He's your one-stop shop yeah. for uh, for everything that you could ever want to watch that is relevant. It's the reason. It's one of the common just. I, I'm not sure if it's a common justification, but I'm sure it informs it. If you watch a Hassan stream and he's like playing all the videos, considering how many people watch him. You're just up to date on the internet lingo by going there. You are but abreast of modern of events who, and memes. But all of the people whose videos were watched on stream don't gain any utility from, from this. It's, mm -hmm. it's mainly a loss for them. Um, it doesn't matter if it was a loss or a gain, though, again, to emphasize that that's the principle of, like, transformation and fair use. It doesn't matter what the utility is, really. Also, if she, she's sitting here saying the videos are boring, why are you watching them? She's talking about Jinx. Well, she's a boring person. Jinx would be acting. She's suggesting that Jinx is so boring, no one would watch it, so who cares? Right. Even though lots of people watched it, and even yeah, if nobody she's watched it, it's dumbass, matter. and she it's doesn't still, know. Still matter. <sighs> the whole reason Jinx got taken down was the fact that he's he blew up. He was taking over yeah. YouTube, and he was like, what the hell, how, why? We're not just in a lot of people. Yeah, there, of people you're right, there was through. a lot of people following suit, and uh, it all came crashing down because it was exposed for being absolute garbage content. And now content. the same thing is happening again across an entire platform. Yep, and um, the reason they're getting away with it is because they're not on the same platform. That seems to be enough to separate them out from uh, criticism. Mm -hmm. Not from us, though. How convenient. And if you really think that, like, like this content is so and easy religion. and it's fucked up that they're profiting so much, like, then why don't you just make the content? It's like, well, I'm better than that. It's like, okay. Yeah, exactly. It's, <laughs> yeah, it's, 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 so, it's so funny to me that you'd be like, yeah, that's really bad that you're doing that, and that annoys me. Will you do it? It's like, what the... <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I, you know what? There's a lot I don't of killings. Like that you're happening in our neighborhood. Okay. It's like, why aren't you killing then? Like, what? <laughs> <laughs> Get in on the oh. action, man. Mm -hmm. Then, I don't know what to tell you, you know what I mean? I believe like, you. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I believe you. That's genuine, because yeah. <laughs> she, she fucking argued herself. She needs to think about this subject a little well, longer. Yes, yeah, she I, does. I'm not sure if she feels like she argued herself into a corner. I think this is just her abandoning the concept of morality. So like, I, I don't care when she's moral. Says, Fuck it. So I think I think when she says, I don't know what to tell you, I think that is an earnest expression of an absence of counters. Thoughts. Yeah, she's ran out of counters. Actually, she knows she this is an action she wants right. to commit to, and she doesn't want to condemn anyone else for committing to it. At the same time, she cannot defend it being a moral action. In fact, it's immoral well, at this point. Well, I think generally when like I or you guys would say, I don't know what to tell you, 
then it is at the end of a process of trying to explain to somebody a thing and they just cannot grasp it. And you're like, I, I don't know what to tell you well, at yeah, this point if you don't it's... understand. But for her, it's like, I don't have any thoughts to convey to you. Yeah, she's I don't I, think, I do uh, not yeah, know what meant to literally. tell you. She has no idea yeah, what yeah, to say. For her, it's she, literal. I do not I, I, know I, what I, to I, tell you. For, for, for her, I, I think it's just, I just want to do it and I don't care about the morality. I'm just going to do it. Well, and well, if so you're asking me for justification, whatever. Yeah. Do you think that any of this is? I don't think any of this is a consideration in her mind. I don't think she's even considering the moral aspect. Like this is to I her. Think a lot of just people have. I'm going to give it more credit. The the conversation specifically had Jay in her head say, "I'm better than that. I am not going to do the immoral action." So you but, think she's just being malicious here, as opposed to stupid? No, I think she's being stupid. Why not both? <laughs> okay. So the the brand of stupidity that this is is a simple one mm -hmm. of hmm. I don't actually know how I would counter this, but I don't agree yet, so I need to think about it. That's what right. I, I don't even think she's at that thought process yet. No, I don't. Uh, well, I don't think a lot of people like to say that because it feels like a weakness, right? If you go, I have no counter for you, but I still don't disagree. Can you give me some time to think about it? No one likes to say that. No, I understand no, that. Yeah. I just think she's too, especially because she's... like, oh, so, sorry, sorry. So go ahead. I'm saying I think she's just too stupid to even understand what's being argued here. I think I, I think you Maybe. were kind of right because a lot of stuff on Twitch is just optics based. You know, who looks better in the debate, kind of thing. So if you're if you're if you're mumbling and you're stuttering on your stream and you can't get out a point, you don't quite know yet, and you have to think about it. I mm -hmm. think you just look weak. Also, wait, so, so Ball is projecting hard. She's an airhead. What did I say that would have implied she's not an airhead, or that you're projecting? <laughs> well, you said that she understands Jay's argument. She doesn't know why she thinks it's wrong, but she thinks it's wrong and she's stalling for time. And I guess I'm saying, I don't even think she understands Jay's argument or he's even conceptualizing the morality here. Well, I said she's, that she's strong like, and she's not even taking in his points about why it's wrong. She's just trying to deal with someone saying why it, that it's wrong and she hasn't got anything. Yeah, well, I, I, we'd all agree with that. <laughs> like, uh, remember, I, I said specifically, she's stupidity answers this one for me. Specifically <laughs> okay. that she is an airhead. No offense, well, just a, a, <laughs> The result well, of years of lack uh, of, of a lack of introspection is catching up with her in a moment, and she doesn't know how to deal with it. Perhaps. Right. We'll see. Let's go. Okay. Also, yeah, is this guy really think he's making a discovery? Finding out that like React content is low effort. That's a it. Didn't used to be. Inter yes, interesting cell phone. And it's not all bad. Like, there's plenty of reactors who do their fucking job. You there don't. was nothing terribly lazy about reaction content. It's all about execution, really. It's like they, a bunch of them started stealing and it's gotten more and more popular and they're like, it's not a discovery to find out we're stealing shit. And it's like, well, it is for some people. And it it's is, not yeah. good. Yeah. They think, oh, this is just the thing I can do, especially if they grow up or are, or are introduced to a space where that's just a normal thing. Then they think, oh, this is fine then. Everyone's doing it. The thing that I don't get either, it's like, everybody knows React content is low effort, you know what I mean? I hate that you say that so casually about the job you do. Ugh. Because I would, if someone said, oh, making video reviews and making YouTube videos, it's just low effort, I'd be like, fuck you. Dude, Chris Stuckman said it about reviewing <laughs> movies, and it's like, fuck off. It's not low effort for well, some people. It, it is a little bit annoying when you hear that. It's like, yep, how many months has it been working on this one? Oh, four, five? Yeah, man, <laughs> so easy. <laughs> How many rooms I know react how many Yeah. Content is low effort because I've made like fucking videos. The videos take so much more time. They take like hours and hours and hours of time. Uh, so yeah, you are hours. aware. Yeah. Sometimes like well, days. Well guys, <laughs> uh, later down the line you will see a Denim's brand video in this. So don't you'll look forward to that. Mm -hmm. Oh, you're giving us an example of her. Oh, uh, you'll see it eventually. Not quite okay. there yet in the timeline. And and also I think it's different skills. I think being able to like watch a video and point out all the funny things, all the where's the funny is it has its own like you have to have your own skill to be able to do that. She's wandered off now because that's never been the point. It's not about uh, the skill of being able to point out funny things in a video live. It was reacting at all, transforming at all. Uh, yeah, that's like, true. It's a different skill. It's like, who are you talking to? But that's also crazy because basically she's saying. Uh, you know, it's a skill to be a laugh track, to point mm. out where people are supposed to laugh well, at. It's funny because the, 
it is true that to be an entertaining streamer is a skill that is, in some sense, potentially different from being an entertaining YouTuber. Because, you know, to be an entertaining streamer, you need to be interesting, funny, and insightful off the cuff. Whereas, you know, making a video is, how can I distill, you know, some sort of uh, piece of information or present something in a funny way through editing or, like, you know, delivery in this in this setting? They are different skills, but what does this have to do with this conversation about whether you've even transformed it? Yeah, and what, how does it contradict anything Jay said? It was like a bit of an escape hatch where you're like, well, look, I am, I'm funny, I'm interesting, I have things to say. It's, you know what I mean? Like, if it was, if it was a bit like... I mean, I'm not like them. I'm not like those not, lazy ones. It comes across as though it matters, but it would just be like if I said, well, to be fair, there are many buildings that are in disrepair across all kinds of cities these days. Yeah, like, like what building the fuck is does that have to do with like, anything? And I'm like, what? It's true. Uh, okay. <laughs> like, thank you for your addition. That you have to like practice and train or whatever the fuck. Whereas like you making YouTube videos has their own skills as well. You know what I mean? Like there are so many videos. There are so many people who like you can sit down and w watch a video with them and they have nothing to say about the video. You know what I mean? They'll okay, be like, oh, that was that. a good video. And it's like, do you have any other opinions or anything? So, like, they're, they take r different skills. I still think that um, React content is easier. But yeah. I don't... Well, with the way you do it, for sure. Like, mm -hmm. but if you compare Chris Stockman's YouTube videos versus our reactions, I mean, I feel like we're putting in more effort, even though... Well, I mean, how, do you want to share with the audience how long it took to uh, compile all of this stuff together? To a long the... fucking time, but I don't know if that counts along with the reaction yeah. stuff. I, I guess streaming, right? It's all, all work and Well, yeah, it, it creates this stream. The supercuts I have made are a part of it. So at that point, they're definitely way more effort than Chris Duckman's reviews. So, yeah, like just because reacting as a format is typically easier than any YouTube video, it's like not every time. You know, mm -hmm. it's certainly not like it's just funny to me that she's like, "Yeah, reactions are easier," and it's like, "Yeah, yours, you don't do anything." Well, I feel like the term reaction content very specifically and narrowly applies to specifically low effort reactions. Like, if you polled your audience, I don't think the majority of people would classify this as you know reacting or a reaction channel. I don't know that that matters that much because um, when you get broad enough to compare what we do to what she does, like mm -hmm. we tick several of the same boxes, like like a lot. It's just the like I told you, she um she's been paused on this frame for a while, making all these points. So it's like in a sense she's doing what we're doing right now. Um, right, there's not a huge difference. We just say things, yeah. Yeah. I don't like this. Like, I don't like this shitting on React content for literally like no reason or whatever. I don't know. Literally no <laughs> reason. She just defeated itself in a moral argument <laughs> earlier, and now she's like, there's no reason you're doing this. Top notch. It's why I watch like 20 React videos for the Halo TV series. I want to be, I want to feel the hype with others. Exactly. It's not an exactly. excuse. I, you wanting to feel the hype with others is not an excuse, sunshine. I'm sorry. No, you can't just steal it's people's not. stuff in order to feel a particular vicarious experience. I just want to be trendy like everyone else, so I stole all the clothes from that store. <laughs> And for this video where Jinx just freeboots someone else's work, adding nothing, he gets five million views. I'm not salty. Now, what I'm not doing here is I am definitely- But see, like, he's self- I want to pause before she says anything. I remember seeing that in Jay's video, and I thought to myself, probably shouldn't have put that in, because people will use it against you. you, you, Even you though have, it's, it's a joke. It's a fucking it's meme. Like, yeah. I'm not salty at all. Like, because Jay's having mm -hmm. a bit of fun. But as you can see- Set her off. She's like, aha, it is about money. It's like, oh, for fuck's sake. I got you. I caught you. Jake put it in trap. on purpose, but no, of course, yeah. What I'm not doing here is I am definitely. But see, like, he's self aware. So, like, see, he's like literally self aware. You know what I mean? No. As opposed to figuratively. No, we don't, don't know what you mean. I was about to say, <laughs> was about to say Rags, what does it mean to be figuratively self aware? <laughs> <laughs> does it mean that but you're not self aware? It's at the end of the day, a lot of this is like, it feels like most people have a direct emotion about. Get ready to experience oh, fucking. Okay. A, I remember a, this. A classroom with denims. This shit is amazing. Something... We tried to stay as quiet as possible.
Well, yeah, it's okay. <laughs> we could keep rewinding it. It'll be funny. And then they try to come up with some rationalization on, like, why their emotion is valid rather than the other way around. So, like, rather than, hey, this is how, you know, these are, like, this is information about this thing and my opinions about these things, and this should make you feel a certain way. It feels like most people do this. And, like, he's self-aware about the fact that, like, at the end of the day, a lot of his reasoning or whatever probably for making this video has to do with the fact that it's like, I'm mad that these people get to make such low effort content and I don't think that they should be able to. And I'm going to come up with rationalizations after the fact, post hoc, rather than the other way around. It is handily explained. Most people, <laughs> when incorrect, will have a feeling and then from there, they will create their arguments. When in reality, right. what you should do is have your arguments and then explain how I mean, one should feel talk. as a result of those arguments. <laughs> Welcome to hell? how human beings literally <laughs> what the hell is she talking about? Whenever we like highlight things being right or wrong, oftentimes it's because you get the feeling of it being right or wrong first. You're like, ooh, that doesn't mm, actually. Mm, ooh, uh, yeah, you... like this doesn't, yeah. Well, I mean, the irony here is that she is she's pointing this out, which is true. This is how people think, but her entire video has just been this. It's exactly. Been her this, it is, this is, it is very about it. negative, and then just trying yeah. to post hoc justify it. And you know, and I take I take back everything I said. You're 100 percent right, Mahler. If she knows this, then she is just being malicious, and she she understands the argument Jay is trying to convey, and she's just oh, intentionally. You know what? On. I I think this is just really funny. Because <laughs> I think she's describing what she's doing, but saying that you should do the other thing instead, but doesn't right. realize that's well, what she's doing. And right. to be fair, she's just accused Jay in other words of having an ulterior motive. Like, she's saying yeah. that Jay is presenting all these arguments, when in reality Jay's just mad that someone else is making money. This is, uh, this is <laughs> a very common thing that people will do when they want to argue with you dishonestly, is to infer some sort of intent that is not great. Because it's a lot easier to dismiss someone's arguments if you paint them as having intentions that are dubious. It's just about the money, right. it's just about the clout, it's just about the viewers, just yeah. angry. Well, often often to all these of things that are ascribed to someone are often a projection of how they really, uh, how they're feeling at that particular time. Right. Well, she, she misunderstands even the concept she's laying out, because even though this is how all humans kind of are, have evolved to think this way, where, you know, where your emotions come in first, that doesn't mean necessarily that your emotional response is wrong right, logically or exactly. morally. And she's jumping to that conclusion. Well, it's, it's complicated, right? Because your conscious thought is informed by a lot of subconscious thought that you're kind of not aware of. There's right. a lot going on that yeah. you are not directly... It's something that I think Sam Harris has talked about, that like thoughts arise in your head without your permission you know, like thoughts, thoughts appear and dissipate, and you don't really choose the thoughts that arise, but the thoughts are arising based yeah. on some sort of subconscious process. They come from somewhere. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right. Um, and so the idea would be that if you react negatively to something, it may well be that there's something worthwhile to think about that you need to dig deeper. You need to go beyond the surface and try to think about what would be informing that gut reaction. It may be that you're wrong. But it may be that you're right, and you're just not sure what the arguments are, and you need to think about it. It's a little um, more complicated than this little diagram. <laughs> well, so the, uh, I suppose the irony of that, for me, is that if you draw an arrow from the top page to the bottom page, that kind of describes how I operate. I feel, and then I try to figure out why I'm feeling that way, and generate the arguments, and then I will be like, these justified? arguments should probably yeah. make you feel this way. Uh, considering this is... So what would have happened, obviously, is Jay sees Hassan's reaction to Jay's video, and Jay's like, hmm, I don't like that. Why is this bad? Has to go through all the arguments, and then says, this is a bad thing that's happening, don't you agree? And she's like, mm -hmm. what a... What a, mis what, what a... What a vicious way to come up with this. To feel bad, and then to try and pretend like you had arguments the whole time. It's like... <laughs> that's just never well we do this with movies like a, a scene can piss me off and i won't know why yet i'll be like that just annoyed mm -hmm. me i'm not sure what it was but i'll have to figure it out right but yeah i don't know this is just hilarious that she's took the time to explain this when it applies to literally everybody well i mean i don't i don't fault her for explaining this 
process because I don't think most people are aware that this is how they think. But it's just they that have she's an using it in a very dishonest. She's just using so. it in a very dishonest way in this conversation. Well, you, I, I don't know. I think you give people a little bit more credit. They know about this, I think. I don't think that's true at all. I mean, this entire I'm, book's on like thinking fast, I'm, thinking slow, you know, Jonathan Haidt's moral foundation theory. There's like books that lay this out and people are like, wow, really? I'm not talking about anything more complex than you feel something and then you think about why you're feeling that way. No, but I, I think most people, they tend to think of their rational mind. Okay, so Jonathan Haidt lays this out in his, he has this analogy. He says that your brain works like an elephant and a little man who's riding the elephant. And the elephant is your emotions and all your subconscious processes and your kind of animal brain. And the little rider on top of it, the little man, is your rational mind. And most people tend to think that they are the little man, the little, the little guy who's controlling the elephant. But at the end of the day, an elephant's going to go where it wants to go. The rider only has a little bit of control, a little bit of leeway of which direction he wants the elephant to go. So. And so I don't think most people are aware of that. I think most people do think that they are logical, rational actors, you know, 99% of the time when it's really the in the inverse of that. I feel like this is an interesting little rabbit hole because I know that a lot of the goal of like, oh, damn it. Now I'm saying like, fuck me. Um, the goal of mindfulness or like, holy shit. Oh, God. Uh -oh. Stop it. Um, the, the goal of mindfulness, spirituality, and whatnot is mm -hmm. this almost identification that the person who thinks the thoughts, who, who is the person who thinks the thoughts versus the person who observes that the thoughts are occurring. You know, like, how... Because I, I guess it's interesting in thinking about that analogy of the elephant and um, and the, the person riding on it, that the person riding on it is kind of who we identify as being, you know, you in Our a sense. Selves, yes. right. Yeah. And yet you are kind of inextricable from the, the processes that are happening beneath it. And yet there is something of a distinction. It's uh, it's really, it, I'm, I'm not, it, this is just making, this is giving me the big thing. It's, it's interesting. <laughs> that's all. Well, I'm glad that we can pull some really interesting concept from what has been an incredibly vapid, um piece of content we're watching right now and, and and i would just go as far as saying you've declared that she figured it out and understands it and she is you know of a particular level of intelligence okay that's why i'm saying that i think a lot of people would e at least have the most basic understanding of the process well i i don't think she figured this out on her own she i'm sure she's heard someone in her sphere say this and she's just regurgitating what she heard them say in order to make jay try and try and make jay look bad Right. Well, when, when obviously she has such a profound level of ignorance that she's operating in the exact same way that she's, you know, throwing shade at Jay for operating. Well, I, I guess it's just you got to be careful when assuming intent, which I guess is funny because I'm sure that we have ascribed intent many oh, yes, times yeah. so well, far. In the to screen. be fair, she gave us it. She just said Jay's got the ulterior That's motive, it. and it's like, so you're trying to discredit yeah. Jay. Right. Well, exactly. It's it's always about what goal you have in terms of yeah. making what's their points. motivation. The goal of saying, "Oh, Jay, it's about cloud or something," is to dismiss the validity of the arguments to try and paint them as well. No, you you don't really value these that much. You've kind of pulled these arguments out to rationalize some sort of self interest, um, more so than an earnest attempt to engage with the particular topic. Um, mm -hmm. It's annoying thing to well, do. Um, yeah, because uh, I think a big difference here, intent and motivation, right? Like, her intent is to discredit Jay because Jay is fucking with her bread and butter. Now, what is right. the motivation entirely? It's like, could it be strictly money, or does she genuinely believe that what she is doing is okay? I do think she thinks that what she's doing is okay. Um, I think oh, yeah. So. Yeah. Yes. yes. I, I I do not ascribe to her that she is like money grubbing and she's like I can't let this guy expose my evil operation. Like I don't think it's that. I think a lot of the Twitch streamers are just like, hey, I'm happy being lazy. Nobody's really hurt. Can we please ignore this is happening? I th I think it's um it's the you would rather evade uh being forced to introspect on this because it may lead to some conclusions that you're not happy about. Yeah, let's you, just you know? get back to the way things were when I was comfortable and I didn't have to think yeah, about bliss this. Blissful ignorance as to right. whether or not Which by the you, way you remember uh, the key to mm -hmm. that was to just not reply to the video.
Well, yes, because now you've invited this on yourself. (laughs) And I I, I think there's very few people that are like, you know, uh, Mr. Burns style, like coming up with evil schemes. I think most people convince themselves that they're the good guy here, you know, on some subconscious level. According to their own process that she's laying out emotionally, yeah, she's like, oh, I, I provide admit to myself that I'm insight. I give. Well, by the way, this and, all came out of Jay making that fucking joke. And that's why I was just like, Ugh, if only I'd made right. the joke. It's, well, but, it, it is funny. It's so little to infer, to make such a massive sweeping statement about intent. It's, you, you really well, and it doesn't, and... her, her further argument is, is, doesn't even make sense because so what if Jay's intention is that he is upset about yeah. being money that's a completely justified thing someone is stealing money from you that's a completely oh, yeah. justified thing to be upset about even more fundamental what does it matter what the intent is if the arguments are solid right oh yeah we've always felt that so way. we all know that but yeah you know these people well uh, as well, we've established just... if you can't deal with the arguments then go for the intent because there's no real way they can stop you if it's just you on the video you can you can fucking True. speculate mm-hmm. on that all day long and your audience will love it if right. they will like they're waiting for something to grip as well as you see mm-hmm. i'm i'm actually willing to ascribe a little bit more malice than you guys are but not much more <laughs> i think now that she i think now that she's seen this video cuz you, you can't unlearn something in a sense as soon as you know that a fact is a fact, unless you like actually, you know, because act- when, when you forget things, forgetting is an accidental process. You don't mean to forget. You're not like, I'm just going to concentrate hard and that, that fact will vanish from my mind. That isn't, that isn't how it works. When you forget things, it's accidental. Yeah, when you, you learn things, you, you, you kind of have them. So I think now that she's watched this video, there's some part of her inside that has a choice. And it's like, well, do I accept she and I'm kind of a scumbag? Side. Or do I just easy play it up to like, power. yeah? Do, or do I, do I just play it up that it's like, well, you know, it's actually not so bad. Just don't look, guys. P- put me back to sleep. But you can't go back to sleep. Now you know. I think I'm more in line with you, Dev. But it's hard to tell because that that's the problem with really stupid people. That it's it's it can be really tough to peg <laughs> down where the stupid ends and the evil begins. You know, I it, it can be really tough. So sometimes Wasn't it takes a, a while. Joke to really in the Simpsons? Was it stupid and evil was together it? at last? There was a joke in the Simpsons. <laughs> I, I, can't I, can't remember. <laughs> I, I can't remember. I think it was stupid and evil together at last. Hold on. Well, let, let me find it. To, uh, you went to Hitler's. To clarify, right, step fucking one of being able to figure out where you've gone wrong is we saw it where she went, it's wrong. Well, uh, so she, for a moment, she's like, wait a minute. I can't actually. Maybe find I'm that. the bad one. No. Yeah, and like I, I oh, think wait. that maybe a, a, a defense mechanism kicked in of being like, no, 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 don't think about that. Right. It just might have. Uh oh no, it was gum and nuts together at last. <laughs> that was the gum and I nuts. don't know. I think stupid and evil was a friendly joy. Okay. I mean, that's it's weird. He, gum and he nuts said gum together. and nuts together at last. I thought of a a, a horny lady at a retirement home. Oh. <laughs> You took something that was just an innocent little Simpsons joke and you had to just run it. <laughs> Gum and nuts together is pretty stupid and evil, so. You know what I mean? If I was an animator, I would make React content, including my own animations. Animators are notorious about being non content brain. I know! Non content oh, brain? That's what is that? If I can translate that, Sorry. not monetarily brained. Like they don't. They, the oh, they have like they make something. And, and, oh. The idea that they make it because that's what they want it to be, and that's not a great mm-hmm. format to make money, is like a criticism of them, as opposed right. to a you celebration see, that they value the artwork over the money making. I yeah, just socialist. be ragged. When you're so, making an animation, that takes a really long time because you have to yeah. draw several individual frames. That's a lot of work, plus scripting, yes. plus voice acting, plus sound design checks. It, it, like it's 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 a big old process to make a very yeah, small piece of content. You know, the amount of content that you get out of the amount of time you put into it. Animation's quite low on that ratio, but animation is really cool, and people do it very anyway cool. because they value the art form and the craft. But mm-hmm. not you know, brain. it's not as content right brained as just reacting. No, <laughs> is the mic still making the noises? Can it please? Yeah, a bit here yeah, it's there. a little bit clicky. It's not yeah. Terrible. It happens little, here little and there. Well, yeah. regard regarding content brains, I've heard this a few times, and it's, it's definitely floating around the Twitch space right now. That that term, 
And it, it does refer to that, the idea that, oh, you should you should invest your time into something that has a quick turnaround so you can make, you can put out more content, make more internet books. Mm -hmm. But it's it, it's not just that. It's also looking for opportunities to make content. So it's like, oh, I'm going to go to the beach today? Well, I'll bring my streamer backpack and stream from the beach, and I'll make I'll bring my content. hot tub. Well, so I think I think the clear like, example of of uh, content brain for animation would be behind the scenes stuff. Like you can just stream or show your process so yeah. that people can learn things about. But it's it's a matter yep. of time, right? This is all time that could be dedicated to just making cartoons. It's um right. We could theoretically it's, stream it's, making them, right? Like YMS is well, doing that technically for all his videos. Yeah, that's what a, a fox in space, the guy's making a fox in space, does just streams of him animating, and it's it's cool because you can see the process and learn things. But yeah. I mean, I guess I just find it funny. It's like, yeah, animators don't have content brain. It's like, I, it, it what do you, they what have are you saying? Creator like, brain. Do you can't they help but make... think? <laughs> so it, replace it with content like with so, steel. <laughs> well, let's say it, let's say that you buy a laptop, okay? And a regular a person will buy their laptop and be like, oh, I got a new laptop, and they're going to use it. However, a content brain person will set their camera up, and they'll film an unboxing of their laptop, and they'll put it on their channel. And there's nothing uh, wrong yeah. with being content brain as long as you're being honest about it, and you're actually doing the things that you want to do. Oh, yeah. Um, like, there's, um, there's, this I mean, attitude, she, she, there's this attitude that if you're not content brained, there's something wrong with you. And I just, I just don't agree. Like, you can have a private life. You can, you can log off sometimes. Well, yeah, so well, when, I, she, when I, she comes across the person who says, when she's like, why didn't you fucking record it, unbox it? And they go, I don't want to. And she'd be like, what? What? But that, that's money. It's like, I don't, I don't, I don't care. Like, that's, you don't yeah. have to make, please. Yeah, money is it's just a means to line. an end for me. I'm not always hunting it down and searching it it's all the time. It's a great line in the big short. You don't have to make more money. You don't. You just don't. But a lot of people don't think about that, which is funny, right? The socialist who's like, well, no, I have to maximize my earning potential. Mm -hmm. It's a very capitalist thing to do. Well, um, that, I mean, that's the horrible irony here. Is, I mean, it continues. seems like she bases her moral system off of how to make the most amount of profit. Because this is the second I, comment she's made about that. Like the first was, oh, if everyone's doing something that's wrong and they're making money, you're stupid to not do it too. Yeah. So she's almost saying like, if you're not More doing that. something to make money as your end goal, then you're dumb and you're immoral because you're not acting according to my moral principles. So you deserve it. I, I, I don't know if I, I think, it, I think it's a little bit more simple than that. I think that a lot of people will just act in their self-interest to the exclusion of a lot of other things that they should be, well, uh, maybe not should, because it depends on what you value. I think that it can be very easy to settle into a position of, yeah, I need to maximize my position in life. Um, and 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 depending on where you draw the line on things that you value or don't value it can just lead you to a certain place because here it is i don't really value like fair use as a principle i don't really i don't get that much value out of the idea of working for a longer period of time to create an overall higher quality piece of work mm -hmm. these don't matter as much to me as maximizing my position through the means that are available to me right now i, I feel like it might just be that it well, well probably is that simple i i want to do what's good for me I think where the, the, the slight complexity is that, yeah, like most people are, you know, they value themselves getting ahead in life generally. And now people define what getting ahead means differently. But, and we all kind of have our, our lines of morality of like what you will or will not do to get ahead. You know, you're not going to kill your neighbor and steal their shit, right? Or you're not going to cheat so and steal. Well, well some of that. Well, some of them might, but, but the, I think where it kind of changes is that such... she not God only values... It. Sorry. getting ahead uh monetarily but she's like criticizing other people who are not viewing the world through this same lens she's saying they're suckers they're fools for not you know putting up monetary success as the prime motivation here she's the character that you meet sort of early on in a movie who eventually goes on their arc and changes <laughs> and becomes a better person by the end of the movie she's that person <laughs> right sans arc Right. <laughs> Isn't right. had an arc yet. Funny you say. Sitch, that. what you're talking about? What is, is it is funny that I like time you mean, Why do you say that? Because it, that's Let's that was say, a joke, but you don't say it like that. Yeah. Um, remember what? He, he, a lot more to go. I don't know how much I want to spoil. Let's just say that um, one might assume she has learned from this portion in a later portion, but that would be, I think, a mistake <laughs> to uh, refer <laughs> okay. to it that way. Let's mm. go. But, but yeah, but yes. Yeah, what you're describing is is the concept of the of the time press. 
out, which I know mm-hmm. a lot of ANCAPs like to lean on, but it's a, it's a pretty Uh-oh. good idea. J- j- just just the idea that... Are you quoting Hope? You, yes, I am. Oh, good, no. good old, well, I thought his name was, was pronounced Hop. I know, I always say Hope. it wrong. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, the, the idea of, of having a high time preference is that you can put things off to the future. But rather than get paid a little bit now, you can get paid a lot more well, later. I mean, I'm not even talking about time preference. I'm talking about maximizing like her view seems to be i'm going to maximize whatever my guiding principle is maximizing my own well-being monetarily and if other people are not acting according to that principle that's their fault and they're stupid i yeah i think i would agree that there's almost this implication of why don't you do what i do like why you i mean she said that in the beginning of the video yeah Yeah, it's the attitude of this is a like when you're playing a video game and one weapon is clearly busted and overpowered and is scheduled to be patched Uh, and so everyone's like get while the getting's good you're a fool for not abusing this exploit you're an idiot for not doing this if you don't do it then you're dumb that's the perfect mm-hmm. example. There's so many games where you're playing, you're like, oh, you know, the rocket launcher is a noob tube or whatever is, you know, cheap and overpowered. You know, it needs to be nerfed. And then all the people on the forums that use it go, oh, well, you know, if you just so use it, you why don't you use it? Yeah. We don't that. even understand the, even the, the concept of trying to play in a fair way or right. to be sporting right. is unfortunately lost on many gamers. Oh, well, yeah, because and. When, when you, if you map that idea onto this conversation, it, it it becomes clear that you know they. This is the Vosh argument. Right? Like all all politics is just power. It's all power. There's no truth. It's all power. Mm-hmm. Well, yeah. that, that this is how you would behave if you actually believe that were the case. Well, she so, maybe she does that. <laughs> she's consequentialist woman. Is that what you're saying? Yeah, I mean socialist, right? It's a big all, word all kind of, for her. It all pieces That's together. Sad. You know, it's all coming together. <laughs> This sounds like weird jealousy. Why does it do you care about what other people are doing? Yeah, I just don't understand. Why do you care about what well, other why people do you are doing? Why do you care what other people so are why doing? Do you care that Jeff Bezos make, why do you care that Jeff Bezos makes like $200 billion? Not that he makes, but that he's well, worth that the, much. The better one to say is, why does she care much. what Jay is doing? Yep. Yeah, sure. But I why felt do you like care it's about like anyone else's Jesus <laughs> What a stupid <laughs> thing. Could you imagine like... The, it's, Could you imagine it, restreaming her content and when she complains, you're like, why do you care what other people do are doing? Dude, uh, I fucking yeah, guarantee I, you, if she has any commentary for what's happened here today, it might actually include, they did exactly what Jay is complaining about, so. And just be like, excuse me. <laughs> I, <laughs> like, no, someone, I wonder, if, if I were to just to go on Twitch and set up like some burner channels that just went live and restreamed Hassan and restreamed, and just stole their stream until they got banned, would these people complain? It depends on whose content you're stealing because they don't have a principle underlying all of this. It's who is the target. Yeah. Why do you care? Elsie, why does this do care about what other people are doing? Yeah, I just don't don't get it. And if you don't like that other people are reacting to your content, you can just probably... First of all, A, you can message these people most of the time and be like, don't react to my content. Shouldn't have to do that. I don't want to. Shouldn't have to. Shouldn't have to do that. Baffling. Baffling that... That's an actual like thing of just like if you want people to stop stealing stuff, you have to tell them. Like, you have to fuck? actively, you have to go out of your way, take time out of your life to try and sort all of these things out instead of people just respecting a pretty fair principle, which is transform it or ask first. No, the onus is on you to stop me from doing this. Mm-hmm. Such a backward, stupid way of thinking about it. Well, you, you know, when you go into the department store, if there's no sign that says "Don't steal," I mean, how are you supposed to know? <laughs> you're not supposed to steal. Yeah, as you're walking out the door, hey, can you not do that? Oh, oh, okay. Oh, okay. And, and then I'll just go. Door. I'll just go to the next door, and hopefully yeah. nobody, <laughs> nobody notices. It's just a realization where you're like, so you don't feel shame when you steal someone's stuff yeah. at all, right? And they're like, no. <laughs> and I'm like, right, okay. Oh, so you're a bad person. <laughs> That's like, yeah. And plus, a- just going back to the whole why do you care what other people do thing, this is coming from the side that's super big into everything around you is the important factor in your situation. They they don't play up the personal actions and stuff nearly as much as the other side does. So it's doubly bizarre to hear that statement coming from someone on this side of politics. Why would you care what somebody else is doing? It is really weird. Well, to be it's fair, really they, they do have... They do have this idea that you see a lot where they, where they have uh, memes and, and tweets and stuff where everyone's saying, if you see someone shoplifting, no, you didn't. And it's like, yeah, 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 so I remember stealing. that. You're stealing, no? 
Don't don't report other people stealing. Oh. That that yeah, this doesn't contribute to the degradation of society. Yeah. <laughs> Just These probably... are very short-term thinkers. These are people who think within like the the current minutes, and anything past that is a fever dream. Also, Low isn't her... time preference. Just thinking about it, oh her entire God. job <laughs> description is to care about what other people are doing. Well, that's what it means to be a political commentator. You're making observations about how you think the world ought to be. What is that if not making observations about how other people ought to act or what they ought to be doing and making judgments of when they do things that you believe are wrong? Yeah. I have a lot to say about what our existence. Uh, everyone does. This idea that you're not. Well, pretty much everybody ridiculous. does, yeah. Yeah, I definitely do. Of course I do. Duh. First of all, A, you can message these people most of the time and be like, don't react to my content. I don't want you to react to my content. And if they are still reacting, you have to or whatever, even be made then, aware or, like, of it. You don't feel like they're reacting hard enough, then you can always try and like fucking DMCA them or whatever the fuck. Oh yeah, just, so that's fantastic. React yeah. harder. I hate. Well, if someone like deals from you or assaults you, you could sue them. It's fine. You could like take them to court about it. Whatever. Seems weird. Like especially like maybe it's from my perspective too. When yeah. I make YouTube content. I want people to watch it on their stream. Okay. I want people to watch my content That's on their fine. stream. That's so no, choice. change the wording to you want people to steal it with no benefit to you. As soon as you say that, yeah. you're like, all right, mm -hmm. I understand why you brought that up. But until you do, I don't know why you're saying any of this. Yeah, good point. I don't even get the perspective of like, no, d why, don't watch my content or whatever. I don't know. It's probably because it wasn't that. You Jay never said, don't watch my content. The like, fact that you admit you can't even understand the the concept, like you don't have not even just agreeing with it, but but you don't get it. Like, come on, surely you can be the... able to understand the idea that you don't want to have your shit just taken by someone else. And it's the part that's curious because she defeated herself earlier in an argument, but now she's saying like there are no arguments at all, and she's like, hmm. I I think she understands the argument. I think this is all dishonesty at this point. Hmm. Which streamer watching completely your video changed. No, is not. If anything, you're probably going to get more subs and viewers because a Twitch streamer is watching your video. Well, as we've established, the utility that you gain from it is not the point. It's well, yeah. Not only is it not the point, but like what you're saying is just not reflective of reality. Yeah. No, <laughs> it's not the point. And if it was the point, it's a shitty one. Yep. Mm -hmm. is, is, this, is like, this is kind of like uh, artists who get told just to get paid an exposure. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Same it thing. Is. Yes. I mean, like a YouTuber on the same platform as you is kind of, I can see how you can view that as like they're literally taking views away from you. So instead of like, if someone looks up your video title on YouTube, they might click on yours first or whatever. Jack made this video essay very early in the React Metis before we knew React channels helped or hurt channel growth. <gasps> so you have no idea what you're talking about. Jack's whole problem was that he's getting circumvented. All of his work is ignored because someone else is taking it and benefiting from it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No, it, it. I don't think it would have mattered if it was he loses out 1, 10, 100, or 10,000 billion views. The point is just that the act itself is fucking wrong. Well, yeah, because it could be as simple as whatever utility I may get out of it, it really annoys me that someone who did nothing is gaining from my work. Like, that alone yeah. is enough. I do not want you to do this. Yeah, there's, there's an element of, there's like this, there's there's a part of our eight brains that recognizes what fairness is. Yeah. And this is sort of like, yeah, it's not really fair. That someone could just take my shit like that, benefit I'm, from it. I'm sure that we had this conversation like a day ago or two days ago, that it seems to be a pretty near universal element of human beings that we don't like unfairness. Yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty deep in our evolutionary <laughs> psychology. Yeah. It is... A it lot is of very much like, a thing. Yeah. yeah, the the idea that Jack was unaware of whether or not React content benefits people at this point, and he made this point. No, no, like no, no, it wasn't the context of what he's talking about. Away from you. So instead of like, if someone looks up your video title on YouTube, they might click on yours first or whatever. Jack made this video essay very early in the React Metis before we knew React channels helped or hurt channel growth. Wait, but this is February. This just came out yesterday. Oh God. <laughs> Oh, nice, no. Jesus Christ! It. <laughs> nice. Okay, maybe she is stupid. I take. I'm not the <laughs> maybe coach. she's stupid. I don't stupid. know what to believe. <laughs> maybe. I don't Jesus. know what to believe anymore. I completely forgot she said that. Oh God. Oh no. <laughs> oh, no. Hold on. For some reason, I'm not getting the 
the, the joke. What, what happened? So she thinks that this, I, yeah, I get it. So she thinks that this guy on screen, Jack, she thinks that he made this just the other day, that this isn't something that happened a long time ago. Like that 10 fucking Jay years ago or some shit. Yeah. This is the, the, right. the Jinx event oh, was a long yeah, time ago. Yeah, I get it. Oh, God. I had to put it together. I guess I'm also a bit dim sometimes. I don't know. It no, was you have to kind of know the you context even, like, of the... Yeah. It, it sank below <laughs> your, your skill floor. You were like, you couldn't see it. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. And obviously, Jack is well swamp, within his rights dim. to react this way because wait, there's wait. really no meaning... D does, she, does anyone in her chat correct her? Or she just go on with that thinking... Um, I think she might eventually have realized, or someone might have told her, or whatever. But someone in the chat says right now, it says Jack Films' response to Jinx was from a long time ago. Okay, there you go. Meaningful difference between what Jinx ago. did and someone just downloading and then reposting one of Jack's videos. Just because some people are okay with this kind of thing doesn't mean you get to go around doing it to everyone. Your partner might be really into hard cactus play, but before you whip out your favorite Acanthosarius tetragonus, you're going to check. <laughs> I chose this picture because it looked a bit like a willy. There's a very clear reason. That is a funny joke. It does look kind <laughs> of like, it does oh, look do you want, do you want to know vaguely willy shaped. Right? I don't know what she thinks of it. Here we go. You ready? What does she think about it, Mahler? Sorry, I'd love to know. It wasn't funny at all. It was so cringe. Oh, this man. It was funny. the worst analogy in the world. Oh, my God. Funny. I'm so... And it's an not analogy. funny, and it's not a valid analogy. Was it even an analogy? So, yeah, so here's Jay my said, question. Is that just because one person is okay with a thing doesn't mean everyone is? How the fuck is that not apt? Or is yeah. she referring specifically to the cactus and its shape relative to a willy. No, yeah, like she doesn't said. think it's willy shaped enough. Is that what also, she's pretty possibly, yes. Yeah. That's not funny. Like it doesn't really scare, doesn't it? Well, I mean That's I thought it was fun. funny, so I don't know. I thought it was funny too. And I think the what? only way that you could get away with laughing as you say it's not funny is the follow up recognition that it's so stupid. Like it's almost like that devaluing it is, it is the joke of it, you know? Right. Yeah. Like when you're laughing at something and you're like, this is so stupid. Like there's an understanding of that's kind of the quality of what makes it funny. Yeah. It's anti humor. Uh, oh, definitely. Well, with the way that Jay delivered no. it. Anti humor is a bit different. Anti humor is, is like a blunt uh, isn't anti-humor that you make like an incredibly blunt harsh and like kind of true statement yeah, like it's like uh, yeah you know what's worse than uh like oh, dirty careful, dishes careful careful <laughs> <laughs> you want to go to yeah i, I thought anti-humor was driving uh a a really lame joke into the ground until it becomes unfunny and then becomes I no, again. that's, I that's like what i thought and, yeah. like yeah, that's the family guy holding your knee thing I thought anti humor was like pretty much the the joke of um oh well people are saying that's wrong oh no one person know. saying I that's know. wrong sorry one person said that's wrong anti humor <laughs> and if I'm right okay so anti humor is a type of in yeah is a type of indirect or alternative humor that involves the joke teller delivering something that is intentionally not funny or lacking in intrinsic meaning that is anti humor it's very it's an odd things that are. <sighs> So like, this, um, it's not... Actually, um, so this is The Yarn, also called A Shaggy Dog Story, is a type of anti-humor that involves telling an extremely long joke with an intricate... Uh, man, pff, telling an extremely long joke with an intricate and sometimes grisly backstory and surreal or repetitive plotline before ending the story with either a weak spoonerism or abruptly stopping with no real punchline at all. Mm-hmm. That is an example. And then it actually breaks it down, but I don't know how much... I, in, the, in the interest of time... It doesn't uh, matter. It doesn't matter. Yeah. We can move on. How would, you comment, on <laughs> how would you comment on anything if you didn't have Wikipedia? I wouldn't. Wikipedia is very helpful. Yeah. I, I, I don't know. I'm it's sorry. It's on, I'm always... You know that ev the bottom of every Wikipedia article, all those little numbers, the little floaty ones, those, those are citations. Footnotes. Yeah. And then you they can... take you to the bottom where that thing by the floaty number was. And a lot of the times those are like studies and peer-reviewed mm -hmm. papers and journals and books written by expert authors and things like that. Wikipedia is just where they're sort of compiled a lot of the time for yeah. simplicity. Like when I was growing up in the school and they would say, hey, you can't use Wikipedia as a source. I was a little smart pupperino, and I was like, okay. So I used Wikipedia as a source and just used the footnote as the source. And then I put that mm -hmm. down. 
and the boomers who said you couldn't use Wikipedia didn't know anything, so I got um, away with it. And yeah, I did that you don't know, move on. So I like to learn things whenever I find that there is a a, de a a dearth of knowledge. So that's the reason why I like to go to Wikipedia, so that I can try and learn something when I realize I don't know something about the subject. Someone in chat so said, old. is the skit with Liam Neeson uh, in... I think it's life's too short. Uh, an That's example one of the of funniest -humor. things. I'm pretty sure created. it is. Just to give you, for people who don't know, it's like Ricky Gervais is like, I'll entertain the idea that you could be a funny person. Liam Neeson will just run with your premise for a joke. He's like, uh, Liam Neeson. I think Ricky Gervais is like, set up a sketch. You'll be a shopkeeper and I'll be a customer. And he walks in. And he's like, uh, hello. Can I can I get some blah blah? blah. And then Liam Neeson just goes, No, we're closed. We're not uh, going to be <laughs> thinking anymore because I realized recently that I've contracted AIDS. <laughs> and, and they're, they're both just like, what the fuck am I supposed to do with this as a sketch? Because he's just stone face staring at them saying I... that. And obviously, how not funny that is, is funny. Yeah, yeah they're just, they're, they, it's like they're, they're parallel sort of with anti-jokes a lot of the times. Uh, so I think anti-humor leans a little bit more into the meta side of recognizing that it's a joke. Uh, I think it does. Or an anti-joke is like the one from Jimmy Carr. What's worse than finding a worm in your apple? Being raped. And you're like, it, yeah. You know? It's like, it's an anti-joke. It's, you know. I would, see, I would say that's just a joke joke. That's not even an anti-joke. I think that's often I think, what would be characterized as an anti-joke, where it's like some Yeah, anti-jokes are just so common parlance now that you I don't even think to categorize them differently. Uh, isn't like another anti-joke something like, you know... What was the elephant doing in the freezer? It's like, it wasn't, this is like ridiculous, it can't even fit in. Like, that's kind of a, an anti -joke Why can't a T-Rex clap its hands? Because they're extinct. Yeah, and then it just... Right, or like, because, you know, X, its hands are positioned here. Well, and is, it, is an anti-joke, an anti-humor something different? Or are you using them... They're sense? very well, similar, I think. I, but as I said, I... Anti-humor versus anti-joke, because they're actually a different... I don't know why they would be. The unobvious punchline, okay. Thank you, Wikipedia. Okay, I think just, they're similar, but slightly the same, different. But they said, here's the example they gave. Did you hear about the honeymooners who confused the tube of KY jelly with widow putty? With window putty. Quite the tragedy. All the windows fell out of their new home. I see. You expect oh, that's it to go a, one way, but it goes a, the other. Yes. So that's yes. a joke. That's not an anti-joke or anti-humor. That's just a normal joke that goes the direction you don't expect. Right, but I would say like the rape joke would be the same thing. <laughs> like, even if it doesn't have well, anything no, to do with I, the setup. I think I think it's because it creates humor out of uh, the 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 uh, what how I'm I'm trying to think of a it's like a a tonal shift. Mm -hmm. What's worse than finding a worm in your apple? I'm like, okay, this is a fun joke. Nope, being raped, and like, oh. Yeah, that is that is that yeah, that that is a lot worse, you know? Like it it's a mood shift that's very sudden and mm -hmm. unexpected. Right, but it's it's baking off of like, you know, we all heard the joke, oh, finding half a worm in your apple, like that's the expected punchline. And it's subverting that with just something that has nothing to do with the setup whatsoever. Well, I guess this it's is where humor worm. gets complicated yeah, yeah, because sad, a lot yeah. of a lot of humor is subverting expectations, it's right. setting and then and then uh, a heel turn that is surprising like a lot of humor is derived from i wouldn't say because like shock value is often said in a reduct you know in a reductive way like the shock value is bad but i mean an aspect of humor is you weren't expecting that and that's kind of funny um then again there's also the whole tragedy is first person comedy is third person as well but like a lot of comedy just has some some person who is the loser in their situation mm -hmm. Yeah, did you hear about that half a worm? Instead of going, "Oh my god, I, I, I was in this apple. I'm a worm, yeah. and I was in this apple, and I, I got fucking bit in half. Luckily, I'm a I'm worm, hearing. so that's okay. But and Jesus Christ, exactly. Yeah. You know how hard it is to disable a worm? It's, it's just, you just make a shorter worm. Someone in chat said, "Jesus, guys, this is ponderous even for you." We literally discussed what is art for like hours and two hours episodes yeah mm -hmm. and also you know what it's fun ponderous stuff all right i'm learning new things every day we are here with my to wikipedia ponder. articles and all Where's of your insight okay yeah i mean I, I tried to move this on like 10 minutes ago but i agree no, that's okay we'll, we'll because when we're, we're not finished 
Are we finishing this today? <laughs> what do you reckon? We will Hell yeah, this. let's do it. Yeah. Yeah, I'm on board with that. Yeah. Well, I'm on board with it too. I'm just saying, what are our chances? I, I, I probably can't do the second one. <laughs> okay, Dev. If we do finish this you today, can bow out. Such a pussy, Dev. you'll be here in spirit. Reason you are a bit of a pussy bat, sir. <laughs> oh my god, I'm sorry. That wasn't funny at all. It was so cringe. This was the worst analogy in the world. Oh my god, I'm so cr I'm cringing. Maybe so if you hard. hold your mouth closer to the fucking microphone so that it peaks all the time, mm -hmm. yeah. people will appreciate that. Yeah. Maybe that's. Oh my god, do. Rags, what are you talking about? As if you were trying to do that, you failed. I was about which to say, even adds are, please point. don't try to peak your microphones, I beg you. <laughs> I think I think Discord controls for those sharp sounds. I don't think There goes Dev. No personal responsibility again. <laughs> oh, I, oh, I chose this picture because it looked like a willy. Did I wow. Oh, boy. Ooh, <laughs> like, oh, yikes. Like, did yikes. I mention our British? He's very, wow, very that, So We've hit so many things at once. It's apparently not an apt analogy, even though it really is. She's it's not funny, even though you're laughing. It's the cringiest thing ever. Um, and then you do a fake British accent that is really painful. Well, it's remember, smashed. she's funny and other people aren't. Right. People because who laugh that's, at this. That's something you're allowed not, to decide for no, yourself, no. whether or not you're funny. That's that's your choice. Well, the cringe of her accent's pretty funny, so... I'll well, yeah, I find, it, I find her amusing to watch, because she's such a... <laughs> like an animal at a zoo? <laughs> yes. I didn't want to say it, but there you go. And when, when the chimp, like, pulls out the poop from its butt, and it, like... <laughs> And it, like, it, 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 out. It, it draws yeah, a little mustache it on its face. Oh. Yeah, that's <laughs> hilarious. The worst place to draw things on you with poop because it's right underneath your nose. But... Exactly, but they don't know <laughs> that. Oh, They're oh stupid. My oh man. <laughs> 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 Bro, you should have deleted that. <laughs> sorry. Bro. I'm sorry. You, you okay, should. You, you, your apology kind of accepted. With his content. No, you know what would be really funny? Getting up and going to the bathroom and letting it play. <laughs> man, just that laughing about funny. the thing that's being criticized. She's oh, really man. amused by her own joke. I know. I mean, I'm glad someone's to, laughing. To, to her that. credit, that's actually like a decent joke. No, it's not. That's I, the no, easiest joke I you can make. Dev, I'm, a, I'm ashamed Dev. of you. I, no, no, I, I like better. that kind of humor where it's like, oh, you don't like the thing? Well, how about I just do it? I, I, I get a little I get a little giggle out of it. The easiest joke possible in this scenario. Hey, wouldn't well, it annoy somebody who's I, I'm not saying I don't like? It's so simple. Jay doesn't like that you don't react. Hey, how about I don't react? Ha. Huh. I'm so how is clever. That right. <laughs> listen, listen, <laughs> listen. No I'm not saying it. that I have a great sense of humor. I'm saying that it made me laugh a little, a little bit. Okay, listen. you're alone in this. <laughs> Sorry. You're on listen, Dev yeah. Island over Only here. Only people with low time preference think that joke is funny, Dev. Oh my goodness <laughs> gracious. Get wrecked, Dev. Full over. Full Oga now. You like to watch political content and political streaming reaction stuff because it's like you're getting someone that curates videos for you for like five six oh, seven i don't know if anyone's gonna care but apparently bad boys 4 is no longer happening because of what happened with the oscars <laughs> oh, what really? no really oh we need yeah, bad well, boys i thought it was bad boys weird. for life but so, now um, this makes it really truly bad boys it's not bad boys. on meta oh no I assume you guys are aware but obviously he's he's i don't he even know what movies he'll be making anymore it, i mean damn yeah I mean, he's done so many What can you say? Like, he... yeah, I mean, like, he no, went no, up. This is actually, this is actually good. It's time. Will Smith will return to rap. <laughs> oh, there you go. We do a second album for Wild Wild West. <laughs> are you are you saying that because it's because now that he's shown a predilection towards violence, he's going to start rapping? Oh, you're so racist, Dev. Come on. Fuck, oh, jeez, I got it. okay. Unbelievable. <laughs> you know what? That was also a pretty good joke. I'll take it. So, so it is interesting to think about Will Smith's long storied career of acting and being famous and very beloved by everyone ends like this, potentially. That's interesting to think I mean, about. It's like sad, but at the same time, it's just like, yeah, well, you're not supposed to fucking hit people, are you? Yeah, totally. you can't go up and hit people no, no. so brazenly and in public like that. You can't well, do that. Well, on mash international television, I mean, of all places, and then to start <laughs> screaming at Didn't him afterwards. Didn't slap him in private. <laughs> in the, the privacy of your own pain. mansion. Ouch! Ouch! Your fucking <laughs> mouth. Like, all right, man.
Yeah, forgetting that there's a lot of networks that aren't going to be able to get rid of that <laughs> straight away. <laughs> They're going to be scrambling. What do I we mean, do? Is so... this the script? He had no control think. over himself. He found movies well, while well, 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 for sure. Dude, they probably wanted to make sure they broadcast it for the ratings. Like, how can oh you broadcast that? Oh my god. Well, so, I, think, so I thought so in America, America that, uh, that was, they bleeped him. Speaking well, they bleeped him, but they showed balding. the event. You know what I mean? It might have not well, been possible. Uh, to really cut well, away. So, um, from what I understand, it was that in Australia and in Japan, it wasn't. It just went out. They didn't. Right. They didn't. Where in America, they like paused Based the broadcast or something and in Japan. It. I, what was I? Oh, damn. I was about to say, I remember I, because afterward, because this kind of just happens, I was re watching uh, Chris Rock's uh, opening monologue for the, one of the Oscars that he hosted in the past. He made a joke about Wild Wild West. Yeah. Um, he made a lot of jokes about, well, not a lot, but he made a couple of jokes about Will Smith uh, in that opening monologue. And people were like, man, he was plotting for years, you know? <laughs> and it's well, um, I think he this should put about... to rest any idea that this was staged, by the way. I, right. I don't see how anybody could imagine that the I never Oscars thought it would was, happily broadcast yeah, Will lots Smith of people swearing. I know on Twitter who are certain it that was is, staged. It's, it's, it's so at, no, come on, come on. It's so There's weird, no way. Yeah. I, I, it's I so awkward. It was so awkward. He had like tears in his eyes. This would just, also like, he's he, swearing. You think he's gonna ruin like his? This is his night. He's gonna get an Oscar. You think he's gonna forever soil that by by becoming a laughing stock and? Okay. By yeah. Slapping also, the the yeah. Like, what's the joke then? What's the state? They, what's the the? the how does he benefit? Is the question? Right? No, they didn't. They didn't censor yeah, it in a lot of benefits. places in the world. They didn't right. censor it in a lot of places. It just came through. There's no way. Come on. And also, yeah. if it was a joke, then they why would they censor why it? The whole point was that it's a joke or that it's a I bit thing. Well, no. The, I think why, the people are like, saying that it's like secretly staged by the Oscars to increase their rating, so the Oscars are going to pretend like it, it wasn't sacrifice to Will Smith at that altar. Well, they I, might. Will Smith wouldn't sacrifice himself. Because someone did it. Chat, bring me dot 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 ratings. What kind of person would agree to do this? And yeah. Like, no, yeah. So Will to clarify, Smith? we're saying it wasn't staged by every component. Like it, Will Smith was certainly not fucking in on it. it <laughs> Well, what else oh, look at look what's happened, happened to him. This is not what he would want. He does not want right. to disgrace his entire career and lose any chance of making movies again. That is not what he wants. Right. Oscar away from him that he's wanted for like what twenty years at this point. He's been actively trying to get like an Oscar. Yeah, exactly, exactly. And on the night, on the fucking night. I don't mm. know. There is a sort of tragedy that you do feel bad for him in a way. Because you're like, God dang, one one thing that you did, yeah. and it's all. Now what? You've tarnished your entire life's legacy because you had to hit that black man. Well, Over a joke, and also just that there's all those other elements too in terms of their relationship, where it's like, oh. Now you're not oh. even the cringy guy from the YouTube rewinds. You're just a <laughs> criminal. So this article says they didn't say they canceled Bad Boys Four. They said it's quote on hold. So I'm gonna predict that it will become not on hold. You know, in a couple months when it's all blown. I don't over. know. I don't know that if he. How does it work? If you get booed from the Academy, like in general, does that mean that like a, a, you, it, you, it just means you, you can't get an Oscar? Hire you, right? No, 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 that's not true. You don't have to be part of the Academy to get an Oscar. Um, not everybody's part of the Academy. Oh, I mean, you, yeah, just, you, you just don't get the vote, right? Uh, you don't get to participate in, yeah, in, in like a lot of the decisions that are made in terms of, you know, who wins. Because I believe the right. Academy is like 5,000 people or something. It's not a huge organization. Well, maybe they can arrange some kind of a, like a give and take where each side sort of gets what they want. Like, like, a, like a compromise, I guess you could say. And Will Smith oh, yeah. can, he can't, well, he can't really vote, but he sort of can vote. So maybe his vote's a little bit more than half of a normal vote, like maybe like three fifths of a vote, oh, and sorry. so they can. What are you talking? He's not in the academy. He doesn't vote on anything. Oh, no. Thanks, Sitch. Thank you. <laughs> Listen, yeah. the Americans understand. That's <laughs> a that's a deep that's a that's a deep long that joke. Deep, I don't, that's a yeah. deep long. That's fine. I'm well, glad Sitch got it on. Bringy, you don't understand. Rags is a big racist, and you're not, so that's good. <laughs> okay. Yes, yeah, what uh, black people thought was worth in during, the constitution. Like, yeah, like well, in the, I'm not sure what year that was. Yeah, but it's yes. It was, yeah, uh, okay, right. Yeah, no, I I don't see the world through that lens. So yeah, good, good. As you shouldn't. Um, 
But yeah, uh, I don't care about bad boys. That's fine. <laughs> like, what? It's a real thing. Okay. I saw um, bad boys. Right? It's not great. What oh. says more about Welsh heritage than bad boys for? <laughs> Bad boys for life with a four in the for the four. That would have been the way to do it. Is it is bad boys? Does it have a Z in it? I can't remember. It's no, no, it doesn't. Okay. (laughs) It's wow. Wait, it does. Wait, I'm already getting conflicting answers. It doesn't. It is bad boys. Does not. B o y s. Okay. But I will That's say not that nearly as super cool, but oh well. It would be confusing branding because the third movie was called Bad Boys for Life, and I think that they should call the fourth one Bad Boys for Life with a four, but I think that might be a little confusing to general audiences. Change the oh, life the, the third well. one? Wait, was, was Bad Boys for Life spelled with the number four? No, because Bad Boys for Life is the third Bad Boys movie. I'm saying it's a missed opportunity. That's right. all. Because it's going to be hard now going forward. It's just going to be confusing for people if you don't. Oh yeah, like, bad boys, bad boys two, bad boys four, yeah, life, bad boys bad four. Boys, yeah. Bad, the A in bad is a four, so it'd be before boys or something. Before boys, bad boys before life. Maybe oh, it's a prequel. Yeah. about their parents. They could just. Bad boys. Oh, bad boys forever, of course. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> oh, the, it could just be bad boy, and it's just a biopic of Will Smith. <laughs> or the bad boys. You just put a the, and then it's like that's okay. That's the way to name, do it right? these days. Yeah. yeah. I feel like the bad boys would be a really good name for a documentary on cops, the TV show. Mm-hmm. It's rise to popularity. It's filming. You know. Oh, sorry. Help me. Reaction stuff because it's like you're getting someone that curates videos for you for like five, six, seven, eight hours. You know what I mean? You don't have to go on YouTube and be like, funny video, good video to watch. <laughs> Who the what fuck is does this? this? What Who the does fuck? this? What? <laughs> it's good, supposed to be video. entertainment. If this is your attitude when you're looking for your entertainment, you're a sad person. I don't know what to say. Seriously, who's going on YouTube like and types in good demon. funny video? <laughs> what is this, 2007? <laughs> like, good funny video. You're just video. looking for memes? Hey guys, I found this video with cats. Mm. He's playing a keyboard. Wow! Oh, what did you type in to find it? Good bum, funny bum, video. Bum, 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 bum. <laughs> um, yeah. So she's basically explained her role in life, which is to act as a YouTube search bar that no one has to actually type anything in. It'll just do it for you. This is like the this is the YouTube equivalent of going to Google and typing in sex and just hitting enter <laughs> when you're a kid Big and you boob. don't know how porn works. You're like uh, sex. <laughs> You know, I'm starting to realize, like, what is what is it that the service is if they say, like, I wouldn't watch this video unless you were watching it and you don't add anything? Does that mean they're literally just watching you in the corner and just they're like, mm, I like you. Look at you. Yes, yes. That, that, that's kind of what, I, what I pointed out when I was talking about my sadder period of existence where I was into this sort of thing. <laughs> sadder period. We're, yes, where literally you just want to see, uh, you, you want the vicarious feeling of being yeah. happy, so you watch somebody else being happy at a, a YouTube video. I, That's I true. So. I do turn best of the worst on and watch it multiple times over to pretend as if I have friends in the room, yes. <laughs> you do that too? <laughs> <laughs> we, should be, we should be friendless together. Yeah. <laughs> Wait a minute, that was kind of get the point, wasn't it? No, yeah. It, yeah. All right, guys, we're, we're going to get together at some point, all of us, and we're, we're going to do best of the worst EFAP edition. Honestly, let's just watch all the MXC episodes. Isn't that isn't that kind of oh god, those are great. So one good thing about Twitch is there's a a Twitch channel that just loops all the MXC videos, all the all the episodes just over and over and over. (laughs) That's that's why I brought it up because you had mentioned that when you were uh, when you were on last time, and so I I, I knew you were an appreciator of MXC. Well, yeah, I mean that's yeah, I guess I guess I consider like these two weeks to be a time almost. Time. It's Mm -hmm. like an arc of a sort. How can they, they were days. How, how can they play all the MXC videos? Uh, they because just MXC is just old. Them. I thought since Sp- didn't they play on Spike or Sci-Fi or something? I, it was Spike. Well, Spike's yeah, dead now. and yeah, Spike no. is not. Yeah, so I don't know if the right. I don't know. Maybe the people. Yeah, it's like if if, if, if a thing sort of dies, then who really vanguards its copyright protection? Sometimes there's just mm-hmm. no one to really do it, or they don't care, or, Asian or they've people. moved on. But, or they don't know that they own it. 
kind of thing. Yeah, you know, like, oh, you mean we own this now because we purchased some subsidiary of this one company that telecommunica marketed, and they don't know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So also, there's there's uh, in in watching that that Twitch channel of just looping MXC videos, I realized there's a bunch of shit in those episodes that do that does not fly on today's. Terms oh of no no no. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the, not only were those shows shockingly cleverly written, and you talk about jokes like a machine gun is that show, but geez, wow. Some of that humor was, it was a pizza cutter, man. It was all edge. Because it's a circle. Want to watch video while eating. You know what I mean? You get to just open a stream and you know this streamer is going to have content that's going to be worth watching. You're just How do you know that? Well, what does this even mean? You're just explaining why people are doing the thing, not that it's good. But how is it well, any different yeah. than typing in for a random video? How do you know that the video is worth watching just because someone else chose it? How does that work? I guess unless they assume that your judgment is always straight and true and awesome. That's sad. <laughs> I, yeah, no, I know it is. You can make your own opinions. Holy fuck. Lord, brave and true. It's kind of like a lose-lose for streamers. Oh, sort fuck of, off. Because... If you, if you like, you guys you understand, like, job. if you're streaming for a lot of hours, sometimes you just, like, need a break. Like, you just want to yeah, like, go, and then like, then just, take yeah, the that's, break. That's called take a break. Just take a you break. You don't get paid on your break. break. Take a walk for nope. five minutes. Yeah. And you want to know, you want to know what? Um, I would love to know You what. would never want someone who works customer service to work, like, five, six, seven, eight hours a day. Eight yeah, hours a day? Single. Can you imagine so, someone working for eight so, hours a day? I, I, do, I do love the idea, by the <laughs> oh way. Oh my though. God. Oh, man, these analogies that Jay's making so bad, but you know what's an apt analogy for me playing videos while I go just to do whatever I want is when a customer service rep goes on break and their phone is unmanned and someone else takes phone calls. You know, that's a really apt analogy for what's going on here, isn't it? When someone takes a break at work and they aren't at work anymore. I'm still stuck at the she thinks it's weird that people work eight hours a day. Well, I guess she's she's going to say, like, without a break, I'm imagining is what she's going to say, which you do take a break. Though, and then again, You're supposed to. It happens plenty of time. A lot yeah, of those... Stupid, okay, I know... Break. The insult to me is just to compare someone in retail in any way, shape, or form to what you're doing here, which is you sit down, you eat food, and you watch videos you enjoy, and you pay yeah. for it. And then it's like, I can't do that for five straight hours. You're like, what? what? Uh, yeah, it's, Why can't it's a, you... a recognition of incredibly comfortable existence you have. Um, it's a little annoying that there lack is a lack of... Lack of total lack of perspective, and you just have okay. no idea how good you have it, that you can do this, that this yeah. is a thing you could do. And you could just survive doing this and Literally, thrive no, doing this. I do better than people who are working longer hours and getting paid less by the hour. Just, just say as well. Imagine, imagine eight hours. There's, like almost everyone in chat is like, "What do you imagine? What do you imagine? I don't have to imagine." Can you imagine <laughs> working for eight hours. You know, when I was in, uh, when I worked in a, a as a as a server in a restaurant, banquets and stuff, we wouldn't take breaks because we wanted to keep making that money. Especially if it was at a good time. We're like, break? Fuck no. I want to roll in the dough. I don't want to take a break and sit around for 30 minutes. No, I want to do stuff. I want to work. I want to do the job and make the money. Um, it didn't work that way for us in the Toy Story. It was a nightmare. They were like, you get to have your breaks when we tell you that there's an availability for one. And sometimes you could just be in a day and they'd be like, sorry, uh -huh. there's just no time for you to take a break. Otherwise, things will fall apart. And they like ask you morally to not please, to, please don't complain about that. We just need you to not take a break right now because there's too many customers. It's like, that's great. Thanks. <laughs> yeah, it was kind I have, of, I have that, that was pretty rare with stories, us. Yeah. Because yeah. with us, it was, they'd have to tell us. What they would do is they'd say, okay, you guys just like wouldn't take breaks. And we're going to get in trouble for that because you have to take breaks legally. Can you just like write on this timesheet about a 30 ish minute period when you totally took a break and so we have to we'd go into the time thing and we'd we are retroactively manually write in when her breaks were so they didn't get in trouble for letting us work all the time i guess it's the differences between where you work and the jobs you do and who's in charge it just oh yeah, completely definitely. different experiences um, someone's kind of annoyed me so someone in chat just said rags that's literally her argument 
So what she's arguing is that what? she should be able... So, yeah, to clarify, right, Rags is saying he didn't take his break because there was so much money to make. She's saying, I want to take my break, but people will leave and thus I will not make as much if I leave and stop working right now. And so yeah. I'll find a way to circumvent mm -hmm. that. I will take my break and use someone else's work to pose as though I'm still working. Yeah, the whole point of my statement relies on it being the opposite of what she says. Yeah, Rags continues to work. Why she does it? not. Yeah. yeah. It relies on us knowing that if we take a break, we understand we are not going to get paid for that. And we would rather work and make the money and do the job yeah. than sit around for 30 minutes or whatever, not doing anything. Yeah, for us, it's like we wanted to do it. That just yeah. means you're a sucker, though. I, I guess I'm just a sucker, which is which is an interesting argument to make, because these are the people who talk about like tip culture and is really bad and stuff like that. So you'd think that this would be, I don't know, I, I guess it depends on what how they feel about it, because it's weird. I guess it's just cool. funny how dismissive it is of like, you know, there are people on YouTube who are work. really hustling and trying to. Well, I mean, yeah, they are working, but it's more that they're also like struggling. Not everybody on YouTube is making a bunch of money. Some yeah. people are artists, musicians, fucking like, musicians, yeah. dude. But just yeah, YouTubers absolutely. putting their just heart and soul into work and really pouring in all this effort, and they don't even get. Here's the thing: they don't even get discovered. Which is the big yeah. problem. People will never find you because there's so many fish in that pond that well, I, I, being found is difficult. What I'm getting at is that it's just funny how there's like a lack of consideration for how the YouTuber might feel in terms of how it hurts their income or just their capacity to do the work that they're doing. But hey, look, you got to take a shit, right? So who cares? Because to you, it's just a video. <laughs> to that person, it was a lot of work. Possibly. You and know, it, and it's... it's and they, and they don't want to put in the work of actually you know making their own content to play during the break. They just want uh, to... Yeah, dude, they, would, all it is. they would fucking hate you if you need to take a shit in the toy store. They'd be like, you better not take longer than five minutes. You're like, okay. <laughs> and if you did, they'd be like... There's, mm. there's like nothing but meat in the cafeteria. <laughs> <laughs> so dollar never... meats. Doll dollar meat. <laughs> yeah, I don't know, maybe dollar, dollar meats might have the opposite yeah. effect. Yeah. <laughs> He's in the bathroom again. That's what yeah. we get for selling him that discount wombat or whatever the fuck it was on a stick. <laughs> this rat on a stick that we gave him. This rat kebab. So also, what kind of toy store were you at? I've only had nightmare stories about that place. It was fucking horrible. <laughs> Nightmares are us. <laughs> yeah. Go like five minute, ten minute break. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Supposed to make people and happy. <laughs> streamers are not incentivized to pause the videos while they're gone. Because now that's that's an interesting statement. Streamers are not incentivized to pause videos while they're gone. Now I'm not incentivized to steal whenever I can get away with it. Well, the funny thing about incentives is that they are not mandates or requirements. You don't have to do anything. Yep. I mean, we, we've kind of been over you're this treating we yourself are... like you're just some animal yeah we're constantly some... incentivized to do all kinds of immoral shit do you know why we don't do it Wh mm. why would you not what do you mean you're why would you never suckers we believe in principles because we're it's suckers really... who believe in principles. <laughs> so it, she yes, says yes. it though as though it's like ah you didn't understand this did you now you do there's an incentive it's like what the fuck are you talking about that's life that is all the time we have incentives to do yeah. all kinds of things but there is in the, in an extremely short term view of your place in society, right? You can say, "Oh, of course I have an incentive to to steal. Of course I have an incentive to do all of these things that benefit me immediately." Because you don't think about the ramifications that it has on other people, the store inventory prices, the just all the stuff that your rampant stealing can cause to everyone else around you. You're such a one-dimensional, super short-term thinker that you think, oh, it's just I'm just incentivized to do it, so I'm going to do it. And it's just like I said the last, uh, the last week. Last week um, was the, this, this, I, this idea that it seems that a lot of these kinds of streamers have, get while the getting's good, do what you can to make that money, no principles, no rules, fuck the system, I can't believe I'm getting away with this, lol. Yeah, it's that kind of attitude. Also, can I just say, Kyle? I see you there on the screen, not not in your chat. Kyle on screen, you see that guy? 
I don't think this is an Kyle? awful point. Just throw up a BRB screen like most streamers do. Oh, banned. Kyle. Beautiful. Oh, yep. fuck you, bro. He's getting banned. <laughs> Kyle, Kyle banned, look out, bro. buddy. <laughs> Run. Kyle, come on. Kyle, are you disagreeing with your queen? Well, when queen of her, hearts. Uh, did you notice her membership badges are literally pussies? Pussy cats? That's fine. Oh, I thought they were. To the left of them is a. Are they jeans? Pants? Would be denim. Right? Denim yeah. jeans. Yeah, that's what I'm right? saying. Yeah. What, are yeah. the, what are the little cat emojis next to their name? Um, maybe I think those are just little cat emojis. No, it's before the name, so it must mean something else. Like it, it yeah. could be the difference you between like a gold like, badge or a silver badge. Yeah, it could be the tiers of subscriber. What, sure. what so rank are you? I'm Tabby. What Twitch, rank are you? I'm Calico. Um, there is length of time you've been subscribed, and then there's amount of of Money? Twitch's version yeah, of super chats, the bits that you've given. Oh. Oh, so they each okay, have their own is, yeah. their own badge. You, you, fucking you start out as like you can see any big streamer talk shorts. about this. Amaranth has talked about this. Hassan has talked about this. I can tell you from personal experience, this is true. When you pause the video, literally, you can. I have had times where I pause the video or like I unpause it or whatever, I, and I go literally for five minutes, not never longer than fucking five minutes to go get bullshit to go get food. We 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 showed right at the beginning. You went for fifteen. So. Yeah, you went for like yeah. Nice um, try, but whatever. Yeah, that's food because I'm fucking hungry, and well, you know, I will maybe, lose. Maybe like it's it's okay. like a. A colloquial five, you know, where you say, I'll be, I'll be back in five minutes, and you just kind of don't think. Like when you say like you'll be here in the five minutes. Is she keeps saying literally yeah, five so minutes, literally, <laughs> literally, literally, literally <laughs> five minutes, and it's like not literally. It's analogous. Literally, yeah. I will accept, yeah. Up. If you say literally five minutes and you're here in 458, 503, I'll accept it. I'll, I'll tolerate yeah. it. But don't pull this 15 minutes bullshit. That is not even in the spirit of literally five minutes that you're trying to adhere to. That is not a principled use of that word. It's literally time, Rags. So what difference is this? It is literally time. <laughs> it is. Hungry. And I will lose, like, a quarter of my audience. Hassan is, like, a big enough streamer. Wow. That it doesn't yeah, that must it. be a hit on the ego. I was to know say. that people <laughs> aren't willing to wait. Five, liter people aren't willing to wait, literally, five minutes for you to come back that's how little they value your presence it makes you wonder right like if we just makes, shut shop makes for, you think a rooney but 15 minutes oh well actually no for literally five if we shut shop we just put the screen on all muted and went for five minutes i wonder how people would stay um, yeah let's test it start the timer everyone fuck okay. off <laughs> I, like and then I would if not for the fact that we are so far behind schedule we are far behind the last thing we need to do is literally leave <laughs> <laughs> yes doesn't really matter and he can just pause the video and that's fine also maybe that is that's like the bit the greatest twitch compliment oh i'd wait five minutes for you <laughs> <laughs> like that's some incredible great sort of you know compliment yeah. I, you're worth waiting five minutes for i'm fucking hungry and i will lose like a quarter of my audience Hassan is like a big enough streamer that it doesn't really matter, and he can just pause the video, and that's fine. But, but like, often he won't so anyway. It's, right? it's weird that she would say <laughs> that about him when he's the main subject of criticism here, as if to say right. it's like he's she's saying he doesn't get to have the shield I have, and it's like so you agree with Jay on Hassan mm. at the very least, right? Yeah, he has. He, I guess he has less reason to do it in a sense because he she's can saying. afford it. So yeah. Um, and yes. Okay, that's the point yeah. you want to make. Mm. It's your stream, I guess. This is still it. like people's Sometimes. like income or whatever. Like this is still people's like jobs or whatever. It's like the equivalent of whatever. like you know like or whatever of like like, like ad what, block like... for YouTubers. So yeah, just to clarify, it's, she's it's... saying to Jay that like you have to understand it's my income that you're affecting when you force me to pause videos when I leave. Right, but who can you, cares you understand about how fucking it's incredible your that is. Income that could be infected, yeah. affected it's by so my watching your video without like, giving I'm any criticism. I'm taking so money out selfish. of the cash register, and when they implement ways to stop me, I'm like, do you understand? You're affecting my bottom line when you do this. Yeah. Yes. I'm not okay. the, the, the response is, of okay. course, yes, I know that. Really That's is. my fucking Same plan. Thing, yeah. <laughs> like, I'm trying to stop you from stealing from me. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck me. To try and appeal that way, like, Jay. You're, uh, you're fucking things up for me, okay? Don't. You know what I mean? I'd rather watch Denim's react to this video than watch it myself. Drew! That doesn't mean anything. Like, I'm she, it's agree almost <laughs> she agrees with them. Just... Okay. You agree that you would rather watch yourself react to a video <laughs> than just watch the video. That's and weird. you're like, 
<laughs> That's it really weird. weird. Yeah. It's like when you're you're driving down the road. Mahler can visualize this because he doesn't have a... I've seen him in movies. Yeah, so when people drive down the road, right? So the speed limit, right? Which is, let's be, let's be honest, it's a minimum speed limit. So you're going down the road and it says 50 and you're doing 55, right? And there's someone behind you annoyed that you're not breaking the law fast enough. Mm -hmm. Kind of like that. Yeah, that's a good, good analogy. I'm sorry that like you got unlucky. Reaction content is as old as civilization itself. Mainstream news like Hucker Talson are just reacting to the events of the day and sometimes even include video clips from Twitter that they didn't like film themselves. Clown. That's so, not a point. This, what, what, this, isn't, what, that's more this is not relevant. Well, so they're, they're especially now wrong because they've involved reaction content that requires permission and citation and references. This doesn't right. help you. Yeah. This goes against you. They said news is reaction oh, bro, content? You know, you, it's reacting uh, to uh, events. <laughs> Well, it's, it, it is interesting to say that, like, yeah. political commentary news shows is reaction content. <laughs> yeah. Like, that's a, a review um, on The Force Awakens is reaction content. It's reacting to the dumpster fire of that movie existing. And, like, reaction yeah, okay. content to what happens in reality. Like, do you think that that's a really good way well, to just, like, ah, yes, interesting when you react all actions are happen. reaction content. <laughs> if I yeah, take a video... Exactly. Okay. I was about to, literally about to say that. If like a comic crashes so, like, into my back garden, I record it on my phone, and then a news team are like, let us comment on that clip, give us your phone, and I'd be like, no, you will, have to pay me. Or yeah, you have to give they, them permission. Well, remember how you, know? you see them on Twitter? They're like, hey, do you, can you give us permission to like, exactly. use this on the news? Because yeah, the, yeah. they have to actually do the, the they it's have not to your follow fucking the property, that's why. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, so just imagine, okay, you're, I don't know, you're walking somewhere, and you see a shooting happen across the street, the guns are going off, and you're like, oh my god, I saw it. This, this is my reaction content. Look at all those I'm bad reacting boys. To this event. <laughs> <laughs> True. Most clips True. that like you find on like CNN or MSM or whatever, any of those fucking news organizations, usually they find clips on Twitter and then they they have to. I think legally, CNN, the Paragon they, they of have Honesty, to wow. message these wow. people. So she so fucked how, her this own position. <laughs> you have because you you said, oh well, they they should ask me to stop. So you're saying that that's what CNN should do. They should just take people's Twitter clips and then then they have to wait until someone asks them to stop to stop. Yeah, well, sometimes I wonder with these analogies, just you said it's the, true, but it's forming the idea. Argument. She you shot herself in the face and shouted that she wins. It's like, what are you doing? This doesn't help you. <laughs> I know. People and be like, is it all right if we use your video in channel whatever news or whatever? A friend of mine had like recorded this fucking like, crazy story. Do you know I, mean? I, th I don't know if she's realized yet. But this doesn't help her point. I don't know if she has. Storm in New York once, yeah, I think and she like might be dumb. They, she posted on on Twitter, and I forgot if, I forgot what news channel messaged her. They messaged her on Twitter, and they were like, "Could we use your video uh, for tomorrow's news cycle?" And she was like, "Yeah, go for it." And so like it's you know what I mean? No, <laughs> no, I don't know what you mean. <laughs> it's a completely different situation. Do you know what I mean? That I should be asking these people to stream their clips? Oh. Stream their videos? You know what I mean? I guess, I guess I'm leaning towards she's just stupid again. This is, I, I'm all over the place. I can't, I can't make heads or tails of this person. It fluctuates. I did. Yeah. Maybe did. she's like, she's like Moon Knight. She has multiple personalities. One of them is just the evil one and the other is just the dumb one. Yes. The evil one and the dumb one. I would believe it. Uh... So I feel like she's already come through in terms of being worse than irrelevant. What do you guys think? Oh, easily. Easily. Yeah, because the, the staggering quantity of just horrendous points <laughs> is so bad. It, it's not as, like, self-defeating as, <laughs> I mean, sorry, it is more self-defeating than irrelevant. Like, you don't Absolutely need to. Absolutely it is. You know, it, it's so, that, that's got to weigh, you know, it's got to weigh it up pretty kindly in the ratings, in the rankings here. His response would be pretty obvious. It's not the content creator's responsibility to entertain the audience while you take a break. Yeah. Oh, nice comment. That was a good one. Nice comment. What are you Great doing job, here? Yeah, no, I mean, like, I, I think that both are valid, you know, and both, both are, are like, valid. Both are valid. I don't know what she means. You can't by that. say yeah and then say both Dang. are valid. Yes is a when you say people have no, verbal I, oh, acknowledgement yeah. ticks, right? So when you see this in all kinds of people in debates and stuff, when you say the the oh the, the sky is blue, and the other person says yeah 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 the sky is red. 
No, I, it, I totally understand what you're talking about, Rags. It's like when you're having a conversation with someone and they say something and then you you re, you respond to it by like you, you essentially debunk whatever they said and they're like, yeah. And it's like, no, 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 no. You don't get to say yeah and run away. Yeah, from we, exactly. <laughs> they they use yes, like and a, a word that specifically yeah, is used for it, affirmation just to respond to things that go against what they say and they don't even notice it. Like you said, yeah. yes, you, you well, acknowledged what I said and agreed with it. And then instantly 180 with the same sentence just after a period in a space. All right, I guess not. I, I'm just driving to make it a little bit occurs. closer though with what Rags was saying. It would be like if you said yeah. it is blue and not any other color and then they go, yeah, 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 yeah. Blue, red, green, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> well, see, they like, say, I didn't yeah. agree with that. What are you doing? Rags, right. when she says both sides are valid, she's saying, well, the other side has a good point, and my side is good because I want it. <laughs> it's my side. It's right, okay. right. My side benefits me, as my side often happens to do, coincidentally. Which really does make it okay. From a certain point of view, the YouTubers are wrong. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Fringy, did you have a thing before I hit play? No, we, let's press on. Like, I think probably the, the original content creator has more of, like, a defense. But I'm just explaining oh, why people, why streamers don't pause the video. It's because, like... I know why they don't pause. I know why. Wait, I don't you care. told us. It's because you're greedy and lazy. That's why. That is the reason why. It's because you're <laughs> greedy and lazy. You can dress it up however you'd like. It's because you're greedy and lazy. No, Rex, they're she incentivized. Just she was wrong. They're incentivized, okay? The evil chat will say, no... <laughs> If they incentivized to be greedy and lazy. <laughs> no. I mean, man, they just find any other way of describing it because it sounds terrible if they're just honest. When streamers pause the video, lots of people are like, okay, well, I'm going to go watch something else. You Fine. Uh, fucking bye, then. Goodbye. Fine. You're not worth waiting five minutes for. That says a lot about you. <laughs> it's just the Twitch <laughs> ecosystem. Or, you know, you, you could be as Chad as us and actually stay here for the entire duration. I haven't even gone to the toilet yet. Well, that's a great segue into me having to go to the toilet. So I'll just be get a little jug. I'll be back in literally five minutes. Uh, bring up Jay's video. Pull a Gavin McGinnis. On. Yeah, <laughs> you don't want to get kidney stones. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just you have kidney. What? Go yeah, pee. I gotta pee. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It doesn't... <laughs> that's what happens when you hold your pee too much. You get kidney stones. Is it? Mm. Yeah, I didn't know that. He Gavin McInnes did a debate with Destiny where, like, just below his desk, where you couldn't see, he had a can that he peed in. <laughs> he peed in, and, and and you could tell he was doing it because he was like no. moving his hand. Yes, no, seriously. No. Yes, no. yes, no. yep. He was like no he was way. reaching over below the desk and he like grabbed something and then he put it and then he moved his hand like right in front of him and then he had both of his hands like clearly holding his dick under beneath the table. Mm -hmm. For like two minutes, and it's like you're just peeing into into a can, aren't you? So well, you have to stop this debate with destiny. I mean, that's pretty based. I don't know. <laughs> Super Sigma, dude. Yes, we're, we're returning to the era of the poop soccer, but for oh, debates no. instead of World of Warcraft. Well, it's just weird because she admitted it. She basically just admitted she was wrong about everything after 16 minutes of this video. So I don't even understand where she's going to go from here. When you say she admitted she was wrong, what are you referring to exactly? <laughs> Well, she said the streamers are more right than, oh, no, than she my said side. The YouTubers right. are more right. I mean, the YouTube, I'm sorry. Yeah, she said the YouTubers they have are more, more of right. an argument. Yeah, right. So, but but, so but she doesn't wrong. want to. She doesn't want to own it though. She always wants to run away from from like acknowledging the reality of this situation. I well, guess, she can explain why, she why they do it. That's good enough. And it's like. No, we don't care at this point why. People have reasons for a lot of things. In fact, it's often a really important part of ascertaining whether or not somebody would even be responsible for some act that's wrong. Mm -hmm. you know, well, and the best you, she's got is they want more money. money. You're like, right. Yeah, pretty much. You, you don't want to lose viewers. You want to make more money. Um, yeah. Pretty straightforward, simple, dumb. Yeah. Oh, no, he's... Doing his dishes again. No, just just Did he like just, a parrot in the background. What was that? <laughs> Squawk. So Harley, I was I just want to try to listen to Rags as I was trying to say, like, figure out what he's saying. Kind of Sub D Fap Squawk. 
She just has a parrot that makes like pots and pan sounds. <laughs> Bonk. <laughs> All right. I'm just going to hit play. You know what I mean? And if, if you're a big content creator, maybe you shouldn't do that because you have enough viewers that it's fine. I wonder where the line is, Denim. So if you're small enough, sufficiently small enough, you can do the wrong thing because the loss that you suffer is more significant. Than the loss they would right. suffer, I guess. It's a principle that is broad and all-encompassing because as we well, talked about... The principle that the rescues way, her. The way that it works when it's your property is that your rights are enforceable on the world equally against everybody. It's all mm -hmm. down to what you want. Doesn't matter what their circumstance is, it's yours, belongs to you. I thought people right. with less people watching them were able to break into your house still. It's when there's right. loads of I people see. watching so, them. So th that's the way that it works. If you're poor, you have more of a I right to the house. Yeah. Because you could use I mean, this is like. I don't know. I've I've done done it. This is a super, super common psychological uh, defense. It's like, oh, oh I'm stealing the candy bar. You know, it's giant corporation. I'm just stealing one candy bar. It doesn't matter. But then as soon as they enter the position of power, as soon as she, you know, reaches Hassan's level, she's like, oh, well, I have to keep doing this because I have to maintain, you know, my empire, my power, my audience. And any drop will, you know, lessen it. Well, she's already condemned Hassan by condoning that he should be criticized for this, but she'll end up not really noticing that. Like she's she's basically said twice now that Hassan doesn't have the excuse, but that doesn't seem to right. come through in its own thought. But what I'm what I'm saying is that Hassan had the exact same probably the exact same thought that she had when he was smaller. So if she yeah. became Hassan's size, she would just instantly turn it around in her mind and be like, "Oh, okay, no, I have yeah, to I keep think, my I think you're right. Up. I don't think she'll stop doing this until she is forced to socially. And by that, I mean lots of other streamers are like, "We shouldn't do this anymore." Well, or I mean, Twitch she'll TOS. She'll stop unless on. Twitch yeah. stops her. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. It'll be a big social pressure. It'll be TOS. Those right. are the only two things that could happen. But if you're a smaller content creator, like you don't even have the like ability to do that or whatever. Not like ability, but you guys understand what I mean. No, I don't understand what you mean. <laughs> I don't. I, don't. I, don't. I legitimately <laughs> don't. I legitimately don't. If you, if, yeah, I, I don't. I think I think best I think interpretation she's is that, that she, they can't survive unless they do this, which I think is bullshit. Yeah, that you're making the claim that she's making enough money, and she's like, oh, I'm 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 a struggling working class person like everyone else, so we can't stop, can't stop the grind set. Like, until does she live in California you, or? She, yes, she does. So, how could you tell? You, <laughs> as a streamer, you you can live in a lot of places. Really, uh, your job is not super location dependent. I guess it depends on what type exactly. of exactly. I could do. move. We could move pretty much anywhere we needed to and still carry on our jobs without any change. As long as the yeah. internet's good. Yeah, you, as long as the internet's good. Well, I, the most thought, so I guess that's what I'm saying. Is it's like I can't survive. It's like, well, you could make other choices, but you don't. Could want move to. to another state um, and save a bajillion dollars every minute. You wanted to die. You is what you're saying. You wanted to starve. Well, the oh, thing okay. is, like, yeah. the, the Twitch meta right now is that everyone's moving to LA because all the streamers are in LA and they're all like networking and making connections and going on each other's streams and like leeching on things that each are other. not required to be proximally physically close to another yes, person. Yes, that's ridiculous. Interesting. It's, it's well, true, but, like, if they can, like, show up at somebody else's house, and, like, walk in and be on their uh, stream, but there's, there's, there's like, a, an appeal well, to that. I, I, I get it. So, but it's so also the, cancerous yeah. as fuck. Well, n well, so I don't... What I'm... All I'm getting at is that, like, the idea of, well, I'm just surviving. It's like, you have choices and options available to you that you're just not considering. Many. And it's always... Yep. It's, 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 it's pretty simple, right? The choices you make... Uh, just reflect Simple. your priorities here um if you're like i i'm struggling but i want to live in la then you're saying yeah you you care more about the utility of living in la or like california or whatever than you care well, you about you don't want to do the work compromising of moving, period well compromising on um on on like the way that you do your content in order to maximize your position it's it's all trades but mm -hmm. don't pre don't present it as you have no options here yeah. i have to steal it's like cuz i'm struggling it's like you you, you and, have choices. Yeah, and I think the other aspect of this is that I feel like a lot of people feel like they can just start streaming and that's your job now. You can start, like, this is, like, for years, I made little YouTube videos on the side, as many people <laughs> do. Uh, my dry bread, you brought him up earlier. I think that's an yep. incredible example. Worked his ass off for years making videos. And then mm -hmm. you get your break 
you get your it works out finally it clicks you you get big enough and now it can officially become the thing that you devote all your time to because i was at my job i did full-time job and then i made youtube videos and stuff and then i went to part-time job and devoted more time to youtube and stuff and life's weird yeah, for me now here. but it was a it was a gradual progression to devoting time from one thing to another and you don't just get to start it and that's your career now like well, you're you owed can, a certain you amount of money. Just, you can just start it as long as you accept that there's going to be trade-offs for that. That there is a, a chance. That well, it's start not it in the sense out. of yeah. That that I get. That's what I'm meaning here. You can't mm -hmm. just start it and say like if you're doing something and you say it's a career, but you're in the red constantly and it doesn't make money and you have to. It's not really a career. It's just more like a, a failed hobby that you're stubborn about. Um, <laughs> but in order to really make it a, a job, job that pays all of the bills then you it might take years literal years many many literal five minutes for you to actually get to the size where that's viable yeah i think a lot of people, lot of people just have like this idea that oh i'll just become a content creator like it's it's going to school to become a whatever and it's not it's it's Step more one. it's more luck based find your favorite mm -hmm. youtube content creators and stop playing them on your twitch stream mm -hmm. <laughs> it's like wait what step two move to la meet somebody <laughs> go on the stream What's the kind of shit where if you have a friend who's like, oh man, I can barely scrape the money together to buy food every week, and then you find out they keep spending loads of money on, like, Funko Pops? Like, um... Yeah, they live in California, <laughs> and they spend all their money poorly, and... Well, it's just because in America, right, like, the rent seems to vary substantially depending on where you Absolutely. live. Absolutely. Like, you and live you're in Arkansas? If you're a single guy, and you're making 30000 a year, you can live pretty well. Whereas if you live in California, you're fucked. Like, you know, yeah, you're fucked that. Thing, man. But here, it's like, yeah, you, you look nice. Hell yeah. I understand that you got unlucky, JXE, and that Hassan happened to go to the bathroom when your video was playing. He but like 99% of probably his again. content, he is like so, hard. Here it comes again. Same that happened. doesn't so it doesn't matter because Jay had all of the utility of his video taken with nothing like, oh, so I, I like that that's meant to be a consolation. Hey, look, he didn't do this to everybody, just you. It's like, oh. <laughs> Dude, when you start to reapply awesome. that argument in other scenarios, it sounds fucking terrible. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, and also like Hassan does come back for uh, like half of the video and he just sits there and eats. He doesn't even comment when he's there, really. Well, I mean, she's worse than Hassan. She doesn't even show up sometimes. Mm -hmm. Corpozanabi reacting. You know what I mean? I feel like he usually finds a clip for us to watch when he goes anywhere. Yeah. What? We, ah. He finds a clip for us to watch as if it's a service. I hate it. Thank I you hate so, it so much. much for providing me with someone else's content, Hassan. You're such a good person. Let me pay you money and sub to you for providing me with entertainment. I'm well, so stupid. I that... can't do that myself. Was so awkward about <laughs> when I showed the the Charlie supercut the uh, the critical one where it would be like I would fast forward through him not talking and then it would slow down he'd be like thanks for subscribing blah 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 and then it would just fast forward again as he's watching the whole video and then he stops again thanks for subscribing blah 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 blah, blah. and it's like oh my god this fucking system <laughs> where you just watch other people's stuff and get money it's like what the hell is this um to be fair. The, the next week's coverage, I will have an addendum on on that the the Charlie stuff. He uh, only, I think Rags, you may have no idea, but Critical put out a video basically saying Jay's video was great and that he fucked up when he did the coverage. For, from what I from what I understand, he was like the only person we covered who actually said, "Oh yeah, I shouldn't do that. My bad, man. Let me yeah. try to make up for it." And the best part is Hassan uh commented on that situation, being like, "For some reason, people hate me, but they don't hate Charlie." Because Charlie did what you do when you mess up. Yep. Mm -hmm. You 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 say, "Oh, I messed up. Let me make it right or help to make it right." And he did. Good. And that's like, yeah, that's good. It makes him look better. He's he he makes him look like a good Hassan. This makes him look like what we call a good person. I feel like it's it's got to be like uh, it it's got to be. I don't know. <laughs> I believe you. Like someone who has a disability or something, right? Um, 
I'm not sure what part. No, it's actually pretty good. It's funny. Jay is funny. It's it's a wonderful comment. Timing. Wonderful comment from Hassan because it's so accidentally ableist. Uh, it's, like, yeah. it's like this place is fucked up. It must have been a disabled person. <laughs> why, why would you say that? <laughs> but uh, let's see what Danims has to say. All right, words. Now. Man, those gears are turning. Um. I genuinely think Definitely. she's figuring out what to say. She doesn't know what it is yet. You can do it. Okay, sorry. I I'm going to say it again. I'm literally going to say it again. Yes. Um, Not figuratively. This just seems like coping. I'm sorry. This just, this I'm so sorry. Ah, coping. Coping. Now, coping. it may be hard to understand what the hell she's even trying to say here. She, just to give you the, the shortcut, believes Jay just did a bad faith on Hassan because Jay hates Hassan, and he's coping with this. Mm -hmm. Let's see how she explains it. Hey. Okay, I have to say something really quickly. I think the meta for this conversation oh, is pretty to, hectic. Now. Technically, need at least a reasonable streaming permission to play a video game on stream, but people do it with a little pushback. Yeah, obviously. Oh, shouldn't this guy be happy that Hassan reacts to his content at all? It's just something. He's, he doesn't like that he walked off on his content and he's stealing his content or whatever. Or whatever. He doesn't like these doing whatever. it or whatever. Or whatever. You know, whatever. I just add uh, whatever. Fuck it. Why isn't the reactor laughing at my jokes? Also, like, there is, like, literally he's not content present. that, like... <laughs> he's not there. <laughs> the chair can't laugh. Because the, the chair is physically incapable. It doesn't have a face to make the expressions with or the ears. It's the chair. That's why Metal's a genius. Chaley has an expression. You have nothing you can add. It's for so, like, chair. Okay, really quickly, a couple of points. All right. For starters, a I want to go back to the point about uh, how live streaming content is always going to be different than YouTube content because you can't edit out all of only technically, I guess, like all of the the bits and pieces. You, know? you can't edit out all of the bits and pieces bits to and help pieces. her brain here that is struggling. <laughs> it is like crawling <laughs> through a swamp. To help you can't her... edit out the struggling Mahler. To help her yes. say what she's trying to say, it is that when you do a YouTube video, you cut out all the parts where you're thinking, where you're right. wondering, where you're where you're wondering you're if you're um, gonna even respond. Yeah, the ums, the ahs, and the likes. But with a live stream, all of your gaps are left in by necessity. So it's not fair to compare them. And we're just sitting here like, who the fuck compared them that way? That that would be a contradiction to their argument. Like, what are you talking about? Like, this isn't Jay's point. Okay? If you str if you see someone say something, like you did just there, what you do is what you did. You pause, and you stare for a while until you go, Right. I have an issue with this because of, A, you know, like how slowly she's doing it. Like, I don't know about you guys, but I'm getting a distinct impression at this point that you're not particularly good at your job. Unfortunately. <laughs> like, you're not a very good reactor. You take a long time to figure out what points you even maybe have, and you often contradict yourself. Which isn't fantastic um, for a reactor. You know, sometimes when Jordan Peterson, he's asked a question, asked to give his input on something, he will listen and he'll be quiet for a bit because he's thinking, what am I going to say? What is my, what, what is my thought process going to be? And then after he sits there in silence for a bit and thinks, he gives out all of his thoughts. Agree with him or not, he gives out all of his thoughts that he, we assume, moments ago was just thinking about. And for her, she has the same silence. But then, like, nothing valuable <laughs> comes out as a result. Mm -hmm. I feel Dude, like it's I, just wasted time. Just say whatever you need the, to. The, the, the gears grinding yeah. down. With Jordan like, Peterson, like the, he's got this, like, incredible sea of words that he's picking one, 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 and this will be the sentence. With her, I think it's a bucket that she is rattling to try and get anything out of, and, like, nothing is pulling out. She's like, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Gotta be something. Yeah, yeah. Like, eat your shit, yeah. Whatever gets through the little crack at the bottom of the pot, you know, that's just, oh, ooh, that's just, here's a thought that I'll use. Here's a word. Yeah, here's no. a letter. We'll make it work somehow. All it says is cringe, <laughs> true... Le Crange. Yeah. It's like Jordan Peterson is charging up an attack, you know? And she's just 
Buttering. She's just sort of AFK, and then she gets back. Oh fuck, shit! Yeah, I sorry guys, I was I was away doing something with my brain. No, Jordan Pearson is charging attack. She's falling downstairs slowly. Can we can we argue she hurt herself <laughs> in confusion? That's what she's she doing. hurt herself. <laughs> in, she confused herself in confusion. You know what I mean? Like you can't edit out all of the little like uh um like etc. You know what I mean? Like. The what, there are a lot of and then you did the thing. <laughs> what does and then you just said like anything? right after that. Yeah, she did the thing while doing the, the representation it's, of the thing. A, there's no self-awareness of you should be, I wish I could edit this thing out that I do. Well, Immediately does it. I, I thought Jay was criticizing Hassan's reaction because it was stupid, not because he was saying, um, like. Correct. Yeah, it is. Um, okay. yeah, she, she, what does it have she's to do with off anything? the reservation again. She's just wandered off and is responding to points that nobody made. Whoa, 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 Mahler. It's 2022. You can't, you can't use that It's language. fine to be off the reservation. Oh, wait, we went different directions with that one. <laughs> I have portions during a, a React stream where you're like, you're, sometimes you get like terrible brain fog or you're thinking about other things. Brain like, fog. I'm sorry, guys. Yeah. If you, have you guys ever been at work before and then you get like a message? Yes, from we, yeah, have. we have. We have. We <laughs> have. Have you? <laughs> yes. Once or twice. Sometimes for eight hours a day. Day, if you can believe it. Whoa, no, no, no come on, that's a fantasy, one. Rex. She, she said, "Imagine it." Oh, I don't even know if she actually imagine. said, "Imagine it," but she has to imagine it. Imagine all the streamers. Someone and they're like, "Oh my god, like my cat just died" or something like that, and you literally can't what? think about work because you're too busy trying to like comfort this person, or you're too busy thinking about this, or this, or this, or this, or whatever. Um, this happens to me all the time, where I'll be too busy thinking about something else while I'm co constantly trying to think. You of should a download to talk more about brain RAM. <laughs> yeah, well, she's describing... well, no, it's just it's just you're describing a pretty common thing, but you just gotta you gotta control it. Yeah, this you is not an excuse, off... like for any of this shit. It has nothing to do with anything. I'm sure there are people who have gotten into car crashes who are a little bit absent-minded. Um, that's bad. You need to try and control it. That is an explanation, not an excuse. Well, it's it is an understandable phenomenon. I'm sure that we've all experienced that before. In fact, it's I would imagine it's actually fairly common that you have things on your mind that can distract you, but you just got to get on top of it. Well, it's, it's not maybe it's uncommon for her that she has things on her mind. Well, she's saying it's very common, and I'm just saying it's like I don't that's, know, just it's reverse projecting. Gotta, <laughs> you know, <get> on top. <laughs> well, look, I'm just she's it's describing a real thing. Yeah, uh, but you just got to try and stay what focused, she's, and control it. Yeah, what she's doing is she's saying, in much the same way that a streamer, someone who needs to be online for hours at a time, presenting ideas, giving insight, speaking, entertaining, doing something, it's like saying, it's it's don't well, if a carpenter comes to your house and they just do a really shitty job and the nails aren't in all the way and things that are supposed to be right angles are just yeah. they're acute and obtuse and everything else, and they say, oh, you know, sometimes you're just you just can't then, hammer in straight and your arm gets sore and you know sometimes your hand slips while you're trying to get those nails in the plywood and you know anyway that's uh that's 450 um exactly and uh, yeah. you as the customer are like skip to the part where you tell me why you're telling me this and they go i just want you to understand why it happened you're like yeah 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 yeah, yeah. but well, what do you think happens now i ain't pay i am paying for this you, shit. Pay, you <laughs> pay me because i am providing a valuable service right yeah. The guy's like, all right, we're going to put in the pergola. Uh, oh, right, I forget. There's different lingo in different countries. Okay, we're, we're going we're gonna to... Oh, pergola? Pergola, P-E-G-O-L-A-H. It's like a... It's a, um, a pergola is, you know, like an outdoor space that's roofed with a... I think, I think a pergola describes the overall thing. Like the veranda is oh, what it is. Oh, okay. I got gotcha. you. I know what you're talking... I looked it up. I know exactly what you're talking about. Yeah. Maybe that is what um, they're called, but I've just never heard them called that. They're like uh, not, not a or... porch. A porch is uh, a porch is at the front of your house. A pergola. Is Imagine a porch that's house. really high and above you. Yeah, uh, sure. Uh, let's let's say that they're going to do that, and it's like, all right, I'm going to work. I'll be back, uh, and you expect it to be done, and then you come back, and I don't know. There's just a pile of of like un unused materials and broken shit all all on the ground. And then he's like, look, man, I'm getting divorced. I got a lot in my mind. It's like, cool. I asked for a pergola and I do not have one. I have a pile of shit in my backyard. Now, the, the point is that you, in the world that we live in, have obligations and things that you need to be doing. And having <sighs> a lot on your mind generally is not an acceptable answer for fucking things up. 
Yes, you we all have, have a lot it. on our minds. We're Everybody's all, got problems. Yes, we have Everybody's brains full of thoughts. We yeah, like if you yeah. stole a chocolate bar, like what are you doing? You're like, I'm hungry. <laughs> like, yeah, okay. <laughs> I mean, Why yeah, else like, would I steal? Guys. I want to eat it. Do you guys just... like ever think thoughts? And you're thinking about those thoughts so thinkingly that you stop paying attention to what's going on around you. Has that ever happened to you guys? Sometimes it happens, Sorry. but it turns out I just repeated something Mahler and Fringy said. Well, <laughs> oh damn! <laughs> someone, someone oh, wait, I'm sorry. I was thinking. I didn't, what did you say? Could you say that again? I, was I can't remember. I was deeply. too busy in thought. It's gone forever <laughs> now. Oh, okay. I mean, to be fair, I I, I used to do that oh. quite a bit when I was younger. I used to lose I used to lose thoughts when I was younger. And Sorry, like not I, being someone, in in, ch someone in chat has just made a Simpsons reference that's very apt because I said Friggy in the pagola that love builds. Now, as Flanders <laughs> aptly puts, my family and I can't live in good intentions, Marge. It's a good point. <laughs> Like, is it, is it oh, like I intended like to react bottle? to your video. Sorry, yeah, I didn't do it very well. And it's like, oh, I don't care what that. you intended to do. I care what you did. Yeah, like, oh, exactly. Oh, your family's out of control, but we can't blame you because you had good intentions. It's like, this is a very good point that Flanders has made. <laughs> good and, intentions. And... Danums needs yeah. to watch Hitler Simpsons had good thing. intentions. <laughs> why you know, why you know do you have to? <laughs> wait, wait, hold on. Did he, did he have good intentions? <laughs> I don't think so. I don't know if oh, he had good know? intentions, right? For his own people, I guess. Yeah, of course he had good intentions. <laughs> what, you think he was just, you think Hitler was the villain in his own story? Right. Of course he had good what, intentions. What were you going to say, though? Dev? So, these people, because they're socialists, they're also materialists. It kind of comes with being a socialist. So they don't care about non-material things like intentions. They care about ends. And yet they're, appeal they're, they're appealing entirely to intentions. It is, it is funny, right, to be in the camp of consequentialism, but then constantly justify whatever the bad outcomes are for what you do because of your intentions. And it's yep. funny because the intentions suck. The intentions are, I want to make money. Yeah, you can't like, even have good intentions for your good intentions. Yeah. <laughs> These are subpar intentions. Also, we've mentioned many times that she shot herself in the foot. I like the image we've got here. Assuming I have a oh, you guys shot have. herself, headshot, yeah, brain shot. Also, Chad, I I take umbrage at those moments where I repeat Mueller, Fringy, or whoever as Biden moments. Biden is lost in his own head because his head is empty and full of nothing. It is a a, a vapid emptiness, it, it, the empty echo of death inside of his senile head. I repeat Jesus. things because my mind is just fluttering full of ideas and thoughts and it's just a beautiful kaleidoscope of wonderful things inside well, of my brain it, it, it also may be that you're not paying attention to what's being said and then you just repeat the point right you didn't I'm notice not, someone else I'm, said I'm, it. I, don't, I don't know about that Chad but, you have um, full permission to continue calling them Biden moments don't worry about that it. is unacceptable <laughs> and inaccurate at worst no 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 call them better. Brandon moments Brandon <laughs> moments let's go Ragston <laughs> dream and then it ends up just coming off as like um this is like what is it like the uh, you know whatever blah 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 you know oh, I mean? oh yeah okay thanks <laughs> that's just what i needed that cleared that cleared things right up wasn't this pause right after i'd said let me help her out because her brain is like crawling through mud and it's, that was yeah. the extension of that like that was what it was <laughs> it was too hard um and also, yeah, Hassan apologized and said he wouldn't watch Jade's videos anymore. So I don't even understand, like, what? You know what I mean? Oh my god! What? Um, you know what I listen, mean? I that said sorry after I raped you. What? So come on, it's yeah, so I said bad. I would never rape you again. Okay, what's the problem? So bad. Jay's already made the points yeah. clear as to what the problem is, and how many times has Jay got to clarify with everybody that he's okay with people reacting to shit? Apparently yeah, not um, enough, because people still don't understand what he's saying. Also, I think yeah, said... It seems like Jay has to repeat himself a lot in order to get this ac well, across. Hopefully nobody doesn't complain matter. about that. It, this is a willful ignorance at this point. Jay could repeat himself a million times and it won't make a difference. Uh... What? You know what I mean? Um... No. The fourth of all doesn't really <laughs> exist on Twitch. Also, I think Hassan said it was because chat was rolling the homeowner. 
Oh, okay, yeah. I mean, that makes sense. That makes sense. So, just to clarify, her channel just told her that essentially the situation was Jay point is pointing out all this stuff is weird, and then people in chat are like, "Wow, must be an idiot, must be crazy, must be like a cave dweller, must be like a gross person." Blah blah blah. And so then Hassan sees that and he's like, "No, chat, you're being insensitive because." It could be that the person who lived here was someone who's, you know, facing a lot of hardship, a lot of mental stress, uh, several maybe uh, mental drawbacks, and you're insulting them for that when they struggle to reach the levels that me or you may do easily in the day. So you see, Hassan was like the hero. He was trying to mm -hmm. protect the person who theoretically owned this house, and Jay, the villain, of course, comes in and says like, wow, Hassan being ableist, like, no, Hassan was clearly defending the person. Now, I'm about to show you what happens, right? He's not here, he comes back and says the thing. Do you get the implication he read chat to do this response, or that it's on its own? I don't have a chair planted in front of my laundry machine just so I can watch it run, but each to their own, eh? <laughs> I feel like it's it's got to be like uh it it's got to be I don't know <laughs> why do all these people's brains run on zero miles per hour like because <laughs> they're because they're always reading the chat for just for uh, recommendations just w waiting say. for someone else to make a point that they can <laughs> do yeah. Like someone who has a disability or something, right? Like it doesn't make any sense. Oh, wait. So if you call that, he said, it's got to be someone with a disability because otherwise it doesn't make sense. That was his point. Yeah, there's no other explanation. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. not that someone in chat said, lol, look at this freak's house. And then he's like, whoa, dude, that could be a disabled person you're talking about. He just said, it's got to be disabled. How else could it make sense? Right, right. The true fuck you would be for Hassan to not even watch this video on stream. Or for wow, Hassan to imagine? watch the video on stream and went, go to the bathroom the whole time. <laughs> you already made that joke. You already made that but joke. It's so oh, funny. Oh, it's but that, so was, funny, that was so long ago. It's such so a banger it was so, of a joke. Such a great At least joke I wait a week to between again. my jokes. To, well, to, to be fair, it, it wasn't as good the second time. <laughs> Yeah, to be fair, it wasn't well, ever good. The first time, it was never good. It was <laughs> always bad. I agree. It wasn't for, as for the good one as the guy who time. liked it. It wasn't good the second time. You guys are not being fair. As the expert, okay. I will take Dev as <laughs> the first story. joke. She said she should watch the video and then leave her chair there. And the second joke, she said Hassan should watch the video, which is even funnier. There. Okay, it's a different yeah. joke. I literally can't even wait to the end of the video to make my commentary. Otherwise. I'm going to get called, I'm going to be called on another lazy React streamer. No, otherwise I'll feel bad because I have no pride in my work and I'll realize I'm sitting here doing nothing, providing nothing, and yet somehow getting money. And that makes me feel bad because I feel like I've cheated the system. Well, and also, like, what are you, oh, you going to no. Is she going to keep, like, notes for an hour-long video? I was going to say, how she's do not you, right. how like, do you gonna, keep... After the end of it, she's going to speak for three hours afterwards? Like Every what? fucking thought you have over an hour relating to every point Jay makes and all the references Jay has, you, what the, that would be so, why, that would just be so inefficient. Yes. Who, who isn't saying anything. So I literally have to be bad Ow. faith, whatever the fuck, and pause champing and saying my opinions. Pause like champion. all the way through. This, this she described this really I don't yeah, get it. Yeah. She described awesome. herself as operating so, in bad know, faith. So you champ the, the emote. Yeah. Yes. 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 It's just that. It's just. Oh, I, I know this was like because I I do some streaming on Twitch and that's what it is. I thought this was the cousin of climp of pimp clipping. Was pause champing. Pimp clipping. Chimp clipping. Clip chimping is what you mean. Chimp clipping. Yeah. Is that when you hit an orangutan on the road with your car? Chimping yeah. is when you take a clip out of context and then try to spread it around to make someone look like a piece of shit. Wow. Yeah. Oh. Is what is the... Awkward. I don't see the connection that's, between the chimp. That's quote chimping, not clipped. I don't know. Wait, I always, always feel vaguely racist to me, but... I was going to say, no. why are you drawing a difference between <laughs> a clip and a quote? Jesus. And oftentimes it's the same thing. Uh, uh, yeah, sure. I guess I'm just mixing them up in my head. Um, but I seriously, I was trying to catch, she described to herself as operating in bad faith. I don't know if you call that. Who, yeah, who isn't weird. saying anything. So I literally have to be bad faith, whatever the fuck, and pause champing and saying my opinions, like, 
all the way through. You can't have good faith commentary? I don't like, know. This is what I mean. I have no fucking clue why she described herself as bad faith this. Like, wait. <laughs> yeah. Did the mask just the mask fucking slips. fall off? Like, I, I, I just have to. There's nothing I can do. The, the I'm so bad only, faith right The mascara now. slips. The only thing I could possibly try to extrapolate from what she said is sure that thing, she's, she's saying that if she's pausing it too much, she's going to like miss parts of Dying. the argument and not or die. She's going to miss part of the <laughs> argument and then give a commentary that's incorrect or something. Ironically, she is correct because that is exactly what she does. But that's not a reason for why that would happen. Because we, if we miss a sentence or, or, or talk over one and just give it the old rewind and she can do that. Wait, wait, wait. Right. We don't have like a time machine or something. Oh, God, don't remind me of that argument. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Throw back. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? <laughs> no. Why watch it on stream then if you can't add anything no. to it? Well, Wade Carroll, I see Wade this Carole. is your first message here, or at least for today, it is your f no, it is your first message uh -oh. ever. If Why do they do this? Just, uh, yeah, I was about to say her instinctual reaction is to find it out. It seems to be such a common thing on Twitch. It's like, let me find out your history to see if I can dismiss you immediately. Oh my god, it yeah, doesn't you know even occur exactly to why. me. Like, doesn't even it occur to me to do that. It's the most Isn't that basic fucking yeah. question ever. Remember why watch it? it too. All he said was, why watch it if you can't add anything to it? The most normal mm -hmm. question like, you could ever ask. Wait a minute, let me find out if you've ever How said anything. How can I make this about what, you? What can I use against you while I read your name out very slowly to draw everybody's <laughs> attention to you? And it's like a fucking <laughs> cult leader who's been questioned. Mm -hmm. well, it, he made the feels... mistake in questioning <laughs> A now. lot of, like, Twitch <laughs> behavior feels like like public sec public execution. So they're calling your name up and they're you're coming before the group and then the leader's deciding whether they're gonna hang you or not. And they put your name on screen and read your message. Well and yep. so she's pissed at him as well because she's like, yo, if you would let me talk instead of interrupting, you'd know that I have a second point to make and I'm gonna rewind us in the video to let you guys think about whether or not if you were a commentator, you'd think that she's making a second point. If you could wait for two seconds, if you could wait, wait, haha, get it, wordplay, um, for just two seconds, what? okay? Okay, because you have to wade through all this the swamp of commentary yeah see we can we can all do it right so this is the oh. cut version i got rid of all of the useless <laughs> time oh <laughs> no this is the refined diamond that i made from that chunk of coal <laughs> yeah oh my goodness um i was literally gonna say <gasps> my second point okay I so go ahead. What's right. as, as I've titled you, how she so delivered ready. point one of two. Does this come across to you as delivering point one of two? Literally can't even wait to the end of the video to make my commentary. Otherwise, I'm going to get called. I'm going to be called on another lazy react streamer. Who, who isn't saying anything. So I literally have to be <laughs> bad faith, whatever the fuck, and pause champing and saying my opinions like all the way through. No, imagine. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> so, how can there be so much time left in this video? I don't know. Um, sometimes you can't perform. Occasionally, it can. See, now she's reading comments. So, wow. I'm sorry. How yeah. was that point okay. one so of there two? Was, there was, there was there definitely. Was so, usually you end a sentence with a, an inflection that indicates that there's more to say. Or yes, Dev, when you, you say, end oh, videos, you end with uh, a certain inflection so it doesn't just cut off. Oh, God, off are we randomly. having this fight, Rags? I, on, well, on your when, show? I, I don't want to have this. I don't want to have this fight. I want to. Talk about this. So <laughs> so you can do that. Or you can do it's the uh, it's the number one, number two, the Joe Biden thing, where it's like, all right, and that's number one and number two, so that people know that you're about to make your second point. You know, like you don't you don't just end and then it's like someone asks you a question, it's like, well, you fuck, I was about to get to that. <laughs> that was my second point. Which uh, clearly you didn't have a second point. <laughs> like I don't you know. Barely had seen. one. She made her main yeah. point, which yeah. is that, hey, I have to pause a lot, and that's making me be bad faith. Uh, they just, okay, if, if you've got nothing to add, just don't fucking react to it. They're just like, whoa, dude. Also, whoa. I'm not she done. Said, it's, it's someone else's fault, I'm bad faith. Yep. It can be weird for someone to not understand that. Especially if you just, I was literally going to say my second point, mm -hmm. okay? <laughs> literally, is? my second point has been... <laughs> 
There is content I literally don't watch on stream because I have nothing to say or react to it. So like I literally told people stop sending me FT signifiers videos because So this is an interesting point. She's saying there yes. are videos that she will not watch on stream because she cannot add anything to it. Do you remember what she said at first? That when you watch it with a community, even if you add nothing, that is a fundamentally that is necessarily different, different experience. This seems like yeah. an inherent oh, contradiction in your Yeah, because okay. yeah, you there's something in your head. Things. She there's something up. in her. Go for what her, I drew from yeah. this was that means that she is very aware that there is a distinction between what she doesn't have commentary for and what she does have commentary for. Mm -hmm. So everything we see on her streams is gone. It has been passed through that filter so we're getting the stuff that she's like yeah this is something that i am ready to comment on i think i want to distill it <laughs> one thing there is something in your head that tells you i ought not react i ought not play publicly anything that i have insufficient reactions for that is indicative of some sort of standard as to transformative content mm. necessary which is pretty interesting considering the other excuses she's made so far, but okay. Well, remember earlier when she brought up the intuitionist model about how you have an emotional reaction to something first and then you just try yep. to create post hoc rationalizations? It's almost <laughs> like she was just bullshitting in the beginning of this video when she said what? it created a communal experience and now she's being exposed for being full of shit. By she herself? would go to a commune and they'd be like, I'm sorry, we already have a React streamer. <laughs> you, you, can, you can farm the lands. And she's like, I don't want you to. It's like, you can farm the lands. You can dig for potatoes. Because I love With them the so much. No, Rags, dig, for, uh, dig for the black lemons. That's what she's got to do. Dig for black lemons. Much, but I have nothing to add to the black content. Black melons. And oh, by the way, that's probably the most genuine thing she says in this entire sequence. I have nothing to add to the content. It's like, Hey. Yeah, I, yeah. You did it. I like, what I don't know. I was like, oh, yeah, I believe you. Yeah. People stop sending me FT signifiers videos because I love them so much, but I have nothing to add to the content. And what what YouTubers don't understand is chat will like bother the Ooh, fuck out of you. They'll be like, watch this video, watch this video, watch this video, watch this video. Oh, no, and, like, chat have, bothers like, tens you. Of people spamming it, and then you watch it, and there's nothing you can add to it. My God, the hell they go through. I can't believe it. I, that sounds really rough, yeah. man. That sounds, I'm so glad that I'm a YouTuber and not a Twitch streamer. Oh, yeah. I'm so glad, <laughs> man. Oh, imagine. It's hell. I you couldn't believe it. You guys ever get, get afraid of your chat? <laughs> yes, They're all the time. Like, hack you for not reacting, reacting. One time. Yes. Chat was like, we would really like you to see Arcane. And I was like, oh my god. Rags, I don't think I can stream anymore. I can't take this. Like, people ask I me can't, to watch a show. I don't, it's just too yeah, much. I, ugh. It's too much. Too much pressure. It's too much pressure. I can't so, do sometimes this. Sometimes even two or three people might ask, have you seen Arcane? It's like, okay, oh, I'm yeah. done. I never it's signed up for this. When it to get to four, I just curl up in a little ball and I can't operate. I've heard I legends it. that it can get to five people. Individual people. Like Those poor this kind people. of weight on my shoulders, I can't. I'm not fucking Atlas over here. I, exactly. I'm just it's ridiculous. I'm chibi dog. I can't do it. I can't hold up the world of expectations that has been dropped on me. I didn't. So, um, I don't know what I did to deserve this. Yeah, if Go we just away. have a moment of appreciation for Denim's being able to deal with that, because that's actually impressive. And I understand you know, now. I I was blind before, but now I see. Yeah, I'm <laughs> just gonna put on a JXE video and go take a shit. <laughs> <laughs> Like I literally don't want, I literally don't want to watch FD signifiers videos, not because they're bad, but because they're so good. I have nothing to add to them. That's a weird implication, by the uh, way. They're so yeah. good that I have nothing to add to them. <laughs> Which, by the way, is so like, not, <laughs> not a problem for us. That's not how that works. Well, it's just I've, very telling. All the videos like, that I watch, I can improve. Health Kitchen is not good enough to add to any. There's nothing that you can. Yeah. It, and that is really also, funny. She, I mean. she thinks that she's improving the content? <laughs> well, I'm sure she does think that she's improving it to some extent, right? That's why <laughs> you're watching it, it on her stream rather than watching it there, you know? This should have been very evident from, like, the amount of people that wanted to watch, like, Death Note on stream or the amount of people that want to watch, like, MasterChef or Hell's Kitchen on stream. Like, it stops being one person making content, like a person making React content, and it starts being like a bunch of people watching something together as like friends almost, right? So like, even if- Right, like, yeah, sure. There are times when I am streaming Hell's Kitchen and I don't even feel like I'm adding that much. There are times, let it, <laughs> let it be known. 
that I want to go to my little doggy grave one day, never having to have said when I'm streaming Hell's Kitchen, <laughs> not counting this part where I reference saying that thing hypothetically. Is, but it's like about like the community watching, like in the same. She said, but she's like, nothing to add. It's more about the community. And then later on, she's like, I have videos where I can't add anything and I don't watch them. Way that like watching a movie by yourself is always, almost always going to be less fun than watching it with other people. Do you know what I mean? And I think that this really was like amplified and like made obvious during like the peak of like the, you know, Pokemon getting banned and t disguised toasts and everything like that. Just a watch party. Yeah, exactly. The community. It's fun to watch something together as a community. So I wouldn't watch shows like Master of HQ without HK without people like you or Hassan. There's an entertainment value. Yeah, of course. It's like vibing with stoner friends. Exactly. Yeah. Good content does not equal good react content. Exactly. The whole point of react would be showing that your reaction it defeats the purpose if you already know the content. Yeah, exactly. So I wouldn't mind um, okay. uh, Denim's arguing with Denim's at this point. I would like to put them in the same room. <laughs> <laughs> when when one of them says like I can't react to FD signifiers just too good and the other one goes well no it, community watching it together is a form of transformative isn't it so we should be doing that and then she's like well no I don't have anything to say it's like I don't care if you have nothing to say denims I denims wish for my audience to see it with me and enjoy it <laughs> three hour video essay plus podcast plus video joking about it plus tweets and now this video I know so you don't know because what Jay did was stream a parody. And then talk about how in a video that Jay will make fucking, what, six months later because uh, he's busy with all kinds of projects. It'll just summarize the points made in the stream. And that's what was done. But for some reason, through Chinese whispers, it ends up being like, oh, Jay made like 10,000 streams and 16 videos. And 10 years later, made 17 more videos with Nazis. I don't know. Like, it's crazy. This messy, weird house has made Hassan conclude, hmm, yes, only a disabled could have caused this. <laughs> that's what he says. <laughs> that that's basically what he said. Though. It's literally what it's he said. It's not that confusing, all right? It's a, it's a funny joke, but you're so. It is a funny it's joke. It's not funny. It's cringe, okay? Uh, okay, sorry. I've been trying to be pretty good faith in this video, but no. like this reading of like Hassan saying, like, this person could be disabled is one of the biggest fucking jokes in the fucking world. This is such a weird, bad faith interpretation of Hassan's Literally commentary. said, are they disabled or something? Um, I don't, yeah. how, how could it possibly be bad faith? Hassan's commentary on this is, hey, people who are in any way, shape, or form disabled tend to have less spoons to spend on making sure that the their house so, is what perfectly clean. Has spoons as currency. Just, just, it's amazing to me that she's, we do it. She's paraphrasing what he said, and it's a completely different tone, with completely different intentions. Right. This is not what he said. And to like just be like, "Oh, look at this fucking incel slob," and then later finding out that this person is disabled well, makes you probably feel like a real asshole, which is probably why Hassan. Interesting to know that she thinks that being an incel and being disabled not the same thing. <laughs> being an incel is not a disability. I feel bad for anyone well, who's disabled. So. That she's like, this could be your house and that would be okay. It's like, excuse you. What the fuck? I stand up for the poor and downtrodden. I'm a good person. <laughs> the low expectation well, shit, man. N neither Hassan's perception or her perception makes any sense because... It's not that the house is messy. It's that there's all this weird shit going this is on. This literal in the house fucking would, mountains like, of I wouldn't look at this house and think, house, obviously, like... a disabled person lives here. Like, I'd be like, no, what, this was built very specifically and very strangely. On was saying, hey, this person could be disabled and that's why their house looks this way. Not to say that all disabled people have dirty houses, but it's not, <laughs> it's not too strange to consider that someone who is disabled would have a house that's a little messier because they literally don't have enough energy or physical ability Something to I've do as much. So that's just a normal about, person at this point. Um, well, she's also talking about physical disability when Hassan was talking about mental disability, but. Something I've noticed uh, uh, in consuming uh, some like Twitch stuff and watching debates that are had like often between Destiny and other Twitch streamers is that a lot of streamers seem to like run defense for Hassan a yep. very all often. the time. Mm -hmm. yeah. There's always yeah. running defense, trying to defend him constantly. I find it very strange, but almost 
Is it is it just as simple as he is like the largest streamer in that space, and you don't want to burn that bridge, so you'll just defend him no matter what? Well, dude, yep. yeah, it, I it's, think it, it's that, but also the fact that they're all—it's like I said—they're all in LA, and they're hoping to meet up with them because he's yeah, in LA as well. There's a lot to this, but um, one of the big ones I think because I saw the clips of it recently, where he's apparently like basically never interacted with Vosh. Up, up until Vosh's subreddit went after him for all of the Ukraine takes. And then he sent a message to Vosh personally, uh, Hassan, saying, get your community off my ass, basically. <laughs> and it's like, kind of amazing, because that this is the thing, he, he kind of treats it that way. It's, like a, it's almost like a fucking monarchy. He is the king. You will do everything you can not to piss him off. And maybe Monarch. someday he'll give you a, you know, a slice of land or something. Um, and that's what they're all hoping for, I think. Yep. You know, well, he's got plenty of land to give. I, that is <laughs> that's that's uh that's feeble, isn't it? Oh, absolutely. Someone, yeah. Someone explain the spoons thing. Some of the people use spoons to denote how much mental will power people. Oh, will power is one word. People use spoons to denote how much mental willpower people have. It's a common way to talk about it. I've never heard spoons. Use, I thought she yeah. was talking about currency. I've never heard that either. That's I've weird. never heard it. I've never. I was going to say, I'll be honest, thing. I've not heard of that either. I, uh... yeah, yeah, I was just the only one who thought it was very odd that she was referring to spoons without like cereal or soup or something. I took like it that. as just yeah, like yeah, I a she was not macaroni, of course, because you eat macaroni with a fork. I thought she was making a joke either. about the room. I thought it was yeah, just like, like a, there were so many spoons lying around in this house. Yeah. Yeah, I thought it might have been a colloquial. Like if she had said caps or something, I'd be like, "Oh, it's a game reference." And spoons might be just something yeah. that I'm unaware of, but it means resources. Yeah, like dosh. Mm. Maybe she means the card game spoons that you cheddar. Play summer camp. Well, well, Sedge, yeah. when you're yeah, when you're on the Sunday show, make sure to use spoons to talk about free will from now on. Uh. <laughs> Cleaning the as people who aren't neurodivergent can. So yeah, just to remind you guys, this is how he said it. Do you think with all the new- I, I hate to describe something that she just said as nuanced, but it's more nuanced than what Hassan said, we can agree on that. I don't have a chair planted in front of my laundry machine. I can't even fucking see who in his chat is saying like, oh this is an incel, but just so I can I'm watch sure they're run, in there I guess. each to their own, eh? <laughs> I feel like it's- it's gotta be like, uh... It, it's gotta be... I don't get I don't it. Know. I don't. I don't understand. I don't get it. Like, someone who has a disability millionaire or streamer. something, right? Like, it doesn't make any sense. Oh, uh, millionaire that's streamer, lives in a mansion. That's it. How exactly this, this, this... do you draw from that, that he's doing this to defend the person who owns the house? Yeah. Like, literally, like, Hassan, what is this? What was this weird interpretation? It was the normal interpretation. This weird interpretation. The normal interpretation. The normal, <laughs> yeah. This is what normal people think when they hear those words delivered in that way about this topic. This is you so are, bad faith. Yeah. What the fuck? No, it's no, it just. Isn't. No. And apparently, chat says that Hassan was defending the homeowner because. People no, he was not. He wasn't. <laughs> yes, and people in chat who say that are dumb it. too. People were well, trash it's talking just about people that. running defense for it. All he said, he said something pretty daft. That's it. Yeah, it's the kind of thing that if a friend said it while you were there, you'd be like, "Oh, don't you get what is implied by what you just said?" That you're like, "Oh, yeah, no, sorry, I just meant, I don't, yeah, yeah, I don't know so what I meant." Oh, laugh at it. Like, <laughs> yeah. Wow, you're so bad. Wow, bad faith, Andy, huh? Jeez. Bad faith. Jay trying too hard to get a dig on Hassan. Pog champ of Andy you. That's not very. Andy's not, bad dude, faith yeah. must be fucking legendary. The fact that Jay initially only went, um, and then we all laughed because we understood exactly <laughs> yeah, what Jay was true. reacting to. About the mess in chat. I think Hassan's point was that you shouldn't make fun of someone's house looking like this because it could be caused by a disability. This when did you Amazing. He <laughs> literally did, he... did the opposite. And when everyone's like, no, 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 no. He meant this other, comp he meant not only something different, as different as it could possibly be. He meant actually the opposite of what he said and what everyone is understanding him to say. Because he is a son of a false reality. Son. This is not what he said, and it's not what he, it's probably not what he meant. Yeah, I guess we can never be 100% on that, but how the fuck do you get this from what he said? This video thinks he was making fun of disabilities. I feel like it's, it's gotta be like, uh, it, it's gotta be, 
I don't know. <laughs> it's so unfortunate that he takes so fucking long to say this. <laughs> like, whenever you want to show it. <laughs> well, to be to be left. fair, to be fair, Mahler, disabled is a very big word. <laughs> has a disability or something, right? Like, it doesn't make any sense. Oh, wait. <laughs> chat context is lost on an essay YouTuber. It's so weird. The no, chat context is lost on you. You didn't even know what it was. People in your chat are brain damaged. They, they're clearly they're, they have messy houses. Yeah. Arguments to be made about lazy react content, but this guy so far seems to be salty that there's a react market because parasocial and casual content is popular. Yes, that sums up Jay's position entirely. Yes, that's, that's what it. he, that's, like, yeah, that's it. You nailed it. The wonderful part of your, all of this. Your good faith is just blinding. Is that Jay had already started streaming on Twitch semi-regularly at this point and was reacting to her and are relevant on Twitch. Like, being like, Jay's not a react streamer, so he wouldn't know. It's like, um, alright. <laughs> if you say so. Like, I'm not even sure if he means mental or physical. What the fuck are you talking about? What's the disability that makes you go, I need to install a toilet next to my fucking toilet? <laughs> what? Oh my god. Oh, it's actually, it's not, it's, it oh, it is kind of starting to annoy me now because I know that Jay would have sat down and like workshopped these jokes and thought yep. about them. Yeah. And then, and it's all and then thought about the way to execute. Yeah, the delivery. And then what is it met with? What with this feigned confusion? Because I don't really buy this. Actually, yeah, she doesn't have a point to All make, so she's got to pretend like she has one. Wasted on these people. You can't mm -hmm. just let it be. It's got to be something that you can make fun of, or that's it's got it. There's got to be something about it that's stupid. It couldn't just be a joke that works. You yeah, the ability to recognize humor that doesn't necessarily work for you. Like mm -hmm. smiling friends, right? It's just not my kind of humor. You know, I really like it. I appreciate it a great deal. I enjoyed watching it. It's just not yeah. really my kind of humor, but I can okay. super appreciate it and be very glad it exists and well, so, recognize it for what it hear, is. This is going after Hassan. Maybe, he does not appreciate this exists. I, maybe things will be better though. We've had conversations about the deepest annals of our of our minds, you know. So hopefully now you can fully appreciate DJ Spitz in a turmoil you know maybe mm -hmm. the joke is starting to make more sense now that you can understand his struggle his struggle to get people out of his Dude. head but like I mean, the he fact probably that working he like eight hours that day. has these internal struggles it like elevates him into a position above these two chuckle fucks right who it's just well, it's just an empty echo inside of their head and they don't even have like two things bouncing around in there in there to meet and conflict well, it, right, because for DJ Spit to not know what to think, he needs to be able to think. <laughs> yeah, you know? he has to be aware of what reality should be, and then notice what's happening, compare the two, and see what know doesn't... What to think no more, man. That's why he doesn't yeah. know what to think no more, man. Get out of me, head! <laughs> it's it's me. like when you, when you do a magic trick for an animal, right? And some smart animals realize, oh, where'd the ball go? That doesn't make sense. What's going on? And they're confused. Hmm. Because they're smart enough to know that something doesn't make sense here. Something yeah. isn't right. Well, it's like, um, you know, because have you seen the experiments they do when um, they get the little crows and they give them they give them a puzzle to solve and the crows, they're like, hmm, that doesn't work. I should try something else. Hmm, that doesn't work. Oh, that does work. Let's continue down this path. Yeah, It's real interesting how, like, little crows can do these things, isn't it? Crows are great. Yeah, and a lot of birds, I'm, I'm they do the thing crow. where they lift the blanket up and then run away when once the blanket drops they're gone and the birds are like what the fuck where the hell did you go blah, 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 blah. Yeah, they just yeah. panic like dogs and cats will do that yeah. they're like what you, what are you what what uh, uh, this doesn't make sense meanwhile there's a lot of animals that would see that and just be like hmm uh, it's gone hmm. though <laughs> i mean a, cr a crow would be a better stream and reactor than oh venom, god so yeah that's 100 percent I would absolutely. Absolutely, I would. I, I'm tempted to write a sitcom about a crow who decides that he wants to become a live streamer. Oh, <laughs> okay. So dude, I, I don't dude, know what the amount of references you can make. Oh man, that I, is. I, I actually, I actually really like that idea. To be honest. Hey, hey, <laughs> forget, forget. If you make a vulture, I've, I've already ruined it. I was gonna say. It. <laughs> oh God, he's gonna be a vulture. Yeah. No, vulture. no, 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 no. So we. This is the, he, the vulture is the antagonist. I was, 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 was going to say, like, a stand-in for the Hassan streamer. Yeah, would be, that's like, It would be a vulture. Yeah. 
<laughs> it's, it's, a, it's a world where, yeah, where the crow is trying to do things right, but the, holy shit, so wait, I need to... It writes hold on, itself. Hold on, sorry, sorry. sorry. It's it's like it does a, write itself. I, I it's love like this idea. Is it an anthropomorphic crow in Vulture, or is it just a literal No, crow no, no. They're, 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 this, this, is a, this, is, this is a world where... This is a like, world where the, the humans exist, but the crows are just sentient or something. I don't like, know. No, I, I, it's it's, it's got to be a crow girl, like like a okay, crow so YouTuber girl. The crow. Uh, I can figure out the name later. So the crow streamer. The <laughs> oh, of course, because he's a pro streamer. Holy shit! It's writing itself, even though I'm <laughs> typing things down. Oh, oh no! And I got the Mario Kart race as well happening. Don't worry, I'll uh, multitask. I'll you can do it. Oh my god. I, um, well, so I've been doing a lot of multitasking this stream. I've had my MIDI keyboard out and I've just been playing stuff while in between Mario Kart races, in between making observations about, look, all right, you, you know, life is short. You got to try and squeeze as much out of it as possible. Um, life gives you lemons. To... Dude, fuck your lemons. When, when life gives you crows, write sitcoms about their struggles to become <laughs> the top Twitch streamers. When when um, life gives you four and twenty blackbirds, is I I I, I, I don't get it. it, it for that's all right. It's obscure. So anyway, if you watch how long it takes for it to draft up a response, I assume it's because it's the exact thing she was describing earlier. She is unhappy, but she has no arguments, and so she has to come up with one. Son, this is a more fully formed. See? She's like, mm, I'm what? angry. But Wait, what? what do I say? Um, Does he think that the homeowner literally chose to build those two toilets next to each other? Well, so someone they literally, did. They literally <laughs> did. Like, Dude, what wait, are you talking about? Do, the, do, do, do houses like, just grow and appear? The Big Bang happened. Listen, the listen, rapid expansion of the universe. Two toilets flew out of the Big Bang and just happened to end up next to each <laughs> so, other in this bathroom. I look, all right, it's entropy. Everything is breaking down, and two toilets manifest entropy. next to each other it's in so, a random no, no, house. Here, so here's how it happens, bug. okay? Denimus picks up the phone and says, like, "I gotta get a new toilet in my in my bathroom." She picks up the phone. She calls up a toilet. gardener. All right, and the gardener <laughs> shows up with the That's toilet okay. seeds, and then you plant the toilet seeds, and a new toilet will grow oh, in like yeah. sixteen weeks. Seeds. And but that's how. Bro, the, the other toilet the had a child. It gave birth to a second toilet. It's like it it's like the Simpsons in Flushing Meadows. That's where Never they get shit them. on me and my son ever again. <laughs> I um, <laughs> left the, the trash can too close to the toilet, and they mated, and they produced an offspring. So, is the proof not right there? She had no point, and she desperately grasped and what she end up with. Do you really think they intentionally built the two toilets there? Like, yes. How yes. do you accidentally well, build a toilet? You accidentally, how do you accidentally you? build a toilet? Or alternatively, oh, no. the toilet <laughs> has miraculously appeared. To, to, to like be some... good faith, to be good faith, okay. maybe the no. question that she, she she might have meant to ask was like, who in their right mind would build two toilets? She didn't say that, side? Dev. If she'd said that, okay, I know, I but like, she didn't say that, bro. <laughs> I'm being the best faith. Well, That's not good like, faith. Like, there's still an answer to that. Steel answer manning that. at that point. You're not actually. Maybe. You're okay, Adam. I'm, I'm steel manning. manning. I'm steel manning. She, okay. she thinks, like, like, this is like Minecraft and houses are just procedurally generated in some <laughs> wonky way and then someone just moved into it. I or think something. The, uh, the genuine good faith is the, and this I think is still too far, is that it would have been cubicles when it was originally built. And what she should have said is, do you really think they would have originally intended for them to just be cubicle-less toilets next to each other? Well, no, Unfortunately, so she the, didn't I say that. I don't think that. they're cubicles, no. I don't the, think they're cubicles. the true steel man is, look, maybe she meant that we live in a procedurally generated level and this was a glitch <laughs> in the system that just produced two That's toilets good next faith. to each other. That's the good yeah. I think yeah, her thoughts that is are a good procedurally faith. generated. I, I think what the actual well, answer I, is, I mean, is I that it was... Um, she is an NPC, it all makes sense. Oh! <laughs> So the actual answer, answer I think, exactly. is that it's it's a house that was used for porn shoots, because that's common. Oh, like a scat porn, fetish. Por porn companies, with, they'll actually like build a house and use it for shooting various porns, and that happened. It used to happen, not so much anymore. Well, so it was but a they'll, they'll put FYI. like random bathrooms and toilets fucking everywhere all over the house. Well, I mean, it's just is there really a difference. Ease of clean. <laughs> Between a church and a house, you shoot porns in. I mean, it's kind of like same same thing. Stalls more. I mean, they hang up the big sure, guy on 
what the, it is. <laughs> really cool. Yeah, you love Jesus. You love this random guy you named John. Come into your you know. heart. It's a, it's really Jesus. kind of odd. Consume the flesh. It's kind oh. of the same thing, right? It is. <laughs> the Holy well, Spirit. Jinx said mm. while Tom Scar's video was playing. I also just really want to know what the fuck he meant. But so far, my video was played. Under Are you serial? Is he serious? No, you have to commit to serial or serious. You can't. Yeah, you can't now it's like you fucked up. Mind now it's like it takes two brain cells to recognize that he obviously was trying to say that like people who have people so, who are neurodivergent. So are... just so to again, you remember how we talked about how the tone in which you says something can obfuscate what you just said? Um Dennis no. just said that Jay is stupid. Like I don't know I don't know like how you you escape yeah. from that. If you have two brain yeah. cells implying yeah. he doesn't. He All does right, not. so just Again, listen carefully to what people say, because people are, you can learn something if you ignore the tone and then focus on what's being said. Are physically disabled in any shape or form, shape, way or form, way, shape or form. Um, Oof, that was tough for her. Will find it harder she got to it out. She keep got it their out. house maintained and clean. Do you don't even need to try? Shut the fuck up! He didn't say this. Say that hard. Well, yeah, that's true. All yeah, Jay that's, said I, is, "I don't know what to the make hell shit you up." Need. And Hassan didn't even get the chance yeah. to edit his points. Like, it's just... I, oh, what no. What the fuck you... That doesn't... He didn't get a chance to change his point. It's like, and you know what he could have done? Is he could have clarified right after. It's like if I said 2 plus 2 is right. 5, and then someone goes, he clearly didn't mean that, because it's not... It's live. He didn't get to edit his <laughs> mathematical what? skills live well, like that. That you're being unfair. The good faith interpretation is that two plus, he said 2 plus 2 equals 4. That's exactly. The good that's, that's the good faith, yeah. The irony that she's casting aspersions on Jay, saying he hasn't, he only needs two brain cells to understand what Hassan's saying when she just made up that interpretation of what Hassan was saying. That wasn't even what Hassan was exactly. saying. Exactly. She hasn't even fucking like appreciated that the person in chat has just made this shit up and she just believes it wholesale. She's like, yep, that's the truth. <laughs> the biggest flex you can do is when you have not one, but two fucking. Side by side bathrooms, you know what I mean? No, not really. So the house I was roasting <laughs> actually does have. Here she goes again. It's yeah, such a good joke. And so now he's getting mad at Hassan for making I'm commentary. Mad. I'm so confused. Jay is mad that Hassan is commentating. That's that's her takeaway. Mm, okay. No, Jay's just making fun of Hassan. That's all. Right. I know that's a lot to take in. Denims, but we're getting there. Right? So Hassan reacted, and then he was like, well, You got the reaction wrong. That's not what I said. What the fuck is happening? Are you My stupid? Is... Holy god damn oh. it, woman. Jesus so the god. answer is yes. <laughs> you to react harder and make fun of your bad reaction. Those are, these are not, these are not contradictory positions. Exactly. It's so weird right. to me that I could just blurt out random words from the dictionary and she'd be like, well, you are reacting, so that's fair. And I'd be like, really? You you, you think that's great compared to anyone offering any kind of, like, analysis? We just go blah, 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 blah. It's just like, as long as I'm making noises. Hassan's commentary is, oh, wow, what a flex. There's two bathrooms next to each other when he's referring to toilets. Like, maybe he's referring <laughs> to the, the flex of one's sphincter as you... Oh. 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 Maybe, oh. maybe that's the good faith interpretation. I feel like... Like, Most would just come between them toilet. at that point if you stretched it across. Yeah, no, no, he, you fill up one toilet so much you have to run to the other toilet. <laughs> oh, yeah, this, it's a, this is a diarrhea-proof bathroom. There's no way you can shit too much for two toilets. No fucking way, yeah, you're right. It's a safety thing. Yeah, like, poop in one, flush, then you move over to the other while that one's flushing, and then it's... What are we doing, guys? I don't know. This or it, it, could, it could be the, the dreaded what? when you have to throw up and poop at the same time combo. You got one oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I like yeah. it. I like it. Because I've often gag. had to choose. Wasn't that, that was a gag in South Park, right? When Kenny's dad had to shit and vomit at the same time and he was just alternating between the two. And then yep. there was yes. a joke Kenny later on. Yes, in the uh, abortion See, stuff. You see, Fringy, yeah. this, the, this is where the advantage of having a, sh a a bath or a shower next to the toilet comes in handy, right? I mean, you could I guess it depends on, on how close that it depends while on how you're, close it is, right? 
Well, there is projectile vomiting also. Hey, look, all right. I, look, if you want to take that chance, that's your call. But I'd rather oh, not. Well, the way to do it, guys, to vomit into a hoover and while well, it's on. So it all goes in the nice bag and then you got it nice and void. Oh, that's okay. disgusting. <laughs> oh, uh, like, you mean like open up the bag or just vomit on the floor and suck <laughs> it up? <laughs> that's oh, going to haunt, haunt your nightmares. Or turn, turn it upside down and just turn it upside down. Into a little you can even donate the bag I, oh to the local homeless shelter. Now, if they like the food. I can now see. Oh this my god! Right. <laughs> no, I can see it. Now. I can see it. Oh, I can, no, I can see it. Sits oh, cowering in his this? little bed. He's just got the quilts on, and then he looks at the door, horrifying. freaks open, and it's oh, a vacuum man. cleaner filled with vomit lumbering yes, in. It's the worst thing ever. <laughs> give, give, give me oh vomit. Oh my god! No. That's the worst <laughs> prank ever. You vomit or shit in like someone else's vacuum bag, and you don't tell them. And they're vacuuming. Oh, and they're like, <laughs> what the fuck? Who took a shit? Jesus Christ! Was that me? It's it's not a place. What was in this rug? Such a thing. Yeah, <laughs> this was designed for dust and small things on the floor. This was supposed to make uh, things better. <laughs> Who has been shitting in the rug? How deep down was this? <laughs> Bring it up to the surface. Oh my goodness! Oh, it is an outside cat now that he's just forgotten the word toilet and is saying bathroom instead of toilet. And to be honest, no, I really don't know what he means by this. I'm not sure if it's supposed to be a joke or He's mad because he misspoke? So, so Denims, when someone tells a joke you don't understand, you are allowed to say I don't understand the joke without being mad. Yeah. You're trying to be mad on behalf of simping for Hassan. But also calling, calling Jay mad. When Jay's not mad, that's, that's it's what just I'm saying. a joke. It's funny. It's, 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 Jay doesn't understand Hassan's joke. Therefore, Jay and must be mad. Into a joke. Like, yeah. right. no, Jay's not mad. He's just saying it's a shitty joke. Is that, what, is that what you do when you're confused? You just get mad. <laughs> <laughs> Hit yourself in confusion. Just say it in line. Oh up. my gosh. It's just like the zombie <laughs> in Resident <laughs> Evil that they tried to um, domesticate. Once oh, yeah. it couldn't figure out how to put the block into the toy, it instantly got mad and started eating people. It's like Denims. <laughs> Denims is that zombie <laughs> from Resident Evil who can't figure out children's toys. Yes. Look! What is happening in this video? So, this is weird. This, you this, don't is, get it. this makes you look bad. So, she has yeah, trouble understanding continuity of any kind. This is why you move away from your microphone whenever you scream, all right? Yeah. Like, just speak God. loudly. Yes, it I've is very I've made that mistake before. I can admit that, but you just try and move away from the mic I whenever you're going to yell. With microphones. I have. I've learned so much about microphones in the last couple of years. And we all have. Years, which, is, which is really, I mean, that is really amusing, all things considered, with all of these issues I've been dealing with all morning <laughs> with this microphone. But nevertheless... <laughs> I know a lot about microphones. Yeah. <laughs> this is weird. This is a weird video. Okay. No, this it's is not. really it's weird. Incredibly stressful. I guess we'll go with. Yeah. I think he technically has added something small here. I'm just not really sure what it was. He then lets the video play <laughs> completely uninterrupted. That's a good. Oh, the delivery is perfect. Nice one, Jay. You know what you're doing. Mm -hmm. Jesus Christ. I know, right? Isn't it painful? It just stabs you right in the brain. You're like, Nyah. Jay is literally, the YouTuber is acting like a Twitch chatter. Oh my, oh my goodness. Okay, did you, did you turn I, her up? I, I, don't, I don't believe this response. I don't know what to say. I don't believe Dev, this like is I an earnest to, response. Yeah. Dev, I yeah, like, turned her realized... down on these sections. <laughs> oh, I had you. Did you really? Oh. Okay. <laughs> Oh no, Show that's that not way for him. Thanks Don't me do for that, it, okay? baby. <laughs> like, no, seriously. not my bitch. Calzone, calzone. Oh my. Well, actually. <laughs> well, actually. All Jay said was, I don't get the fucking joke. And she went nuts. Like, <laughs> I don't understand. Well, well yeah, he's video. making the joke that, like, having two toilets is like you're flexing. You're like, yo, I'm so rich. I don't even got. I don't even. I, I got two toilets. One for peeing. No, see, why do you all feel so dead. compelled to just run defense for such a stupid observation? It's, it's not dumb. about having it's multiple toilets. It's that they're right next to each other. Right it's not next a flex. To each other. 
Well, and if Hassan had made that actual joke, said like, "Oh, you know, he has one for peeing and pooping." At least you're like, "Oh, okay, there's something." There's a joke there. there. Yeah, it's because yeah. there is a joke there. There's layers instead of just a weird, dumb observation that doesn't make sense, but everybody seems to feel so compelled to defend. One Why can't you just admit that he said something stupid? Why do but you have to like fair. be like, you think I'm an oh, nah, you see." What he means when he says that it's a flex is that it's actually really cool and, and chad yeah. to have like two toilets instead of just one. Yeah. You know? When Hassan is said that like... Russia would never invade Ukraine, what he really meant was Russia would invade Ukraine tomorrow. <laughs> do, do you think it's, this, it's, this is how his Twitch take... chat, like, his viewers take his content? They all just invent things that he's not saying that they want to hear? I, mean, I, I guess I can understand why you would really enjoy watching Hassan's chat. Uh, channel if it's just you and you're just inferring yeah. every single thing like that you're know. you're gonna frame it that it's from your perspective it's never about what he said it's about what you think he's saying in the I subtext just... <laughs> like... hassan is like a, hassan is a genius he's like the art house film of uh streamers he says twitch, things that are so yeah. vague or of twitch yeah he says things that are so vague that his audience can just project whatever thing they want on he's like the uh he's like the um the protagonist of every young adult like story ever right you can just project anything onto him and hassan then are you saying cool. hassan is the bella of twilight i was gonna no, say that but i figured i'd go more broad um okay. to, actually, to well, she's well, pretty broad yeah. my mine was yeah, I, I think hassan is the streamer <laughs> equivalent of one of those uh those paint by numbers things where it's like there's a vague outline of a person but there's like a guideline for how you can insert yourself into it so it's like your art now mm. i i just now understood why where paint by numbers comes from thank you that's wow oh, are you serious oh my there god i never <laughs> really i've never really put much thought into that that's where it mean? comes from I mean, I used to or paint by what, numbers. I, I used to do them when I was super young, so I've always known. But well, so, so the the paint by numbers as a saying is like it's 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 um I guess unoriginal, and that it comes from it's it's preset. You're following the yeah, line, yeah. yeah. You're just yeah, yeah. You, you, you didn't make anything really. You just did what you were told to do. Yeah, basically, color no, so you, This is why you come to watch EFAP every. You learn something <laughs> new every day. Yay! All right. Bring. You didn't have a childhood. Well, ever, ever. <laughs> I definitely did the little drawings with the numbers and he followed. I just never put it together that that's where paint by numbers came from. Those gears have been turned for 20 years. <laughs> finally, <laughs> finally, they have to. Trying to pee and poop in the same toilet? Nah. Yep, she's invented a joke that he didn't make. Yeah, you have you know to invent mean? the joke. You reacted wrong. <laughs> You're reacting, but not hard. You just said the joke wasn't very good. Calm down, you'll be but fine. But also, you you know what? You can react wrong if like, like you you can if some if somebody says yeah. you know what the sun that's a star and then you flip the table and like punch a hole in your window and start screaming yeah, and chanting in some weird scientists. language. Yeah, it'd just be like what the what <laughs> like what. Well, yeah, and then, what, what and then if you ran up to the fucking screen and said, let me guess, you think the sun is an alien. You're like, what? Yeah. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> and it's like, oh, wow, look at you getting mad that he reacted wrong. It's like, I don't... I, it, it's, yeah, yeah. Yes. He reacted wrong. <laughs> yeah. Hard enough and incorrectly. What is going on in this video? What is this? What the, what the, what the, what the, Denim, you better make funny commentary. I'm going to write a two hour video essay about how I would have given better commentary. No, no eight hour live stream. Yeah, I was going to say, eight hour live stream about how stupid you are. Don't worry, we got you covered. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we, it, Welcome from the future. Editing, we're not editing, editing this. Well, by the way, I just want to let everyone know this yeah, only gets worse. There is oh, a lot no. more to come. That's not possible. Oh, no, don't say that. I'm not talking oh, about person God. three no, being worse than person two and one, which is true. I'm talking about person two here gets so much worse. It's, oh, it'll be fun. I don't believe you. You'll, you'll end up saying you were wrong. Don't worry about it. Is, is it in this video or is it in the next one? Because I got to go in half an hour. It's, uh, I, my time I, would, that, I, guess. I can guarantee it's in the next video. I'm not sure if it's in this one. I guess we'll find out. I'll never uh, know, Dev. Reach! Till... No, Reach? I'm going to get a video written oh. about me now. And this could be like, Jenimus just reads her chat and steals all the comments. Just like a stupid, dumb e-girl. I was like, maybe I I'm... I have, we haven't said any of those things. Uh, yeah, hold on. I, I will chad yes that right now. There have been mentions <laughs> of likelihood that they do read their chats in order to get comments to say, but we mainly just commented that she's an idiot. It's, it's less... Uh, like saying that she's yeah, a stupid, but... dumb e-girl. It's like, 
I mean, I mean, <laughs> your words. <laughs> your <laughs> words, not mine. Maybe I'm the asshole. You know what I mean? Maybe I should be nicer. You know? But your then words. I was like, people don't even like. Honestly, like it feels like in like. Holy Stop shit. saying that word without comparing <laughs> objects or expressing that you have a fondness for something. But like, God but damn like, it. But like, but like, but like, but like, but like, Certain like spaces what? What is online, it like? nobody even cares when you're generous. So, like, why should I bother? <laughs> <laughs> nobody even cares. This is so much. This is so much. Yes. No, 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 no. I get no, no, no utility I, out of being moral. You are a stupid, <laughs> dumb e-girl. <laughs> I love this that quote. Hard. It's one of my favorites. This is Denim's dark triad uh, profile. That was I mean, right now. This is her villain origin story. Fucking hell. Oh. There you have it, everybody. What is the point of doing good things if no one cares that you did them? I know. She's the anti-Spider-Man. It, 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 it's entirely performative, 100%. She, she does things that she will get seen by others. That's it. Just, uh, some people didn't hear it. Let's, let's, let's do one more thing. not even, like, honestly, like, it feels like in, like, certain spaces online, nobody even cares when you're generous. So, like, why should I bother? <laughs> That's because mm -hmm. you hang out with people who are pricks. I guess. I don't know <laughs> what to say. Like, I guess... Mm. Well, not even hang oh. out. Just her sphere of internet politics yeah, yeah. is dominated by these people. One of, one of the greatest heroes in fiction, Moomin Ryder... As he would say, it's not about winning or Valley? losing. It's not about winning or losing. All right, it's about you me know, taking you mic. on right here. And oh, is there? Yeah, yeah sorry, yeah. man. I was gonna let you finish before we. <laughs> oh but it's no! Because right, we well, can understand you, but it's yeah. It's like it's slow. It's slow. Crackly. Slow. Little it's a little crackly. Little I'm not sure that's the point we're supposed to take from Moomin Rider anyway. What? Do you, well, I, um. I, Moomin Valley. Moomin Rider. Because Moomin Rider, like, on one hand, you appreciate that he's heroic because he won't, you know, he'll sacrifice himself, he won't give up. But on the other hand, he already has given up in his mind. He's like um, the exact opposite of Saitama, who never gave up. Well, so, no, so Moomin Rider is like, is probably like, the, oh my god, the likes, they're infectious. <laughs> Moomin, Rider is, uh, Moomin Rider is a very altruistic, noble character because even though he knows he's not going to win, he's still going to try and do the right thing, which takes an incredible amount of uh, bravery. Uh, oh, yeah, I wouldn't, dedication. I wouldn't classify him as having given up already by accepting that he's going to lose. I think it's just a matter of I'm very likely not going to win. I'm still going to fucking try to stop you. But I'm still going to try, yeah. Oh. It's, why, it's why Moomin Rider is such... It's it's like people say he's a class C hero, but he's got like a class S heart because he's such a great guy. No, but see, I, I disagree because on one hand you're right that what he's doing we perceive as is as honorable, and I think it is. He's willing to sacrifice himself. But on the, but on the other hand, the theme, the overarching theme in One Punch Man, especially between Saitama and Garo, is that if that your intention sort of creates your own reality. That's why Saitama was able to break his limiter was that he never he never gave up he never limited himself and moomin rider always like captain himself. marvel he always thinks he's going to lose i think the thing is is i don't even know what it means for him to think that but still charge at a massive like eldritch creature and do it anyway even though he knows that he's gonna get his ass kicked it's an appreciation of the reality of a situation but a willingness to try and do the right thing anyway which i i think that's awesome I uh, I really like Moomin Rider. Yeah, I, okay. I would say I, I find it really, intensely really like compelling him. to have the awareness yeah. that you will lose, but you do it because it's the right thing to do. Yeah, and and in the situation that we're talking about against the deep, sea, it was the deep sea king, right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. If it weren't for Moomin, if it weren't for Moomin Rider doing that, Saitama wouldn't have gotten there in time to stop him from uh, attacking all of the people and killing genos and, and everything so like right. it doesn't matter moomin rider still achieved something incredible just because he had a willingness to to stand up to uh to the deep sea king and fight right yeah i'm not saying he's he he is heroic i'm just saying there is this element specifically in one punch man thematically I, about limiting I mean, yourself but, uh, i yeah no i, I mean I, t I totally get what you mean by that um i guess it's more so just that moomin rider acknowledges the reality of his circumstances but still tries to do the right thing anyway, whereas I guess Saitama's in a different situation. 
the circumstances are kind of don't even matter anymore because he's so incredibly powerful. And so now he's got new challenges to deal with. Well, it's, it's like, more about is... how Saitama gets to be Saitama. Oh, well, yeah, because Saitama was willing to do his entire training regimen 100, 100 <laughs> push-ups, sit-ups, and squats, and then a 10-kilometer run. It's not even like, that's a pretty good routine, honestly. <laughs> that's, that's uh, <laughs> if you can do that. God, that show is awesome. One Punch Man is such a great show. Sure, I yeah. love it. So season one, all right? No, me and Fring haven't well, seen season I two. I haven't seen season yeah, two, season and two I don't think I'm of... ever going to. It's a, well, you should read the comic at least. I, I read the first volume it's of the manga. manga. Um, oh, excuse me. I read the first volume of the manga, and it was really cool. The animation in in uh in the first season, holy crap! The like, drawing in is... the manga is like unreal. The draw, yeah, the, the art and the, it's so it's so crazy because it originates from this funny looking web comic. Uh, but yeah, it's such a great idea. It's such a great idea for Wait, a story. You you've never you've never read the web comic. I no, I think I've only seen portions of the web comic. I've never read it. Okay, because like the f the fight that's being animated right now in the manga is between Saitama and Garo, and it's all like I guess I won't spoil it, but the theme of the fight is is all about this, and is all about how you limit yourself and how that dictates your power level in the One Punch Man universe. I mean, I totally agree with the sentiment that the attitude that you have to life is pretty important in terms of dictating what you will. It's, it's not even necessarily that what you believe changes reality, but rather it changes the kind of actions that you're going to take. Um, uh, that would also be that, like, it almost sounds as though the idea of thinking yourself limited is a bad thing is like, I wouldn't entirely agree with that at all. Like, no. Well, I mean, it's, I mean, it's, it's yeah, just yeah. the message of a fictional story. Obviously, you know. It's... Yeah, but aren't they supposed to translate? Well, it does to some extent, because you shouldn't, I think, the I think... message is not, is, is to, to follow, you know, fully with your dream, not to compromise, essentially. Yeah, I, I um, don't know. I think that needs a bit more. And I would actually well, argue it's, Moomin it's Rider is the more complete message, I would argue. At least the one well, that I find. Because Moomin Rider is, the circumstances are irrelevant. Do the right thing. Just do it. Um, regardless mm -hmm. of how hard it is. or Because that's, that's a, that's a universal thing, whereas don't ever limit yourself. It's like, well, you know what? If you're standing at the edge of a cliff and you're like, you know what? I believe I can fly. Yeah, if you want yeah, a Nike, fine. yeah, Nike just do it maybe isn't the best message to, you know, look down and sure, see. Sure, sure, Well, no, it, it, it should be just do it asterisk. And then <laughs> you can open it up and there's a whole paragraph. <laughs> that theme of what it means to be a hero is that you are willing to sacrifice yourself even if you know you you're going to lose is repeated several times beyond even woman writer later in the comic so it's definitely a big theme of it mm -hmm. well yeah um remind me i thought that when he fights uh, the crab guy um saitama it's not like seeking. he no no oh, no the first crab guy yeah the first crab because like the way he crab kills him head. you could argue was yes. pretty like it could have gone any other way right but i guess would you say that that supports the idea that he just believed in himself he believed that there's no limit there well, he had reached a point where he didn't he didn't care anymore. Like he he just said, you know, I'm gonna you know get it the fuck out of my way. Fuck you, basically. Yeah. Like he's gonna because he gets beat up at first, and he's just determined to save that kid. Mm -hmm. Someone in chat asked, "What about Angel?" It's like, well, hey, yeah. look, Angel. <laughs> we 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 don't talk about any specific examples right now, but um, yeah, keep that whole slate like, clean like as a whistle. Yes. What about Angel? Indeed, what about we Angel? We can't talk about it. What about oh, Denims? Okay. That's what I'm asking. Poor, yeah, poor Dev has to listen to people talking about anime with his remaining minutes. Well, well, see, here's the thing. I like anime. I just haven't really watched much One Punch Man. You fool. Well, you should. <laughs> see, it's, I will get me, into it eventually, yes. I keep hearing good things about it. I haven't watched a lot of anime, but I have watched One Punch Man. You know what I mean? He proceeded yeah, a few I, you know, yes, yeah, telling him that his house used to be a church, and here his contribution to my video is to ask, hey, is that true? He then adds his fourth comment, which is about the fact that the house is full of loads of boxes. Okay, first off, when you ask Chad something, you ask them something for a specific reason, okay? It's because nobody wants to watch a fucking streamer go to Google and be like... This would be where I would interrupt her in a Discord call and be like, no, you, you misunderstand. Jay is saying, of the things that Hassan has added, right? A uh, comment that seemed ableist, uh, a, a comment that was a joke, I think, I couldn't tell, 
a comment that was confirming what the building even is. And then he's about to get to the fourth one, which is there's lots of boxes. Jay's just trying to summarize, this is the commentary you got in total. It's pathetic. Meanwhile, she's like, yeah. uh, when you ask a question to chat, it's to avoid Googling and being boring. Like, and that you know what? Address what That's almost about. address what's being said. But also, that feels like a challenge to just have a Wikipedia stream where you just click through links in Wikipedia and then just explore all of those concepts. I don't think that, that would be boring. I think that well, would be incredibly Do you get what I'm saying, though? Like, her counter is Hassan doesn't want to bore chat. So he's going to ask chat yeah. a question and get the answer from chat. It's like, Jay doesn't have any confusion on that. Don't worry. He's fine. Jay, Jay's got it. He'll be fine. Uh, okay, what house is this? Okay, Zillow. Nobody wants to watch a streamer spend fucking five, ten minutes trying to check the source and the validity. You're fighting a ghost. Nobody said the other thing. Validity of something when they can just ask chat, which he has like a chat of 34,000 people that someone can like link him and be like, yeah, look, here's a source. Do you know what I mean? So like, no. what the, f it, it's like this, it's like this person. She has no idea what Jay's point was. This is what I mean. It's so cringe to watch. It's like, can you pay attention? Who's making this video doesn't yeah. understand the basis of Busy. like how YouTube content or Twitch content works. Jay doesn't understand how Twitch content works. That's what she derived yeah, Jay. from Jay being like, Hassan has added nothing yeah. to this video except asking if it were a church and then getting the confirmation. Yeah, fucking In total, program, Hassan Jay. ended up not even Gosh. spending two minutes talking as he let my 14-minute video play in full. He's very clearly leaning on my video to entertain his audience for him in this situation. This is really just like a cope video. That's for your takeaway. Brilliant. Yep. Thank you so much. That's what your you <laughs> heard eating. the same sound waves that we did, and that's what your brain, how your brain processed that. Yeah, Excuse amazing. me, Regs. Regs, remember that time that uh that I uploaded your video to my channel? Uh, you I think you were coping about that, weren't you? I was just cope I was coping and seething <laughs> about that, and I had no reason to. Why didn't I just accept the thing? That was my life situation. I should have just accepted it. All that free publicity. I'm so <laughs> ungrateful. We got, we got the classic, by the way. Jay's point, most of my video was just used. And then her reaction. <laughs> He's eating! He's what? eating. He's eating. Uh, I mean, yeah, so, so here's that we can go two ways with this, as far as I could think, right? That means that she said eating is a reaction, which is falls in line with her stupidity that she could think that. Or he can't possibly react. Can't you see that he's eating? Which in is which that's case, what it is. In that's... which case, the obvious question follows up that she should have addressed, which is why the fuck is he using someone's video then? Yep. T what's really funny here is like if this person was a Twitch streamer, if this person Jay literally is was a Twitch React streamer, yeah. they Jay literally has done that. Person. They would be so much more generous to this position because they would know that like chat gets so mad when you oh like leave stream to go. So, eat. Speaking of coping, oh man, this is so funny mm -hmm. because Jay has done more reacting to videos probably than Denim's has. Absolutely. It's, 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 Jay it's, does it, for quick, starters. Yeah, a, a, a quick history lesson. Jay's been reacting as part of, like, his YouTube content since he started. Or at least, because I think the earliest stuff, he made, like, Lego videos or something when he was super young, and then Minecraft, but uh, if we're talking about the Cinema Sin Sin stuff, all of that is watching someone's video, reacting to it, and then making an edited video that is very entertaining and punchy, that sort of thing. And then you've got all of the hours Jay has been on EFAP. Like, obviously not all of them are necessarily reacting to videos, but a lot of them are. And then uh, all the stuff that Jay's reacted to on YouTube streams and videos on Twitch and stuff. It just, it's just funny to me that Dennis has no fucking clue who she's talking about. But we'll make broad sweeping statements to dismiss any and all points that Jay could ever bring up. Because I just, it's easier to dismiss them than engage with them. I just want to be in like a, a call with her and say, you wouldn't understand any of this, Denims, because you're not a YouTuber. And then she goes, well, well, I've made YouTube videos. I put them on, and I go, no, 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 not long form ones. <laughs> and she's just like, well, I've got like an hour long one. I'm like, hour. 
I'm talking about five hour long <laughs> edited, but you have no idea what you're talking about if you haven't made one of them before. Just this gatekeepy bullshit. And she wouldn't be able to escape because mm. I would just be like, I'd just be like, keep pushing me. I know I've made a longer video than you, and I'll just push it to the longest one <laughs> until I like <laughs> cap you out. Or like you leave what? stream for. What is your longest video then? Well, longest individual video that was fully edited? Is that the question, I guess? Yes. So that, I think, is. I want to say four and a half hours, I think. So Jay has Damn, actually dude. outclassed me on that one. However, <laughs> the the ones that, you know, like I wrote the TFA one to be one big long video and it's getting split up. So when that finishes, it'll probably be around 20 hours. A little bit long. That's crazy, man. For more than five, That's a lot ten of hours. It is. It's like chat it gets so mad at you and you like lose all <gasps> of your viewership. Like you're like fucking oh, no. shooting yourself in the foot. Like if you fuck off, you just off gotta steal. You've gotta steal. Yeah, you just gotta what steal. You you're you're denying yourself goods and things and monies if you don't steal whenever you can get away with it. Exactly. Steal, 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 steal. steal. Why handicap yourself? Fuck it. Dog eat dog. Off for too long. And anyone. Why steal men when you can just steal? No, I don't get it. Who is a streamer knows this. He's clearly a chatter. I, as soon as I see. Obviously, clearly, they're relying on implications rather than evidence. Yeah. <laughs> oh, fuck off. Actually, fuck off. The whole off. reason the video is long is Jay provides all of the references you need. So what he says, obviously, this is happening. It's because you saw it happen. Because you watched the video. Don't take my also, word for it. Exactly. Chat wants the streamer to lean on content sometimes. Yeah. Chat wants you to lean on content sometimes. Chat wants well, you to I, steal, so you have to. It, Peer I'm pressure, guys. Really? I don't want what is people, this? I don't want those people in my chat. I don't want them. I want them to go away. Like, it, Leave me honestly, alone. Honestly, if we had a significant portion of posts and comments and upvoted things saying, uh, free rags more, I'd appreciate it if sometimes you guys could, can you just mute for a half hour and maybe play some, um, I don't know, videos from Dunkey or something and just be like, what? First off, you have terrible taste. Second <laughs> off, no, that's not what we do. <laughs> I... I would just be like, we've we've failed <laughs> because apparently you yeah. don't even want to. How did you get us. here in the first place? Why did you? What what brought you here? I'm so confused. Yeah, there. Uh, but she takes that as like a, oh okay, I'll do that. I'll steal stuff. Thank you, chat, for the suggestion slash. I don't know, even demand. So many times where I'm streaming content, chat's like, just play the fucking video. You know, because they hate you. <laughs> you do not <laughs> let your audience control you like that. You are so weak-willed. You're you are a leaf in the wind. Whenever chat tell us to play the video, pause time goes up by a whole nine of the minute, and every single time, another minute. Should be going. Oh, I'm so sorry, chat. I didn't mean to. Oh, please don't well, leave. We all know the fucking truth. Eruption. She's taking any and all excuses to hit play because she can't be us. She's like, oh no, look, chat told me to. I got to. Sorry. Oh, I can't. It's it. I can't do that. I need my subs and my monies. You know what I mean, he's just, he's just milking the exposure. Yeah. Oh yeah, totally. There you go. Yeah, yeah we know that, that's true. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Totally. Of course. Yeah. yeah. This person is literally, they're, they're going to make a video about me and they're going to be like, and then they pause in the middle of my video and then they went on like a tangent about saying poggers. And I should win. I don't oh, care about God. poggers. First off with a hard R. Wow. But I, I don't really care. <laughs> uh, it's kind of uh, the least of your issues <laughs> is the use of the term poggers. I promise will, you, young lady. We will not hold that against you, Denims. However, we will hold several things against you. Honestly, I give them an F for React content. I feel like I feel like he's grading Hassan's React. She gets like a D because she's at least able to take some information sort of. in and sort of do something with it in her head. Something like I feel like F would probably be when you leave. Like she's not even reacting at all. Like she's not even here. Yeah. Like she isn't a React. You failed it. it. It's like it doesn't like a zero out of ten. It's not even the thing at that point. Almost. You've just failed at being a React streamer if you're not even there. Doing Actually, stuff. he's like, Hassan's Reacts get a D minus. <laughs> <laughs> I just don't know if Hassan freebooting my work even impacted me negatively. And if it did, I don't know how severely. I just don't have access to that kind of information. But what- How would it impact, how would it impact you negatively? The views that could have they gone to the video are gone. They didn't watch his video instead of him. Very simple, Denims. 
Very. It's the like oh, no. well, th there is a second aspect to it as well. You might actually get Hassan fans watching you. That could be negative. Ooh. Yeah, yeah. You there might you get go. a Hassan fan. Yeah, that's bad. That's point. They'll tear you away from the inside. Put the cat on the mic. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I, was like, I am so sorry for my owner. She is very She is retarded. I am she so sorry. Yes. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> if you're on Seriously. Was I watching? Someone said, what? yes, you do. You can yeah. check your metrics. So that doesn't tell you what no. hypothetically could have happened. And you can't always correlate anything that happens with your metrics no, to right. something there's, happening. There's a tab for um, multiverse, and it'll show you how Jay is doing oh. in all the other universes. Oh, nice. That's how, that's how it's you a really cool Yeah, feature, don't yeah. compare yourself. Don't, don't compare yourself to other people. Compare yourself to you in other dimensions. Exactly. Of course. Words to live by. See, here's my point. Here's my point about like how like I think YouTube reacts to YouTube content is probably it can be negative. But like if you're already on Twitch, you're not even on YouTube. You know what I mean? What? So no. you. So I'll help you because she is scrambling this point. What she means is Twitch viewers and t YouTube viewers are separate communities and separate viewers. They're like people who don't have much crossover. That's the point she's going to try and make. I think that's some <laughs> horse shit. That's some absolute horse shit. And the funny thing is, she will tell you soon enough that she is an avid YouTube watcher while also being on Twitch all the time. You'll find, hey chat, you wanna do a, um, I don't know, a fucking smiley face if you go on Twitch and YouTube, if you watch videos on Twitch and YouTube. I'm curious for any of you out there. I am someone who frequents Twitch and YouTube. I know Rags, you mainly just you gun for, for YouTube. I think, uh, Dev, you're both, right? Both, yep. Uh, Lot, lot of people visit both. The idea... I will say, I, I've heard it's, it's illegal if you're a YouTuber to type into your browser twitch.tv. Uh, mm -hmm. That is true. So Denim's point is that there's just there's not really any crossover, so any views that Hassan got never would have gone to Jay anyway. I mean, fucking, that's a bold option to a, make. It's a bold claim. You we're never going to watch that video. Like, the people who are watching his... And Jay's point was, I really don't know. I just don't know how to definitively get that information. And she was, like, fucking shocked and appalled at that point, and then goes on to say, like, there's no crossover between Twitch and YouTube. <laughs> Don oh, watch this... videos were, would have never found those... All this cope from Danum and from everyone is all, all just cope. because Hassan couldn't fucking give Jay credit for the video. Like, this exactly. is insane. This it is, is insane. This is fucking insane. unreal. A copacopia of cope. A cornucopia of cope? No. Copa a copacopia. Yeah. A copacabana of cope? A cornucopia, right? Cabana. This, yeah. this the videos is refined other... weapons grade copium. <laughs> weapons grade. Industrial what? strength. Weapon of mass cope. Like, this there are occasions where there are videos, but I feel like it's, those are videos that are, like, already really popular. Hi, Info Thumb Wars. Does he think that like? What the fuck? Does he think I that know. like those forty thousand people that are watching Hassan could have been an additional forty thousand viewers for his video? Because that's not how that works. Does at it all. need to be one to one oh, for Jay, that to matter? They literally said, "I do not know." Why is that so contentious to Denims? She because as a Twitch Maybe streamer, she could never say, "I don't know." Uh -huh. Doesn't link to, to know Hassan's Twitch things. in the description. Wow. Wow. Oh yeah, they're pointing out that Jay doesn't link to Hassan's stream. Why would he? Why would he? Yeah, at this point, like, fuck you. Jeez, it's not, it's yeah, not even right. a, well, there's no reason to. Um, Jay's talking about Hassan as an example of a streamer who does this unethical thing. Why the fuck does he have to link to Hassan? Wow. Oh, doesn't even link to Hassan. Wow. What Jay has linked to is people who have contributed to the video. Also, Hassan not giving Jay credit? That's fine. <laughs> wow. But Jay not this linking is, him in the just fucking hell. Such a weird opinion to have. I'm so confused. What a weird opinion to have. You don't know how much this has affected you one way or the other. What a weird opinion. I, just I don't, think this is just genuinely just like a drama farm. Drama Ugh. farm. A drama llama.
I'm not asking you to get angry on Tom Scar's behalf. I'm not asking you to get angry on my behalf either. I'm doing fine. I am incredibly lucky to be able to work YouTube as my job. I Make just don't credit, know but, right. if Hassan freebooting my work even impacted me negatively. And if it did, I don't know how severely. I just don't have access to the- I feel nothing but bad for Jay for putting in all this effort to be as civil, and calm, been, and chill yeah, as possible. And it, it means everyone nothing. stepped on it. That kind of information. Stepped on it and twisted their foot and threw it in the garbage. These, are, these, are, these were all the caveats that were put in there that really, in, in, a, in, a, in an ideal farewell, you wouldn't need to put in all these caveats. Yeah. Nope. They were put in anyway, just in case, and yet. Yep. Because Jay is projecting his goodness and purity onto <laughs> other people, and it is not warranted. <laughs> you know, I can totally picture Jay being like, ah, there it is, and I've, uh, you know, it's airtight and I've accounted and kind. for it, yes. And then all these people were like, fucking Jay, stupid fucking video, and just be like, you see, why? <laughs> why Jay's so like mad? that kid, Jay's like that kid in the 1870s who's like, oh, my father's white, my dad's black, so that means everyone will love me, right? Everybody kills you. But what I do know is that if by doing this Hassan had taken literally every future potential viewer from that video, and as a result it was literally never watched again ever, I would still be doing absolutely fine. I'm not trying to tell you some kind of sob story here about just how hard my life is. I think this is genuinely just like a drama farm. It's in a shock. It's incredible. All that work Jay put in for no fucking reason at all. <laughs> it's just completely ignored. All right, all right, it's time for me to go. Uh, Do I say my father's white and my dad's black? God damn it! <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh my god. Uh, so I do appreciate. It. I'm sorry we didn't get through the whole thing, but okay. I'll, I'll make sure to watch back the rest of it later. Oh well, yeah, you gotta me. stay up. You gotta stay up to date on the lore for next week. It, is, is is the third is the third part coming next week? Yes. Whether it's her or Hassan. Of who, of well, I'm, I'm, in, I'm in if you want me then, too. Yeah, you're I'm welcome okay to come it. back. Same for Sitch. Same, um, same for Adam Also, this, uh, th this stream has made me misogynist. Good night. Oh, no. Oh, oh no. There he goes. We can't defend women while he's here. Uh, he I left, know. so I guess there's no point in even trying. All right. Let's, uh, yeah. Now that he's calm, we can gone. finally get through these videos a little faster. Oh, yeah. Finally, <laughs> yeah. Jabberjaw over here is gone. Yeah. Shut up. King twist of character Hassan offered to financially compensate me for the video of my To be fair, financially compensate. Those like two pretty big words back to back. So <laughs> that's what she's having. She's confused. Trouble. Yeah. You yeah. well, you know what? I'm just gonna I'm gonna roll it back just a little bit. Why don't you let you guys play it until I hit pause? Alright, just enjoy okay. this, okay? Thank me for the video of my Wow! 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 Oh my copium! Oh my lord, dude! No shot, dude! There it is! No shot, dude! No shot, Hassan! Honestly, Hassan should compensate me. Hassan! If in a shocking twist of character Hassan offered to financially compensate me for the video of mine he freebooted, I wouldn't take his money. What is happening? <laughs> Yo. Um, oh, I can't wait to see what happens when she presses play again. To be fair, yeah. this is the best thing she does. I am proud of her for what she does here. <laughs> Hassan owes me money, dude. I know he owes me money. I know he owes me this is embarrassing. money, dude. Okay, guys, let's raise up like a couple hundred dollars to give to Jay. In, in response to, you know, me stealing the content. Because now 400 people are not going to give him views. Mine, he freebooted. I wouldn't take his money. However, when Oh, he said I wouldn't take his money. I'm oh. sorry. Okay. Oh. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Yeah. <laughs> I apologize. This is streamer brain. This is streamer brain. There we go. Okay, okay. I think she did all right there. She could have been a complete I'm piece surprised. of shit. I'm, but I'm shocked, mm -hmm. yeah. Good for you, Denims. You got a point. No, come oh. back, Wormy! No, come back! You're Our cat's name is Wormy? Wormy, you can't leave. That's Adam's cat's Otherwise, name. everyone will leave and they won't come back and watch the stream. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Jay. I'm sorry for 
for memeing about your sentence. I apologize. I'm sorry. Okay. Wow. Does that, is that enough? Of you? I'm sorry. Please don't clip me. I guess actually you're allowed to clip me as much as you want. Honestly, if you want to make a bunch of videos and call me a cunt or whatever, I don't really care. We haven't done that yet. <laughs> well, she gave us permission, though. So we have we permission. Permission, would though. Be, it would be rude to deny her the thing she wants us to do. To be rags, to be honest with you. That's I think like, you're, yeah, going, I was gonna say, rags. you're going to find an opportunity to describe her that way a little later. Don't worry about it. Le, le oh, okay. Le you can kind of go crazy. Le femme de cunt. All exposure is good exposure or something. So. Oh, oh no, don't it. say the thing. Uh, Stop saying no. that. It's not true. Oh, God. Uh, then take your top uh, off. <laughs> like a hate video about me or whatever whenever you feel like it you can be like look a stupid streamer blah blah dumb cunt fucking woman stupid bitch go for it go crazy i once spent six months working all day every day on one single youtube video and if hassan had freebooted that i would be very pissed off i would be <laughs> wait as opposed to what what do you wait, wait, wait. if th if that would make you very pissed off what is this mildly pissed off yeah um, or perturbed, not yeah. even. I mean, not even. Yeah, Jay is it's, pretty it's chill. It's all by it's degrees. Just more, like, annoyed. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He believes this is Jay at like maximum. And I'm maximum like, anger. What? Yeah. <laughs> okay. This might be. This might be as angry as Jay can actually get. It's I don't know. True, actually, he's yeah. he's a, a he's a he's a level headed it's, it's bun of a gun son. Mm -hmm. I don't even know what I'm doing. And I would be more pissed off if when a reactor freebooted my content, they hadn't even taken the tiniest piece of minimal effort to just acknowledge the original creator in any way, completely taking the work that they just used to entertain their audience for granted, with no thought given to the fact that it was made by another what, person. Was a hair yeah, so this is what mm, she was mimicking looking at the time because she's bored. Yeah, oh. I, it's, yeah, what time? It's, it's a hair pasta freckle. But you I ever think... heard that? No, no, I've never heard that. No, you guys never heard that's... that. No, <laughs> yeah. I guess it must be an American thing. Chennai just had. I, I, I don't know. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. It's, it's a thing. It's fine. It's, it's fine. Yes, dehumanizing content creators. The title. The what? I'm actually gonna roll it back because I'm. I made this video and I don't know how she came to. <laughs> what the, the hell power just happened? Of denims. Why did she just say that? Look the original creator in any way, completely taking the work that they just used to entertain their audience for granted, with no thought given to the fact that it was made by another person. Yes, yeah, so this is what Yes, dehumanizing the content time, creators. The, video's title. the reality what? is yes. content creators what? are not people and they should be treated like garbage. So to this is a meme, right? Oh, like, okay. So she, she's taken what Jay said and cranked it up to the top notch like jay is like oh, hello okay. another person was involved in this and then she's like yes that's what we're doing we're dehumanizing content creators aren't we that's what we do like she's annoyed that jay is moving in that direction but jay's right, right. so what's your counter yeah you are certainly devaluing the work that they do by doing this and well, to, so deny that. to take advantage of their labor at no cost to yourself and all the benefits to yourself is kind of treating them like a, a, a you know free labor well, for you, right? With with how mm -hmm. they throw around the word dehumanizing, it absolutely fits their super broad, almost worthless definition. I think so, and I I'm not seeing a counter, just memes. So yeah, no. Okay, this person on the screen, yeah. yeah. As an empath, when Hassan is hungry, I'm hungry. Yeah. Twitch chat or empath sentiments, uh, we care. That's true. Yeah. And that's actually true. Okay. Right. Hassan's chair watching an entire small creator's video could make their channel successful. What are they talking about? Yeah, I don't know. And yet, <laughs> well, somehow. As, and yet, and, somehow. And yet, somehow. Hey, keyword. Yeah. Keyword. Could. Yeah, it's not. Yeah, it doesn't violate any intrinsic law of reality. You know, I, I suppose it could happen, but it doesn't seem to. Mm, we don't. We Especially don't acknowledge Hassan. those times. We try to. We don't talk about those times. We are Especially if Hassan, like, pops the video title and the yes. video creator's name out of it so no one even knows who made the video. Jay, no. How does Jay know Hassan didn't tell the chat what the video was? Well, I'm assuming Jay watched the whole video. Genuinely impressed that she did that. So the chat is like, how could Jay have known that Hassan didn't definitely share the video? And instead of doing what I would have expected Denims to do, it could be like, yeah, true. 
True. It shows, uh, it shows how low our bar for her well, is. She inferred from Constantly. watching this that Jay likely watched the whole stream that Hassan did. And it's like, whoa. Nice. Well, I mean, I guess it makes sense. Her chat would have to be dumber than her to watch her content, so. Some of them. I don't know. Remember Maybe the they're almost, all... She almost banned? Remember that one? Yeah, Wade. <laughs> yeah, but he, he was obviously new. You know, he, he was Wade. obviously new. <laughs> he hadn't had any messages before then. He was like, wait, what is yeah. that? He stumbled upon and just landed here. I hope Wade made it out of there. Godspeed, yeah. Wade. Godspeed. And that, or the whole VOD, and that it didn't happen. What? Just say that. Just make it like a two. You could just make a two minute video and say, "TBH is on." I was just upset that you didn't really give me credit. TBH. Because that's a valid. Just, that's a valid. So Jay's point goes well beyond Hassan, but never mind. Well, it's a broader topic. Why do people get yeah. so stuck in like these interpersonal things when it's really not about that at all? It's about spinning it out into a broader conversation. Yep. Yeah, this is a thing that people do. This is a thing that happens. We just had Jinx on the screen. Used as an example. Well, Person she I thought mean, no one watched. Pretty, it's pretty clear the track here. Hassan did something that Jay d took issue with, and it becomes a broader topic, which is people who do this in general. But it's always so fixated on these weird interpersonal things. I feel like that says more about the person who says that rather than the true nature of the response. Yep. Discussion. I would be upset if someone watched my content what or someone re-uploaded my saying? content, essentially, and didn't give me any credit at all. You know what I mean? That I think is valid. You're I think that that's valid. You're to just coping. Like, to You're ask just coping. for mods to like post links or whatever. <laughs> and I know people are saying he did or whatever, and like blah blah blah. What I'm saying is like I think that that's the only valid point so far that he's made. The only, only valid, valid point, point is that you should credit only the valid point. Only the only one is you should uh, credit the person. There's nothing else that's been said that's valid. Man, I just realized why Jinx's name is Jinx. Because you, you guys Jinx, he's just copying everyone else's content. How did I never realize that? Oh, do you mean? Jinx, well, yeah. How when two people say the same thing, you'll say, say Jinx. yeah. You say yeah. Jinx. That's why. He's, yeah. That's why he named himself Jinx. Maybe it was performance art all along, and we just didn't appreciate it. It was a big social experiment. He was waiting how long it's it would take yes. to get taken down. Made in this entire video, okay? Let me steal Hassan's content. I steal Hassan's content all the time. I'm not even gonna lie. <laughs> Whenever I go to the bathroom, I put on a video from Hassan because I know Hassan's Ow. not gonna get mad about it. Uh, <laughs> okay. All right. That, you seem so proud self, of yourself. Uh, it's like. Yeah, it seems right. like its own cell phone. We could move right along. Yeah. Weird flex, but all right. Really weird flex. Hassan literally doesn't care. Like, I'm pretty sure he literally doesn't give a single shit. Interesting you say that, Denims. Interesting you say that. The last clip we will see in this arc next week. We just have to remember Denim said this. Mm. Okay. Mm. A socialist can buy whatever they want so long as it's the fruits of their own labor, so long as wealth wasn't achieved by exploiting other people's labor. <laughs> Hang on a second. <laughs> <laughs> Now, we uh -oh. all understand the point Jay made. I'm going to assume all of fucking chat understood the point Jay just made. Let's see if she does. What? <laughs> <laughs> this is painful. <laughs> this hurts. I need to message like a, a video essayist that I know and be like, this video essayist is making you guys look bad. Okay, this video essay is what? does not. <laughs> they're not sending their best. Are they saying Hassan reacting to videos is exploitation? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Wait, is that what they're saying? There you go. You really didn't know what Jay's point was. Isn't and that hey, incredible? Look, a, lot of people, a lot of people in chat were just like, what? Surely they knew, but they were just faking it, right? Or like they knew that they had the right answer, but because she didn't know, they doubted themselves. Well, some of them like, might literally not have seen what was on screen because they're listening. Like, isn't this your... Don't you talk about these issues, like, as your job? How do you not see the parallel there? <laughs> it's incredible. Uh, the, she, she's talked about these issues, as, as Free just said, like, with several people, several debate formats. She didn't understand what Jay was saying. How? How? How is that even possible? Wait. It's your job to soak up information. <laughs> like to just like you're a processor of things 
things go into your ears and then your brain bounces them around and jingle jangle jongles them and then out your mouth comes thoughts and insight and your perspective that's what you do for a living do that what oh no i just realized no you want to know how, you want to know how you know this isn't true because i'm watching the same content and i don't have 40,000 viewers okay there you have it everyone your it doesn't count if you don't get the same money everyone else does when exploiting that one worker. What a fucking idiot. Oh, it hurts. Incredible logic. You're gonna go so far. Okay. It's because the, the streamer makes the content. Yeah. Totally. Look on something much bigger. Yeah, Even when depressing. the examples are given of you not being on the fucking chair, the streamer is still We're making the content. We're about to see Hassan click off in a hurry yep. <laughs> to make sure that nobody can see break down of season 11 okay, I'm going to enter into the call. Yeah, I mean, once again, um... Wow, good job he did that. This was becoming dangerously close to an interaction that would have benefited both of us instead of just him. Even Jinx <laughs> knew to shout out the video he was reacting to. This is a crazy amount of just taking other people's work for granted. No concern. I'm going to be honest, I do that too. So, like, honestly, you can shit oh. on me too. What? We, Why we would you do that? We Why will. would you say that? Why, would you Why do you relish in being a bad face? person? It's so weird that there was never a point like, in EFAP out of being a bad person. where um, like chat or a creator complained that we don't let people's ads run or descriptions of their future videos run, but we just tend to. Like, yeah, it just happened because we can turn it into content. It's fun. It's interesting. There's things to say about it. Everyone's ad is different. It, it's kind of insight into the creator in a way, how they actually do it. But mm -hmm. like, man, to just say like, you know what? You, I guess you could shit on me for this too, this this immoral thing. And you're like, oh, okay, like, <laughs> I guess we will. I, I don't I get suck. this. It used to be that thing and I don't know. You'd see it that, you know, the bad boy, like he was, I'm going to do the wrong thing. Aren't I great? Because I'm breaking all the rules. And then you grew but this up. like takes it a step further. It's almost like, like relishing in the fact that you do bad things and just you don't even have to tell anyone you could get away with it but just decide not only am i going to give up the jig on myself so to speak i'm just going to be happy and laugh about it like oh, oh, oh i do it too who, who is that is that not wonderful oh shouldn't have put the credits I first I get this attitude yeah i think when people see the credits they assume the video's over <laughs> The, 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 he's the video talking. Is not hard to he's literally he's talking. talking. What do you mean? The, the, the video is over when it stops, you nitwit. When he's it quits because there's no more left to play. But I saw credits which mean film over. Well, and also, like, what, what does the word credits even mean? It means the part it's, you fucking skip because fuck it those means people. Where you give credit to whoever the yeah. fuck made the video. Jeez. This is his attitude when making reaction content, and he could end up doing this to anyone. The point of this video isn't like- <laughs> This could happen to you or a loved one. Okay? This could happen to any of you. Hey, you know what? It's yep. pretty bad f Not like it me. Is. Super good faith. I don't care. I'm not even- I'm just gonna be like, yes. Name the yeah, lie. Yeah, it could. Yeah. It could. It could happen to- yeah, maybe some people that I consider friends or loved ones also do this for a living. Who fucking suck. Could maybe be. a friend of mine who made an you amazing video with zero subscribers gets it booted by Hassan and gets absolutely nothing. It would be fucking... Yeah. Mm -hmm. It would be mm -hmm. lame as hell. An opportunity... Because you got to think about the potential opportunities there of any of these people sharing it or, like, sharing it with their friends or that it gets it in the algorithm. Like, it's not... It, it could be more than just the 40,000 people who watched it on stream. It could be the opportunity gone on that video. And and to the streamer, it doesn't matter much because they're watching like 50 people's videos. To you, it matters a hell of a lot because it's your video, the one that you worked hard on. There's a there's Have a level of empathy. Yeah, like you need to understand. Uh, people work really some dumb fucks like Hassan can get tens of thousands of people in fucking mansions by sitting there with all their just their. their Tom Fooler. No, Tom Foolery implies things are happening. They just sit there and stare at a video and eat their fucking nuggets. And people just throw money at them. And they never work. And they're just amazingly successful, despite the fact that they're stupid and they have nothing insightful to say. And they're everything that you shouldn't be as a person. And then some people can pour their heart and soul into projects and work their asses off. And they'll get nothing for it. 
or even worse, that'll get taken by somebody else. And that sucks. That that absolutely sucks that that's the way that it can be sometimes. <laughs> All right. He proved he gets a jump when Hassan showed his videos too. Did he? Oh, nice. So Jay, because nice. Jay is a fucking genius, I guess, has once again trapped another streamer in this. Indeed. It is fucking <laughs> hilarious every time Jay gets them with this when it wasn't intentional to trap people at all. They see the only the levels. They don't read the fucking numbers. Mm -hmm. Or even deeper than that, they hear, oh, he showed how much they gained? Click link. This'll prove my point. Oh, shit. It's, it's just gold. Every time. Gets them all. Got Hassan, Irrelevant, and Denims. By the You're way, this at. is in Jay's video. Jay shows this. <gasps> you know when we said she was a zombie? You get that <laughs> impression? No, 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 no. See, earlier, like, all the gears... Oh, no, dude! I, I don't understand why, why he has these positions. Because <laughs> he doesn't want his shit taken. He's God explained damn. it like 17 times. Holy fuck. This is an hour of him explaining why this sucks and it shouldn't happen. And it's a shame that people just get away with it. God damn, man. Like, what have you been listening to this whole time? It's incredible. What do you, what is, what's, is it just a fever dream? The last X amount of minutes you spent reacting to this? Do oh, you dude. remember what happened? Look you were you. there. I saw you. No, no, no. She was thinking, remember? She wasn't listening. She was thinking. The origin of all this shit, right? Really hard. I saw Hassan's reaction to it all first, and I was like, good god, this was a catastrophe. And then Jay is like, oh yeah, other people are reacting to it. And I was like, oh, well, you know, that's not bad, because the video is good, so you'll be fine. And he was like, yeah. I was like, <laughs> well, what do you mean? I was just like, yeah, I watched the all relevant one, and I was like, that was a disaster. It was like, someone else reacted to it, Denims. And I was like, oh god, how did that go then? And it was like, that was bad too. And it's like, how the fuck is this happening? And then I watched them casually, and I was like, wow. Um, streamers really are built different, or at least this subset of Twitch streamers. If a part of your work relies on you uploading other people's content, then you better make sure that's not all you're doing, otherwise you're just re-uploading other people's content. It's fine to do that if you have permission, but it's not if you don't. It's amazing because Jay's ex he has to explain this as if yep. one is instructing a child as to how to behave. Yep. Right. It's like, well, you can't take something if you don't have permission. Permission is when the person says that it's okay for you. Know, it's like a I'm child. not trying to tell you some kind of sub story here about just how hard my life is. If in a shocking twist of character, Hassan offered to financially compensate me for the video of mine he freebooted, I wouldn't take his money. However, when this kind of thing is done completely without permission and without knowing enough about the original creator, you run the risk of freebooting work from a creator who is struggling so much of the criticism is so spite driven and it just makes me not want to like take the video seriously you know I mean? spite driven i think that's why that compilation's in there spite. it's so so chill. hateful so normal so... and chill no spite i mean like i said it's almost like frustratingly charitable yeah get me the he's, he's just also say, we've get him, been Jay, live for like two and a half hours and we've only watched 20 minutes you know how much i've spared you guys Two and a half hours. <laughs> Two and a half. Yeah. Oh my god. You take your job too seriously. Jeez. You need to chill the fuck out. <laughs> Jesus Christ. You're gonna die. <laughs> like you're gonna have a premature death from brain cell loss. Let's just say it's a like lot radiation. of thinking time was cut. <laughs> she was like, oh right. Oh thank God. There you know I don't know what? This this person would never make a video on me. You wanna know what? Do I wanna know what? Why? You wanna know why? Yeah. <laughs> And brain Why? finally caught Why? up with her mouth. Her mouth was too fast for her I would... brain. You I'm waiting. Know what? You've answered what the question. What? 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 You've hook, lined, and sinkered me. I, I'm. I, you've pulled me in. I need to know why would he not make a video on you, Denims? I need to know what makes you special. No, don't I'm, leave me hanging. I must rewind to just look at the connection between her mouth and brain, 
It's just and fucking hilarious. We've only watched hilarious. 20 minutes. Oh, thank God. There, you know, I don't know what? This, this person would never make a video on me. You want to know what? You want to know why? <laughs> yes. Because there's no way anyone is going to watch me for a fucking three hours stunt. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh well, well, if I could cut all the board over bits here, out. Challenge accepted. Oh, the trend buckers over here. We don't give a fuck. We'll watch anybody. Clearly, we will watch anybody, regardless of how worthless. <laughs> like nobody oh, would watch do not this. Like, Denims, you were almost correct. <laughs> not quite fully correct, though. He has said the same point of like, I just want you to give me credit. Like, like I think this is like the tenth time he's done it. Holy shit! Holy shit! Abandon this video, it's trashed. This is like not good, dude. This is not it's good. It's very good. Yeah, it's you're a really not good in a video. position to make these judgments. It is I'm a sorry. very good video. It is very well reasoned and well argued, and it's so good faith, and it is just annoyingly and, and, charitable. And yet, <laughs> and yet look like... at how uncharitably you've interpreted every mm -hmm. single point. Uh, it's it clout sucks. chasing, spite driven. If you had two brain cells, you'd figure out that when Hassan said that it's a flex to have two toilets together, he meant something that he never said. <laughs> Man. The problem is you have to consider optics. Uh, Whenever you make Please any content at all, is. ever, tell us about you have optics. to make sure your optics... Tell us about optics, Mrs. <laughs> oh, fucking yes. make the bed. Yeah, Miss, optics. Make your bed, Miss Optics. Tell me about hey, look, fucking right. optics. I, I, look, she hasn't read... The she hasn't Jordan Peterson's book is somewhere. She does not in that know room. how to clean her room, or even that she should. So maybe one day. And she's only fifty one dollars to the backpack, guys. She's fifty one dollars to the IRL. Maybe that's an actual. This is like IRL. Maybe that's like a brand or something. IRL backpacks, unlimited IRL. It is an all-in-one HD bond. Oh, it's a oh, it's a the IRL backpack is an all-in-one HD bonded video streaming solution, allowing for untethered broadcasts of up to twelve hours to Facebook Live, Twitch, YouTube, Wowza, and more, uh... and delivers professional quality video streams without a large crew, lots of equipment, or steep learning curve. It lets online broadcasters of all sizes live stream hd video content directly to any online video provider from anywhere so that's what it is all right that that thing solved we, we thought that it might have been a IRL literal backpack, backpack. but <laughs> all right look based because like currently the optics on this video they just straight up look like if she's like maybe if i get money for an IRL don't... backpack that's easier than making my bed so then i can stream I from anywhere I'm jumping the gun here, but like, I don't see how Jay could have done any better other than cutting out jokes that people were too stupid to understand. That's literally I, I the only improvements that I can I make. I hesitate to call them. You would have to be dim to not get the. I don't jokes. think They're it's very an. Clear. I would. I wouldn't call it an improvement anyway. It's more just like, wow, you have to wade through a sea of fools that just can't understand and like have to infer intent. They don't want to understand. You do. Well, I, yeah, because yeah, this is, course. you do this, you do this, so you can't agree with the, the video, you can't, you're not allowed to, well, I mean, if you want to be intellectually consistent, you can't. Nope. Um, I'm mad and salty. So even if, even if Jay is not mad and he's not salty at all, even a little bit, it doesn't matter because that's how it's coming off. Oh, okay. No, it's coming world. off as- It's not, but okay. No, it, it really isn't. You have a warped, just, I guess, you have this weird lens that you look, maybe you get some mascara in your eyes or something. I don't know, you're not seeing clearly. This is not normal. Your perception of other people here is not normal. It's probably not even healthy. I'm very confused how she's concluded all this, because we watched it all happen, and I, I still don't get it. Well, mm -hmm. I mean, even if Jay was mad and salty, how, so what? He has every right to be. Well, yeah, okay, so, so you it need to know a lesson anything. about optics, okay, Sitch? You know, okay, explain to me optics. Oh, I will. Make through, your bed. Through the medium of denims. It's being, like, b bitter. Also, give me two seconds. I have to go, like, find something. And so this person does not, like, shit on me and get really mauled on me. Uh, I'm going to put music instead. Okay. I don't know why people don't steal. What? I just, so she didn't want to play Jay's video while being gone because Jay would be mad at her for that when it's like... 
You've you should do it because it's the right thing to do. Not because of a consequence. It's because yeah. they they're allergic to a principle. They're allergic to a virtue. They it's it just not isn't compatible with them. To be fair, like Jay is so it? furious and and raging throughout this video that I can understand her fear, and she's just like, I wouldn't want to do anything to upset the mighty Jay. Well, of course, Jay is furious. Look, I mean, that's just a normal colored light. Yeah, Jay's skin is just emanating from Jay's frog. face. That, that frog, that frog in the background is is the real reflection of how Jay yes. feels. <laughs> that yeah. frog is hilarious. I Subtle love that hint. frog. Look at him. He's so grumpy. You could have a sitcom about him, but we won't because we got the sitcom about the bird mm -hmm. that could be a crow, but could also he be, could be the crow's friend. He could be the crow's friend. Well, doesn't need to be a crow. It can be a crow. It He's like who's Eeyore. Well, we need it to be whoever one it is. That, they, they can have their little frog friend who maybe he's a nihilist. I, they, they, you know what? So <laughs> the thing is, is that when, whenever I make this, this whatever it form it takes, be it a comic or a cartoon, I'm going to have to credit you as, as co writers. <laughs> oh, but, oh no, co story. You get the, you get the story credit. You don't get the writing credit. Producer well, unless credit. you actually help me with it. I look, all right. I don't know if I'm going to go that far, but hey, look, at least the co story credit. Um, I say this, but if I do follow through with this, I probably won't do that. But hey, I'll mention it, you know, every now and then. I don't know. I haven't. We we this idea is still in its early days. It's not. It's not quite mm -hmm. yet formed. It could it's change. Still, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. To be well, to could. be crafted. To be molded. To be molded. To be yes. To be molded. We have fun here on mm -hmm. EFAP. Yo, man, I have so little respect. For people who don't steal, man, other content creators. You know what I mean? Oh, fuck man. off. Fuck off. Man. <laughs> yeah, right? It's pretty incredible. But, yeah. yeah. Oh, my All right. God. Stuff, Denims. This comment isn't saying, well, everybody does it, so it should be good. Because that's a fucking stupid-ass argument. That would be like saying, well, everybody murders, so therefore it's Son. fine. What? You just said that? Ha what? <laughs> so a lot just of them said have said that, that several argument. times. A like, lot of them the have said the that. Now, um, it's basically irrelevant. Unfortunately, set. I guess I when I made this video, I hoped that the resolution would be high enough that you could read that comment. And I don't know if any of you guys can open it up and read it in another page because I'm stuck down at like. I'm not the I'm biggest not, I, Hassan fan, but I feel a lot of streamers just watch random videos to react to while they eat. So I don't feel like it's that bad if he does this. Yeah. So, uh, Jay responded to it by addressing the fact that it's appealing to a lot of people doing the same thing. And she's saying that's, like, not steel manning. That's li that's what it... that That's the literal... It's the argument being made. That's the argument she gave. Yeah. But that's all, There's right, no that's manning an also, of any kind involved. It's also an that's argument an she made. It's an argument Irrelevant made. It's an argument Hassan made. So I don't know what she's talking about. Well, and how is it not... I mean, it, if someone made the Ooh. argument, it's by definition not a straw man. Because... That's the argument. It's not a straw it's man. It's man. the argument. Yes, it yeah. is. It is. It's just a man. Because remember, it's a man. The, the story. I'm pretty sure this is because the story behind the straw man is: Look at me! I have defeated the knight, but he's made of straw, as opposed to the real knight standing off in the corner, like, "Hello, I'm here to fight." Right. I can Let's believe that people connect. About. I, I can I can believe that people can connect when they hear straw man. They think, "Oh, like someone who doesn't have a brain," because of, you know, Wizard of Oz. Mm -hmm. That's yeah. That's that's a fair interpretation. Because yeah, interestingly, because the, Steel Man. It's like the implication then would be that it's stronger than the knight, and it's like, well, not technically if it stays still. <laughs> like, I guess that's still well, easier. It's made but, of steel. Know. It's not a. It has yeah. no heart. So. Oh my god! We'll do the this the scariest of things. Um. Anyway, she's certain that Jay has done a bad. Everybody so, has to do it. All all streamers, anyone who streams for enough hours in a day has to get up, has to take a break, stop staring at their monitors for a little bit, get some water, well, you don't have to. You're appealing, you're <laughs> well, appealing to it being widespread yeah. again. I don't know why. Yeah. yeah. And first off, that's true. Yes, you don't have to. Some people can legit do it. And wow, champions. Of course, but you run the risk of DBT, but still, you know. What's DBT? That's called cool. commitment. Deep vein from oh, did I say DB DVT? Deep vein thrombosis. I think you said DBT. I just don't know what that is. Oh, well, it DVT. Deep vein thrombosis. Oh, no, you said okay. DTF. Man. Deep, deep throat. Fuck. 
There you go. You no, go. deep so, vein thrombosis. Deep vein thrombosis. Mm hmm. So, she CBD? Said, <laughs> she, she was complaining that this comment is not a steel man, and now she's agreeing with the comment <laughs> as if it's the argument that she's saying is not a real argument. Exactly. It's legitimately it's interesting to see what. What what form the argument takes as it passes through, like like the comment and then the commentary on it, and then her watching that commentary, yeah. like it's a pinball in a machine. Like it enters her and first, then it ends right back up. It hits her first brain cell, and she says usually one word or so. Gets to the second mm -hmm. brain cell, and then a sentence maybe. And when it gets to the last <laughs> brain cell, usually she says what? And I guess that counts as commentary in this world. Go pee, get food. That's why all the streamers do it. And instead of steel manning this commentator, like this this person's argument and being like, okay, I understand what your perspective is, but you have to understand that like it's not fair to the person who makes the video. Instead, he's he's just saying like, what? well, no. everybody's doing it, so it it's be okay. What he said. That's that's what that's what 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 well, she Those just symbols said are letters, and when combined, they have words of shared understandings. She makes an additional point it. that, to be fair, it was mostly the same point, but, like, I, she's such a strange person. Okay, and it's like, you're not even trying to make a decent argument, and it's so fucking frustrating. Irony. I don't understand why some of these comments are even in this video. Like, one of the comments was like, I understand why he has to do that. It's because he has to go pee and eat and whatever, and he wants yeah, to leave chat entertained. That's a dumb comment. But it is comment. still annoying that's why it's when in the he video. does this. It's like, why did you put that on there? That's just like a sane perspective. Because it's a stupid comment. No, it isn't a sane perspective. It's the perspective of someone who thinks, even when I'm taking a break and not working, I deserve money so much that I'm entitled to other people's shit yep. in order to give me money and give me things while I take a break. Wanna, That's what it means. You can call Lemon. that a sane perspective if you want to, but it's still wrong. Perspective. I mean, don't cook or eat food. You are a content slave and not allowed to leave frame for more than 30 <laughs> seconds on an 8 to 12 hour stream. 28. What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> you muffet. You muffet. British. Pause the video. What? What? British. Because he said muppet? Yeah. Uh, you muppet! Oh, she, she certainly showed Jay there. Cheese and crackers, oi. tea time, oi! Right, you got me, your fucking oh, walking wait, down the right. street license. Surely this is not allowed, right? To make jolly fun. good. Um, there's enough white people in Britain that I assume it's not a problem now yes uh, the, the british are still at least at the moment mostly white so until the time the tides shift we can make fun of them those are the rules as i understand them because it's not like uh, i can't remember if anyone else has made fun of like, like i can't remember if our relevant had any like comment like being british she's i think she did it before right yeah she made fun of jay for being british already well isn't isn't it like a common sure. thing in internet politics circle they call them brit bongers or something to say well, that like a lot of I've well, definitely seen remember the whole cracker that, thing. Well, I mean, I know about that, but uh, I guess it's just, uh, it seems like it's a, I know that there are some people who say like, oh, every time like an Australian appears on like some sort of political panel that it's always like shit, which I guess is funny as well. I guess Australians are also part of the, you're allowed to shit on them camp. Oh well, yeah. You're white. Yeah. Um, yeah. Generally. Well, I mean, not I'm you. not, but <laughs> like, I guess, no, you're green. I guess you're Too allowed bad. to make fun. Yes, that's right. I am green. That's I mean, um, I like to call Brit Bongers proto Americans, but proto -Americans. proto Americans. I guess that's if I guess in a certain sense it's true <laughs> from a certain point of view. Video shows they have no idea of how streaming works. Like they should leave their whiny baby with nothing happening. Yeah. What? The, so she's just equated chat to a whiny, to a whiny baby, baby, and you baby. cannot leave them on their own. That is that's great. Thanks. Hey chat, you all suck. I don't even think of you. our chat Donate like that. Donate to my <laughs> IRL backpack fund. Is so, she says it so quickly and is like, yeah, that's true. And it's just like, do you even know what you just <laughs> said? These are the people who support you. They give you the money <laughs> and the audience and they talk about you and they make all these memes and content and they watch your stuff and they... Jesus Christ. I mean, don't bite the hand that feeds you. Be well, lucky you have any at all.
Listen, maybe we got this wrong. She's negging the chat, okay? Presumably, like, yes. Uh, I, but like that's a she's using that as a legitimate excuse. Like you can't leave a baby on its own, so you can't leave chat on its own, so you have to use other people's videos. It's like, why? What is your logic? I have to buy toys for the baby, though. I don't. The analogy doesn't work. No, it doesn't work at all. And also, chat's not a fucking baby. It's a bunch of adults, presumably. Presumably. Well, for her content, I don't know. Mm, might her be baby. <laughs> bunch of <laughs> drooling <laughs> babies on a keyboard. Like, la, 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 la. Why are we reading comments and, like, arguing against comments? I can help you out. He's taking general upvoted comments, uh, and ones that he sees a lot around, reads them out as the example, and then addresses it so that that argument is addressed. It doesn't really matter if it comes from comments or a streamer saying it. It's about getting the argument out and sorted. There's a lot of stupid arguments that get made in relation to this that, for some reason, a lot of people find compelling. I 28. think... 28. Because of people like you, Denims. You're telling everyone in your I chat do. that all these arguments are pretty compelling, unfortunately. And so they actually believe it. Okay, but is Twitch streamers versus YouTubers going to become the next thing? I mean, I think the Twitch streamers will win. We have more power. YouTubers would you annihilate you. Power? YouTubers you have, have the power? What does that mean? What, what do you yeah, what have you if you don't take our shit? So first of all, YouTubers are you, but then they also make prepared content. So how the fuck do you win this? And then YouTubers will tear you apart piece by piece and then upload the video cleanly instead of just doing a Twitch stream. How do you win? What does it even mean to win? That you get to react to whatever you want? I don't know that you can defeat the feeling people have that this isn't fair. I assume yeah, that's what she's talking about. Like, that with, if with they were like, aha, uh -huh, hog champ. Oh, you know what? I'm convinced that feeling that I have that I've been wronged here, it's just gone. It's, it's like, phew, it just vanishes. If there was an idea of YouTube fighting for the side of you should transform content ethically versus Twitch's side of I should be able to steal, how the fuck does Twitch win this? I also like that as well. Like Twitch has more door and exactly. Door. Well, I mean, YouTube couldn't... is a much more visible platform, isn't it, than Twitch? Pretty sure. That's okay. As far as I'm concerned, Twitch yeah, has all the capabilities. That uh, sorry, YouTube has all the capabilities of Twitch and more. Videos, yeah. Well, videos well, plus live. Guess, but, you know. but also, I mean, if if Jay or any other YouTuber whose content was being stolen, all they have to do is they just have to contact Twitch. And get them to take it down. Well, she, yeah, well, you're right. She's already admitted well, that they can DMCA. Funny, right? She's so... acknowledged it exactly. Yeah, yeah. So I mean, how, how does Twitch win this? Yeah, understand. this river <laughs> seems to flow We've, only one direction. We figured out Twitch loses in like several different ways. Like, why? Also, I'm gonna be honest. If Dev, Dev, I'm very sorry, Dev. I did not mean to say that. If Denim thinks that her level of content is something that's even remotely respectable, I'm sorry, but I virtually guarantee that. Every YouTuber who puts in the effort and time to make content and to research and to edit and stuff can probably stream at your level or better. And man, if YouTube has actually coordinated to make aware all of the companies that are getting their shit stolen by you, uh, it would come crashing down. Yeah. We have more... What do you think she meant? More power. No we idea. More power? I mean, I guess they have more, like, shit articles writing positive things about... <laughs> they have more YouTubers. active viewers, maybe? But even then, I'm not oh, wow. sure that's true. Okay, but is Twitch streamers versus YouTubers going to become the next thing? I mean, I think the Twitch streamers will win. We have more power. You know what I, I mean? We have to deal with contest? harassment live I just on stream. Work we have to deal with harassment live on the stream. This is oh, indicative she needs of like higher power. Emotional, mental fortitude, maybe? Is that what she's oh, trying well, to... She is mental and emotional. That, hmm. yeah, that's I don't true. Know that translate. I don't know that translates okay. well. I mean, power. at that point, I don't know which side fucking wins. The both sides are filled with crazy people. Like, why? Why would? would <laughs> the idea, who's got a better mental fortitude out of the YouTubers and Twitch streamers? It's like, I don't know. I don't know. No, no one involved. No, I don't know. Like, we would easily win that. Like, it's not even easily. close. Not even close. YouTubers just get to like filter out. They don't even have to read their comment section. Okay, what? simple as. You don't have to. You don't have to read the chat. What are you talking about? God chat, damn, man. you are stupid. Jesus Christ. There's that filter most people have where the brain goes, oh no, thought, thought that you just said, no. Thought, we're gonna go, thought. go back, go back, thought, yeah. go back. <laughs> yeah, put on your pants. Tie up your yep, your belt too. That yep, shoes on. <laughs> Then come back when you ch yeah okay okay good now you can go out the teeth. You're more mad. She doesn't have that filter. No. You're getting watched by a streamer than Gordon Ramsay having his multi-million dollar show watched on stream. <laughs> uh, you know how.
So yeah, that means you're bad, yeah, not a, better. Jay's more angry than Gordon Ramsay is at all the stuff they're doing, and then laughs. It's like, um, I don't even know what point you think you're making. How many easy, yeah. dumb tweets I can find? Like, I think laughing at a dumb tweet is funny. You know, there's plenty of dumb tweets. All things I think you laugh at, at are funny. Pretty that's funny. Why like, clicking on a dumb tweet and being like, look how fucking stupid this is. Making an hour-long video and having, like, what, like, a five-minute segment dedicated, or maybe, like, a three-minute segment dedicated to, like, dumb comments. It's silly. Why? Why? There are a few things Also, how try. long should it Bring be? Oh! Yeah. Too bad. You can do most of the talking while you're away. Metal made a cameo this the train. applies to England, Scotland, and Wales. The highway code is essential reading for everyone. Play something made by a creator who <laughs> I love that little clip, and that's another one that was in danger, because an idiot streamer could have been like, why would I want to bring someone on to read something boring? You know what I mean? And right. just be like, ugh. But luckily that didn't happen, so. No is happy for their content to be used in this way. Play your own streams or content. Just fucking end the stream, holy shit. And if all of these things and any <laughs> other alternative... Or you know what? Um, you know, chips. Uh, when I first saw a draft of this video, I told you you might want to cut that one out because it's going to be used as an excuse to ignore your whole point. And Jay was like, what do you mean? And I was like, saying end stream, they're going to say like, what the fuck is wrong with you? End my stream. This is my job. Ignoring all of the good yeah. points you made, even though that one's mm -hmm. kind of sad, tongue in cheek, uh, it will give them an out. And Jay was, I think, preferred to keep it for the, the comedic value as well oh. as the fact that it's a good point. Yeah, it's, it's it kind is of difficult. Because yeah. when people are interpreting this in like as bad faith as possible, they're going to twist everything that way. No, it, so, you're like, right. You end up losing all of your arguments. I don't like. I wouldn't blame Jay for any keeping any of the things that they, that ended up being kept in this at all. I, I, I think right. it's it's only that you have these fucking vultures tearing it for anything they can use and twist, and it's so annoying. All right. seem like they're too much effort then. Sucks to be you. Take some pride in your work. Holy shit. You don't get to just take something someone else made. What does take pride in your work mean? I don't know. Oh my <laughs> god. What? Just, <laughs> Jesus Christ. What do you say? What well, do you what, say? What I said, what I had a favorite quote of hers before. This one is now the favorite quote. That is the best no. thing you'll ever hear her say. It is oh. wonderful. Holy shit. What you don't do you get to just take, take something someone else made. What does take pride in your work mean? I don't know. What do you think it means? Try steal, <laughs> God forbid, steel man it. Steel man think that one, please. Have a steel moment of man it. <laughs> What does it mean to have pride in your what work? What does it mean to have pride in your work? <laughs> I've never experienced oh, that. I don't know man. what it is. <laughs> I thought it was like, I thought it was like that self-evident level of just, you know what it means because the words are just, it's so, I, I, it's like when say, it's like jump. What does jump mean? I don't know. It's like it's just it's jumping, you f idiot. Like I don't having pride in you. This is this is the result of a a horrific lost battle for someone's soul, where they have to admit openly they don't know what it means to have pride in your work. They've made it this far through life. This person's what 24, 20, 25? Doesn't matter. Because I knew what that meant when I was like 10, right? This is an adult who has a mm -hmm. job, apply quotes liberally, and they don't know what having pride in your work means. So sad. How? How? How do you make it this far without knowing what that is? Surely she has heard that before. It's a phrase that everyone has heard before. Take pride in your work. And I guess she heard it and it blocked it out or it was never said to her for some reason, or she didn't think it applied to anything that was related to, I, I don't know. Here we are. Here we are. She's like 25 or whatever. She doesn't know what that means. My homie really said, just end stream. There you go. Hey guys, I wanna go pee, so I'm gonna see you guys later, okay? Just yeah. turn off your stream when you go to pee and poop, then come and restart it when you wanna go back. Get a co-host or end your stream. Very simple, easy solutions. What I'm curious about is... They literally are. But that's... Yeah, it's, <laughs> what, it is really easy. What if someone... You watch someone's content. What if okay. he had watched... So Jay had watched someone's content. Right. And they said, I didn't like the way that you reacted about this. But it depends then on what? what they say further. <laughs> you need clarification after mm -hmm. that. If someone says that to me, Rags, I watched EFAC. <laughs> And you covered my video, and I did not like the way that you reacted. 
and I'm like, okay, go on. Like I'm expecting more. I'm expecting a period, da 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 da, or just more to that sentence because that's not enough for me to work with. She she that's poses funny. this like Jay would have no answer. Like, yeah, well now what, Jay? Huh? Now what? Ruin. <laughs> I'm like, tell me more. You know. That's totally fine. He makes the most sense. Well, that's nice to see, isn't it? I mean, I understand. Sweet, dude. My man said react harder. Oh. So I have like 30 minutes of Hassan's response to work with in my editing room. That's what you said! That's literally what you said. You literally said, I don't like the way that you reacted to my content. And he said, okay, you don't like the way that I, you react I reacted to your content. That's fine. I won't watch your content anymore. He literally did say react harder. Where's the cat to come okay, back? This is so cringe. Where's the cat? This is literally so cringe, dude. <laughs> She's watched that much, and she's still concluding at this point that Jay's point is to react harder. That's it. So cringe. So cringe, dude. So cringe, dude. Um, but that's only the first portion of Denim's. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Don't get oh. too scared by the uh, rest of this part. Go. <laughs> oh god, this such this such an adventure to come. Wait, so is this just, is this the same We strain? have yet to experience man-made horrors beyond... Yeah, basically, I was hoping to get this into one video, but it, oh, it like, froze every time I tried to edit it that way. Uh, so yeah, I just split yeah, it into yeah, two. I'm not sure why, but, yeah. Uh, the Hassan well, one is all in one. Well, because your video editing software couldn't handle the denseness of <laughs> denim in its It's a built-in feature of Vegas. It's a, it's okay. a user safety protocol <laughs> algorithm. <laughs> yes. Like we've detected, we've we've detected a an ab not a, a what's it called a abnormal level. yeah like a, an abnormal yeah in the time space stupidity flux drive time space continuum fabric uh, due to our safety user safety protocols which you agreed to in our terms of service in paragraph seventy eight page six. We are now shutting down. Your license has been revoked. You will thank us later. Right. Um. Uh, to be fair as well, this is she is finally starting to get mad at Jay. By the way, this is this is almost like okay. where it cuts in half. Awesome, great. Well, uh, you do we're at a pause point. Let me step away for just a moment, and I will be right back. Give me just just a minute. Just a minute. Mm -hmm. Okay. So while Rax is away, let's find another random video to just watch and not comment on. Yeah. While Rax is away. Oh, like, let's just play a clip of a movie or something. What's your impression of Denim so far? Uh, brain dead? No, I think uh, she's, uh, okay, <laughs> I, I think she's trying to be female Hassan. She sounds like him. She talks very similar to the way he talks. She makes very similar moronic arguments the way Hassan does. Yeah, I think you're on point with that. There's a weird ecosystem where a lot of them are trying to just get to his if you will, or at least mm -hmm. experience its light. <laughs> which is so sad. <laughs> Beam your light upon me, Hassan. Let me grow. I need it. Imagine yes. having to suck That's up to somebody who probably doesn't even know what shoelaces are, let alone how to tie them. <laughs> it's just like, ugh. <laughs> it's like those... Me uh, stories where you have, like, the king is really stupid, but their butler or assistant or advisor is, like, super smart, and they just have to try they and run slowly everything. manipulate yeah. them into making the choice that they just want. Mm-hmm. Well, I mean, you gotta suck up to the guy at the top that you have, not the guy at the top you want, so... <laughs> it always comes up where people here. are still like, how, though? How did he get to the top? And it's like, look, it, no matter what answers you give, it doesn't quite feel like you've got the answer. It's just, Talking it's, about his well, son? Yeah. Yeah, it's the, depressing, isn't it? It is depressing. The only thing I could it think is. of is that I've interacted with a lot of people younger than me, a lot of Zoomers, and they, they talk very similar to the way Hassan talks. And I just go, ugh. Poorly? Must be it. <laughs> poorly, yeah. Yes, poorly. Poorly and stupidly and vapidly. Their diction is like a work of fiction. Yeah. Ugh. You sound like Doctor Evil saying that. For it, some is, it is depressive how they are expressive. Yes. It is shit. Uber thinks that they can explain React content to a Twitch streamer who their primary source of income is Twitch streaming React stuff. Wow. And they think that Got they em. can explain to a Twitch streamer this. I'm. 
Yeah, it's sad that we know how to do your job better than you do. Isn't that Way depressing? Than him. Don't yeah. you feel ashamed of yourself? And for some reason, she's really hopping on this split between Twitch and YouTube. Like, it's this, these dramatically different areas of These content are the creation. ultimate tribalists. It shouldn't surprise you. It's got to be teams. we got to come up with teams. And I'm on Hassan's well, the team. Weird Hassan's is Twitch team. Jay and Fringy and Metal regularly stream on Twitch. I started yeah. streaming on Twitch right before I did the main YouTube videos that I did. But I still did YouTube as well. Um, yeah, but she's an what? idiot. That's what I'm saying. It's like, it's like, oh, you YouTubers, you don't know. It's like, fuck you, we were Twitch streamers before you. You don't even know what you're talking about. Mm -hmm. Yeah, until, like, this saga started to happen, this is what's creating the divide in my mind. It's like, oh, you people are just... Ugh. Well, it's, I just assumed it was, like, the same thing, different flavor. Yeah. You know, yeah, it's just but... people making videos. To, some people do streams more. Some people make like video stuff more. And that's it. There was never a split. It's not an us versus them kind of thing. And so, like, you got Jay just trying to be like, fucking do this, do this, do this, as any other option than stealing. And she's like, you're going to tell me how to do my job? Like, yeah. Because you don't know how. We're helping. And you're also stealing from me, so yes, I will tell you to not yeah. do that. You take the advice for free. I'm gonna, I'm gonna woman splain. I'm gonna twitch splain. Oh god. Uh, content. Okay. Okay. Here we go. I'm gonna twitch splain <laughs> YouTube right. content. Okay. You want to know why this me. video is bad? Here, Give you clearly harder, don't understand maybe. why this video is bad. Give it to me harder. Uploaded it. Okay. I'm gonna essay splain to you right Fucking now. Do it. This video is bad because you're taking the criticisms of morons who spend five minutes of their life typing a hate comment to you. Oh no, you agree? No. 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 This is this important. This is a super cut here. Okay. No. She just said you're taking comments from morons. Okay. No. You're taking comments. From moron. Try more? What a baby. What a baby. Doing all this other weird shit just makes you seem petty. It just makes no. you seem fucking petty. Situation. This is really just like a cope video. Literally wouldn't even know who you are if it wasn't for Hassan streaming your video. Okay, dude. Also, who Omega lol? Like, uh, seriously? I'm not the biggest Hassan fan, but I feel a lot what? of streamers just watch random videos to react to this while This is mostly they... a watch part of the video. You'll understand the point very quickly. So I don't oh, feel like incredible. it's that bad that he does this. I watch Hassan pretty frequently, and I honestly think it's because he was eating, Lamau. Content quality usually takes a nosedive for that half an hour. He's usually good about crediting channels and sharing his thoughts throughout. A lot of the time he's leaving or eating because he literally streams for 10 plus hours a day, and he's got to do it sometime. And the chat needs to be entertained in the meantime. But I do agree it's annoying when he does this. Anyone who streams for enough hours in a day has to get up, has to take a break, stop staring at their monitors for a little bit, get some water, stretch, go pee, water. get food. That's why all the streamers do it. Lol, these comments. Why don't you guys start a Twitch and react your way? This whole leaving, eating, etc. is just a constant stream meme combined with actually satisfying certain human needs, like peeing and eating. Also, he streams like 8 hours a day. You can't expect him to clown around energetically for every minute of those 8 hours. Literally for 5 minutes, not never longer than fucking 5 minutes to go get to go get food because I'm fucking hungry. And I will lose like a quarter of my audience. Just tell him not to react to your videos. Other streamers like Matt Orchard and JCS are saying that they love the boost in views they're getting from Hassan's reacts. It's not clear that Jay would be opposed to it. If he didn't say enough in this video, then and JCS fair like enough. Quit because not of everyone sort of thing. does their best all the time. You literally said, I don't like the way that you reacted to my content. And he said, okay, you don't like the way that I, you react I reacted to your content. That's fine. I won't watch your content anymore. How about just telling him not to do that instead of pulling this cringe shit? It was so cringe. Okay, this is so cringe. This is literally so cringe, dude. You're not allowed to watch any YouTube videos unless you react the exact way the creator wants you to. The rules of the internet. So Hassan reacted and then he was like, well, you got the reaction wrong. That's not what I said. What the fuck is happening? And honestly, I give them an F for react content. I feel like, I feel like he's grading Hassan's reacts. Like he's like, Hassan's reacts get a D minus.
Jay's entire channel revolves around him making content that only reacts to other people's content or analyzes it. There's no difference between what Jay is doing here and what he's complaining about Hassan doing. Jay is pathetically drama baiting over something that in essence would require him to delete 90% of his channel's videos if he was serious about not using other people's content. What if he had watched, so Jay had watched someone's content and they said, I didn't like the way that you reacted about this. Then what? Lol, just react harder? Hey Jay! React harder. My man said react harder. You literally said, I don't like the way that you reacted to my content. And he said, okay, you don't like the way that I, you react, I reacted to your content. That's fine. I won't watch your content anymore. He literally did say react harder. This video is bad because you're taking the criticisms of morons who spend five minutes of their life typing a hate comment to you. Can any of you figure out what my point is? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, what oh a fucking God. idiot. That was the best you've got to have of all time. He's just you've described. You've got to have an insane level of just. I don't even want to say ignorance. I feel like this just. I, this is an incredible lack of awareness on your part. I I don't even know what to say. I'm well, I've, I've lost. I'm losing the ability to speak and form words. Her stupidity is contagious. <laughs> I think it's, so. I think it's. I think it's it is. I, it's like it, it is a contagion that I'm. I've contracted it through the internet. I need to well, unplug my modem cables, or else I will become the dumb. Is is she really this stupid, or did she say she made all her terrible arguments? And when she gets to that part of Jay's video, where all of the same arguments are basically made back to her she realized how stupid they were so now she's like embarrassed and trying to cover it up you know how sometimes you maybe think of so let's take this with movies right sometimes we watch a movie after years and years and years and years and we can't quite remember what we thought or said about it the first time right mm -hmm. but it has it's been years maybe a decade or more since we've seen a movie right and our perspective totally changed and and we're, we're like sort of new people you know by then that's her, but with seconds in between statements. <laughs> okay. Like it's it's like rewatching a movie again and giving a, a perspective in isolation as if you were a new person. I see. Well, you know how they, they like, say how goldfish have a three second memory. Mm -hmm. I think that explains a lot. She she can't remember anything that she's said in the past about yeah, a video right. that she's on the stream. Seriously, my take is I'm willing to believe that she's completely forgotten that she said a lot of what was in those comments. It's like they say, was it, it takes seven years for you to, to shed all your cells and regrow your entire <laughs> she body? She takes seven seconds. <laughs> seven, seven seconds. Her brain has completely shed yeah, We've moved cell. on. Every, every thought she has, it's not connected to previous thoughts. Everyone is, every one of her thoughts is an island. It exists in isolation. And any connection between previous thoughts is incidental and accidental. Maybe it, she's really like evolved here. Okay, we're thinking in this confounds of limited, like linear time, and she's just beyond that. Every moment is just the individual eternity of that. She moment. has Benjamin Button of the brain. <laughs> I, it's like in you know in TLJ when Ray is like searching for answers and she finds the mirror. It's like it's like Denim's is like why Jay? Why would you respond to the comments? Of who would care about responding to these? Who do these comments even come from? And then she looks into the wall and there's, there's a mirror. And she's like mirrors oh. forever. And then she doesn't get it. <laughs> she's like I don't understand. What's all these point? mirrors here? <laughs> what are you trying to say? Are like rags with a Snyder cut, repeating his jokes from the Justice League. Hey, that shit was gold both times. I think. Okay. Uh, Thunder in the chat was correct as well. If she saw that supercut, she wouldn't understand the point. I agree. I don't think she would understand mm -hmm. the point. She would say, like, what? And then there would be silence, and then she'd say, I don't know what to tell you. And then she'd and it say, it would be Cut. true. It would be true. And she'd that say, would be someone true. explain to these video essayists, okay, how to craft a good argument, because they don't understand. This is what I mean about how, like, in terms of formats, like streaming versus video creation, it's like the video creative people, they're gonna they're gonna beat you because they they look at stuff. They look back yeah. and they compare statements you've made. They're not like Twitch chat where they can actually forget the things you said five seconds ago and just move right mm -hmm. along. When you compare them back Denim's... to back, it makes you look like a fucking idiot, doesn't it? Yeah. Generally there's an underlying 
person, should we say, who makes all these comments, which means that there's some kind of like consistency generally when you re react to things. But here it's just like, man, it's all over the place. It's like a scattershot of thoughts and they're all they're all dumb. Yeah, somehow. When even for your stream, you know, you did a hundred times more work than Denim's ever done for a stream just by cutting all that together. Maybe. I had to watch a Denim stream. Like, oh, sorry. I, I had to watch two oh, Denim sorry. streams and a oh, Denim no. video. One for each pant. We haven't even gotten to stream two from Denim's yet. Wait, mm. there's a stream two to this? Uh, Yeah, it's the stream where she talks oh. to Jay. <gasps> they they talk? They talk, and I've got it in here. The important parts of it. I okay. cut it right down, but I'll give you all context when we get there. Don't worry. Okay? You never should take those people fucking seriously. <laughs> never take those people seriously. <laughs> Denim's included. What does take pride in your work mean? I don't know. It the hurts. fact Cat. that you are including a bunch of fucking random comments and being like, whoa, look at how dumb this person is. Oh my god, and look at how dumb my haters are. If you're gonna criticize someone- So I'm throwing in this example specifically to show this is how Jay is dealing with a comment when she's like, look at how dumb this person is, right? So, let's, let's have a look. One for reacting, then I will criticize your use of footage that isn't technically yours. So yeah, a lot of the content on my channel is reviews of movies or shows, and I use footage of those movies and shows to show what I'm talking about. Although I don't really feel that I need to explain the kind of thing that I do because you've been watching it for 30 minutes. And it's distinctly different from just letting someone else's content play as you cook, eat, and occasionally make vague or vacuous comments. Whoa! How is that? Like, like what? Confu how could that confuse any rational person? Not only that, it's just, does it come, like, in, on the tone scale, how much of a dick is Jay being? It's like, I don't know, like a, like a two out of ten? Two? Of yeah, I'm thinking two. Yeah. He could be way nicer, I suppose, but we're getting to, like, Ned Flanders levels of, like, not at yeah, all implying have anything. To... Well, yeah, you'd have to you, think about how it could be nicer, but yeah, there's probably a world where it could be nicer, so two. Anyone that challenges me or my feelings is already a 10, 10 in level of aggression. Uh, okay, I don't care what they're saying at the time. An 11 is when they say, I disagree with you. Oh my god! That's the big one, yeah. Oh, look at how dumb this person is. Oh my god, and look at how dumb my haters are. What you were supposed to do was, okay, I want to address like some Our criticisms that I've now. seen a lot of. So without further ado, Oh, right. Yeah, I should probably said, So this is another supercut. I'm just going to let it play. This is Denim's Ooh, advice on what exciting. Jay should do. And then, you know, I just play some clips that have nothing to do with what she's saying at all. And it's distinctly different from just letting cool. someone else's content play as you cook, too, right. eat, and occasionally make vague or vacuous comments. Whoa, look at how dumb this person is. Oh my god, and look at how dumb my haters are. What you were supposed to do was, okay, I want to address like some criticisms that I've seen a lot of. So without further ado, I'll sit down, pour myself a nice refreshing glass of beans, and go over some of the arguments that are made Love in favor of this beans. kind of reaction. The first criticism that I get a lot is react harder. Lol, just react harder? Hey Jay, react harder. My man said react harder. And it has more to do with the fact that I think that walking away from the computer is bad instead of just react harder. Summing up the criticism as react harder does make it sound unreasonable because saying react harder would be unreasonable. But summing it up as contribute something would be a lot more accurate. My man said contribute something, man. Make your reaction stream a meaningfully different experience to watching the original video. It's not just a matter of react. I'm, just, I'm, I'm imagining um hassan with this level of oratory skill <laughs> and it's bizarre my brain doesn't like it it's not right it goes against the natural laws of the universe <gasps> wrong here. instead of like posting a bunch of like random youtube comments straw manning the arguments and then trying to like look smart because of it it's fucking stupid you're like bad faithing like hardcore so if it isn't clear he did everything she told him to do already yep. and she's seen all of it but yeah your brain doesn't well, work properly I think she just hears like the buzzwords that other bread tubers say, bad faith, social intuition, drama. She just kind of like regurgitates it without fully understanding. Amazing. React harder. My man said react harder. He literally did say react harder. What, what does take what pride in your work mean? I don't know. <laughs> and it was evident like the acid. moment that like Hassan said that like it's possible this person has a It's like, have you guys ever brushed your teeth and then drank orange juice? Mm. Yeah. Yep, it's like I that, have. but it's like that, but in my mind every time. It's not painful. I understand. Well, I understand thoroughly what unpleasant. You mean. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Disability. 
for him instead of saying like oh like this could be true you make fun of him for it or something like which is very strange and also like low-key kind of ableist of you what? Now Jay is what? the ableist for making fun of Hassan for saying something that could interpret <laughs> easily as ableist. It's amazing. It's how did world. you do We're that? <laughs> Wait, what road circus. of logic did you just go down? Because I didn't follow. Oh, goodness, it shouldn't be a bed behind you. It should be a trampoline for all the other clowns in that circus you live in. <laughs> clowns are. Yes, I feel like it's it's got to be like uh. It, it's got to be, I don't know. Yeah. Like someone who has a disability or something, right? Like it doesn't make any sense. <laughs> like, um, I'm not sure what part of this <laughs> messy, weird house has made Hassan conclude, hmm, yes, only a disabled could have caused this. <laughs> it's, it's so funny. It's really well this done. Like he, he shuffles in and shakes. It's so funny. Only a disabled <laughs> could cause oh, this. Like <laughs> I I fight for the underclass, <laughs> which is very strange, and throne. also like low key kind of ableist of you. And then people would have taken this so seriously because people like people who are good faith and genuinely feel a certain way. People like people yeah, who are good faith do. and That's feel a certain people... way. What? <laughs> That's why I hate you? Any way in particular, or just a certain way? People like people a certain who way. Good faith. Just one. As long as you know that one. As long as it's certain to some extent, yeah. Mm -hmm. As long as it's certain, mm -hmm. it what doesn't do matter mean? what it is. But I hate uh, people who think in way. uncertain ways. Yeah. yeah. I'm literally gonna do exactly what I've been doing, which is whatever the fuck I want to do, bitch. What, what are you talking about? You couldn't really ask for a more explicit declaration that he's not gonna change the way he does things. I say it. I want to see what you say. You it. can't listen to chat. Chat doesn't even know what the fuck they want. Okay, I don't mean to be mean to chat. Chat does not know what they want. No, what, what, what Hassan said. I, I, say, I, yeah, I don't. I don't understand. Why that did you moment? go into chat? I wanted to hear her. I wanted to hear her address what even I thought would be a super unbelievable. Uh, mm. Yep. Mm. That's that. We're mm. done. Moving on. Mm. I guess. Just gonna stop that sentence mm. and carry on. Apologized for is what he's doing, which is the actual thing that I took issue with in the first place, and is something that he spends most of his stream arguing in favor of. A lot of the arguments. Dude, the holy arguments fuck! If the video was actually just this last two minutes, it would have been so good because this is oh, a genuinely good criticism. Which is, I'm not, get I'm not asking here. you to apologize to me. I'm asking you to apologize to the people that like you do this to, and that you shouldn't do this to Where them Where have you been? This whole you've been you running defense squad for him this whole video. It makes oh, me. What oh, do you? Right. What do you think he actually did it's, wrong? It's juicier than that. Okay. She just outlined what she thinks should have been in earlier points of video. Right? Shouldn't just assume someone is okay with their content being used as filler. If a part of your work relies on you uploading other people's content, then you better make sure that's not all you're doing. Otherwise, you're just re-uploading other people's content. Unless you have explicit permission to use something as filler content. It's fine to do that if you have permission, but it's not if you don't. Rip, mm. you said all this already. You just didn't fucking listen. Uh, ba -ba -da. Mm -hmm. wah, wah. You know, like, if he had said that, I would be like, oh, wow, that's actually a good video, but instead he spent- <laughs> He's so full Jamie, of shit. Uh, He's full of shit. You missed the opportunity by Jay. I can't believe he missed it. Oh, it know. seems so obvious to say it. Oh, man. Gosh, on, Jay, if you just listened to her been and did the thing you did. I can't do it. Fuck me. It's so annoying to listen to fucking 30 40 minutes talking about a bunch of nonsense looping over and over again instead of like this really good criticism and it's like i would not watch this video if i wasn't trying to actively look for it and actively watch and actively try and find the message of this video i wouldn't have even fucking seen this perspective come on He's wow. Wow. come on e wow what do you mean man even even a hypothetical version of her that isn't shit couldn't do it <laughs> The hypothetical not shit here. Is that possible, right? <laughs> I don't know. Peanut bottle, dude. It just feels like I wanted to not be streaming anymore, but didn't want to lose those uh, stream dollars. Like outside of the camera being on him, how is it any different than him just watching YouTube all stream? It just rubs me the wrong way. Like, how do you think of your viewers to just stream your break? Dude, what am I supposed to do? Die? Like, I don't understand. <laughs> Hassan reacts to someone's suggestion that he <laughs> to die. Well, listen, this is silly. Hassan is just not good at making arguments because he's not a debate. Oh, <laughs> boy. You know who no, else wow. is good at it's making just, arguments? He's a fucking idiot. Just, he lit, he probably has paper. like an 80 IQ. He's probably mentally challenged. It's I like the idea that debate 
if if you are a debate bro, you are incapable of making strong arguments, or at least it is indicative of why you're not good at it. Can we also just point out Tweedledub just said Tweedledee doesn't know how to make arguments. Like, yeah, it okay. is. Well, yeah, sorry. That that was lost on me for a second just... there. It's like, talk about, holy shit. Like, nice. Just, well, yes. I mean, and, and why would you say, his whole thing is he's supposed to be a political commentator who gives people political insight. And you're saying, well, he can't craft good what? arguments. Like, I noticed there was a lot of people who run defense from saying he's not a political commentator, which I find amusing. because What like, is he, he then? People say he's a variety or something, oh, or whatever. he's just... Oh, fuck Yeah, no, I know, I know, so I know. Um, I, I just, I don't, I don't buy that at on, all. On I mean, whole... didn't he do an interview recently where he talked about how he forged out the po political community on Twitch yes, on his own? He, yes, you don't get to, You don't get to take credit for something you didn't do, and then walk about... I don't know if he says this, but people, in the, I, people definitely say that about him, and I don't... I just I don't know. Well, and he it. used to debate people all the time. He, he just did until at he it. was yeah, but everybody getting ruined every time. Everybody seems to stop now. The only person who did it is Destiny, and now he's banned off of Twitch. So it's that space is probably gonna wither away because none of the larger people in that space want to talk to smaller It's a smarter know, move to not do it. smaller YouTubers. That's what happened was that he, you know, he was fine debating people on the right, and even if he was wrong, his audience was so left focused that, you know, he could just shit on them. And then he debates destiny a bunch of times who just like annihilates him and makes him look like a moron and destiny's coming from more of a left perspective and then he's just like oh i, I don't debate people anymore i'm done i'm not a debate bro yeah because you're right if hassan looks like an idiot to the right he doesn't care but if you make him look like an idiot yeah. to the left he's gonna be like oh that's fuck. bad hey, yeah um but yeah, just on the topic of, uh, you know, defense force for Hassan as well. I like that this was the one that broke it. She couldn't even bother defending this one. When he, when he's like, <laughs> this one. what do you want me to do, die? She's like, yeah, I can't. <laughs> I That's can't actually a that yeah. <laughs> like, There is a line. It's very low, but it's there. <laughs> You've hit the line. I'm sorry. Bro. Hassan, the only statement that he should have said there is, I lose viewers when I leave and I don't put See? it out. See? See? Oh, she not a good defense. Holy shit so argument. He, mm. shouldn't have said that, he shouldn't have said, what am I supposed to do, die? He should have said, what am I supposed to do, lose viewers? Yes. <laughs> Brilliant. And, and ironically, she's like, what a dumb argument, Hassan. Let me replace it with this great one. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> I'll give you a real banger. You can use this instead. Uh -huh. Keep that in your but pocket for later. To play. So I'm incentivized to put something to play when I leave. Chat doesn't even know what the fuck they want, okay? I don't mean to be mean to chat. Chat does not know what- Oh yeah, I'm putting this in here just because she just said chat wants the thing, and that's why I've got to do it. Yeah. Also, chat you doesn't know what they want. Chat because, yeah, we have to obey chat and all of their demands. This chat that does not know what they want. Yeah, it's this, really... this This chat that is basically akin to a crying baby. Which I they guess want. makes that analogy work a little bit better. But even a crying baby, I guess, knows what it wants, sort of. Yeah. Most other uh, content creators on YouTube and all around don't give a shit if you watch their videos or they like it. They literally like it. They want you to watch their videos. Please record your answer and send it to me. Would you be okay with it if a streamer played one of your videos in full on their stream without- Now, we went through this with our relevant. I'm just going to give us a, a quick reminder. Mm -hmm. Jay was prompted by Hassan. By Hassan claiming most YouTubers love that this happens. So Jay is like, is that true? And asks a bunch of random YouTubers that he has DMs with. That is why this happened. Saying much or really adding anything? No. Fuck no. Uh, no, I would not. Yes. No. Well, I mean, I could kind of do with it. Are they, are they willing to pay? No, I don't think I would be okay with the streamer playing one of my videos in its entirety without even really adding to it. If they give me a shout out and try to send people my way, then sure. But otherwise... We're really doing anecdotes. <laughs> Most other uh, content creators on YouTube and all around don't give a shit if you watch their videos or they like it. They literally like it. They want you to watch their videos. That's what we're doing now. You're going to ask your friends... Like, it's brain rot for a lot of them. They just can't mm -hmm. understand why Jay is doing this. They just can't, they, it just, they've lost the memory of Hassan. She was watching Hassan say that. I remember, I remember seeing a meme that was explaining all of the logical fallacies. And one of the memes that I saw was about anecdotal. I remember that. Uh, <laughs> it was next to straw manning and next to appeal to authority. Uh, and I'm just going to throw, well, I'm jumping ahead, I guess, in the, but people do this. They just throw out. People don't understand Words. these fallacies. I heard this they, word. Right. They use them, but they don't understand them. So, for instance, a lot of people throw a straw man around very liberally. But if you are responding to an argument that exists and is written down that someone has actually said, 
It's not a straw man. That is a point that is being addressed. Fringy, why are you gaslighting them? That sounds like an <laughs> ad hominem to me, Rags. Ad yeah. hominem is another one that people throw <laughs> yeah. around a lot too. Yeah, <laughs> yeah dude, all hominem. of these, they, like, they're everywhere. They're well, all over the internet. Because ad hominem is a fun one because if you say, uh, this is why your argument is bad, you fool, uh, as opposed to, you are a fool, therefore your arguments cannot be good. Like, that's what it means to use an ad hominem. Calling someone stupid is not an ad hominem. It's just an insult. It, or, or a description. I mean, like, I'm not insulting I mean, Denim when I call her stupid. I'm just describing her. That's just a slippery slope fallacy. Okay, guys. Oh, oh damn another it. Another ad hominem from Sitch. One. Oh, <laughs> yeah. God of the gaps once again. Oh, yeah. Anecdote. You lose, Jay. Anecdote. Yes, Questions it is an and... anecdote, therefore it is worthless. <laughs> <laughs> okay, dude. Also, who Omega Lol? Because like... you know what? Sorry. Because Hassan. Who Omega Lol? Is that an appeal to authority? Oh, it's <laughs> the Omega Lol authority. YouTubers <laughs> 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 with no evidence whatsoever that he was a. Like, he just said most YouTubers like it. It's like, oh, have you done like a broad sweeping survey or study that's analyzed the effects of what you do and how many people like it? Why is that not an anecdote? Well, it's not even an anecdote. He just pulled it out of his ass. He has no, he has nothing to support that claim. Yeah, seriously. And this whole repetitive cycle of drama on YouTube would grind to a halt, and I'd have to fill the rest of my days with anything else, like work. Probably yes, if they were to credit me. <laughs> that That's person is based. What? Why the, would you say that? The person who made a joke about how if things were different, I might have to work. He says he's he's based. That's in it's line with her York. character. It's in line with her character. Don't worry. Hey, so. uh, no, I guess the socialists wouldn't know about expenses, so that's fine. It was like that's a biased right. question. Character. Or Fits whatever. in with the lore. Um, randomly selected from people I have open DMs with. Yeah, I'm, I'm, and also it's kind of silly because it's like obviously you're going to like, your friends are probably going to have similar opinions to you for starters. Literally several people said that they were fine with it in that selection. On um, this? But yeah, like, they left them in there. Yeah, Jay J uh, has like, I think it was three people who outright said yes, and then there was some people who said uh, yes, if, blah, 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 blah. Um, all relevant said this, basically the same thing, that yeah. this is it's yeah, biased because the cherry picking and biased, yeah. The people who you know, which doesn't actually count as shit, but... Uh, no, it doesn't. They would have to be, yeah, th this doesn't work for this opinion. It just doesn't, it doesn't. There doesn't seem to be any correlation between people that I would have as friends and people who have this opinion on this content thingy of preference of theirs. There's no, there's a, there's a correlation between like, oh, maybe people who are like a misanthrope who just like hates people. Yeah, I probably won't be friends with them, right? Mm -hmm. But this is, it's, it's not relevant. Yeah, you haven't, she hasn't drawn the bias other than, well, you know them, Jay, so they'll agree with you. Like, oh. Okay, second of all, um, uh, what is it called? Uh, the anecdote seems valid in this case in different types of channels, so what would you prefer? Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, it was a leading question. Well, the question should have been, a leading question? Where, in what circumstances would you be okay with a streamer watching your content? So the reason why it's not a leading question, what Jay said versus what she's just done, which is insufficient, if I said to you guys right now, uh, are you okay with uh, a streamer watching your video in, like, what, what circumstances are you okay with that in? You just be like, well... I would describe I something Hassan definitely didn't do. I mean, this is kind of the problem with that question. A lot of us would just describe, like, oh, well, you know, they, they play it, and they mention who I am, I guess, or, or shown, and, and they... they I, I mean, it's up to them how much they want to react, I, I suppose. You know, involved in the question is not the point of asking the question, which is, are you okay with someone with zero credit, showing your video in its entirety to their audience. Mm -hmm. That is the important substance of the question. Yes, That's not priming is, anyone for anything. Yeah. Which is it's fine because that is an accurate representation of what happened. It's not like you're trying to... You're not misrepresenting events in the question to get them to answer a certain way. Yeah. That's what happened. What she's talking about would have to require me to go, are you guys with, uh, okay with someone very evilly uploading your video to their stream without crediting you at all in a very malicious way? Like, you, you wouldn't be okay with that, would you? Like, uh, would I feel you like you may have car? directed me to one answer there. But if I'm just like, are you okay with this? 
He's just like, well, yeah, I mean, how, how neutral can you get at asking that question? I don't understand what you want from Jay. Jay is trying to figure out if what Hassan said has any truth to it at all, or if she's just fucking bullshitting. I know. And if they answered it, then it would just be a longer way of saying, oh, so basically everyone is against what Hassan did. Yeah, it problem... wouldn't help her point, it'd just make the video longer. And the problem for Jay is that had the question Denim suggested been asked, a lot of people would have asked, answered in such a way that Jay's like, okay, but I need to know specifically if you're okay with what Hassan has done. Like, you may not have answered the question enough for me to infer what your response to the- You know what I mean? It's, like, so it's just insufficient. Or yeah, I would have said, so they all said this, let's see how many match with what Hassan did. Oh, none. It's like, in what circumstances are you okay with a streamer reacting to your content? You'd be like, well, any, yeah, sure. And they go, are you okay with it if they don't react at all? It's like, no. You know what I mean? It's just like, oh, fuck, I guess I should have phrased it a bit differently. That would have been a non-leading question. That you either. would have actually had people be able to answer completely in, in their entirety. You could have had people answer in their entirety. She's just Which complaining is, about how this was too long and needs to be edited. For yeah, like you, 10 need minutes. To, you need to ask a not leading question, Sitch, okay? Oh, I'm so sorry, I forgot. Oh, oh dude, nothing. I watched Smiling Friends the first episode. I really didn't like it. Oh! oh. Uh, I know it's our job to help this guy and everything, but I think this guy's a lost cause. <laughs> He's obviously made up his mind. Why don't we just cut our losses and get out of here? Wow! <laughs> yeah. Wow. God damn, that was that took forever. Oh, oh yeah, by the way, she has finished Jay's video now, so we're we're gonna be oh, yeah, yeah. moving along this timeline. Forever. This goes a little further than our relevance video, okay? We 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 jump locations. Ooh, I like you want to make a video on this and be like, your major problem with this is you spend fucking 30 minutes like jerking off about like something completely unrelated to like the actual substance of the video. And then at the very end, you finally get to the good stuff. The substance Actually, of the video? let's do a poll right now. His Cat. own video? I What? She has no okay. idea what she's talking about. Yeah, let's... <laughs> let's do a poll. Would you have watched this video if I hadn't streamed it? Now that's primed <laughs> because... You fucking told them throughout this whole stream that this video is terrible and that you would have quit. They are primed. There's no way this yeah. is a fair question to ask your fucking stream. Yeah, but that happened I 20 seconds ago. She already forgot what she said. Oh, okay, ago. fair enough. Obviously, I primed you guys and stuff, so like there is oh. that one problem. No, <laughs> that is useless. All Why right. would you even well, All right, then. Fucking hate this. Mean, that one They're problem. going to Twitch because they want a curator. They don't want to watch videos. They want to watch someone curate videos for them. So they probably don't even get most of their content off of YouTube, right? I this, this, is, this is the part, this is the point she's at in trying to justify all of this. There's viewers out there who desperately want a curator to find videos for them. Man. Jeez, how pathetic are you, chat? This isn't true, it's is like it? A, it's like a <laughs> leader. There's just a bunch of poor, wretched sinners out there who need someone to lead them to the light, and I will <laughs> be the one to show them away. And all they have to do is give me all their possessions and cut their ties with their family. I imagine most of the people who love watching Hassan and watch Hassan for multiple hours a day don't, when they end, when Hassan ends stream or Hassan hasn't started stream yet, they don't go to YouTube and try and pick out videos yeah, that they, they think Hassan might. Basements. I mean, like, Hassan literally tries to promote his YouTube through his Twitch with highlights of his Twitch to watch on YouTube. You follow? Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, if there's no crossover, then what the fuck is the point of that? Of course there's crossover. It's crazy that she's saying... It would saying... be absurd to suggest that it's not a crossover. The, the best thing you can do to grow your Twitch channel is to have a big YouTube channel. Watch. They just go watch other Twitch streamers like who do the same thing. Personally, I'm still a huge YouTube watcher. Oh, oh well, <laughs> well, well, I, oh. I don't think you, you should have not fucking said that. It's so Jesus funny, Christ. isn't it? She's what like do you want me to do? Advocating oh, for this no. definitive important position that she doesn't follow. <laughs> like, what, 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 what? You can see it's in my title. I'm going to talk to the person who made. Oh, so this is stream two. Welcome. Bed still unmade. That Hassan rant video. The reaction con. I don't like it's bothering me, you know? Like, it's just, it's bothering me. When you have guests over, when you have company <laughs> coming over, then you, you make the bed and you sort of tidy up the house. But this is going to be, this is a free rags um, piece of, the piece of, this is a golden nugget that you could keep in your mind space, right? Whenever you have people coming over, whether it's a, a lady friend or a, or a boy or in, anyone, uh, your homies or your parents, right? Don't clean it all the way, right? Clean it 80% of the way, 
right? So it's not perfect so that it looks organically clean. You want to give the impression that it's always like this. I'm just a generally tidy, clean person. Not, I have cleaned up so much. There is no way anyone would believe that the house is always in this kind of sterile state. No, 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 no. Clean 80%. Like so no one complains. Sort of Everyone's thing, yeah. like, oh, hey, this is a really nice place. But they could tell that you didn't necessarily go to insane degrees to have to clean because it's always clean and tidy. Okay. So, that's so, 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 so like clean up the whole stress. place, but like leave the bed, for example. Yeah, oh, yeah. But if they're coming into your bedroom, like if, if you have potentially thousands of people staring into your bedroom, definitely don't make the bed. Just leave that shit wherever it was. Don't worry about it. It's fine. What is pride in your work anyway? Oh, I don't know. Content video and I'm going to talk to him and I'm going to be like, I want to talk. I want to chat. I want to do the thing. And I think uh, Chad's going to like host it or something. You don't know. So I unfortunately was like i better watch everything up to the discussion with jay to make sure i don't miss any like prep or context or anything that might come up unfortunately for me that means i had to watch a denim stream and now you oh, guys no. have to no why do you do this to the smaller don't worry i've i've shortened it significantly and you'll understand why very quickly <laughs> Oh, this is a new one. You didn't even realize it was new. That's true. I really got to make sure I'm giving a lot of commentary because Jay could be watching right now. Okay. <laughs> Oh right. boy, what if Jay's watching you? <laughs> oh, no. You already did four minutes without saying anything other than, oh, this is new. Yep. Right now. No, you clean. No, what? Oh, that's not what you do. Not you. Acknowledging that you're stealing is not unstealing. Why did you pick that's my chat if you just picked it down? <laughs> I know, such a such a such a Chad move to talk about Jay on a React content day. I know. No, look, I'm adding I'm adding quality and content. You're uh, not. You would have made your bed. Because I'm playing with Wormy. You just picked him up and set him down. Yep. Why'd you bother? <laughs> Dude, you're just playing the Jay whole literally episode. You're just playing, you're just stealing the show. You're just playing the whole thing. They That's made you. <laughs> you're literally, there, there are people out there who are like working jobs eight yep. hours a fucking day. So... This is what I mentioned, I think, once on the irrelevant one, and a little bit earlier when we covered the other stuff. Guys, this is it. This is what it means to be a React streamer covering stuff like Hell's Kitchen and stuff like that. This it's is it. To not this make is the any job. And the thing is, you got things to say. You can talk about Hell's Kitchen. I would know. I've watched a lot of Hell's Kitchen. There's plenty of things to talk oh, about. You know that us three would fucking talk over the whole episode, probably. Absolutely. Yeah. We There's talk so over talk every about. sound effect uh, that there was. Yeah. Wait, didn't they already do the challenge where they feed a bunch of people? Oh, bye, be weird. You know what? Didn't they already do the you challenge where they what? feed a bunch of people. In Hell's Kitchen, sometimes they do the same challenge, but they do it later. You know? I guess they do that sometimes. I thought that's what all chefs do. You feed a lot of people. Well, so the, the format of Hell's <laughs> Kitchen is uh, basically that uh, each episode will begin with a challenge of some sort that tests some aspect of the contestant's culinary skills. Like uh, certain if you, when you get or a certain style you, of food. Yeah, yeah. So it'll that. be like, you need to replicate this based on only what you've tasted, or you need to create something with only these ingredients, or you only have X amount of time to do something. Uh, okay, right. you, you okay. need to use certain ingredient and if you win then you get some really cool prize like you get to go to a spa and if you lose you have to do some like menial work around the kitchen and then the second half of the episode will be the service where you, you get kind of the main content you're there for with Hell's Kitchen which is Gordon Ramsay yelling at contestants as he's trying to serve food uh, and then you have uh, you have uh, the 
elimination and then someone leaves or maybe there'll be a twist where they switch the teams it's like or or, or like bamboozle he'll be like uh i don't know nicole back in line and then it's like no you actually the other person come here take off your jacket you're out um that's hell's kitchen that is Hell's Kitchen pretty much for the last and, 20 years at this point. Oh, so in the chat was like, wait, like so that. this is the stuff she was saying people get annoyed that she pauses on? It's like, yes. And yet they want us to believe they are watching it for her, not for the TV. That's MasterChef? No, it's Hell's Kitchen. But those are the two things they do it to. Oh, yeah, right, yeah. Because they tried, they tried <laughs> to, to do it with other TV shows Master and they got slapped, but they're getting away with this one. Yeah. A bunch of people? Oh! <sighs> Will different chefs be judging different foods or something? I don't know. I... Maybe? Oh yeah, it's table side. I'm so Pepeggy. What, what, is, what does that mean? Pepeggy? I'm so Pepeggy. I'm so Pepeggy. Is that more Twitch is that a lingo? Twitch that lingo? Oh, it's gotta be a Twitch is that, thing. Is, that, I, is it Zoomer speak? I know Pepeggy. Uh, I know Pepega, but I don't Pepe know Pepeggy. Pe I don't know what that is. Pe Pepeg how, do, how do you spell it? Pepeggy? We got... I don't... Pepeggy is someone on Twitch, but I, I don't he, I, I don't know. Pepeggy. I don't know what I don't know the Zoomer speak. I don't understand these I words. Maybe Dev could have saved us, but he's he's gone now, so we have to fight God alone. Damn it. Pepeggy. Dev, you're a translator. What? Well yeah, like there's there's no confusion here, she's right? She's just stealing yeah. this. She's just. Oh, give me a second. Someone at the door. Don't worry, Rags. You're not Nobody... gonna miss anything. That's like. So we're just pressing on, right? Yeah. Wait, hey, what? Right. Yeah. What? Why would you be like? I have hives everywhere, and I was so itchy. <laughs> you're you're speaking okay. with food in your mouth. Take pride in your work. What does that mean? Oh, she got some laughs, dude. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Um, I think I'm rooting the most for Ryan right now. I think I'm rooting the most for Ryan right now. Yeah, this is what I mean. So I remember there was a season, I think it was season 12. Uh, the chef who won that season was called Scott. And I, cause I remember in that season that that was kind of this, it was almost a clutch victory because earlier on he wasn't particularly strong, but as the season progressed, uh, he started to find more of a voice. He became more, he, he, he just got a better understanding of what he needed to do to compete. And, it, and it, I guess if, if, if I was watching that season, why would you not try to make more long-winded observations? No, not long-winded. Why wouldn't you try to make more thorough observations about what's going on instead of just, I kind of want them to win. Why don't you talk about why? Why don't you talk about like what aspects of them as a chef are really interesting or strong compared to the competitors? And why do you like the why, show? What, what about the format well, yeah, exactly. appealing to you? What would you like to see well, in the future? Because, you know, the appealing thing to me about Hell's Kitchen, the reason why I like it a lot more than... uh. Uh, well, I mean, I like a lot of Gordon Ramsay's cooking shows, but uh, the reason why I like Hell's Kitchen a lot more than MasterChef is because we get to see them working on uh, the line, which I think is uh, more interesting than just, to me personally, more interesting than watching them just do the standard competition stuff with MasterChef. But then again, I really like MasterChef Canada. Um, MasterChef Canada is really cool. There's just so many things that you can talk about with these shows. I know it's reality television, but this you can, you can, you can, you can talk more than this. Especially since you're, this is your job. This is what you do. This is your life. <laughs> I don't understand why you have nothing but to contribute. Me, the chat is saying, don't pause. Ah, oh. uh, well, yeah, because they just want to watch the show. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> oh yeah, and that's the thing. Obviously, I've edited this in such a way that you ain't enjoying that episode. 
Good luck with that. No, because <laughs> no, we're not doing it's that. It's way too fast to to like oh, appreciate right. it. All right. Yeah. All right, she's still going. Oh, yeah. Oh, um. What? Oh, I won't. Oh. Not only peeking, but doing it while food's in your mouth. Just like, oh, this wonderful fucking nice. combination. It's, it's the, the golden it's the triangle. Golden, yeah, I was about to say. It's the golden triangle. Peeking food in your mouth, mouth close to... The, the microphone. microphone. It's, yeah, it's the golden triangle. It's like it's the poop triangle. It's the what's the, it's the elephant's foot triangle. I don't know what's what's an unwanted metal other than ours. Um, mm. No, it's not true. Aye, don't do uh, that. Yeah, what, exactly. What's a unwanted? What's a metal people don't like? I don't know. Rusted metal. Lead. Just, yeah, it's it's the rusty because because a, a lead triangle. It's. I don't know. I don't know. 15 seconds to go. <laughs> she actually gave them a shot. They were like... Were yeah, I like? can go for some shots. <laughs> yeah? Yeah, that was bad. That's okay. what we do in restaurants. Yeah, if... Yeah. Drinks um, or nothing. Give them drinks, the, make them happy. The point here is that, uh... Not only is her commentary limited, but of what she gives, it is vacuous. Holy shit. Yeah. Yeah, man. Even if it's like Where's champagne Chach? sometimes, or or, or uh, mimosas, just give them give them drinks to make them happy, man. Drinks are fucking nothing. The the we profit watch. returns on drinks are insane, especially alcohol. You can spare some to keep them happy. Shots, Denims. You're not gonna give any offer any shots to chat, huh? Huh? Also, the way they they drank that tequila like it was water, bro. That shit tequila is like. Know? Bro, what? just thinking about Bro. it like activates my gag reflex, dude. Principles activate my gag. Yeah. So seriously, if I caught this randomly, I'd be like, "Why wow. the fuck would I watch this person? There's no point." Yeah. Or alternatively, why would I like... watch Shell's Kitchen? I can just watch it. Yeah, no, that's, the, that's, exactly. the, that's kind of my point, point, right? Like, shut like, up, I'm trying to watch she's only getting in the way. There's no point to her. Yeah, exactly. And yet, and still then if not someone transforming said, yes, it, though. But Mola, don't you sometimes feel in your day when you're a little tired that you can't be asked to click next on the episode? <laughs> I'm like, you are fucking joking, right? Oh, <laughs> uh, I guess I'll die. Are straight women okay? That guy just looks what? like an average dude. <laughs> what? What's wrong with looking like that an average dude? That was just an average looking dude. She's so loud. <laughs> She's no. sipping so hard, dude. Maybe he's a good person, you <laughs> prick. <laughs> Imagine looking like an average dude. Ew. Nasty. Ew. No. Oh, no. these like pretty these are pretty successful chefs though that they're serving. Oh, yeah. yeah, but some Prestigious of them look average. Part. Ew. Oh, uh, yeah, but I, I, it's just like, how are you not understanding that probably the reason why she's being so friendly is because these are people that she respects because they're world-class chefs. Mm-hmm. An average-looking dude, Fringy, come on. Bro, oh, no! No! <laughs> Could you imagine if EFAP movies ran this way? Yeah. Guys, where? if we made a supercut and all the reactions were It would just oh, be movies. Dude, oh, no, dude. Yeah. Papega. Yeah, could you imagine like we're watching Shawshank Redemption and then when Andy's like <laughs> get busy living or get busy dying, instead of having a full blown Everyone. conversation about how meaningful that statement is, given oh, everything that true. happens in the story and broadly in life. Yeah, that we just said true. And that, and then we just played for like another ten minutes. And the next time that we speak is when he goes to the bank with all of the warden's money. It's just Whoa. like, ha ha! Wow, based pog champ. Could you imagine? <laughs> like, <laughs> whenever Zod said, "Where did you learn how to fight on a farm?" We all just farm? went true. Pause. Literally true. did. Why was that guy like talking as if he was posting on Twitter? This, oh, my keyboard is off. Let me see. I don't know. This guy? Oh, this, this guy who's like keyboard, super mad? You're this far into your stream, you realize your keyboard isn't even working. <laughs> <laughs> this she doesn't need it. He doesn't need <laughs> the peripherals. <laughs> uh, as long as the monitor's on, she don't give up. 
Why was he? No, he looks mad about it, dude. Dude. No, he doesn't. He's mid blink. He looks he's mad. He's like, yeah. <laughs> it's so, not fair. Do you know what blinking is? Like, damn, bro. Stop your he's he is like the, he's got so much chatter energy. He has like the Twitter energy where it's like that's a whole new sentence or whatever. Or whatever, where it's like, oh, Twitter's the only place where you can say, I like pancakes, and you'll get people saying, like, oh, so you hate waffles. Like, he no, that's unironically what you would say did to that. that. That's you, what she you was like, she did that to Jay. She did that to Jay's video throughout the yeah. fucking stream. Like, what? Jay said, wouldn't die. it be good if pancakes were nice? And you said, fuck you. I like waffles. It's one of those things, man. I'm in pretty good faith, right? Unlike Jay. <laughs> Like, I, I'm just trying to picture myself, because when I was watching Twitch streams a lot, back but just before I'd started streaming on Twitch and stuff, um, the the value was in the commentary for a lot of game. Like, like it's mm -hmm. like, oh, they, I like seeing them play Mario Sunshine or whatever, but I'm only staying when it's the person who's adding to it that I'm interested in. This, I'd be like, this is a fucking joke, right? But, like, it's so sad to think that this is what Twitch is becoming. That there's a decent amount of popular content that is essentially the, this. This crap. Do something with, mm -hmm. with some finesse, and he's like, "You think beef doesn't have finesse?" It's like, what? I mean, no, that's not what I. Okay, <laughs> that's not what. Yeah, I, that's not yeah, what I meant. Sucks what okay. happens to someone, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Thank you so much. Good job, Heather Ryan. Uh, table side this is restaurant. What's this all about? Usually working at Kimberly. Blah blah blah. blah. Okay, I have to pee though. So, so now I I couldn't, uh, I couldn't be asked to put you guys through any more of that. That that is an experience God. of what history. Sorry, is, is this gonna be? Is this is this is political commentary on Twitch, isn't it? Though no. I gotta go, and I'm gonna play content from like a news organization, so and then just let it play, and then oh, look, come I back and say for it. The idea is that she's not got long before speaking to Jay at this point, but there is so something she needs to do. Vox video. There yeah. is something she needs mm -hmm. to go do, so she's making sure chat's okay. I'll first. be right back, okay, chat? All right. Here you go. Here's some here's some Vox content. By the way, as a result of editing this, because I was going to cut the second she comes back, and, and I was just like, I'll let it play. This video is quite interesting. It, it, it goes over what, uh, just how much influence movie like creation and theaters had on each other as time has gone on, in terms of how much control but they have in distribution. That's an interesting relationship, yeah. Uh, they sort of need each other, especially early on. And she just steals it. Did you get a copyright strike when you made this video? <laughs> <laughs> no, because obviously when you move it to this speed, it doesn't count anymore. I guess, you yeah, fucking yeah, yeah. Right. What the original yeah, if, was. if we did this on YouTube, we get struck immediately. Absolutely. Oh, if you do, you, it, yes, if you're doing even... what she's doing, yes, you'd get struck. But this is what is happening right stuff. here is a, is a re-upload of a video yeah. that was made by a different yeah. organization. Yep. Look at the editing Man. and the research and the effort. Well, yes, yeah, because a lot of people, a lot of people, in, a lot of people in chat are shitting on Vox. It's like whatever you think of Vox, this is like a this is a this is a video like that's been edited and researched and they've talked to people. Mm -hmm. They've done they've done work here. Yeah, it's edited and it's formatted and there's a script. This to it this shit it. ain't free. You know, yeah. like they had to pay someone to do this. They had to pay someone to do the research and the writing. They had to pay someone just to do to the organize editing. all the interviews. We have, um, Jeez, that's work. Well, We've covered Vox before, they've said stupid things, and we've responded to them, but you still give them the basic respect we afford to literally everyone, including Denims, which is to take them point by point, and yeah, pay attention and work. take them seriously on what they're saying, instead of just stealing their stuff. Mm -hmm. And usually when you're talking about Vox sucking, it's political content. This is unrelated to politics. Well enough, we've covered some of their media it's stuff that was bad. That's what they seems to be, uh... About media, yeah. This is about um. This video, like I said, it well, it's not really about good like an me. opinion, though. It's it's just like a history or something. Yeah, yeah. It's, it would be hard for this video to be bad as long as they're doing the basic stuff of research and present right. presentation. Mm -hmm. Um, I think. Correct me if I'm wrong, chat, but was it EFAP like ten or eleven where we covered a Vox video that said the X Men universe has the best continuity out of all universes? <laughs> Holy crap. Oh, God. It's pretty funny. It's like, How do you say oh, that? School. Especially back then, yeah, dude. That's like 20, 2018 they said that. Yeah, because I only got worse. <laughs> Man, look at that. Let's finish the video. At the same oh, time. Oh, so six were... <laughs> minutes played without her there. So six out of seven minutes. It's, it's such a fucking joke. Oh, I don't know how Hassan does it where he watches the videos on his phone.
You ready for a Freudian slip? Here it comes. Oh, boy. Oh. When he's gone? I do not do that shit, bro. I'm going to be honest. I do not do that shit. That is smart, though. That is smart. I should start pretending like I do that. Or actually start doing it, dude. Uh -oh. <laughs> I should stop uh -oh. pretending uh -oh. like I do that. Mm. Interesting. Interesting. Mm -hmm. You know why she said oh, that, right? Damn. So that she has the excuse. It's like, no, I, I watched it. Yeah, I, did. I told you. Yeah. Yeah. Unfortunately, now I kind of can't believe whether if you say it doesn't even matter. But like, even if you even if you did, how am I meant to know that that wasn't you pretending? I love it. Notice him, that your brain the... was too slow to stop it from saying the the, the stupid honest thing. <laughs> like, it's like, no, 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 no! Oh, it's gone. Oh fuck! Notice here for the little Vox animation. The what are the arms made out of? The arms the are made out of theater tickets and have, films. Yeah, yeah. that's right. Tickets the and film strip. Tickets and the film yeah. strip. Film. That's yeah. kind of neat. A neat. It's a shame that they're not going to get reimbursed in any way <laughs> yeah. for this through the that's people. Who Dude, I, I, it on I doubt she linked the channel or the video as well. I doubt. Well, it. so the reason why this is, I think, is annoying me a bit is because you know how like a lot of people who who like do what denim does will talk about man mainstream media worthless not like me the <laughs> online political commentator but then they get right. so much of their content from cnn and fox and stuff like they get so much of their content from these news organizations that actually do the reporting and yeah. get the footage and get the people that they need yeah. to speak to it's gotta but then come they'll from just somewhere on their stream and talk about how great they are even though they wouldn't be able to do the work that they do without this it's kind of annoying yeah it's like sure. shitting on the electric company. Like the band? Uh, if they want. <laughs> Never but the people who provide electricity to your home, I mean. Fuck like, oh, those lowly workers. Don't they know that I'm a Twitch streamer? And they just provide people electricity. <laughs> Fuck them. They probably don't even work eight hours a day. Like I do. True. Oh, imagine. What seemed to be the uh, Denim, next time, can you please just end the stream? Can you please just end the stream? Their most yes, powerful please. Man, please you know stream. what? I was so good faith, not like Jay. Yeah, she's so bad that. faith. <laughs> and th again, that was one of, what, it's like six suggestions from Jay? But no, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll make fun of that one. The, because it's yeah, apparently the most, most absurd. When, funnily enough, fuck it, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> so here we are. Chud right. Logic is hosting Jay and Denims, and they're going to have okay. a conversation. Now, I cut out better. a lot of this, uh, but I have kept very interesting parts. Friendly conversation, which is a bit of a change of pace for this channel, so that's good. Um, this is the first time I'd seen someone leave during a React stream, and that was crazy to me, having seen, like, you know, having never seen that before. I was like, what the fuck, yeah. dude? Yeah. No, I completely yeah. understand, and I'm very sympathetic to your position. So I'm very wow. sympathetic, you bitch. Wow. Wow. Jesus so Christ. That, that doesn't feel uh, very honest. You backstabbing. Oh. God uh, damn, it makes me hmm. angry. Well, so the, the thought that comes to mind is a, a good old quote from Star Wars Episode Three: Revenge of the Sith from Anakin <laughs> Skywalker. Well, I didn't. I, I was going to leave it up to people's imaginations, but... <laughs> Uh, she's a Sith, okay? It's clear. She's a fucking Sith. Enough. She's Palpatine. I understand why you- and, uh, for, for context, Turn right? chat against me! Jay just said, <laughs> when I saw that someone had left their chair, like, that was crazy to me. And she was like, oh, yeah, 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 totally. I, I completely understand. Let's compare that yeah. statement. Had the position that you did. He doesn't give a shit about even pretending that he's contributing anything here. But even when he's in the room, he's no stranger to just streaming other people's content with his own face in the corner. Now, any content creator he does this to could be entirely okay with it, but I know from personal experience that he definitely doesn't bother to check. Now, this certainly isn't the only thing he does. Hell, it's not even the only kind of reaction content that he does, but it is something that he does pretty often, so... Let's talk about it. It's also very much. I'm not say just something. Him. Thank this you. This is coming off really salty. I'm waiting for him to finish his point before I go any further because I have so many opinions and I'm trying to hold them so, so he can finish his point. Because I am mulch and coping and mulch and cope and mulch. So that doesn't sound like you agree at all. Actually, mm -hmm. it sounds like you're angry. Yeah. It sounds like you're not very sympathetic to that position. Actually, because hmm. like Strange. before the stream, that's what she was doing. Yes. Right yeah. Right before she hopped on yeah. to the- that's what Literally got me upset. Literally made fun is... of him for even suggesting that it's strange to leave, but then tells him to his face, Oh, I agree with you. 
I totally yeah, totally. Agree Oh, are we in the debate where I need? Oh, yeah, I I agree. I I was doing that right before I came on, mocking you as I did it. But oh, I de I definitely agree, lying bitch. No, I completely understand, and I'm very sympathetic to your position and stuff. Like, I understand why you had the position. Snake, you did. snake. We agree on the positions because, like, I, I think you were talking about the. Um... I was not expecting that. Yeah, I honestly I thought maybe there would be more pushback. <laughs> Even the video, like, by the time I finished the video, I was like, huh, like, I should really be more careful and, like, I should try not to watch content uh, on my stream as filler content. She just did, like, ten so, seconds ago. Not only is she still doing it moments before she said that, but I don't remember her saying that at the end of finishing Jay's video. Ugh. Let's go see what she actually you said. You know what I mean? So I think I'm, that I'm, it was... I'm glad to hear him. Wow. Wow. God damn, that was that took forever. Oh my god. Did you enjoy that video? <laughs> Dan, don't a, skip the, he the has credits. a patron named Jabin. Dan, Bush. You're skipping the credits. Wow. Wow. You're literally skipping the credits. Well, now that I don't have to watch that video on their YouTube channel, way to steal their views. Yeah, I'm so sorry. I stole four hundred views from them. Now instead of having fifty thousand views, they're only gonna have forty nine thousand. I'm a Review. fucking monster. It, hey man, no Get put their channel name on screen. Get put their channel language. name on screen. Put it on screen. Put it. Show the channel name, Denims. Yeah. Dude, I look you want to make a video on this. Even that was her reaction to the end of the video. Not, oh man, I need to introspect about when I steal people's content. No, it was I'm gonna make a video on this. Yeah. It was fuck you. Man, seems like she's lying oh, to Jay a lot. Jeez. In the video, like by the time I finished the video, I was like, huh, like I should really be more careful and like I should try not to watch content uh, on my stream as filler content. Hmm. You know what I mean? So I think I'm, that I'm, it was. I'm glad to hear him. One argument Cole that Sean makes. just sitting there, you know? Oh, yeah. He's slamming the table. <laughs> you fucking liar. <laughs> <laughs> he is. And then it's he pulls up his little notebook and yep. it's got all of the references. You to answer first. Dude, it's not oh, people. Yeah. Someone in the chat said X. It's not X. It's it's uh it's not X. It's um it's it's Y. Yeah, for lie. We're not doubting. We're just calling her a liar. <laughs> yeah, this, this is not a press X to doubt moment here. I think that I'm, it was. I'm glad to hear him. One argument that Hassan makes, and I don't want you to answer for Hassan's points, but it's just interesting just to, you know, generate a bit of chat about it, hopefully. But, like, this idea that someone streams for a long time in a day, therefore they're justified in using filler content. Like, what what, what are our thoughts on that sort of point? It's stupid. It's dumb. Man! Wow! Wow. That sounds like such a very different position from what you were espousing in your initial Trivia. reaction. That's just a this fucking This sounds like, oh lie. shit, I need to get out of here. And, and also inconsistent channel. with what you did in the stream prior to this conversation where you played it uh, when you left and then you played that Vox video for six out of the seven minutes. That it was its length. Like, have we ever come across an example across all of EFAP where we've so definitively been like, you fucking liar. You are just lying. It's such a bold face. It's just bold. Like, it's dishonesty. Hey, mold There's no face. other way about, around it. Streamers are not incentivized to pause the videos while they're gone. Because when you fucking leave your computer, you can see any big streamer talk about this. Amaranth has talked about this. Hassan has talked about this. I can tell you from personal Fair. experience oh, this is cool. true. When you pause the video, literally you can, I have had times where I pause the video or like I unpause it or whatever. I, and I go literally for five minutes, not never longer than fucking five minutes to go get, to go get never. food. Cause I'm fucking hungry and I will lose like a quarter of my audience, you know? And like maybe for like Hassan, Hassan is like a big enough streamer that it doesn't really matter. And he can just pause the video and that's fine. But like, this is still like people's like income or whatever like this is still people's like jobs or whatever whatever so not only yeah so is the shit that she, he stole not only does she completely disagree with the the fucking thing she just said in the interview or discussion whatever uh she even says here that it's about it's about your livelihood like so it's important but no now it's silly like can you fucking sell on a position please it's like the equivalent of like you know like like ad block for youtubers you know what i mean what are our thoughts on that sort of point? It's Wait a minute. Why does she think ad block for YouTubers is bad? Um, because then they don't make money from the, ads. The, I mean, right? Oh wait, you you gonna draw? 
Uh, Why does she think? Yet for some reason, playing their content for free so they make no money from ads on your platform is excluded from that? No, yeah, well, they don't even fine, get though, the because... ad from you watching they... it and stealing it. Well, she's, <laughs> she's, Wait, she's at, least when, at least when someone has an ad blocker, they get the view. It still helps in the yeah, algorithm. Yeah, but she's getting money yeah. at that point, so it's okay. Oh, my God. That kind of counterbalances, would, you know? Why did she agree to this conversation if she's not going to defend anything she said? Because she's I'm gonna, stupid. I'll be honest with you, Sitch, when I, saw, I was listening to this live, and I was like, you are not fucking serious that she actually lied if through her teeth to Jay, and Jay has not got the quotes to be able to push back, because if it were my debate with her, I would have been reading these out to her and being like, so you don't believe this anymore. You don't believe this anymore. <laughs> and then I would have been like, we can see. you take your fucking stream down and apologize for all of the bullshit that you said if you think that now this is this is all, you agree with all of my positions. But of course, Jay's, Jay's a really nice person. So Jay's just like, oh, you agree with me now? That's neat. Mm -hmm. What well, was Jay aware of her previous stream on this? Uh, I think when Jay had done this, he genuinely took this as Denim's being like, I've changed my mind. Oh, okay. And then I said okay. to Jay, she fucking lied to you, man. Like, it's, it's just a lie. You need a little, like, spiteful mauler on Jay's shoulder, like, Jay, <laughs> here's all the facts. Don't let her get away with some fucking bullshit. Well, uh, here's, here's some objectivity for you. I'm assuming this is what Rags refers to. It's like, sometimes, it's like, maybe you were too nice, man. I don't know. Like, you, you let okay. someone get away with a bunch of bullshit. Luckily, the little devil on your shoulder was like, I'm gonna go make a fucking video. <laughs> I'll be back, Jay. <laughs> yeah. Well, this is why we're here. Very oh, well, oh, then yes. I'll do it. Dude, this all this all existed, right? But now when you get someone to put it together and show someone in chronological order, it's like, oh, wow, she's a piece of shit. <laughs> You're like, yeah, kinda. <laughs> like, oh, damn. Love and the it. funny thing, it gets worse. Oh, oh no. no. Stupid. This is dumb. This is still, like, people's, like, income or whatever. Like, this is still people's, like, jobs or whatever. It's, like, the whatever. equivalent of, like, you know, like like ad block for youtubers you know what i mean so i've taken like polls in my community and like the majority by the way the ad block conversation is its own thing and we can have that later but it's a separate issue you know that that's a whole it's a whole nother similar but different animal and i i know she's not ready for a conversation about ad block she mm -hmm. ain't ready for that People say that they literally wouldn't watch Hell's Kitchen unless I was streaming it. And it doesn't necessarily mean that I'm reacting hard enough. You know, I'm sure if you click on a random part in the video, I might not be saying anything. Sure, whatever. <laughs> you fuck you. you. <laughs> like, <laughs> absolutely fuck you for saying I might not be saying anything. You literally leave. <laughs> It's the same reason you watch shows with your friends. You want to watch it with other people, right? And actually, this is, I think, maybe my only disagreement that you had, Jay. <laughs> only, the only one. Only disagreement. The only disagreement. Mm -hmm. So maybe we'll get a little bit of blood sports. I don't think people would watch. I don't think you're missing viewership because a streamer streams it. Especially when it's, like, I've, I tried to do some polling to the best of my ability, obviously. <laughs> Because I only have like polling. whatever small audience polling. and I only have so many people that can I can poll. So it's sample size really is a little nice. fucked. But I think when Entirely it comes to fucked. streamers on Twitch, a lot of people go to watch streamers on Twitch for their React content almost as a curator. So they don't actually want to go through YouTube themselves and watch a bunch of videos. And they probably never will go through YouTube. I just can't believe I remember listening to this and I was like, you are not fucking serious right now. You're arguing to Jay that they need you to cycle YouTube videos in. They need that. It's Man, she's desperate to be very important. YouTube and click a bunch of videos. Um, they like going I to Twitch I provide a service. Poor Jay having to sit there and listen to this as though it's like a real argument. Mm -hmm. Because they like to have it as like, this streamer is curating fun content that I want to so, watch. So like the YouTube algorithm, right? You know what that like that the whole point of it is that it puts like YouTube videos on your homepage that you're going to enjoy. Mm -hmm. So what is the what's the difference there? What's that? What is that Twitch streamer providing that the audience member couldn't get for themselves by literally just going to YouTube so and I clicking completely, the videos that appeal to them? So I agree with this opinion. I thought you're. It was actually really funny because you were about to say help. like you were about to give the video games example, 
and explain why. And I had already said it on my stream because when a streamer is playing a video game, you still have the ability to play the game yourself. And video games are not necessarily always linear. And there's lots of stuff that you can. Anyone else really lost with where she's going? Like, yeah. yeah, I'm like, what are we doing? Mm -hmm. What are we doing? Like a bit Wait. of a non sequitur. It's, it's like, Jay, you were wrong. This is a thing. And then Jay's like, oh, well, YouTube does that anyway. And she's like, no, I agree. I agree completely. Now talk about video games. Uh, I actually like, thought you were going to talk about what? the video game example <laughs> that I addressed on stream. And, so it would... and then proceeds to explain what it is. <laughs> exactly. It's like, I've... okay. You can do yourself. And then there's also the aspect right. of like skill. And so video games, I think, are great or whatever. But I think the more important part or whatever was the, like, oh. you can't, there's no point of watching something a second time. You already watched it. Maybe, like, what? if you're where are you going? <laughs> what is this? Why are we talking about the fucking history of the Pel Peloponnesian War here? What's going on? She she wandered Where off like twice. She wandered onto something that wasn't important. When she was done with it, she wandered onto something else. It's like, just, what? You need to focus, focus her. Crazy. I feel like Jay at this point would have just been like, I feel like I've missed the point. I don't know what I have to ask it's you like to repeat. Great, but can you answer the question? You're watching it with some other people or something, or it's been a long time, you might rewatch the video. But once you watch the video one place, it's pretty unlikely that you're going to go back and watch it again. So yeah, I understand this perspective. I that's think, the like, point. and this is just the, the, my opinion. I think that like people who are watching content on Twitch, curated Twitch content on Twitch, aren't necessarily people that would be watching content on YouTube. She used to say they weren't. Now she's saying they aren't necessarily people, which is like true. Because you can't beat and that. And then she said, she's one of those people. Yep. And then who knows what else is coming next. You never I know. I almost think if Hassan streamed on YouTube, I would agree with you. It's possible that Hassan watching my content hurt me. And it's possible that, like, I've missed out on this or whatever. Um, I just, I just disagree, I think. I don't, I don't think that you're, I, I don't think that, and maybe, maybe I'm, this is my opinion because I, I'm a React streamer or whatever, but I I'm not sure. Most honest thing she said in a long time. Maybe I only <laughs> agree with this because I am also Hassan. It's like, yeah. You gotta validate the guy on top so that everyone beneath him is sort of, yeah. I, I can only go based on the polls that I took. It doesn't feel like people who Stop watch saying. content on Twitch necessarily would watch that content on YouTube. She has like Personally, 10 people I'm still a huge audience. YouTube watcher. I just don't. I, I disagree with your opinion on this, but I don't. What I, part? What part of that? What part of that do you disagree with? I feel like I just went through it all like step by step. Well, what part do you think that I am missing? That <laughs> no, you said, <laughs> God damn you, snake! <laughs> you, you say a bunch of bullshit for ages, and Jay's like, I don't understand where you disagree. Then she's like, Where do you think I'm missing something? <laughs> what Why the did fuck? she agree to talk to Jay? I don't, I don't it. actually understand the point of this, other than I think she wanted to try and come across as, like, hyper-reasonable. I don't understand. Wait, how Where's... was she further away from her backpack than when she started? No, <laughs> she's not. Oh, that's to the backpack. Okay. Yeah. That's two. She made three dollars since that. Since that stream, the original no, stream. No, someone heard this and they took their money back. They're like, no. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck it. I don't want her out in public streaming. That is. I want her next to her well, unmade bed. Because I mean, I just went through. Like, I, I lined out the argument from like A to B to C to D, and and then all he said was just like, you, your opinion is the the opposite. I, I just I don't. If there's overlap and they catch it on the streamer's uh, channel first before they catch. The actual YouTube video, then they're probably not going to watch the YouTube video, right? Sure, the, the, I, but I already agreed with this. I, I what? just no. don't know if Hassan freebooting my work even impacted me negatively. I'm sure you guys remember this. And mm -hmm. if it did, what Jay just said was the negative comes in when Hassan viewing it takes away views on my YouTube, and then she says, "Yeah, I never disagreed with that." I don't know how severely, I just don't have access to that kind of information. This one is Jay saying I'm not sure if there's a negative. I can't know that. And now look at her reaction. Jay, but what- How would it impact- How would it impact you negatively? The fuck? Sure, the, the, I, I, but I already agreed with this. Huh? Like, if you're on people. Twitch- See, here's my point. Here's my point about like how like I think YouTube reacts to. Oh, we'll we'll notice here the bed is on the right. 
And in the debate, the bet is on the left. Oh, oh my God. These are two different pe This is the mirror universe version mirror, of her mirror. taking over who didn't remember all the things that the other version said. That's oh. why. That explains it all. It's all coming together. You see? It does make sense after all. Ha. This streamer does have good writing. Boom. I'm curious how, how she would deal with seeing herself present opinions that contradict so close to each other. Like, I wonder if she would just see that and be like, those yeah. aren't me. They're not me. I don't know what... I don't, I don't know how she'd CGI. react. YouTube hmm. content is probably... It can be negative. But, like, if you're already on Twitch, you're not even on YouTube. Do you know what I mean? It's just wrong. So you were never... So if, it were, if it were YouTube, it would be a negative. But if it's a son on Twitch and you on YouTube, then it's not. Even though she agrees that it is. Don't worry about it. If, if they're on a different platform, it's fine for them to just take that shit. Video. Like, the people who are watching Hassan watch videos were, would have never found those videos otherwise. Oh. How do you know? Sure, I, I, but I like, agreed with this. Oh, uh, hmm. I'm, I'm getting a little confused here, guys. I don't, I don't understand what her point is anymore. She already agreed with this. Oh, okay. Okay, then I'm confused, because I, 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 it sounded to me like you, you were saying the opposite. <laughs> It's true, yes. <laughs> yes, she was. It, sound, it did sound like she said that. That is what she said. Yes. The time, the reason that they go and re watch React streamers is because they don't want to have to do the effort of going and scrolling through YouTube and clicking on recommended. They oh, I can't, I can't deal effort. with this shit. It's so oh. stupid. Like I have to click my mouth. Oh, my moving my arm to click is just... Oh. I'm oh. desperate to show that I provide some service. Please. Oh, I'm definitely earning my my Oof, money. Oof, owie, I can't. Oof, scroll, that ouch, oof. That's so embarrassing if you're saying that my job description is to save people clicking and moving their wrists, you know, an inch. And it's insulting to your audience. Totally is. They should well, not I mean, be happy that she's making this They don't know what them. they want, but I know what they want. Of going and scrolling through YouTube and clicking on recommended, they want a streamer who... Effort. Yeah, like, I mean, you have you ever scrolled through YouTube for a while and not found a single video that you wanted to watch? Really? Yeah. Um, <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah, okay. Well, um, listen, thank you both for coming on. And that's it, because she doesn't disagree with it? anything else. Oh she she just concedes everything. She's like, oh, I already agreed yeah, to all of that. She's like, get out of here, get out of here, get out of here, get back to my own chat. Um, don't on. worry about it. It's not blood Come sports, on. I'm sure. Abandoned's video is trashed. This is, like, not good, dude. This is not good. Um, yeah, just that like, was that was me throwing in a clip of what she had said about that video, but compared to now, which is just like, oh, I, I agree with you. Yeah, because remember, I, yeah. not good that it, that most of it was just worthless, and it was only the last couple of minutes I had anything worthwhile to say. Um, you were mad, um, and salty. She described uh, all of the comments were funny as from idiots that Jay should never have chosen, whilst also echoing all of their criticisms. Um, and also, Jay is stupid for not understanding what Hassan meant when he said that really dumb thing about the two toilets. Yep. Mm. And so, yeah, mm. that's that's my opinion. I don't I don't think it was a very uh, controversial opinion. People had a good time anyway. Okay, and um, I'll uh, I'm gonna gonna bounce. I'll catch you all later. Okay. All right. Bye. All right. Bye. Bye. Cheers. Thanks. Bye. Bye. I think he seemed to get a little bit lost in the sauce. How long was their conversation? Wow. Like, I want to say half hour, 40 minutes, something like that. Um, but okay, a lot pretty, of it was short, just... Really short. Like, semantically just getting around some small thing and then being like, oh, so we agree, yes. Mm -hmm. And it was just okay. like pointless. Move we agree, move right, yeah, move on. Obviously yeah, the main things I wanted to highlight was that she's gone back here, right? on basically all of her opinions. Jesus. But... Okay. Will she go back on them again? Oh, oh no. Oh, oh my goodness gracious. Oh. It's not over. Because the reason I know this information is because for a while, I literally didn't understand why people watched me. Which is fair. <laughs> like, I literally club. didn't understand it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. I'm very hard on myself. It's because you're content. pretty. So I you're hard on yourself and you're hard on your content. No, you're now, not. Now, <laughs> I refuse to agree. <laughs> just... You are not. You don't. How can you be hard on yourself and hard on your content when you don't know what the fuck having pride in your work means? <laughs> no, what, do you... yeah, what does it even mean to be hard on yourself if there's no reason to be proud or uh, ashamed of any of your work? She spent the majority of the episode that she was watching that we saw just having her day's meal and drink. It's like, oh, yes, just top notch content. In your own field. I'm gonna put on Vox while I go poo. Yeah, it's tough. Odd.
understand why people watched. What does take pride in your work mean? I don't know. Oh, yeah, it's, it's the thing. Oh, yeah. yeah you okay, did cool. I'm I'm probably gonna make a video about this. It's like way more compact because I actually have a lot of opinions about it, and I feel a lot more like I thought you agreed with cool everything about Jay making said. the video, Why knowing that he agrees with me on so. No, Fringy. Why wouldn't you do that? It's now? not that no, she, no, agrees she agrees with, with him. Her. He agreed ah. with her. If you listen to that wording, ah. cool about making the video, knowing Wait that he agrees. Please, God, tell me that she's not going to... She spent the whole debate, in finger quotes, agreeing with Jay, and now she's going to make a video where she said, see, Jay agrees with me. He was full of shit in his original video. I don't think it's that bad, but it ain't good. Okay. Cool about making the video, knowing that he agrees with me on so many of the opinions. Also, I, I was trying me. to like make a distinction between <laughs> reasons people do things and whether or not they're moral. I don't think it's moral that a streamer is stealing views and doing nothing, but I think but that you people just justify you, it at every you, turn and she think literally it's okay. said yeah. it's that they have to do it for the sake of their own bank accounts and that's their livelihood and that that's important. But you yeah. te you're telling me it's immoral to do that, but you're telling me why they do it. You're like, so I don't give a fuck if that's all you're trying to bring it up for. I can tell you mm -hmm. why people murder. It doesn't justify it. Do that because. Or sorry, sorry, sorry. I don't think it actually adds any value for a streamer to be a curator of sorts. However, it doesn't change the fact that people watch streams because their favorite streamer is a curator. You can't. What, is that? what would what you I just do if fuck? you came to the realization that your role on the internet, your job, what you do doesn't have any value? I feel like that'd be a very, that'd be quite the come to Jesus moment in your mind that would that would be a big kind of a big weighty thing oh. for you to have to deal with um uh, funny you highlight that because it's not even like isn't it if i heard like yourself or fring or such say you know my what i do has no value i would be like picking up immediately because less so to be like no yes it does i'd just be like wow you think that about the stuff that you're doing exactly but i'd be like what happened are you okay that like that what? didn't even yeah. register to me that she because like her saying that i'm like yeah of course you find no value in what you do but it's like oh her, <laughs> like, that's just the, normal to me at this point that she would just say this that. acceptance that she doesn't provide anything of value but she just carries on because money or the fame of being a streamer or she's comfy here with her fucking unmade bed and she can still rake in cash I, I the unwillingness to do real work then i don't know i'd feel bad if what i do didn't provide any value that definitely dude Wait, that would worry me i'd be like what am i no, doing with my life there's very little comfort in that yeah it is not a cathartic way to experience one's existence can't listen to chat. Chat doesn't even know what the fuck they want. Okay. Maybe it helps I don't mean to be so mean dumb. to chat. Mm -hmm. Chat does not know what they want. Okay. So yeah, like there's mm. plenty of times. I don't know why everyone was feigning ignorance as if like the algorithm always pushes you really good content that you'll always Not what Jay said. Jay said. That's you asked Jay, Jay uh, have you ever scrolled through all of YouTube recommended and not found a single video that works for you? And Jay was like, no. Which is not the same as... Oh, so they always provide, like, all the videos that are recommended are good for you. It's like, no. You, <laughs> you keep... yeah, that, is not, that is not what we call a good faith interpretation of Dude, what was said. Got it. You're fucking around with it. That is, that is so, yeah, faith. like, there's plenty of times. I don't know why everyone was feigning ignorance as if, like, the algorithm always pushes you really good content that you'll feigning always love. Ignorance. It's like, Jesus. yeah, like, I mean, you have you ever scrolled through YouTube for a while and not found a single video that you wanted to watch? Really? Really? <laughs> I mean, though, she's like constantly misrepresenting. Oh, no. <laughs> and it just makes a video. That yeah. Face is just editing. It's great. That face I like is it. representative, I would say. I do want to say that while I didn't like the video, <gasps> she, I don't want to. She made her bed! She did make the bed. <gasps> she made her bed. She made her bed. Harassment hey, towards Jay shit, at all. So please be cool. Don't do that. Thank I agree with Denims. No harassment going towards any of these people. They all stupid. Yeah, don't harass okay. them. They let them be stupid. They already live a valueless existence. There's no reason. <laughs> There's to no great There's nothing else you could do. Yeah. Thank you. Okay, cool. So why did I hate no, the dude. majority of this video? Two primary reasons. A. The content looked incredibly spite-driven with terrible optics. B. The content was repetitive. So, the main gripes with the video. Spite-driven, I believe. And it was boring. Like, wow.
This is probably a pretty oh, good video just... then, if that's all you got. Wait, <laughs> this is she's making this video after she talked to Jay. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And and said, I don't disagree with you on anything substantive. Except the point about uh, whatever the fuck they talked about briefly, okay. where Jay got really confused. Long, boring, and took way too long to get to the point. Section long, boring, A. Why Jay's video to to seems This is a spicy. video. You didn't have to say it like that. Yeah. Could have cool. Even if it wasn't. Up until the final section of the video, the majority of it is just Jay talking about how much he absolutely disliked Hassan using his content as filler content. Filler content in this context, meaning content that's being used for when a streamer is eating or is going to be walking away from the stream and not, not going to be there. Jay talks about these frustrations in the most deranged manner. In Der my the most deranged wow. manner. So this is probably Jeez. the best time to say, what what was it worth it, Jay? <laughs> like, the like... most deranged Jay, you you're these people don't deserve it. They don't deserve it. They don't deserve it. Jay has been described as most deranged, <laughs> spite driven, and most deranged. There is none other more deranged than Jay. He is the apex deranged. Mm -hmm. Nice. Jesus. Nice, nice, nice. Tumble opinion. God, Exhibit damn. A. I feel like it's it's gotta be like uh I don't know. Like someone who has a disability or something, right? Um, I'm not sure what part of this messy, weird house has made Hassan conclude, hmm, yes, only a disabled could have caused this. That's what he sounds like. <laughs> it's always it's funny. Kind of disability it's always funny. Mean. Like, I'm not even sure if he means mental or physical. What the fuck are you talking about? What's the disability that makes you go, I need to install a toilet next to my fucking- So, the frustrating part for me here is that Jay doesn't even try to give an ounce of charitability. Apparently, so this is I don't even know really how annoying because Jay was exceedingly <laughs> charitable and you weren't exactly. She's been horribly bad faith to Jay throughout I'm all of it. She's been a nasty woman, <laughs> <Deranged. laughs> and she could have said, Jay, I felt you were not being charitable to Hassan in your video. Why did she bring it up in the conversation? Oh, I right. think they actually do talk about the, oh, the disabled okay. comment briefly, yeah. but right. the, the, the fact is, all that happens is Jay just does what I've done in this video. It's like, so he said the thing, and she's like, oh yeah, but... Yeah. Oh, I think she actually pulls the card that uh, he was responding to someone in chat, and Jay said, well, uh, that definitely wasn't clear with the context, but mm -hmm. maybe. And I'm like, I'm not willing to say maybe. I'm, I'm almost certain that from the context, you can tell that Hassan was not responding to chat. He was just saying it right. as an example of like who he believes probably lived there because he's an idiot. Hassan had come back to stream and seen chat making assumptions about the homeowner because the house was so messy, to which he proceeded to say, it's possible that the homeowner could be disabled. Really hitching her wagon to this argument. Yeah, she's tried this so many times. I don't have a chair planted in front of my laundry machine just so I can watch it run, but each to their own, eh? I feel like it's it's got to be like uh, it it's got to be. I don't know. Like someone who has a disability or something, right? Like it doesn't make any sense. Oh, wait. And I don't really think it's a controversial opinion at all. Like all the yes, shit she keeps adding to what he said is so annoying. It's like you didn't say any of the shit that you're adding. Stop it. To think mm -hmm. that someone who's physically disabled wouldn't have the same abilities to keep their house clean. And I also don't think it's too controversial to say that someone with ADHD so here or we're depression... seeing the uh the the limitations of recording yourself when you're like right next to the microphone you, the microphone is in front of you yeah what's your in full yeah why bother you. like yeah. your your face is covered your mouth a very important part of your body when speaking is covered up by a microphone that you feel needs to be that close to your face when it and really you've gone through all this to that close to you it no. really doesn't. yeah you've gone through all this effort to put this stuff on your face to make you look very pretty in your hair and all that stuff and then you cover up your mouth with a microphone why what, what are you doing what are you doing here you use that microphone, what's going right? on that's how you use it i'm pretty sure 
I, well, because if you had it further away, you wouldn't have to talk in a tone that is so low that it comes across as incredibly unnatural. Yeah, uh, this sounds like a person speaking quietly yeah. that is then after the fact bumped up in volume. It's like, Doesn't sound uh -huh. natural. Guys, I'm I'm Fringy. Welcome to I'm I'm talking about today. I'm going to be talking about like the, the, this video made by Jen. It's like that's not my voice. You know, that's not that's not the that's not the volume that I speak at normally. Yeah. But it, so it sounds really awkward. It's like you're just making it harder for yourself. Move away from the microphone and just speak a little bit louder. Yeah. Don't be so. Don't try and be so performative that it takes away from a, a natural the way to carry of the, yourself. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, the performance is getting in the way also, of the performance. We, we haven't talked about it, but we've talked about it before. You get rid of all the <clears throat> all those sounds yeah. when you move further yep. away from the microphone. Do it all the time in editing. I'm like, oh, I kind of smacked my lips or whatever here. I need to go back and reshoot that little tittle of the recording because that is annoying. And plus, I don't want to look like a hypocrite. The same motivations to clean their house as someone who would be neurotypical. But instead of extending why, the why, that even- Sorry, what, what is that? Ne it's neurotypical neurodivergent, right? These are the- Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. why, why, why are these the terms now? Because implying that someone isn't normal is offensive. We have right. to come up with a special- so, neuro so it's neurodivergent is- Okay, right. The thing okay. is, typical and atypical is like normal abnormal. Well, a tip, yeah, exactly. Divergent means not normal. It means that it diverges from the mean. Yeah. So I don't, I don't know that there's any way that you can have a term that describes something that is atypical without it necessarily describing it as atypical. The fact that you need to categorize it as something in and of itself means that it's uh, all right. Whatever. Shimbo, like me, could think of J instead just assumes that Hassan is being ableist for no, he saying asks. that the homeowner Well, I mean, might you would know what it is, you would know what it means to assume things, right? Like when you assume that this mm. was all bad faith and spite driven well, and 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 the like. You just said it is a bad move to have just assumed that Hassan was being ableist. Can you think of anybody who assumed anybody was being ableist? Hmm. Um, hmm. Hmm. No, I can't think of it. And it was evident the moment that like Hassan said that like it's possible this person has a disability and instead of saying like oh like this could be true you make fun of him for it or something like which is very strange and also like low key kind of ableist of you. But this isn't the only time Jay does this. This happens a few times in the videos. Jay apparently decided to do a stream sort of mocking or satirizing Hassan's reaction to his video. Right. Previewed here, yeah. exhibit B. Similar to Jack's films, I went live but to satirize him. You were just putting it across the whole video. 800 Blue Lake Road. If we start at the entrance, you're greeted by oh. a Minions brand doormat. Well, there's really <laughs> no home is complete without. Sure, but I think we might have found the <laughs> toilet soda culprit. Here it now, comes. we go across the hall from the, the man cave, we'll find ourselves in the second bathroom of the property. <laughs> Now that you- <laughs> <laughs> Now, because I've watched the entire video, I know that Jay actually has valid points and wants something that's actually actionable. However, actually actionable. the first time I watched this, all I could think was, <laughs> holy fuck, this is so incredibly cringe. cringe. It's funny. Bad because so it wasn't <laughs> cringe when Hassan did it, but... <laughs> Wait, at what point does it become cringe? No, I think it's literally the fucking cobbled pizza she finds too cringe. I just don't even get it. It's, it's just it's, funny. It's funny. funny. It's funny. It's absurd. Was, it's funny. I thought, she, I thought she was criticizing Jay for being ableist in this segment. <laughs> no, the Implying reason this segment is playing is, is a different reason. She just took the big <laughs> time to dis just describe everything Jay did as cringe. And then if you remember... Criticisms of morons who spend five minutes of their life typing a hate comment to you. <laughs> How about just telling him not to do that instead of pulling this cringe shit? Incredibly cringe. Morons. I have been known to dabble in some Hassan YouTube Some cringe. Content, and this cringe. fucker... I'm a cringe connoisseur. ...so much. He will spend two hours on a ten minute video oh, oh no <laughs> oh, who would do such a thing man two hours of a 10 minute video huh? that'd be crazy
<laughs> what would be crazy? Is that it? You, by the way, that's her exaggerated, like, metric, you know? Like, he could go as far as that. We just said, you're like, oh. Hours. Feels like Jay was just frustrated that their video didn't elicit an excited and fun response. What? That's got what? nothing to do with <laughs> <laughs> never what Jay's point was, but okay. Out of Hassan, and that's why he made the video. Even though Jay states that they made the video for entirely different reasons. The other big part- See, she, she knows the true reason. Part of this video that feels incredibly spite-driven, lacking oh, charitability, and super low effort is what Tell I would like me. to call the reading YouTube comments section. <laughs> So let's yeah. talk about that. First point. Yeah, let's. What was that? Not understand. What was that? I, I don't know what that was. This is our edited video. This is what people do when you. It's, this is it's just edits for their own sake, I guess. Does she think that like everybody in the audience would be like, "Oh my god, he read comments"? Oh my. Wow. God. Oh my goodness gracious! I hope he. Oh no more, no more. I can't look. Ugh, reading comments. Ah, uh, uh, it tastes awful. And why Jay has decided to take any YouTube commentators seriously. Listen, okay? They're My not commentators, they're opinion. YouTube commenters. I literally do not care about but YouTube hate comments. If you are you someone do. who is spending I don't more believe you. You, you, do. You, do. you do. We will find out I about that. I, I think everybody cares a little this. bit, but yeah. In two seconds, writing a YouTube comment about why you dislike someone or something so much, I do not value or respect your opinion. It's okay wow. we make a video, okay. though. Wow. Yeah, you can make a whole video and edit it. That's fine, but to type something out in a comment section, ugh, I don't care. That's ugh. that would be the so weird thing to do. Christ. The video thing is the normal thing to do. So, oh yeah, but type just typing out something with your keyboard that they remembered to plug on. It, that well, that's ugh, I guess it's ugh, funny. Ugh. What if Hassan typed in a comment saying, "Wow, this is a pretty bad video, Denims." I might have believed that you don't you wouldn't care about that. Don't talk oh, I don't care. It's a YouTube comment. Well, she like, said if you on. spend more than five seconds writing a hate comment. So, as long as you wrote that in under five seconds, you'll be fine. Okay, right. Every single Sigma I know does not spend their time writing hate comments on YouTube videos. They simply okay. move on with their don't life care about your and meme. do things that they enjoy. They move on with their life, like you did? Mm. You moved on, but remember, it's just Jay who's chasing clout and stirring yeah. up drama, and he wouldn't let it go. Mm, Unlike no. me, I have a very principled interest in all of this stuff. Joy. Speaking and of if I may, straw man here. The point. I guess we have to explain this to Denim because she's very stupid. The entire point of Jay getting those comments and talking about them was that these were the common arguments that everyone was making, and he was just using the comments as a vehicle to explore those arguments. It has nothing mm -hmm. to do with just saying, oh, I'm reading all the comments and getting triggered. He said, you know what would be perfect is if she was in this call and she said, literally who was making those arguments? <laughs> and then you can be like, you. well, ma'am. <laughs> it's, it's priceless that she described them all as morons when she had made most of their comments. It is priceless. Add one more quick point of contention. This is unironically what most people dislike so much about Hassan. He will get stunlocked on shitters in chat for absolutely- uh, No, in our experience, he gets stunlocked on people pointing out criticism that he desperately tries to cover up and he does a really shit mm -hmm. job and ends up banning them. Yeah. Well, yeah, because I mean, it's not, it can be funny when someone's really witty and they're correct and someone in chat says something stupid and they want to jump down their throat. That can be witty funny. and correct. Uh, that's the double but when, whammy. But when, I get that. Yeah, like when it's someone says something true and he's like, oh, hey, look, you've been sub for 11 months. Fuck you, you working class Andy or something. It's like, wow. So you got really mad over something that was pretty innocuous. Yeah, um, so you betrayed true. your principles by shitting on someone. Because that's I'm not sure how many people are familiar with that quote. I can't remember where the quote comes from, but it's keep hating your life, working class Andy. It's a very interesting thing to say as a purported socialist, yeah. but <laughs> I, but. <laughs> well, remember that, remember he, we had that quote, remember when uh, someone in his chat is like, dude, I work in retail and you're saying all retail workers hate yeah. their lives. I do not hate my life. And then Hassan bans him. Yeah, like 
that, banned for not hating his life. You know what? No, I mean, that, you know what? That's that's pretty Sigma, right? Getting really oh, mad at something that an anonymous chat has said, and then banning them and yelling at them. No reason. And it is so agonizing. Do you want to know why it's agonizing? Yes, because those people know. aren't worth the time. Like you, well, it depends. If they say something that's correct, really? if they yeah. say something that's correct, it might be worth heeding their advice. I mean, why can't you just expand this to everyone you disagree with isn't worth the time? You could if you wanted but to. But of course, she's it worth the, the line. time. A YouTube comment is literally what the line is. Apparently, like if someone makes a whole video about it, you could make a stream responding to that person. But if that person is a YouTube commenter who is commenting to you directly about your work then you ignore it? Well, I, I mean, it's just funny because you can get, you can really get some pearls of, like, of course, you could get plenty of comments that are just pretty stupid and worthless, but you can get comments that are super interesting. Yeah, um, there's because absolutely someone, good people, comments out there. Absolutely. Some, yeah, because depending on the topic and depending on someone's level of expertise in chat, they're not a YouTuber, but it doesn't mean that their opinions are worthless because they may have insights into something that you're just not familiar with. And you, you know, like, I guess, obviously, if, if reading comments just degrades your mental health, then it's probably worthwhile not to do that. But if you can go yeah, in this might not be the career it, for you. Well, it's just, you can ignore can the unsubstantiated stupid comments. Well, as someone, like, you, you can just get valuable information from someone in a comment section. It happens, not often, but sometimes. Um... It's funny we're mentioning so much about this because, you know, it would be nice to look at maybe the comments on her video about Jay. Now, I say oh. this because I'm going to ask you all, don't go look. There is a section in this video that will address all of that, and it is quite oh, amusing. Oh, we don't want spoilers. No spoilers. No spoilers They are in this never stream. worth it. Now, to my next Never point. worth it. Steal never. Me. It absolutely boggles my mind that Jay decided to react to YouTube comments and not even attempt to try and steal man any of them. Exhibit A. I'm not the biggest Hassan fan, but I feel a lot of streamers just watch random videos to react to while they eat, so I don't feel like it's that bad that he does this. Everyone's doing it, so it's okay. Um, That's what they said, I, yeah. I think it's bad that everyone's doing this, but also this is literally just an appeal to popularity fallacy. Um, next. Nailed it. Nothing yeah, that's what do. the comment said. Mm -hmm. That 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 um, is what the comment said. If the comment was trying to say anything else, they fucked up royally. They failed at that, yeah. They managed Mission to failed. almost perfectly make yeah, exactly what Jay had mentioned. Instead of making an actual attempt to try and engage with this comment, then you they do instead it. just make fun mean. of it in the- She did earlier, remember? She was like, oh, what they mean is that the streamer does this because they need to eat. <laughs> and it's like, well, yes. no, because the way that the argument is formed, it's that a lot of streamers are doing it. So I don't feel like it's bad that he does this. Worst way possible? Any person who attempted for even a moment would realize that this person is probably saying, a lot of streamers have downtime where they need to eat or use the restroom to play videos to retain that viewers. That is an interesting- I think calling out Hassan specifically- That's just making a new comment. Yeah, this is a new argument. Well, so, so, new so argument. something, because I already see where it's going, where they're like, oh, you know, why are you calling out Hassan specifically instead of broadly? So Hassan did it. So that's the reason why he's being called out specifically, but also Jay does attack the broader trend. Well, yeah, so the argument she's actually bringing up right now is something that Jay does address later. But the thing is, this one's been made by Hassan, Irrelevant, and Denims. The idea that loads of yeah. people are doing it. So of course Jay has to address it. And the simple answer is, I don't fucking care how many people are doing it, it's wrong. Mm-hmm. React content on some level seems to come off as spite driven. Instead, Jay takes this straw man <laughs> for no reason. Not a straw man, it's the literal interpretation. What are you supposed to do with that? And so, yeah, if that's not what circle, your point is, be a better commenter. Back to point A. Why are you spending any time at all on YouTube comments if you're not even going to try and glean something of value from them? Because finally, you already told me the there's second. nothing of value in them. They're you, not worthy yeah, of response. Yeah, you said this. There's nothing <laughs> in them. To... Said that's a fool's errand. The fuck? Denims. Which one is it? Is this, are we I'm... seriously getting two statements from Denims that don't quite match up? What in the world? Uh, it Who seems could have expected like... this? <laughs> at Mola, she doesn't know what words mean. Look at the state of chat right now. They, they, <sighs> they, 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 <laughs> it's been a tough one, chat. 
You hag it there. I would like to show you guys Jay's alternatives to using filler content that somebody else made. Well, he there gave are many, plenty of other ways I to mean, take downtime, which isn't just presenting it as filler content. Someone made that, and it was probably pretty important to them. It wasn't filler in their world. Well, so she's like to use it as filler content is kind of what she's referencing, which is yeah. annoying as fuck. Something I should have to explain to anyone. If you're a streamer and you reach a point in your stream where you feel that for whatever reason you're unable to fully entertain your audience by yourself, here are a few things you can try. Bring on a guest who can do most of the talking while you're away. This highway code applies to England, Scotland and Wales. The highway code is essential reading for everyone. Play something made by a creator who you know is happy for their content to be used in this way. Play your own streams or content. Just fucking end the stream, holy shit. Now listen, I actually respect the first two statements. If you know you're going to be away from the stream for more than a few minutes, you probably could bring on a guest or you could get pre-planned, pre-approved filler content. However, I don't know why Jay tacks on the that, point idiot? about ending stream as if any streamer would because ever Because you don't do deserve that. money if you're not working. There, she said, boom, as get if any as if any streamer would, would do that. Um, we have ended stream before because one of the three of us is desperate to eat something to go to sleep or is completely exhausted. That is something that's happened mm -hmm. before. It is not a moment where I go, why we end. you know, the three of us can go and get our food or go to sleep or whatever. I'll just play some J videos and it'll be fine. Because fucking end stream. What are you, what are you, crazy? End that's crazy. Uh, you guys Friends. are suckers. Yes. Just give me money for not working. You care about principles and morals and values and producing a good show. <laughs> So, um, Denims does not speak for all streamers, nor ever should that be a position she fills. Uh, we've got plenty of streamers who will stop their stream when they feel they have to deal with life stuff. Ever. And this is what I mean when I say it's completely reasonable that people who watch this viewed it as a clout sharking, bitter, spiteful. Stop trying to justify it's the it's interpretation it's that you want. Yeah, so she just called herself completely reasonable. <laughs> I'm sorry. How did how did you get Clout Shark from him suggesting maybe end your stream if you need to eat food? How's that? Go? What's Clout? Okay. Video telling streamers to end their stream. <laughs> Insanity. When they need downtime, and then saying, Take "Yeah, some downtime means work. not streaming." Holy shit! Now. Downtime is not working. You're not working. You're having downtime. These are two different things. You want to double dip. You want them both. I oh, want yes. to get money from you, but I want to not do anything. You want to be paid for not working. And that, that's not the way the world is, nor should it be that way. Just use an AFK screen? Dude, these people, they find that like sacrilegious. They're like, how dare you suggest an AFK screen? Fuck you is not the most conducive method in convincing conducive. streamers, or anyone for that matter, that using- No, just you. You and your weird set just of people you. that have trouble with all of this. Filler content without prior permission is wrong. So for some reason, Jay decides to include a 10 minute section where he just watches Hassan's reaction to his video and critiques how he didn't like it. And I don't know why he does Why this. did he not like Besides it? the fact that did he, he give wanted to do it. Uh, Jay said, let's have a look at the reaction Hassan served up as the example, the point that we'll be making. And then goes through the okay. four main pieces of commentary. Yeah, that includes I mean. this shit. Yeah, because I'm sure, I'm sure Jay elaborated on why. I know she would thinks that it's just either spite driven or some nonsense Clout like that, shot. but I'm like, certain that Jay gave a reason. Hmm. I mm. think very easily if he was trying to prove a point that Hassan didn't react hard enough or that he was using it as filler content, all he had to do was show a clip of Hassan walking off the stream for four minutes and then coming back and saying too very much. little. He doesn't have the whole video inside of it. He doesn't have the whole fucking video. I wonder if you can guess the point I'm making here. G says too much. R relevant says not enough. It's like you can't win. Mm -hmm. Uh, here it is. Okay, is this it? It's XPC's old house. No, I've fucking seen XPC. Eight thousand eight hundred. Oh, here we go. 
Thank you, Chatter. I am here for investigative purposes, okay? I'm a journalist. I'm a political journalist, all right? I'm here for investigative purposes, all right? I need to make sure that the content stays untainted. So don't tell me to react harder, you fucking wax. Uh, he's yeah. such a Instead, TV liar. he does this. And now, because Hassan is our primary example, let's take a look at the reaction he served up to some of my content. And while we're doing it, let's see how he compares to Jinx. 8,800 Blue Lick Road is a three-bedroom house that you can go on a 3D virtual- This goes on for 11 minutes. This goes on oh. for 11 minutes. Oh no. Tour of right now, if you're interested in purchasing it. And I think that there's two main problems with this. A, it detracts from the video a lot. It makes the video about his personal grievances with Hassan uh, instead of a video about the general state of React content on Twitch. And the second problem is just, I think it's unnecessary. It adds absolutely nothing to the video. You it's don't think very... that your job is necessary. You Maybe. don't think your job is necessary. You think that you have a valueless job. So I don't care what you have to say about whether his video has a purpose or not. Get a life. The opening of Jay's video is all about there being a problem with React styles and it started on YouTube at one point, got crushed, and now it's building up on Twitch. That's like the whole intro. And then we use Hassan as an example. You complete that section and Jay gives him like a, a almost scores the reaction and then is like, why is this bad? And then explains why and then looks at counter arguments to that. Like the video is very structured. He can't tell though. He doesn't know what that looks like boring i didn't want to watch it and i was forced to watch it and it just ends up coming off to watch as it. unintentionally petty yeah so what was jay's point in total hassan ended up not even spending two minutes talking as he let my 14 minute video play in full he's very clearly leaning on my video to entertain his audience for him in this situation this is the downtime he has no choice but to take because of his choice to stream for 13 hours a day jinx definitely did worse in the matter of actually adding something to the content but neither of them have done well at all jinx at the very least did shout out the original video and put a link to it in his description it's even right at the top of his description so you don't have to click show more to see it good stuff link to the original video is in the description if you just want to see some random it adds absolutely nothing to the video it's very boring i didn't want to watch it and i was, was forced to watch it and it just ends up coming off as an unintentionally petty jay's so chill i just disagree he's so chill jay's now, there is some genuinely good stuff in this video, like really good stuff in this video, but you have to get to the very end of it, which I did for you guys. Like the wow, you watched the video. Thank you so much for watching a video for me to give me this shit. This is just this crapped out commentary on it. Our Thanks hero, so much. our cur cur curator. I'm so glad that you did that for me. A streamer could feel do special. Is to show the content creator and the video title on screen and post the link in chat after watching it. It really just isn't that much of a hassle to give credit where credit is due, especially when you're using it as entertainment for your stream. All right, cool, yay. That was a really nice short little section, great. Now, moving on to the depressing category. Aww. Category two, filler content. Okay, so one of the more interesting like distinctions that. made in this know. video is about the, the comedy between chasm the between Jay and her is I know, mad. right? It's not fair. <laughs> they they she, shouldn't even she, be compared. She's not attempting comedy. She's just putting in sound effects randomly. It's fun, though. Isn't it fun? This is fun. like draining my life force. Why Why did you? Why are we watching this? It's just <laughs> no, don't horrible. let it drain your life force. That's how she That's survives. how she wins. She convinces you that you need someone to click next on the video. No, no, yeah, you're you're right. Oh my god, <laughs> it all makes sense. She, you start watching her stream. She drains your life force with her fucking vapid denseness, and then you're too tired to click away from her stream. And you're like, somebody change the video. She's like, don't worry, I got you, fam. That is interesting. She's both vapid and dense at the same time. I yes. know. How is that possible? I think like, it's like the life force gets sucked in and just gets consumed and repelled out as a message of come here for sustenance and then ne it's never provided. She is the energy vampire from uh, what we do in the shadows. We found her. Mm -hmm. Traditional react content and filler content. Traditional react content, aka content that's transformative or add something to the video because of the reactions versus filler content. 
aka content that streamers use when they need to take a break to use the bathroom or get food. Now, why do I think that this is a worthwhile distinction? Because the complaint of this video is not simply react harder as so many people have made it out to be. He literally did say react harder. The complaint is more so react at all. And I think it's incredibly fair for a content creator to not want their content. It's kind of incredible that she said that. None she of them, said it out loud. Yeah, a lot of them just never seem to address that. They constantly run to react harder instead of react at all. Is she complaining that Jay is making more than one point in a video? She's definitely going to try and explain how Jay did everything wrong. ...to be used as filler content. And I think it gets to the heart of the problem. This is something that all streamers, or at least all big streamers, do. Eventually, if you're going to be streaming for five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten hours, you're going to need downtime. For most- No, reality, not five hours, certainly. Uh, or even six, I'd say. I was going to say, we're up to eight. eight more than that. That's not, even, that's not even true at that point. You don't have to just use other people. You can't- You don't just get to steal shit because you want to keep making money while you're not working. Why not, though? Yeah, why not? streamers that town time means a drop in viewership streamers are disincentivized from leaving the stream for more than a few seconds without putting something you are disincentivized why, from stealing why from... stop there fuck it why stop there what about when you're sleeping at night what what about then yeah, why you get a drop in viewers at night when you're sleeping mm -hmm. Just, well why why shouldn't i give me a principle give me any reason why I can't just have someone else's video play as filler in between when I'm in front of the webcam. Why Why stop there? Why stop at that? Why can't I do it while I'm sleeping? Give me a reason. Well, Rang, that's... I shouldn't do that because... It takes longer than half an hour, which is the cap. Do you think that you can just steal people's shit to get paid while you're not working during the day? Then what does it matter if the sun's up or down? Yeah, what if you rag six like really quick naps, half an hour naps, uh, every hour? <laughs> Wakes up every half an hour. That was a good video, guys. Here's the next one. Yep. Going on to entertain chat. Does that mean it's okay to use filler content without people's permission? No. That's no. not what I'm saying. No. It's never okay. What I am saying is, I think it's fucked up that streamers essentially steal content oh. and use it as back. Interesting. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's fucked up. Okay. Or don't want to entertain chat. However. However, I also recognize it's probably never going to stop oh. happening. Oh, it's Twitch. gonna stop, honey. Uh -oh. It's gonna fucking stop. Oh my corporation God. says, Twitch, get your shit together, or we will sue your ass into oblivion. And then it's gonna be like YouTube, where you have to tiptoe around on broken glass every time you do something like this. And sister, that is a world you are not fucking prepared for. You are not ready for that. You don't know what it's like. You're not ready for that. It is a new world. I just like the pretty much everyone in chat and, and us were just like when she says the part of like it is bad. It's like, but okay, like what what you know what's the follow up? Uh, the follow up here was it's not stopping. Like oh, well, the follow up seems to be it's not going to stop until Twitch forces us to stop. So I'm not going to stop because I don't give a fuck about moral morality or principles or anything. I require some external force, some daddy to come in and tell me not to do something that I know is wrong. And I just admit it is fucked up. She knows it's wrong, but... Eh, you know. But incentives, though. Incentives. She cracks down on it. I mean, literally a month ago, streamers were playing anime in their entirety. That's fucked until up. Until... Someone got banned. How is that different? So I guess from my final Hell's Kitchen. Oh, that's in its bad to do. I can tell you how that it's is different. a bad thing to do. It's different to Hell's Kitchen because Hell's Kitchen doesn't have the same copyright protections. <laughs> there you go. Because they don't give a fuck. Yeah, so it's about what can I get away with? Not what's right, not what's moral, not what's mm -hmm. principled, right. not what's pride in my work, because you doesn't fucking know what that is. So she's a child. It's what can I get away with? This is that toxic, horrible attitude that le it's like I was talking last week about the, the beer commercial stuff. And, and mm -hmm. yeah, th it's the exact same thing. 
it's this is the opposite mentality and it's going to come down like a ton of bricks and if it doesn't it'll be a miracle if for whatever reason these massive companies just allow twitch streamers to make twitch money by just streaming their content i'm shocked it's gone on this long i don't well, know it never should have gotten this far it's unreal that it did final point on yeah i don't know why is I just think that if Jay's video was structured a bit better and maybe some of these positives were put in the front of the video, people oh. might have been more convinced that there is a real problem and that the video isn't just a complaint about React harder. But the instead... only people who had a problem with this are crazy people. This <laughs> Jay's video is a litmus test for reasonability. Yes. Because of the way test. that it is structured, yeah. that's exactly what happened. Now, when I cover other people's work like this, there are a few kinds of etiquette that I feel it's important to stick to. Basically, don't take the piss. In a reaction video, the reactor should still be adding stuff and creating content of their own. Otherwise, what's the point of watching their reaction over the original? So this is what she was talking about, the distinction between filler and uh, react content video the content that the reactor creates should be at least different enough from the original work that they have created something of their own. <laughs> right at Sorry. the beginning do these people think that filler content as they call it is a commercial break no no no, no. It's, it's almost like you're looking at it backwards she's saying that we have a piece of content and we can use it as filler or we can transform it that's what she's saying and obviously our issue with them is when they use it as filler which is that they just put it on and they walk off or eat or whatever um that's what she means when she refers to it as filler content. I just, I'm, I'm baffled by the fact that Jay, like, you know, preloads the video with all the stuff she wants, and she just doesn't fucking remember this. It's so stupid. I just think that if Jay's video was structured a bit better, and maybe some of these positives were put in the front of the video, yeah. people might have been more convinced that there is a real problem, yeah, and that the video isn't just a complaint <laughs> about React harder. I think Jay makes this crucial mistake of trying to compare Jinx, a React YouTuber, to Hassan, a React streamer. For those who haven't watched Jay's video, there's like 10 minutes dedicated to explaining the React meta on YouTube many years ago, and he uses the example of Jinx and compares it to the modern Twitch streamers that react to content today, like Hassan. And I think it's a fundamentally flawed analogy. I would I'd like to try to, to argue why. that people who watch React content on Twitch are separate from the group of people that watch React content on YouTube. I'm arguing this based on two very Except for the times factors. they're the same people, Factor but number whatever. One, Twitch chat versus YouTube comments. So Twitch, oh what, what are we doing? What are we doing? Oh what is gosh. this? To bring up the community tech. changes the experience argument, isn't yep. it? For the first point, I know for a fact that my viewing pleasure of a stream is greatly increased by the quality and humor of a live chat that I can read and participate in. Okay. You can't listen to chat. Chat doesn't even know what the fuck they want. And while yes, there are mm -hmm. some really funny streamers on Twitch, I'd argue some of these chats might be equally as funny, if not funnier than the streamer most of the time. Jesus Christ. And I think other viewers what would agree that having a live chat completely changes the viewing experience usually for the better there just simply isn't anything like this in a youtube react video what about live chat or premiere chat yeah exactly do you Talk, do you think she doesn't how youtube works do you think she doesn't know about those because they're relatively to, new the thing we're doing right a, now yeah like denims you can premiere videos and that gives them a live chat on YouTube. <laughs> you idiot. I can't possibly. <sighs> You've made a video about this. This could be edited. This is the part you're supposed to cut out, as you said, because it's dumb. You made a video, a video video for this. You did some light editing around what you normally do. That's a good. Well, <laughs> and then didn't but check? think that, like, trace through her argument. So, if you're watching some content for the chat and not the streamer, and the chat is the only transforming part of the content, why is the chat, the, the chat's just getting ripped off, basically? They're doing all the work. The streamer's doing nothing. Yeah, the streamer still loses in this, like, morally, so I don't even know how this is a defense. It's not. 
I guess you kind of have the comment sections, but to be honest, I've only ever checked the comment sections if I really disliked a video. She, she doesn't know about live chats. I guess. Like, well, she chat, doesn't know how chat. to fucking equalize know you exist. Audio, so chat. should we be shocked? She's, she's just to the left of you on screen. She doesn't even know about you. You're like a secret. <laughs> <laughs> and a live chat, on the other hand, actually adds some real value to <laughs> a reaction. <laughs> real value? <laughs> <laughs> this is unreal. The fucking comment section in YouTube is clearly less valuable than the live chat on Twitch. Like, what? How did you figure this out? What? What was the metric that you decided YouTube comments suck and Twitch chat is great? I'm sure there's no bias here. Act stream. Whereas I'd argue that a YouTube comment section, 99.99% .99 of the time, adds absolutely nothing to the original YouTube React video. And your Twitch stream does? She's, she's genuinely wrong. If you look at, like, especially after a decent amount of time, the top paragraph level comments underneath basically any video on YouTube, a lot of it will usually add to the topic or have a correction or an appreciation mm -hmm. about what the video has done. The idea that it adds nothing, while Twitch chat, on the other hand, oh... Twitch chat, just the best. Everyone knows Twitch chat changes the whole video experience. I absolutely value the comments on YouTube videos. I will I will read them as I listen to the video. I will click on a video and I will get what people are saying, what they think about it. If I mean I start, I read our comments all the time. I want to see what people think about our stuff. She's full of shit. She has I, no idea what she's talking about. She is full of shit. She doesn't know what the fuck she's talking about. Okay. But I boy, is she confident about it. I have a brilliant idea. We should open our own movie theater. We okay. don't pay the studios right. for any of the movies. We just steal them. We just make copies and steal them. But the way we get around this is that when you buy a ticket to our theater, you get a little code that you can punch into your phone. And so when you watch the movie, a giant annoying chat window <laughs> appears right on the right oh. side of the giant movie screen. And it's all the fucking people in the audience can type in all the dumb shit they want while the movie's playing. Oh, yeah. And then when we get sued, we say, but the chat transforms the movie experience, Your Honor. It's well, different. The one thing you're missing is every once in a while a thing comes up, big animation with fireworks that says, you know, like, like Sniper Ghost 333 has subscribed. And then it's someone's voice <laughs> just going, uh, Sniper Ghost 333, thank you. Thank you so much. No, no, no. In, in the middle of the tear jerking scene where like the main character's love interest is dying, you hear the robot voice say, Oh well, oh well, one 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 Hey, don't forget the little Pepe faces bouncing around like a oh, yes, shaker. we need that too. Gotta have those. Those are great. You see, and then you've transformed the I could totally see a courtroom being like, You've ruined the video, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> I guess it's transforming, right? And again, I want to be clear. I am in also chat. Don't panic too much. We are forty six twenty eight into a fifty three fifty six video. So it's almost over. You're getting okay. there. Seven minutes ish. No way saying that chat alone can make the content transformative. I am only saying that chat can help push oh, okay. people to choosing to watch content on Twitch rather than watching the content by themselves No, I want YouTube. that shit on my screen. Go Dude, away. she just well, but... argued accidentally for how this is bad. She just said, like, Twitch chat yeah. will make it so that people will choose to watch the video through a streamer than on its own. Yeah. So, okay, so, that's so fine. Not it's the not the point you want to be making. Yeah, she's just added a point to our team. Thank you for that yeah, one. Yeah, that's not thanks <laughs> a lot. We'll pop that in our shitty. arsenal. Thanks. I'm glad you put your nice dress on to make a point for us. That's really kind of you. I mm -hmm. enjoyed the presentation there. It was very good. Brilliant. So moving on to point number two, React Ooh. streamers acting as curators. This is not a point, so but go thing, ahead. One thing, <laughs> sort of. One thing that you do when you edit videos, she doesn't know this because she doesn't know anything about YouTube, but if you're going to type out in text factor number two, then don't say point number two. Yeah. You want your, your words and the text to match somewhat, you know? It's generally generally something, but then I'm not a Twitch streamer, so maybe they do it differently. I was going to say, what would you know? Weirdo. You, yeah. you, you just do YouTube. You don't know anything. Essentially, I want to argue that viewers are actively choosing to watch content on Twitch instead of YouTube for a variety of reasons. I, for one, know that the YouTube algorithm has a terrible habit of not showing you stuff outside of your usual viewing habit. It must get really annoying 
the way that her right she's got those big ass fake eyebrows right the way that the right one you know uh, her right oh hits God. the hits the bottom of her hair all the mm -hmm. time yeah you see like it really bugged because i i've got long hair i know it's it can be very annoying to have long hair sometimes but with those brows con every time you uh, it's eyelashes, rubbing against right? your own hair right now you have to feel that you know it's happening you, you mean eyelashes right not brows yeah, 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 yeah. Eyelashes. Okay. My bad, my bad. Her her eyebrows are, are legit, totally. But her eyelashes are the one they're the ones going up and down, right? Mm -hmm. That's gotta be annoying. And she she suffers through it for us to look very lovely. And but man, I'm just like, gosh, if that was happening to me, I just rip the damn things off and like, get out of my life. I don't need you. My well, yeah, I, my you natural eyelashes. Whenever are you fun. you stop maybe blinking a couple times per second, you don't want to lift off. You know, you want to you want to. That's true. You don't want to generate lift and accidentally float away <laughs> and appear as Hassan might appear with an empty chair. <laughs> maybe that's why her bed is constantly unmade. She makes it here, but she ends up lifting off and flying back so much and landing on the bed that it gets messed up. That's got to be it. Just the, just the sheer it. wind force from her eyelashes yeah. just knock all the sheets off. Yeah, the cat gets blown around. I can't Stop count thinking. the number of times that content creators I found through Twitch I would have never found through YouTube because it's so drastically different from the content that I habitually consume on YouTube. Or how about when you're scrolling? It's so interesting that she's so sure of that when she couldn't possibly know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's like, all right. You, you said it. And she said that, like, recommended will only really give you stuff you're interested in, never things, like, outside of that that's new. It's like, sorry, that's not true. Recommended sometimes throws stuff in there where I'm like, what is that? And it's like, right. just a video that's getting around everybody's recommended somehow because it hit the algorithm, that sort of shit. This is all so irrelevant. All, all he had to do was give Jay some fucking credit <laughs> and not be an asshole about it when Jay called him out on it. And we're only two thirds into the fucking. Remember, the third one's the worst one. Going through your YouTube homepage and literally. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, no, no. Oh, you mean the third video for next week? Yeah, this was two parts of one video. Okay, my heart just dropped. I thought you meant there was another video. <laughs> no, I'm not no. watching another video after this one. No. You get a whole week to recharge. Save for you, chat. Don't worry. No, I, do. I am streaming for 12 hours tomorrow. I have no recharge time. Uh, <laughs> well, have you considered like filler content? Have you, you considered out? filler right. content? Nothing looks interesting, or you're feeling too lazy to keep looking for something that does look interesting, or when you just want like a 10 minute video so you can have something while you're eating, but instead, YouTube is literally only recommending you three hour videos about why Rebecca Sugar is a fascist. That, but that, that's wrong. That's not what YouTube's doing. It's you're just lying. insane. It's like, not what YouTube's doing. You're lying. All of us here have used this fucking site for so long that here being like, oh man, you know when you go to like All or Home or Recommended and every video is three hours long about Re Rebecca Sugar, you're like, what do you... No. That's not... No. That is not indicative of reality. You are lying. That is not true. This is why when Jay I... was like, no, and then she was like, okay, being unreasonable. I pretty much exclusively only watch YouTube stuff through recommendeds. It's very rare that I go to something specifically just because my recommendeds are numerous and it, I mean, I know myself pretty well, I guess is kind of what I mean. Recommended so, is usually pretty good. It's pretty darn good. Which is it why is this pretty whole darn good. Curator horse shit just doesn't match up because YouTube already has a system for that and it's literally algorithmically proven to try and get you what you want. Do you know what solves all of those problems for viewers? A good Twitch stream. That doesn't even make sense. Jeez. What if you watch a video Desperate that- Desperate to give herself value. Oh, I know, right? But look, at, let's just pretend for a second that I'm just doing my stream and I'm like, guys, we're gonna, we're gonna fucking steal some videos today. I'm interested in Simpsons. We're gonna watch Simpsons Breakdown. Someone in chat's like, I fucking don't care about Simpsons. I'm out. It's like, oh, whoops. Me as a curator, I've not, I've not done a good job there, have I, Denims? I fucked up. Well, and, and also like in the, the olden days, okay, the pre-internet days, if you curated a bunch of different acts, you know, for content, you would pay those people money from the money you would make as the curator. No. This is just fucking stealing. No. It's basically, I'm choosing what to put in my museum 
come to my museum and pay me. Pretty much, yeah. Yes. And I want to be clear, I'm not saying that this adds value to the content at all. I am only arguing that these are reasons why people actively choose to go to Twitch. Dude, I could make a whole list of reasons why people do this. It doesn't change the fact that it's bullshit. Yes. Over YouTube. And I want to illustrate that by pointing out something very important. Viewers are incredibly lazy. And yes, that means you, whichever stream has a chat that is currently watching this, yes, you no uh hey EFAP chat how you doing <laughs> she's calling you Lazy out fucks. um it's such a weird comment to make chats are lazy it's like oh what does that even mean <laughs> i don't know <laughs> i don't know what she's saying no one is free from sin companies will literally dump thousands of dollars if not millions of dollars to make their platforms as user friendly as possible yes For you know example, what twitter only dropped thousands of dollars on this one why would you say that <laughs> of course they spent millions of dollars on these things. making it as user friendly as possible does she mean as intuitive and smooth and fast well sorry i mean you websites are... will and try very hard to make the U UI as user-friendly But it's not to possible. account for laziness, yeah. it's just to give you the, the quickest no, and easiest and most efficient experience. Well, it's not really about laziness, it's, it's much more so about people's capacity to understand the functionality of their platform. I remember there was a, a yeah. bit in Silicon Valley that was talking about this, where they tested their, uh, their program with developers, and all the developers fucking loved it but of course they did because developers are familiar with the technology but then when it was introduced to regular people they had no idea how to use it yeah um and that was just a point that they made in that show it's like yeah you need to think about who you're yeah you need to think about who's going to be using this platform and you need to make it as easy for them as possible if someone needs to be redirected directed three different times just to subscribe to a streamer, the chance of them subscribing drops drastically. If you want someone to do something, unfortunately, the reality is the more steps you force them to take, the less likely they are to do it. What the fuck are we doing right now? What is, what are we what is your argument? About? So, what the fuck does this have to do with Twitch versus okay. YouTube? That's a great... Thank you. <laughs> yeah, thank That's you. That's a great question. That I'm trying to make. Yeah. If someone primarily watches content on YouTube, there are mm -hmm. less steps for them to take to watch your specific content on YouTube. They've already overcome the first hurdle, which is making their way to YouTube.com. Whereas someone who watches content... Jesus hurdle. Christ, man. Making hurdle. their way to YouTube.com. The big first step. You're like, are we babies? What the hell is this? primarily on Twitch, is way less likely to have gone to YouTube and looked for your content to watch. Let's say in a hypothetical where a streamer uploads their reaction to, let's say, a prank video, and their reaction adds a total of 30 seconds to the runtime. Now, a random YouTube user looks up epic prank video, and what do they see? They see two videos. The first is XQC reacts to epic prank, and the second is the original video epic prank. The unfortunate reality is that if the viewer likes XQC even a little bit, they are always going to click on the reaction video I, and probably I, rarely going always. to click on it. That, that's actually a always. very, that's a big claim to make. They will always, well, even if they like him a little bit. But if we can be clear here, first of all, I don't agree with this. Secondly, this helps us a lot. Yeah, it does, because yeah. it highlights the problem, which is that like people that don't before. get traction from this, what you do. Cause they never get the traction because they'd rather watch XQC react to it than. Well, yeah, just saying, like, new Kenobi trailer. Do I want to watch that or do I want to watch XQC react? Like, fuck XQC. I want the trailer. He's just making arguments why these fuckers shouldn't be doing what they're doing. What does this even have to do with Jay's video, though? <laughs> well, I, I I'm assuming know. we're going to find defense? out. So I can't remember this anymore. I don't know what okay. she's about to say. The original video. And that, to me, feels like really true stolen viewership. In the okay. example I'm highlighting, this user okay. has already overcome two major hurdles in finding your content. They're already on the website you create content, YouTube, oh, and they're already looking no. up content that you make. Ah, so the point will be that on Twitch, they're not doing either of those things, so it's fine. It's okay to uh, steal on Twitch if long as it's from a different platform. Oh. I, yeah, yeah, kind of what you had mentioned before, be... yeah. Oh, 
it's okay for me to watch it because it is less likely that they would have found it organically. Is that the point? Yep, that's the so point. So I can artificially steal it. It's got. So, it's nothing again, to do with the action it itself. It doesn't matter. It, it, for it's, them, it's about transforming the content. That's it. Yeah, but like that's all that there is to it. The act of them being incredibly fucking lazy isn't relevant to them. It's like, no, I need to know that consequently that I hurt somebody. Unless I did, if you can, if I can prove that I didn't at all, then my actions are totally fine. It's like, again, comes back to the whole, you have no pride, you have no shame. You just, at all. None of that's ticking in there, I guess. God Literally stealing damn. shit. But it's like, yeah, but if, if we had those two universes running, where she reacts to Jay's content, and Jay's views go up by like one because of that, and then it would have gone up by zero because of it had she never reacted. She's like, well, therefore I've done a good. And it's like, if you left the stream the whole time, I don't care if Jay got a billion views, you fucking suck. Whereas I'd argue that the people watching react content on Twitch might not actually be your target audience, and we're probably might. unlikely to be looking They're for people. your content might. on YouTube. I would try like, it's not like we're exhausting the amount of humans who are coming into the audi potential audience, you know? It's not like, oh, you've exhausted everyone on YouTube, but Twitch is a market that you would never hit anyway, so we're going to take it. Don't worry. Well, and also, the only, like, if people on Twitch couldn't do this, then maybe they fucking would be going over to YouTube and looking for these things to watch instead of watching some talentless hack sit in the corner of a screen and add nothing of value. Yeah, man, if they had to add content, like coverage and stuff, instead of just letting things play, and some viewers might just be like, I actually preferred it when it was just videos. I should just watch the videos. <laughs> and lightly compare it to hot tub streamers and the rage against them. There is a misconception that hot tub streamers are stealing viewership from other streamers, when the reality is those are probably two separate market segments altogether. The people watching Fucking, I have nothing to say about that. I, I, I have not looked into the metrics for hot tub streamers versus yeah, regular I, streamers, and I don't care. I That is another world that I'm not part of and don't care to be a part of. React content on Twitch are probably not the same category of people who are going to actively look for your specific content on Doesn't YouTube. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. It's irrelevant. I mean, like, and plus, this isn't your decision to make. Yeah, she has no idea. No, She's already admitted this is a might, not necessarily. All these words yeah, to well, mean, yeah, I have no you, idea. You have no idea. You get and to remember, hide safety in the safety of this vague possibility. When Jay said, I have no idea for sure, she disagreed. But now in this video, she's saying, I don't know. It's like, God, you can't keep it all straight. <laughs> it's just, it's all tangled. And in case I didn't say it enough, that doesn't mean streamers doing this is okay or ethical. So or why are you bothering with any of this? And then why are you even bothering? Yeah. Or legal at all. I am simply stating what I believe to be the truth about people who go to watch Twitch streams react. No and finally, it means nothing though. Conclusion. You just admit it means nothing because it has nothing to do with the principles or the legality or anything. Mm -hmm. I guess my final notes, I wish the video was just structured a little bit better because the good points of the video are completely overshadowed by the bad no, points aren't. of the video no, and aren't. make the video seem way more spike-driven. You haven't even highlighted that. You didn't even say that there were bad points, really. All that you said is it was spike-driven and repetitive. Yeah, well, Jay made the same points over and over again. So that and then makes them bad, them. I guess. That's repetitive and boring, and then spike-driven because Jay said that Hassan was being an ableist. Hmm. No, this is just, maybe it's me personally. I really don't like when you see someone on stream or you see a video and they act like one way, like in their video, she, you know, she's all calm and proper and let me, I'm just explaining it to you. But then when she's on stream, she's like, fuck this guy, this guy's a moron, he's an idiot. Like completely 180 personality wise. Well, I would, I would argue we had three different versions of her, uh, the stream, the conversation with Jay and this video. Yeah. Well, this video, her her tone is the same in her conversation with Jay. I, like, I think this one's a bit like, different. Nice. She holds herself as peacefully as she did in a conversation with Jay, but she's right. almost as filled with venom as she was in the live version. Yeah, that's Absolutely true. Absolutely a snake. A lot of toxic femininity here. Oh, yeah. Actually is, in my humble opinion. Not to mention that the I lack of separation between personal grievances about Hassan and general comments about React streamers on Twitch as- That's something you projected into the video. Jay made sure to use Hassan as an example of a problem in Twitch.
as a whole mm -hmm. makes the video really hard to watch. I am the least biased person because I am both a React streamer on Twitch and someone who makes pre-prepared content on YouTube. <laughs> Uh, you, Can you, you believe she just said that? that? She's the least biased. You least biased. <laughs> Jesus. Oh. Like a streaming hell's oh. kitchen. Just like whatever. So weird because Bringy streams on Twitch, and he makes content that's reactions on YouTube, and he makes prepared YouTube content. Bringy, you, you by her metrics, you're the least biased too. Do you agree with her? Least biased, but didn't remember she said that I would have been because I was one of the people in Jay's video. Who agreed with him? Oh right, you don't count um, your J friend. That's right. Mm -hmm. Yes, because yeah, right. And I mean, of course, there might there's no bias from Denim, somebody who does the thing that Jay was criticizing in the video, and someone who is desperately John, trying to get Hassan's we're attention. We're so close to the end. I see the light at the top. We are get close to the here. end. Get me out of here, please. Remember, she is the least biased. Okay. There's no reason why she would have any bias nope. in relation to all of us. <laughs> no investment in legitimizing no. this form of content theft. Let's call it what it is. Unbiased. I think personally that the coverage has been objective, fair, and insightful. That's what oh, I boss. You can Yo. see her mouth moving a lot, but she's just chewing, so it, don't worry. <laughs> And no bias. Oh, uh, Denim, next time, can you please just end the stream? Can you please just end the stream? I am the least biased person because I am both a React streamer on Twitch and someone who makes pre-prepared content on YouTube. Thank okay. you for your time. I hope you had a great day watching this, and I it hope I day. made some points some people agreed with. Thank it you was for a day. You didn't make points you agreed with. It's time. But comment, showcase. Yay, oh, no. We're here. We're at Comet Showcase. Kappa. Oh. Mega lol. What does YouTube Mold. have to say? First, you got old Jay. I would suggest oh, wow, we talk about that. this again, Denims. Or not. You seem pretty locked in on all of this, so it might be entirely pointless. Ultimately, considering your position beforehand, I suppose you are saying there are good points in the video, but you just don't like bits of it is a relatively good result. <laughs> Jay still being oh, too Jay. nice. <laughs> oh, 56 Jay. up votes. Yep. What else we got? Because of course this is gonna be a nice little selection of comments. Uh All who, right. who wants to take if this? If you one? are someone who spends more than two seconds writing a YouTube comment about why you dislike someone or something so much, I do not value or respect your opinion. A bit hypocritical saying that in a twenty-four minute video about how much you dislike <laughs> Jay's video. Yep, that's yeah. that's what we concluded. That's an accurate observation. The disability point, I think, is on Hassan. He should have explained his point better, so there was no ambig ambiguity as to what he was trying to communicate. But of course, it's Hassan, and he doesn't explain himself. And of course, he gets a pass on everything he says because it's Hassan. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, a lot of defense yeah, for him. be the case. And just adding to things he didn't say and shit. All right. Complaining that no streamer would ever end stream instead of grab filler content is insanity. Basically, what you are proposing is that instead of ending the stream, you should instead break the law by infringing on someone else's content. Yes, lots of people do it. No, that does not make it okay. And yes, it is illegal to simply watch someone's video if you do not make any commentary or transformative additions. Yes, this can be a difficult problem for streamers to solve, but that doesn't mean you should break the law to deal with it. Would you tell a worker on break to just steal a candy bar from the store if they're hungry on their break? Yes, I'm well aware of a copyright infringement is not theft, eh, but I'm trying to appeal to principles rather than the example here. Well, it is theft. It's, Pretty much. I think you're trying to go under the, the, the super uber deep technicality yeah, of, it, like, oh, like I haven't stolen a thing i don't have a thing like if i download a movie illegally i haven't deprived someone of that that thing it's i've just made an extra copy i and i i'm not taking i'm making hey guys let's start a worldwide search because i think she lost her sense of humor when she thinks jay saying end the stream is not a joke i think it's both <laughs> i think jay I think both in that too. portion of the video is so, like, almost frustrated to explain all these options you have as a streamer. It's just like, fucking end the stream. Jesus. Like, if it's that hard for you. But simultaneously, you can end the stream. 
You know, like that is a serious also suggestion. Like, don't be a fucking idiot. And you're like, I, I can't end it. I can't end it. I'll lose viewers. What do we have next? Hey guys, let's start. Oh, it's gone. No, that was the previous one. This is the next oh, one. Oh, whoops. He spends, he spends two hours on a 10 minute video. <laughs> EFAP audience laughs in long form <laughs> content. Uh, nice. Nice. Yeah. Knows me well. They know us well. Holy <laughs> shit, this is embarrassing. Put this along. Is her own comment section. This is her comment section for the video. Uh oh. This is a but, bafflingly dis. You go ahead, Pringy. I want to hear oh. your impression of Yoni Bly. This is a bafflingly disingenuous argument that cuts out a good bit of the footage that counteracts the majority of the criticisms you make. The amount of explicitly bad faith takes you make while trying to claim their video as bad faith and quote unquote spite driven is insanely self oblivious, especially uh, because you explicitly ignore the things that ruin your own arguments. Like, wow. Can't say they're wrong. Wow. 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 Remember, boys, <laughs> even though we can't see the dislikes, he still that can. That is interesting. Uh, <laughs> the evil man. Have you ever met that funny evil man? Let's see. What, what's that name? Pretty... Winsmiling? Winsmiling? Mm -hmm. Pretty Winsmiling? Thank you for making this video. You articulated what I was thinking. The bad faith spite in their video was hard to get through. Hassan is obviously no saint, and while I've enjoyed his new content, I, his news content, I was open to other perspective. There is a spectrum of video essays, and that was far from H Bomber Guy levels. There's nuance and a gradient to transformative content. It's very subjective, but hopefully more productive general discussions come from it in future. TLDR, good job, Denims. Impressed you informed while remaining fairly fuck off. Now, there may be a reason I have chopped out a portion of this comment. Because it's about to be filled in. And anybody who's familiar oh, yeah. with YouTube yeah. knows what's about to turn up. Yeah. Because why... <laughs> Oh my goodness. That's oh, pretty bad, it. though. Their pinned comment only has 16 upvotes. I know. It's so <laughs> pathetic. It's pretty Jay's bad. Comment. The only one she pinned is the positive one, of course. Oh, man. Uh, which I think really what is a great little ending. pride in your work <laughs> mean? I don't know. Oh. What an adventure. And that is the she, saga she of Denim. Called this, she called this Hassan Piker, JXC, and React content a case study in perception. <laughs> hey, man, she called is... this a case study in perception. She did. Maybe this is a say op. Okay. Like, if you actually like that video, they put you on a list and they watch you. Make sure you're not going to become like a dangerous threat at some point in the future. Oh God, that was uh, that was long. <laughs> yeah, uh, no, but yes, no. that that is absolutely worse than our relevance. Absolutely. Yes, yeah, no competition at that point. I think. Um, but I mean, wow. I, I already knew that. But but yes, this is this is so much worse. Um, she's an awful streamer. <laughs> She's also an awful, like, I don't even know, creative thinker? She... that was a horrifically bad impression. She's lucky mm -hmm. that it was Jay that she was against, quote-unquote, because Jay is so friendly. Um, that she didn't get caught up in all of the bullshit that she was doing. Unfortunately for her, I was just curiously dropping in on all of this. I was like, wow, you're a bad person. <laughs> <laughs> and it's hard not to say that with all the lies um, and the uh, just the bad faith, the crazy butchering of someone else's work. When all Jay's goal was was to get some get some credit where where it's due, 
That's it. Jay's like, don't steal stuff. <laughs> and they're like, no, we shall, you fool. You will not stop me. You're the evil one. You're the clout chaser. Um, yeah, nightmares to go through. Imagine what it's like to piece that shit together. I know. Jeez. And yeah. I would say, I would, I would give you credit for this her Herculean task, but unfortunately, I think you just inflicted this pain on all of us, so I don't think you get credit. I, it's okay. It, it balances it's... out, I suppose. I'm numb to it all. I'm just I feel, <laughs> I feel nothing. I feel nothing. I don't know. I feel a little bit like we, we, we climbed a mountain. I'm glad it's done. Yeah, um, yeah but you do. All that that you set up. <laughs> Though I will say Jeez. that that's just two of three completed. Well, yeah, because last but least... Uh, it can't be worse. I I don't believe you. Well, I mean, wow. you know, it's not a spoiler wow. to say the third person is Hassan Piker. And he it said can't something. Be worse. He it said can't something. be worse. Can't be worse. Can't be worse. Huh. But hey, Mate. who knows? It will be worse. <laughs> well, okay, Hassan will be worse because he's like a piece of shit and a moron. But I don't think I'll die watching it. Well, you didn't die watching this one. Yeah, you survived. You don't know that. You can't <laughs> prove it. This that. could be the afterlife. You're a ghost now. Are you I'm be stuck in a hell now. This is my hell's watching fucking denim video forever. And your computer just came with you for some reason. Listen, hell is a very sophisticated place. Okay. And I have oddly good Wi Fi down they there. They do. They do. It's not. Well, don't hit chat. I mean. You guys have got a week to recharge, like I said. Okay. And then Someone we will said my end. soul died. Yeah. Oh, got another one. Hell's got amazing Wi-Fi. Hey, I've completed the Hassan supercut already. There's no way I'm letting that go to waste, okay? Uh, yeah. <laughs> if you I would not want that to go to waste, yeah. You shall suffer with me. It is funny, though, because you watch the irrelevant one, and you're like, together. fuck me. That's, that's awful. And it's like, dude... <laughs> The denims one. That's that's awful. Hey. I think uh, I don't know. There's something just simpler about the uh, the uh, relevant one. You know, <laughs> like it's uh, it's a little less sinister. At, at least it doesn't come across nearly as sinister to me. Much more quaint. Yeah, yes. <laughs> especially when he's getting so mad and yelling. It's like I feel like this is just the immediate gut reaction. Um, whereas here, you, you have the conversation where you backpedaled on everything that you said in the stream, and then you proceed to make a video that is very much predicated on, well, look, I mean, it's clout. It's, it's all, it's, it's bad faith, you know, it's, it's a, such a spite driven and it obfuscates and it's repetitive and it's pretty deranged. You well, know? she, she does what I consider to be a triple dip. She uses Jay as fodder to rip into for a stream. And she benefits from the perception that she's actually super reasonable, and her and Jay are on great terms on Chud Logic's stream. And then she goes mm -hmm. and makes a video to try and rip into Jay again, to, I guess, defend the original position to some degree, while hoping that it doesn't get compared to that conversation she had with Jay. Uh, just wow. Just wow. Just wow. Just wow. <sighs> That's something else. That's something else, to hear all of that in one, in one sitting. You know, hmm. literally, but to to hear all of that, just this this. Uh, anyone can be a streamer. It it is confirmed once again. Anyone can be a streamer. Just gotta Even believe you. in yourself. <laughs> and you, all of you, can be a streamer. It's that easy. Um, but yeah, I am pretty much wiped out. I'm assuming that the you you three are similar. We're uh yeah. yeah, we're we're definitely uh I think I think my brain needs a rest. Not necessarily like my body, but my brain certainly needs to just think about nothing for a while and reset. Uh, my soul needs a rest after this, Rex. My soul is my very being my filled essence. with the spirit of vengeance. Molly you can't end stream, play some videos. No, let's get the oh, fuck yeah, out of let's, here. Let's, turn, let, let's go to Jay Hell's Axie. Kitchen and just play some episodes. Let's get some Bar Rescue up in here and just whoop, let it play. Um, We will 
do a super chat for this stream on the coming Wednesday. Uh, the reason that was interrupted this week as it as it came was uh, specifically this this denim supercut got all fucked, and I was desperately trying to get it ready before the EFAB happened. I didn't want to have to do this because the sun is the main event. Okay, you have no idea. And I was like, denim's got to come first. So then I eventually was able to fix it by splitting it. Um, so we just cut into a lot of my availability, but uh, we will definitely. Uh, hopefully. I don't want to promise anything, because you know how it fucking goes. Wednesday, we will uh, go through all the Super Chats that have come in tonight. But for now, I <gasps> think that uh, we, are, we are all going to do our respective human requirement things. I am actually choosing to end the stream. Can you fucking believe it? Oh my God. But we'll die. Don't do this, Mahler. I like, I want to live. I'm afraid. <laughs> I want to live. I don't want to die. It's time for us all to die. That's it. I've got so much to live for. So I'm... I'm young and restless, and I need to flourish. And I disagree. After the Denim's video, I want to die. <laughs> no. Disappointed in humanity. Well, you actually. can end your stream, but not mine. I'm going to go forever. Um, but yeah, thank you to Dev for joining us for a good, I think it was five and a half hours, that trooper. Wow, and impressive. Course, yeah, what a trooper. Hey. What a chat. Hey, this, the, the, we're trooper plus. All right, we're super troopers. <laughs> Okay. We made it through the. It, you know what? It's not even about the time. It's just that we made it through that. The denim the videos. Map, yeah. Yeah. Those were. You. I've aged. Many years. <laughs> 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 um, so. Uh, well. Yeah. But thank you very much for for hanging out with us for the, for the time, Sitch. I love the fact that you're like, yeah, let's take on the third boss next week. <laughs> like. If, if you, you know, you, 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 Dev, and Adam are all invited, it's time to end the arc, okay? It's gonna stop. Adam's not gonna be here. I don't, you keep, you're asking, you're barking up the wrong tree. I, 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 are you sure you wouldn't want to do one on San? Barking up the wrong tree is, it, it is fun, though, if you haven't. I told you, it. Adam it has taken a vow of celibacy until he finishes the comic. When is he okay. gonna finish the comic? That's a great question, and people are asking that, that question. Well, Adam hates EFAP confirmed. Yeah, that's true. That is true. He does. You have to get the, all of you. Are gonna have to Adam tell is, him on the stream. Adam is not S class. That they do tomorrow. No. You're gonna have to tell Adam to agree to go on EFAP. The peer pressure is the only way. Remember, I chat. Don't. If chat tell you to do something, you got to do it. So, I don't. yeah, it works. Um, well, are we gonna watch the Fight Club video next week? Oh, on the Sunday? Maybe. Mars will... like, I can't stream two days in a row, Sid. <laughs> uh, well, because I sometimes clash because I got catch up with uh, Drinker for Open Bar sometimes on Sunday, so I'll have to, have to make sure that I don't clash with yous. Well, and of course, I'm know. assuming you want to grab a time when uh, these two idiots are free as well. When you three I'm free do often. a Sunday... We'll watch the fight, the Maggie Sunday. Mayfish Fight Club video. Well, I'm, I'm probably going to watch Fight Club. We Clubs need to on. watch Fight Club first. I need to refamiliarize myself with the movie. I haven't seen it right. in years. Well, we, we got to have a we have a watch party, and since there's four of us, that's basically transformative right there. We could even stream <laughs> it. <laughs> there you go. Put the chat up. We'll mm -hmm. meet ourselves. Put the chat up every once in a while. Stay true and uh, try <laughs> not to die. It'll be great. Well, I would say that um, with with the talk we just had a little bit about that show, everyone should go subscribe to it. The Adam and Sit Show, right? That's what it's called? The Sit... I know you're saying this to trigger me. The Sit and Adam Show. Well, that's not alphabetical. Yeah, that's, that's all fucked up. Yeah, but the, name that? the superior host's name comes first. And yeah, then the sidekick's name comes second. You know, Batman and Robin. Simon Sitch and Garfunkel? And Simon and Garfunkel. There you go. Garfunkel got Garfunkled. He did. He did. Tomorrow we um, will be covering highly requested bio chat. Or, the or John Oliver critical race Laurel theory. and Hardy. Ooh. Oh, we have a meme here. What does it say? She fucking lied to you, Jay. I have the receipts. We shall use them to use destroy them to destroy <laughs> her oh oh i don't know about doing that <laughs> did someone draw that in this yeah this short period of time? that's amazing it's, <laughs> it's um, a great drawing 
yeah uh black and then i'm on the other shoulder as a little yeah. angel and i'm like yeah f fucking do it <laughs> that would have been a great addition <laughs> to this <laughs> yeah, do it. smaller <laughs> demon on Mahler's shoulder like yeah <laughs> I have a demon on my shoulder too, just telling me yeah. to be evil. <laughs> it just keeps going. Uh, but yeah, uh, go watch that stream tomorrow. When does that start? When do you guys do it? 4 p.m. Eastern. When's that in human time? 4 p.m. Eastern. How many, wait, the wait, only wait. time zone. How many hours past it's today's be, start time for uh, the stream is it? It's going to be kind of a. It, it would. It would be. When did you guys start? You started at two or three today. I got fucked up because at... of your your time zone. Daylight saving oh, time. Oh, someone said nine p.m. BST. Okay. I mean, it's easy. Two hours after we usually start this. This. Okay. This bull. Bill. Bull. We're gonna have um, Joe Lewis. So we're gonna I say this bullshit. <laughs> That's where we start this bullshit. Joe, Joe Lewis, who this is crap. that? Is that a Nazi? He's a, uh, a bread tuber. Oh, no. A leftist. Oh. And so he's going to critique the video with us, and I assume there's going to be lots of arguing. Well, who? you know what? We got a guest next he, week. You probably saw a clip of be him. He on. kind of was the made the rounds. He called an Asian guy white presenting recently on Twitch. <laughs> okay. You, you didn't see that clip? I've seen no, that clip. It's panel, and he's great. like, "What do you know? You're white presenting." And everyone's like, "He's Asian. What are you talking about?" White presenting. White presenting. <laughs> this meme Saturday. Oh, it feels oh, too cloud wieldy, doesn't it? Uh, but yes, that that'll be great, and everyone should check it out. Links in descriptions. Uh, is there anything you would like to say, Fringo and Ruggo? I got nothing. I'm tired of yeah. all this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. My head's tired, and I'm worn out. I'm going to go yeah. shower and then probably take a nap. Very well. Uh, thank you all so much for helping us through this. That was tough. Thank you, yes. I'm, I'm sorry I inflicted it upon you, I guess. But we learned mm -hmm. so much about how shit Twitch streaming is and how much it needs to be fixed. And next week, that will be compounded quite significantly. Uh, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you so much for the donations. And I hope you have a wonderful night. We shall see you on Wednesday. Good night, everybody. Goodbye. Good bye, night. Bye, see you later. Bye-bye. Toodaloo. See ya. Ciao.